Chapter 841 Becoming a Baby Among the Monks Watching Some were worried. Ancestor Gu and Ancestor Jean were among the monks who knew the situation. The two nascent soul monks knew very well that this was Yin Shiroan preparing to survive the Thunder Tribulation. They thought of one thing. What would happen if Yin Shiroan could not survive the thunderstorm safely? As long as they think of this, their whole bodies can't help but tremble. Which is the fear of the terrifying doomsday. With Li Shiming's deep love for Yin Shiroan, if that happens, the entire Northern Shu sect, and even the entire Northern Shu continent, will become the target of Li Shiming's anger. They strongly believe that Li Shiming's establishment of the Northern Shu sect was largely related to Yin Shirlan. Otherwise, with Li Shiming's terrifying strength, even if the entire Beishu continent was added up, it would not be able to arouse any interest in him. After communicating with the 10,000 Beast sect, both Ancestor Gu and Ancestor Zhan confirmed that Li Shiming was powerful in the world of immortality. Even the Eastern Qi continent was suppressed by Li Shiming's power. And during the transaction with the 10,000 Beast sect, they became more aware of how barren the Northern Shu continent was. Even the Eastern Qi continent Li Shiming was too lazy to participate in power. How could we look at the Beishu continent? The two nascent soul ancestors could only pray that Yin Shirlan could survive the thunderstorm safely, and that nothing could go wrong. With a boom, the first thunder fell. When Ren Fair felt the terror of the thunder, her whole body trembled with fear. The impact of the power of heaven and earth was too great for a young monk like her who had little experience. Li Shiming, who also felt the power of the thunder, had a faint smile on his lips. If anyone could hear his voice, they would definitely hear. That's it! Yes, in his perception, the power of the thunder this time was not as powerful as the nascent soul thunder tribulation he faced that time. That time he condensed five nascent souls at the same time. And even Li Yuanba's, the nascent soul thunder tribulation is not even half as powerful. This can only be regarded as an extremely ordinary nascent soul thunder tribulation. Even a little weaker than the nascent soul thunder tribulation of normal monks. It seems that techniques such as thousand illusions, which are not very powerful, will not be counterattacked by the rules of heaven and earth. The sky thunder fell on Yin Shirlan. She was a little nervous before waiting for the sky thunder to fall. After feeling the power of the sky thunder, her face showed an extremely relaxed look. This look should not appear on a monk who was going through the nascent soul thunder tribulation. But it did appear on Yin Shirlan's face. She believed Li Shiming. So Li Shiming didn't prepare a defensive magic weapon for her. And she didn't ask. She knew that if Li Shiming was not sure, he would not be able to put her in danger. Thunder and lightning flashed across her body. The seemingly destructive thunder and lightning only made her feel a slight sense of numbness. She obeyed Li Shiming's instructions and didn't even move her body. This is Li Shiming's little experience in overcoming the tribulation. After experiencing hundreds of tribulations, Li Shiming found that as long as he did not resist the tribulation at all, the power of the tribulation would be at its weakest. Boom, the second thunder fell. And Yin Shiroan felt a little numb this time, making her body lose control for a moment. She was in a cross-legged position. And even if her body lost control for a moment, it had no impact. She even felt that neither of the two sky thunders could consume much of the energy of the secret technique arranged by Li Shiming on her body. It's still too extravagant. She thought of what she had said most in the past three years. She is a golden core cultivator and enjoys everything that even nascent soul cultivators cannot enjoy. In terms of cultivation resources, all she uses are top quality elixirs. The palace she lives in, no matter how big or small, everything she can see and touch is of fourth grade top quality. In terms of the training environment, she is already adapting to the concentration of spiritual energy. As long as she can adapt, the depth of spiritual energy can continue to increase. She also has the guidance of a great monk, which is an important reason why she can advance to the nascent soul stage in three years. While thinking about it, she survived the second thunder. Amid all the monk's worries, the third thunder came. On the contrary, Yin Shirlan, who was present at the scene, and Li Shiming, who had already accurately judged the power of the thunder, were not worried at all. The third thunder was the most powerful. Yin Shirlan was hit by this thunder. Her hair stood up, and she felt the pressure caused by thunder and lightning for the first time. Unfortunately, before she could feel the pressure of this thunder and lightning, the third thunderbolt ended. Afterwards, the rewards of heaven and earth began to flow through her body, and her body and spirit continued to improve. When Ancestor Gu and Ancestor Jean saw the light of reward from heaven and earth appear, the two nascent soul monks let out a long sigh of relief. They looked at each other, and a look of joy flashed in their eyes. They looked at the ignorant monks next to them. 
These monks had no idea how risky what just happened was. Of course, they didn't know how simple it would be to conduct the nascent soul thunder tribulation under the escort of a thunder cultivator who possessed strength beyond the peak of a great monk and an alchemy master who could refine the theory of perfect quality. During the process of passing through the nascent soul thunder tribulation, the only thing Ian Shuron had to do was to stay still. The two nascent soul monks did not dare to fly to the suspended mountain peak until this moment. And the other high-level officials of the Northern Shu sect also flew to the suspended mountain peak. When Li Shiming saw the monks coming, he waved his hand to let the five late-stage golden corpses come back. At this time, they no longer needed to be guarded. Congratulations! Sir! Fairy Ian has embarked on the road to the nascent soul. From then on, the couple will be deeply in love and will accompany you on the journey to immortality forever. Patriarcha stepped forward and bowed to congratulate her. She did not dare to call Ian Shuro on her disciple. Although there was a master-disciple relationship, the hundred years of indifference had long since obliterated this friendship. Besides, although Ian Sherlon's identity in the Northern Shu sect does not have a clear position, she is recognized as the second person after Li Shiming. Lauder has condensed the nascent soul today. I am very happy to congratulate you. All the monks of the Northern Shu sect will be rewarded with corresponding contribution points for one year. Li Shiming was in a very good mood. After hearing the congratulations from Patriarch Gu, he waved his hands and said with great joy, the Beishu sect does not make offerings. But according to the rules of the world of immortality, there is a set of reward systems for offerings. You only need to complete the guaranteed tasks every year to get the guaranteed contribution points. According to the guaranteed contribution points corresponding to the offerings, what Li Shiming rewards is that all the monks of the Beishu sect will receive the corresponding contribution points for one year based on the guaranteed contribution points corresponding to the monks. This is not a small number. After the merger of the seven sects, the number of monks in the Northern Shu sect has reached an exaggerated number. However, Li Shiming didn't care. This consumption was nothing to him. Especially after Bei Shu sect formed an alliance with Wancho sect. Wancho sect only needed a few more transactions to make up for this defeat. The reward is offset. Sure, Ming. On behalf of the monks of the sect. Thank you very much, sect master Su said with a smile. The entire Bei Shu sect can be called Li Shiming. That is, sect master Su who is Li Shiming's master. Since becoming the sect leader of the Beishu sect, Li Shiming unexpectedly discovered that sect master Su was in high spirits. In this state, sect master Su might be able to live for a few more years, or even survive this cycle of sect leader's reign. He was originally a little worried that his master's health would be affected by taking over the position of sect leader. Looking at sect leader Su's condition now, he doesn't intend to interfere. It can be seen that this position of sect leader is very satisfactory to the master. As word of Li Shiming's announcement spread, cheers came from all over the sect. When Li Shiming saw that the rewards from heaven and earth on Yin Shirlan's side were over, he nodded to the monks and came to Yin Shirlan's side. I can finally be by your side! Yin Shirlan's first words after meeting Li Shiming were full of happiness. Perhaps the biggest advantage for her to be promoted to the nascent soul stage is that she can be with Li Shiming for a long time. I have seen the endless ocean. I have seen the towering mountain peaks. I have seen the sunrise in the sea of clouds. I have seen the colorful fish swimming in the sea. I have seen the unbeatable flowers. I have seen the magic of the world. I want to share these with you. I will take you to see the world I have seen. Li Shiming said affectionately. Li Shiming took Yin Shirlan's outstretched hand and held the two hands together. Although the two did not speak, they both had the same wish. From now on, the two would no longer have to be separated, and no one in the world could separate them. One day, even death would not be able to separate them. Since Yin Shirlan had just been promoted and was still in her weakest state, Li Shiming just treated her diplomatically and took her back to the Tianan cave. This time, the formations around the palace of power were removed. And Yin Shirlan, who was in the nascent soul stage, was able to accept the aura environment here. This is my gift to you! Li Shiming took out a soul crystal ring and handed it to Yin Shirlan and said, It's a tortoise sh. L. After Yin Shirwan recognized the soul crystal ring as its owner, her consciousness entered the soul crystal ring. She didn't care about the other pieces, but took out a shield made of tortoise sh. L and shouted in surprise. Road. This tortoise sh. L is of great significance to the two of them. Yin Shirwan did not expect that Li Shiming would keep the tortoise sh. L until now. This magical weapon in the early stage of Qi Chain was the first magical weapon that Yin Shirwan guided Li Shiming in the formation. 
and the two of them worked together to refine it. It was an attempt to combine the formation disc with the magical weapon. The relationship between the two also started from the tortoise sh. L. The tortoise sh. L in Ian Sherlon's hand has a lot of array lines added to the original one. I have deepened my research on formations over the years, but I still cannot arrange a fourth level formation on the tortoise sh. L. The highest currently is a third level formation. Maybe when my understanding of the rules deepens, I can transform it into a higher level. A layered array. Lee Shimming looked at Liu Geik with some pity and said, A long time ago, he thought of giving Yin Shiro a surprise, which was to transform the tortoise sh. L into an earth-shattering treasure. After so many years of study, he believed that there were few monks in the world of immortality who could compare with him in terms of formations and weapon refining. But even with his ability, he couldn't transform a first-grade tortoise sh. L into a powerful treasure. Sure, Ming. This is my favorite gift. Yin Shiroan couldn't put it down when she took the turtle sh. L. She said happily. She has not spent these hundred years in vain. She has already reached the level of a master of formations in her research on formations. This allowed her to see even more the value of a small first-grade tortoise sh. L. Drawing a third-grade formation on a first-grade tortoise sh. L to forcibly upgrade the quality of the tortoise sh. L to a third grade one is so difficult that it is simply unimaginable. If she could study the formations on the tortoise sh. L clearly. It would be a huge breakthrough for her own formation level. In addition, and most importantly, Li Shiming put so much thought into the tortoise sh. L. Which shows that Li Shiming attaches great importance to the tortoise sh. L. This is the reason why Yin Shirwan is happiest. Look at the other items. They are all carefully prepared by me. Li Shiming did not expect that Yin Shirlan's favorite would be the tortoise sh. L. He reminded helplessly. Yin Shirlan chuckled lightly. And her consciousness entered the soul crystal ring again. And she took out a shrunken flying boat from it. I like this too. She smiled and raised the shrinking flying boat in her hand. Of course she liked it. Not because it was a fourth grade high level airship that was extremely valuable. But because it was an emerald green wooden spaceship and its appearance was similar to the one she was riding in when they first met. The spaceships are very similar. For this fourth grade high-level flying boat, Li Shiming definitely did this intentionally and put great thought into it. Actually, there are flying boats of better quality, but those flying boats are a bit troublesome. Li Shiming explained casually when he saw that she liked them. Yin Shiruan didn't say anything, but she heard the risks Li Shiming had encountered. Even if she doesn't know much about the world of immortality, she still understands how big the difference is between a top-level fourth-level magic weapon and a top-level fourth-level flying boat. The total amount of technology and materials required for a flying boat is many times higher than that of a magic weapon. And the difference in value between the two is even greater. Evenly shimming. A powerful monk. Did not dare to take out the fourth-grade top flying boat and use it. The trouble behind it was so great that Yin Shiroan could not imagine what kind of enemy it would be. She didn't want to show emotions that would affect the mood of the two of them when she was so happy. So she took out a women's robe from the soul crystal ring. A top-notch fourth grade women's robe. After she recognized her master, she discovered that a high monk level defensive spell was solidified on this women's robe. If she was attacked, the robe would activate the high monk level defensive spell to actively defend herself. In addition, the appearance of women's robes can be switched at will. As long as the style is in mind. The robe can automatically change. I got this robe by accident. The material of the robe is rare. In addition to your current lack of realm. I did not refinish the robe. Li Shiming explained. Even if I reach the level of a great monk. I won't have to change my robes anymore. Yin Shirlan shook her head. And said with a smile. She does not have Li Shiming's insight. In her opinion. The top level 4th grade robe. Is already the highest quality robe among nascent soul monks. Most of the 4th grade top quality robe materials are in the hands of various superpowers. Li Shiming has a lot of robes in his hands. So he has not considered obtaining the robe materials. In fact, he had no intention of giving Yin Shiroan a Lingbao level robe. The robe was often exposed. And a Lingbao level robe was not a good thing for Yin Shiroan. Chapter 842 Taoist Companion Yin Shiroan took out the last two spiritual objects from the soul crystal ring. And these two spiritual objects were placed in a jade box. Opening the jade box. A flying sword and a jade slip were revealed. This flying sword is a spiritual treasure level flying sword. It can become your natal magic weapon in the future. The spiritual treasure level flying sword will increase the speed of cultivation in the nascent soul stage. 
The Jade Slip was obtained from Wanfeng Palace. Fou Wu Jiu Tianju is also a technique that I hope you will practice during the nascent soul stage. Li Shiming pointed at the two spiritual objects and introduced them. Spiritual treasure? Is it a higher level than magic treasure? Yin Shirlan was so smart that she immediately grasped the key points in Li Shiming's words and asked, Yes, so you can only keep this spiritual treasure level flying sword in your body. Try not to use it. If you expose the existence of this spiritual treasure, it may cause big trouble. Li Shiming nodded helplessly. If it weren't for the Lingbao level flying sword that had the effect of increasing the speed of cultivation, he wouldn't want Yin Shirlan to get into trouble because of the Lingbao. However, the cultivation in the nascent soul stage is extremely time-consuming. Li Shiming himself gathered a lot of conditions to be able to be promoted to a great monk so quickly. Even though Yin Shirlan has now been promoted to the nascent soul stage, she is still very young among the early Yuaning monks. However, the long training years in the nascent soul stage and even a slight improvement in the speed of cultivation will have a great impact on the future. Sure, Ming. I will be careful. Yin Shirlan did not say any words of rejection. She just held the Ling Bao flying sword tightly in her hand. Wanfeng Palace is a superpower in Zhongzhou continent in the world of immortal cultivation. This sect only recruits female cultivators. I asked Wanfeng Palace for this. Phoenix Dance 9 Heavens Technique When you practice to a certain level, you can go to the 10,000 B sect. Or Luanfeng Palace has contracted a phoenix. Li Shiming continued. It was not difficult to get Luanfeng Palace to agree to pass on the Bong Wu Nine Heavens Technique. Li Shiming just agreed to the elixir refining matter and promised that the Bong Wu Nine Heavens Technique would not be passed on to others. So he got this technique. All inheritance. Even if Yin Shiroan needs it. She can go to Luanfeng Palace to receive more inheritance and contract a phoenix. As for contracting a phoenix in the cave of 10,000 beasts of the 10,000 beasts sect, the chance is so low that Li Shiming cannot guarantee whether there is a phoenix that can be contracted in the cave of 10,000 beasts. After he gained the ability to protect himself, he had already considered the path of cultivation for Yin Shirlan. He did not discuss these matters with Yin Shirlan, mainly because neither Yin Shirlan nor Yin Shirlan sect Qianhuan sect had any say in the path of cultivation after the nascent soul stage. Yin Shirlan's original natal magic weapon was abandoned. But it was still her natal magic weapon in the early stage of the Golden Elixir. And it was also the only magic weapon left. It takes some time to give up the magic weapon of one's destiny. But with Li Shiming's help, the process went smoothly. When she recognized the Ling Bao flying sword as its owner, she found that it was a Ling Bao flying sword that perfectly matched her attributes. After becoming the natal Ling Bao, the greatest effect of the natal Ling Bao was to purify the spirit accelerate the operation of spiritual power, and prevent obsessed. As for the attack power of the natal Ling Bao flying sword, she did not test it. She had no intention of using it in combat anyway. It can be said that after recognizing the owner of the natal Ling Bao flying sword, she was ready to use the Ling Bao flying sword as an auxiliary magic weapon. In the days that followed, Li Shiming guided Yin Shirlan to start practicing the Bong Wu Nine Heavens Technique. Bong Wu Jiotian Ju also contains some experience and insights of senior Luanfeng Palace. In addition, this is the most upright and peaceful core technique of Luanfeng Palace, so it is not difficult to practice it. As the days passed, Yin Shirlan's practice was on the right track. She was practicing in the Palace of Power, while Li Shiming was practicing in the Hall of Balian. After three years of no practice, Li Shiming did not waste the time. In these three years, his understanding of the rules of the five elements, thunder and lightning, sword intent, etc. has improved a lot. It can be said that the speed at which he improves his understanding of the rules far exceeds that of any great monk. Among them, the analysis and research of the natal magic weapon Z-15 played a huge role. Z-15 has never stopped analyzing the rules. As long as some results are achieved, it will be reflected in Li Shiming's understanding of the rules. There is no great monk in the world of immortality who has his conditions. After being promoted to a great monk, the performance of his natal magic weapon Z-15 has been greatly improved. Especially after he can clearly perceive the rules and study the rules. In this regard, great progress has been made. He also completed the refining of five late-stage Golden Corpse equipment. Unfortunately, his own mountain magic weapon was not refined. This was mainly because after getting in touch with the 10,000 B sect, the Zhongzhou Trading Company sent it over with the help of the 10,000 B sect, a batch of great monk elixir materials. It was difficult for Li Shiming to refuse. His demand for the elixir of a great monk was too great. If he did not accept the elixir entrustment, 
His cultivation would stagnate for a long time. A year later, Yin Shiruan stabilized her realm. And she also knew that it was not far away from the mainland of Beishu. On this day, she asked Li Shiming to visit her parents. And Li Shiming left Beishu sect with her. In the past, the geographical location of Niyang Mountain could only be regarded as average. It was originally a gathering place for monks between the two gates of Qianhuan sect and Xuxian sect. Since the establishment of the Northern Shu sect, the position surrounding the Northern Shu sect has become extra precious. This makes Niyang Mountain expand dozens of times than before, and monks from the Northern Shu sect are stationed there. So there is no need to worry about safety here. I haven't been here for nearly a hundred years. I heard from my sister that although my father's village suffered some blows, it still managed to survive. During that time, my sister and I received resources secretly sent from our father from time to time. Yin Shirlan looked at in Niang Mountain. I confided to Li Shiming. When she mentioned her parents, tears shone in her eyes. Due to the restrictions of the sect, she could not leave the cave, and she had not seen her parents for a hundred years. If the sect hadn't restricted her sister's whereabouts, she might not have known about her parents' situation. It's all because I didn't explain it well when I left. Li Shiming said with some self-blame. I can't blame you. I know your difficulties. Yin Shirlan gently held Li Shiming's arm and said softly. She already knew the circumstances under which Li Shiming left Beishu continent. Li Shiming, who was only in the Golden Core stage at that time, was captured by all the nascent soul monks in the entire Beishu continent. It was a miracle that he could escape. It was simply unrealistic to have to take these things into consideration when escaping. Besides, Li Shiming has done enough for his parents. A city close to Qianhuan sect has opened up all the joints and has a complete supply chain. Of course, after Li Shiming left, Fan Shi was indeed affected a lot. But Yin Shirlan's father had some tricks up his sleeve. He managed to survive the pressure and still had some surplus to provide for his children. The flying boat descended and landed outside Fang Shi. Li Shiming saw Elder Yin and Antrin standing at the gate of Fang Shi. They had received the news and were waiting for them. Mom and Dad. Yin Shirlan exclaimed softly after seeing her parents. And her tears could no longer be held back. She had not seen her parents for a hundred years. When they met again, she found that her parents were already in their twilight years. Antrin had taken the beauty-resisting pill. But as her longevity approached her twilight years, the beauty-resisting pill could no longer lock her appearance. Her face looked like she was in her thirties, and she still looked very young. But Yin Shirlan understood that her mother had begun the process of rapid aging. In at most thirty to forty years, her mother's appearance would be completely aged towards the end of her life. Loner. My Loner. Antrin hugged Yin Shirlan and murmured. Although Elder Yin was equally excited, he was still able to suppress his emotions. He looked at Li Shiming, even if they haven't seen each other for a hundred years. Li Shiming's appearance is still the same as before, but this aura has allowed Li Shiming to get rid of his youthful and frivolous temperament and become a big man full of majesty. Uncle Yin, Aunt Run. Li Shiming followed and bowed. There are not many people in this world who can let him salute. And these two are his few elders. What's your name? Aunt? Are you not planning to marry Loner? Antrin held Yin Shirlan in her arms and looked at Li Shiming and scolded. After more than a hundred years, perhaps no one knows the name of old demon Ren after arriving in the northern Shu continent. But Aunt Ren's character still hasn't changed much. Yin Shirlan was not shy at all. Her beautiful eyes looked at Li Shiming quietly. The two of them had long been dependent on each other for life and death. But Li Shiming had been paying attention to her practice and did not talk about it. She, a woman, couldn't be allowed to bring up this matter. This time she came to see her parents. Why not ask for help through her parents? Li Shiming has met his father-in-law and mother-in-law. Li Shiming did not hesitate at all. He bowed and said, Okay, with a big salute. It's not that he hasn't thought about this, but it's the special nature of the world of immortality. Monks don't hold any ceremonies when they become Taoist couples. There are not many cases where a family like Yin Shirlan's is a monk. Most of the monks were born in the secular world. Entering the world of immortality is equivalent to breaking away from the secular world. If Antrin hadn't spoken, he and Yin Shirlan would have been getting along like this, with each other acquiescing to the relationship of Taoist couples. Shimming, tell me about other continents. Elder Yin showed a smile on his face. He pulled Li Shimming into Fan Shur and said as he walked, Antrin took Yin Shirlan's hand and explained how Taoist couples should get along. Their words were conveyed through sound transmission. And from time to time a blush flashed across Yin Shirlan's face. Father-in-law, 
The business in this market seems to be very good. Walking into the market, Li Shiming found that there were so many monks that it could be said that it was crowded. This was an extremely rare bustle. In the past two years, the Northern Shu sect came over to negotiate with me to expand the city. The conditions were simply free. If I hadn't heard that you founded the Northern Shu sect, I would have thought that they had something. Here comes the picture. Elder Ying couldn't help but laugh when he mentioned Fangshir. He looked at Li Shiming with approval in his eyes. It was obvious that Li Shiming had not forgotten him. Li Shiming couldn't help but feel a little ashamed. He was not the one responsible for the market on Niang Mountain. But he didn't need to personally explain this matter. The monks would take care of it. No one in the Northern Shu sect knows about his relationship with Yin Shirlan. And there are many monks who also know about the relationship between Yin Shirlan and Elder Yin in this place. He controlled the Northern Shu continent. And it was normal for the relevant monks to benefit from it. No one among the monks in the city knew him. Let alone that this young monk was the terrifyingly shimming. Only when he was about to enter the main building behind Fonshur, did a late Jean Dan monk wearing the robe of Beishu sect salute him respectfully. Thank you for your hard work. Li Shiming waved him to get up and said, This late stage Jean Dan monk was not a customer. Li Shiming had noticed him before. He had been paying attention to the situation around him and could tell that he was a monk sent by the Beishu sect to garrison. Sir, this is my honor, the late stage Jean Dan monk said with excitement. Even Elder Yin on the side could sense the fanaticism of this late stage Jean Dan monk, which made him feel the changes in the Beishu continent. In fact, in the current Beishu continent, even if Li Shiming does not interfere, if there are monks who want to rebuild the seven sects, not many monks will be willing. Today's Beishu sect, both in terms of cultivation resources and martial arts books, is more than one level higher than the previous seven sects period, not to mention the trade with the outer continent, which allowed the northern Shu sect to obtain a source of resources. This was not the treasure house given by Li Shiming. There are indeed many resources in the treasure pavilion, but the resources in the treasure pavilion will one day be exhausted. It was different now that there were trade routes with the outer continent. The northern Shu sect had a steady stream of resources. So the northern Shu sect did not need to limit the supply of resources to the monks within the sect because of resource issues. Although the northern Shu sect was established so short that the high-level monks have not yet seen it. The number of monks before the Golden Core stage, the Foundation Establishment stage, and the Golden Core stage have seen an explosive growth in the number of new monks. This is a change that only takes a few years. After a few decades, I am afraid that even the number of nascent soul stage monks will increase greatly. The monks of Beishu sect all know who brought about today's life. Many monks uncovered the legends about Li Shiming back then. After a hundred years, these legends still shock many monks. And their admiration for Li Shiming reached a fever pitch. Elder Yin is deeply proud that this is his daughter's Taoist companion. And he watched Li Shiming grow up. Who would have thought that a young monk in Tian Hai sect would grow to where he is today after just over a hundred years? There are so many rumors about Li Shiming now that Elder Yin can't believe how many of them are true and how many are false. He just wanted to hold Li Shiming and ask him about these rumors. Entering the main building, the conversation between the two mainly consisted of Elder Yin asking questions and Li Shiming answering. Ever since Li Shiming left the northern Shu continent, Elder Yin learned about Li Shiming's growth history in the world of immortality. Even though Li Shiming had many secret parts and some dangerous experiences, he still let Elder Yin know about his difficulties. Chapter 843 Leaving Lord. Are you leaving Beishu continent with Sher Ming? On the other side, Evren asked Yin Shirlan in a low voice. Yin Shirlan hesitated for a moment. After seeing the condition of her parents, she knew that her parents' lifespan was short. Are you worried about us? Evren asked with a smile and touched her hair. Yin Shirlan nodded, with deep attachment in her eyes. We have fair. You should think more about Shiming. Beishu continent is too small. Shiming can't be left alone in Beishu continent. And neither can you, Evren said with a smile. She could see clearly that Li Shiming suppressed the merger of seven major sects into one with one person's power, which showed how powerful Li Shiming was. But looking at the North Shu continent for thousands of years, no matter how talented the monks are, they have only reached the middle stage of nascent soul, which is already a genius that only happens once in thousands of years. How could Li Shiming have such strength if he had not left Beishu continent? Although Li Shiming is strong now, if he stays in Beishu continent, this strength will be worn away, and it may even affect Li Shiming's future. Edrin even knew that Yin Shirlan had been delayed for hundreds of years in her cultivation. If she wanted Yin Shirlan to achieve higher achievements, it would be inevitable for her to leave the northern Shu continent as well. As a parent, 
She does not want to affect the future of the young couple because of herself. She and Elder Ian are already very satisfied. They have moved from the small Tianhai Island to the Beishu continent. They have their own careers and can enjoy their old age in peace. Those Jean Dan elders on Tianhai Island who were able to survive back then were all lucky. Mom! Ian Sherlon threw herself into Aunt Ren's arms. And Aunt Ren hugged her tightly back. Aunt Ren personally cooked and prepared a table of wine and food. Just like a mortal entertaining her son-in-law. Li Shiming also tasted mortal food for the first time in a hundred years. Of course, Aunt Ren's cooking techniques are those of a mortal. But the ingredients are mostly spiritual materials. Li Shiming felt as if he had been away from this world of immortality for a long time and had forgotten these low-level spiritual materials. Father-in-law and mother-in-law. Let me toast you too. He stood up, raised his glass, and bowed slightly to say to Elder Ean and Aunt Ren. You have to treat Lauder well. Elder Ean said after drinking the wine in his hand. Lauder has a weak temper. You can't bully her. Aunt Ren said, draining the glass of wine in one gulp. Ean Sherwan looked at the scene in front of her happily. Although there was no ceremony. From this moment on, she officially became Li Shiming's wife and Tao's companion. With the blessing of parents, this is more precious than any ceremony. When Li Shiming took Yin Shirwan away from Niang Mountain, the two elders were sent outside the mountain. Lauder, although we left Beishu Continent, you can come back whenever you want. It only takes more than 20 days to travel from Dongchi Continent with all your strength. Li Shiming saw Yin Shirwan's bad mood. He comforted softly. He also saw that the second elder's life was short. But with his ability, there was nothing he could do. Maybe we can collect some spiritual objects that increase lifespan from various superpowers. But this will only delay it for a few more years. Compared with Incherlan, who still has a lifespan of at least close to a thousand years, separation and death are inevitable. Can you come back? Incherlan heard his words and confirmed softly. Of course. I promise. Li Shiming promised very formally. Raising his hand, Incherlan leaned gently into his arms, with a peaceful smile on her face. Returning to Beishu sect, Li Shiming invited sect master Su. Shiming, are you leaving? Sect leader Su asked as soon as he came over. Li Shiming couldn't help but be startled. He never thought that so many people knew his thoughts. With your strength, Beishu continent has no resources for you to practice. Sect leader Su explained. In fact, not only sect master Su, but almost all the senior sect leaders can see this. Li Shiming established the northern Shu sect, but did not control the power. Instead, he established the sex framework and stabilized its resource channels. From these, it can be seen that he did not care about the power of the Northern Shu sect. After Yin Shirlan was promoted, all the sect leaders understood that Li Shiming's departure would not be too far away. Master, I am indeed leaving Beishu Continent with Lanner. I have some arrangements before I leave. Li Shiming nodded and admitted. Hearing Li Shiming's words, sect leader Su was a little sad, but also a little relieved. His disciples have to be separated again. But this separation is inevitable. And he cannot stop Li Shiming from pursuing higher cultivation. Give me the sect leader's token first. Li Shiming followed. Sect Master Su took out the sect master token. This sect master token may be useful to other monks. But it is actually of no use to Li Shiming. If Li Shiming gives any order, Shushan sect will definitely do it with all its strength. And no monk will disobey it. Li Shiming took the sect master's token. Spit out a mouthful of Red Yang spiritual fire, and then engraved some runes on the Sek Master's token, and finally put a mark on it. He took out the mustard ring that he had prepared a long time ago and handed it back to Sek Master Su together with the Sek Master's token. From now on, the puppets in this mustard ring will be passed down together with the Sek Master's token and be used as the Sek Master's certificate. The four fourth level puppets among them can be easily killed even if they encounter enemies in the middle stage of nascent soul. Li Shiming said deeply. The voice confessed. Sect leader Su only felt that the mustard seed ring in his hand was as heavy as a thousand pieces. The monks in the middle stage of nascent soul were the ones that the northern Shu continent needed to look up to. But the four puppets Li Shiming took out easily could kill the mid-stage nascent soul monks. He sensed that four fourth grade puppets were staying quietly inside the mustard seed ring. With these four fourth grade puppets, the status of the sect leader is no longer a decoration like before but an important identity with strong combat power. In an ordinary sect, if the sect leader suddenly possesses such combat power, trouble is likely to arise. But the Northern Shu sect is different. Even though Li Shiming left the Northern Shu sect, 
his influence can still control the Northern Shu sect. You must know that the 10,000 Bees sect has always been in contact with the Northern Shu sect. Without the support of the 10,000 Bees sect, the resource supply of the Northern Shu sect would be cut off. The most important thing is that among the four fourth grade puppets, there is a trace of Li Shiming's spiritual imprint. With this spiritual imprint, he can explore the situation of the Northern Shu sect and take over the four fourth grade puppets at a critical moment. The combat power of the four fourth grade puppets is not weak. Although he has been promoted to a great monk, the four fourth grade puppets are of little use to him. However, the four fourth grade puppets have mastered ultra long range electromagnetic guns, using the top grade fourth grade cone shaped magic weapons as cannonballs, and their attacks can instantly kill most middle stage nascent soul monks. The mid stage Yuanying monks here are not the mid stage Yuanying monks from ordinary sex, but refer to the superpower mid stage Yuanying monks and any one of the 4th grade puppets has the ability to instantly kill most of the mid-stage nascent soul monks. With the cooperation of 4 4th grade puppets, the weaker monks must be treated with caution. With the protection of 4 4th grade puppets, the Northern Shu sect is safe and worry-free. After making arrangements for the sect, Li Shiming found Yin Shirlan, who was talking to Ren Fei. He walked over and saw Ren Fei crying. What's wrong with Fei Ren? He asked aloud. Fei is reluctant to let me go. Yin Sherlon's attitude towards her sister was different. She said with a smile on her face. Ren Fair is naturally different. With the resources provided by Li Shiming, Ren Fair has few problems in being promoted to the nascent soul stage. They would still have a chance to meet each other later. But it wasn't like they were really separated by life and death. Ren Fair, my father-in-law and mother-in-law are not in good health. You can stay with us in Beishu Continent for us. When you are free, you can come to Dongji Continent. I will consider introducing you to the 10,000 Bees sect and become a core monk. Li Shiming said made his own arrangements. Really? You're not lying to me? Ren Fair asked in confirmation while holding back her tears. Don't worry. I can give you the jade disc of the identity of the core monk of the 10,000 Bees sect right now. Li Shiming shook his head and laughed. He took out an identity jade disc, entered some information, and gave it to Ren Fei. When Ren Fei arrives at the 10,000 Bees sect, with this identity, she can directly enter the 10,000 Bees sect and enjoy the treatment of a core monk. He is the great monk of the 10,000 Bees sect, and he is still ranked number one. So he still has this power. Thank you, brother-in-law. Ren Fair put on a smile and took the jade plate of identity and said, Why do I feel cheated? Li Shiming looked at Ren Fair and then at Yin Shirlan and said, Ren Fair and Yin Shirlan couldn't help laughing. Ren Fair waved the jade plate of identity in her hand. Her eyes filled with pride. Ren Fair, you want to choose another cave? I'll prepare a cave for you on the main peak of Bei Shu. Li Shiming thought of something and said, You don't really want to take this mountain away, do you? Ren Fair exclaimed after hearing this. She had heard that Li Shiming wanted to take away the mountain, but she thought it was a joke before. Even if the storage space in the space object is large enough, there is no way to store living objects in the storage space. If this mountain peak is really to be stored in the space object, if it is taken out again, it will probably cause considerable damage. Her vision is still at the level of the northern Shu continent, and she cannot imagine how magical the real world of immortality is. Lauder likes this mountain, so of course, he wants to take it away, Li Shiming said matter-of-factly. When the northern Shu sect was established, he had this idea in mind to make the suspended mountain mountain independent of the northern Shu sect's formation system. Now that he was really ready to leave, he wanted to take the suspended mountain peak away. I have long disliked this mountain peak. The environment on the main peak is so nice, Ren Fair said, stamping her feet in disgust. Li Shiming knew that she did this intentionally. She and Yin Shiron had lived here for hundreds of years. How could they not have feelings for each other? This time Lonner and I will go to the 10,000 Bees sect and we will choose a master for you. I will ask your master to come to Beishu Continent to guide your cultivation, Li Shiming finally said. If it weren't for Elder Yin and Aunt Ren, he could have taken Ren Fair away directly. Something big happened to the Beishu sect. The mountain peaks that had been suspended in the sky disappeared. The elders of Beishu sect informed the monks that Li Shiming would be in seclusion for a long time. But many monks had already guessed that Li Shiming was preparing to leave. On the White Emperor Qing Yun boat, Li Shiming and Yin Shiruan sat opposite each other at the low table. With the coast and sea in front of them, Li Shiming left quietly. He took the suspended mountain peak into the Tiaran cave and took Yin Shiruan on a long voyage on the White Emperor Qing Yun boat. Yin Shiruan picked up the teapot, poured a cup of spiritual tea for Li Shiming, 
and then poured it for herself. Her eyes fell on the coast. As long as she crossed here, she would leave the Beishu continent. There was no worry in her heart. But she was filled with happiness. She was about to step into Li Shiming's world. The ocean is dangerous. When we sail on the ocean, we need to sail on the route. Like this time we are taking the route when I left last time. Li Shiming explained to Yin Shirlan. He pulled up the chart. And the route was marked on the chart. Although he didn't want Yin Shirlan to be in danger, he still wanted to teach Yin Shirlan some basic survival experience in the world of immortality. Yin Shirlan was curious to learn this knowledge. And she was also feeling Li Shiming's experience. The White Emperor Qing Yun boat flew over the coast and entered the ocean. The scenery between the sea and the sky filled her eyes with brilliance. She has been trapped in the cave for a hundred years. How could she not be fascinated by the vast sea view now? Li Shiming looked at her expression with a smile. He was just like her now. Only by truly going deep into the ocean can we understand the vastness of the world. In the days that followed, the two were inseparable and seemed to have endless things to talk about. Yin Shirlan had just stabilized her realm. And it was the time when she needed to travel. So this voyage was just right. From the northern Shu continent to the eastern Qi continent. The White Emperor Qing Yun boat did not reach full speed and completed the voyage in one month. After sailing for more than half a month, Yin Shirlan discovered the change in the concentration of spiritual energy. And she realized how thin the spiritual energy in the northern Shu continent was. Compared with the northern Shu continent, this place is really like a fairyland. When Yin Shirlan saw the land of the eastern Qi continent, she couldn't help but sigh. The richness of spiritual energy, coupled with the numerous formations on the offshore sea to capture sea beasts, are all very different from those in the northern Shu continent. In the Beishu continent, no monks are willing to hunt and kill sea beasts. The nascent soul monks have reached an agreement with some sea beasts in the coastal waters, and the two sides will not invade each other. There are even a large number of powerful spiritual beasts occupying the interior of the continent which is a territory that human monks cannot enter. Looking at the eastern Qi continent, the human monks are no longer satisfied with the exploitation of the continent's resources and have extended their hands into the ocean. The status of the human monks and sea beasts here is completely different from that of the northern Shu continent. Dong Qi continent can only be regarded as the bottom continent in the entire world of immortality, second only to Beishu continent, Li Shiming explained with a smile. Yin Shirlan's face showed a look of shock. Li Shiming's words gave her a new understanding of the status of Beishu Continent in the world of immortality. It seems that the northern Shu Continent has been closed for 10,000 years for a reason. Even the eastern Shu Continent is at the bottom of the world of immortality. So the situation in the northern Shu Continent is probably not as good as the mortal world of these continents. Chapter 844 10,000 Beasts Li Shiming quietly returned to the 10,000 Beasts sect. He only informed his master. Brother Hu that he used retreat as an excuse when he left. Lord, this is my cave in the 10,000 Bees sect. Li Shiming brought Yin Shirlan to his cave. Yin Shirlan looked at the cave abode curiously. Although the decoration of the cave abode was not as luxurious as that of the Almighty Palace, the quality of the furnishings was not low. I have applied for a temporary identity jade disc for you. This will be our home from now on. Li Shiming took an identity jade disc, manipulated it, and handed it to Yin Shirlan and said, I like it here very much. Yin Shirlan was very satisfied with it. She touched it here and there and said happily, As long as you like it, I will take you to see my master in the 10,000 Bees sect. By the way, I forgot to tell you. My name in the 10,000 Bees sect is Li Shirjin. Li Shiming looked at Yin Shirlan, who was in a good mood and said with a smile, Although most of his and Yin Shirlan's subsequent training would be in the Heavenly Man Cave. Apart from training, this is where they live the most. After taking Yin Shirlan around the cave, Li Shiming took Yin Shirlan to the cave of his master. Brother Hu. The cave is in the same cave, but not that far away. After entering the message transmission technique, I saw Brother Hu personally greeting him. Master, Lauder is my Taoist companion. We met in the Qi Chain period. Li Shiming introduced Brother Hu with a smile. Yin Shirlan pays homage to Master. After Yin Shirlan saw Master Hu, although her face was shy, she still respectfully addressed Master who is Master. Shimming is so lucky. He didn't tell me about it in advance. So I was not prepared at all. Brother who waved his hand to help Yin Shirlan. And looked at Li Shimming with some complaints. He thought for a while. Took out a token and handed it to Yin Shirlan. This is the token of Baiwa Peak. I will give you that mountain peak. Yin Shirlan held the token and looked at Li Shimming with some confusion. Lord, 
Just accept the meeting gift from Master. Baiwa Peak is the most beautiful peak in the 10,000 B sect. And the scenery there is very good. Li Shiming motioned to Yin Shirlan to accept the token and explained. Let's go in and talk later. Brother who led the two of them into his cave. He took out the best entertainment items. In order to entertain Yin Shirlan, he took out all the good things from the bottom of the box. As Li Shiming's master, he almost thought that Li Shiming was going to be single for the rest of his life. In the world of immortality, it is not strange to practice alone. Many monks are like this. But monks generally envy those who have found a Taoist companion. Because it is very difficult to find a Taoist companion. Think about it. In the world of cultivating immortals, it is necessary to find a Taoist companion whom you can trust completely. This Taoist companion can freely enter and exit the cave. Share cultivation resources. Etc. Most monks in the world of cultivating immortals cannot trust a Taoist companion. How many monks are likely shimming? Who found their favorite female cultivator when they first entered the world of immortality? And the relationship between the two was sincere. Brother who was very relieved. When he looked at the Taoist couple Li Shiming and Yin Shirlan, he was as happy as watching his own children getting married. Shiming, how are you going to arrange Yin Shirlan? After talking for a while, he asked Li Shiming, Master, I have talked with fellow Daoist Li from Wanfeng Palace, and I have already asked Loner to practice Wanfeng Palace's inherited technique Feng Wu Nine Heavens technique. Li Shiming didn't mean to hide anything and answered honestly. Are you planning to let Yin Shirlan join Wanfeng Palace? This is a good choice. Brother who didn't care why Li Shiming didn't choose the 10,000 Beast sect. He also understood that there was still a big gap between the 10,000 Beast sect and the superpower Luanfeng Palace. Disparity. I don't want Loner to join Luanfeng Palace. I just want to practice Luanfeng Palace's skills. Li Shiming shook his head and explained. Sure, Ming. Not all monks have your talent. I have seen Sherlon's talent. Although it is a very good cultivation talent, it is still incomparable to you. She needs the guidance of a master. Hu Dafushin said the voice. Li Shiming was about to explain again when brother who waved his hand. I know that your cultivation level is extremely high. But since you let Shirlan practice the Bongwu Jiu Tianju, you need to take into account Shirlan's practice in Bongwu Jiu Tianju. Maybe you can give guidance to Shirlan through your own understanding of the Bongwu Jiu Tianju and some experience gained from Wanfeng Palace. But you can't compare with the experience summed up by countless monks in Wanfeng Palace for more than 10,000 years. Yes, you have not practiced the Bongwu Jiu Tianju. As long as there is a slight misunderstanding of Bongwu Jiu Tianju, there may be problems in Shirlan's practice. In my opinion, it is best for Shirlan to join Wanfeng Palace. This is the best choice for Shirlan. Brother who continued, Li Shiming didn't expect this, mainly because Yin Shirlan started to change her major in martial arts. And the problems she encountered were all the simplest. Brother whose statement needs to be taken seriously. As the Bongwu Jiu Tianju deepened, Li Shiming did not practice. Bongwu Jiu Tianju is in death understanding of Bongwu Jiu Tianju was more out of judgment and guesswork. Lord, how about I find you a master in Wanfeng Palace? Li Shiming thought for a while and asked Yin Shirlan for his opinion. Will we be separated when we come to Wanfeng Palace? Yin Shirlan looked at Li Shiming and asked with worry in her eyes. Is Taoist Li from Wanfeng Palace still stationed at the sect? Li Shiming turned to brother who had asked. Fellow Taoist Li has not left. You want your lawn to join her. This is a good choice. Brother who and brother Li have known each other for many years. And he also agreed to Li Shiming's proposal. Lord, I will discuss with fellow Taoist Li first. You can stay in the 10,000 Beast sect. Only when necessary. You need to go to Wanfeng Palace to stay for a while. Li Shiming said to Yin Shirlan with a smile. He never considered that Brother Li from Wanfeng Palace would refuse. Or that in the world of immortality, no superpower would refuse him on such a matter. Even as long as he brings it up, any superpower will rush to accept Yin Shirlan. Accepting Li Shiming's Taoist companion as a disciple is the best way to make friends with Li Shiming. In the future, it is easy to discuss whether to find Li Shiming to make elixirs or to use Li Shiming's power and influence. Yin Shirlan followed Li Shiming's arrangement. She practiced the Bongwu Nine Heavens technique and had long expected to deal with Wanfeng Palace. But she did not expect to join Wanfeng Palace. After leaving Brother Hu's cave, Li Shiming took Yin Shirlan to the Spirit Beast area of 10,000 Beasts Cave. There, he took Yin Shirlan to search the entire Spirit Beast area, but did not find the eggs or cubs of the Red Gold Phoenix. 
the adult red gold phoenix was not something that Ian Sherlock could contract. It can only be said that Ian Sherlock has bad luck. But this is normal. The red gold phoenix is the rarest and top level spiritual beast in the 10,000 beasts cave. Its number is very small. Let alone the red gold phoenix in its cub or egg state. Such an opportunity will only appear once in hundreds of years. However, Ian Sherlock also opened her eyes and saw many spiritual beasts that she had never heard of. In fact, even within the 10,000 Beasts sect, this area of the 10,000 Beasts cave is not one that can be entered at will to select spiritual pets. A large amount of contribution points are required. Li Shiming has great authority in the 10,000 Beasts sect. He takes Yin Shirwan into the 10,000 Beasts cave to select spiritual pets. Even if Yin Shirwan is not an official disciple of the 10,000 Beasts sect, it is not a problem at all. It seems that the only way to get the Red Gold Phoenix spiritual pet is from Luanfeng Palace. Li Shiming said helplessly to Yin Shirwan. Isn't it easy to contract with the Red Gold Phoenix from Luanfeng Palace? Although Yin Shirwan likes Red Gold Phoenixes like Xiaofeng very much, she also understands that it is not that simple to contract a phoenix with top bloodline from a superpower. Matter. I heard that Luanfeng Palace has a special cave dedicated to cultivating spiritual beasts with phoenix bloodline. As long as you pay the price. I believe Luanfeng Palace will not mind a red gold phoenix. Li Shiming said with relief. Smiling. The next day, Brother Li, Brother Ding, and Brother Jiang Hongya from Luanfeng Palace received a formal invitation from Li Shiming and came to Li Shiming's cave. As the hostess, Yin Shirwan and Li Shiming went outside the cave to greet her. When the three female cultivators saw Yin Shirwan, they seemed to have expected it. Especially the way Senior Monthly looked at Yin Shirwan. His eyes were full of love. This is what brother who revealed to brother Li yesterday. The relationship between 10,000 Bees sect and Luanfeng Palace is extremely close. Yin Shirwan took out the fourth grade spiritual fruit from the cave and poured fourth grade spiritual tea for the guests. Congratulations to fellow Daoist Li and fellow Daoist Yin for becoming Taoist companions. This is a little gift from me. Brotherly took out a set of exquisite headdresses and handed them to Yin Shirlan's hands. Saying with a smile, This set of exquisite headwear is made of fourth grade high grade materials. For female cultivators, the material is secondary. And the key is the style. This set of headwear adopts the palace style that Wanfeng Palace is best at. And its processing techniques can be said to be unique in the world of immortality. There are not many monks who can study in depth on decorations. But female monks like Wanfeng Palace are among the few who are willing to make efforts for this. The other two female senior monks were also well prepared. And each took up gifts, which were Wanfeng Palace's top cosmetics and a set of gorgeous female palace dresses, all of which were of high grade fourth grade quality. When Yin Shirwan saw these gifts, she looked at them very fondly. It can be seen that these spiritual objects specially made for female cultivators have little resistance as long as they are female cultivators. Fellow Daoistly, I want Lauder to join your sect. I thought it was simple before. I can still guide you in the Feng Wu Jiu Tianju in the early stage of nascent soul. But in the middle and late stages, she needs to receive more professional guidance. Come on! Li Shiming bowed to Brother Li and said, This is my honor! Brother Li had a smile on his face. After hearing Li Shiming's request, He agreed without any hesitation. She agreed so quickly that she was afraid that Li Shiming would regret it. In fact, after hearing that brother who mentioned this matter yesterday, she and her two fellow disciples were preparing gifts, hoping to make Yin Shirlan understand the benefits of female cultivators in the sect. I have one more thing to explain. Luanfeng Palace must ensure that Lanner can obtain a red gold phoenix spiritual pet. Li Shiming waved his hand and said, Within 30 years, I can guarantee you that Yin Shirlan will get a red gold phoenix spiritual pet. Brotherly thought for a while and gave an accurate guarantee. Although Li Shiming's requirements are very high, considering Li Shiming's strength and alchemy ability, it is extremely cost effective to use a red gold phoenix to make a deep friendship with him. At this point, Brotherly does not even need to apply to the sect. She has the authority of the red gold phoenix in her hands. In fact, if she applies to the sect, She can let Yin Shirlan get her red gold phoenix spiritual pet earlier. But when facing Li Shiming, she didn't dare to bring up anything she wasn't sure about. On the contrary, Yin Shirlan was given the red gold phoenix spiritual pet in advance afterwards. And she could also get an extra favor from Li Shiming. Yin Shirlan pays homage to Master. Yin Shirlan saw Li Shiming nodding to her. She took a step forward and bowed to Master Li. Shirlan, you need to return to Luanfeng Palace to formally become a disciple. But after I accept this ceremony, you are my disciple. 
Brotherly waited until Ian Sherlon finished the ceremony, then helped Ian Sherlon up and said, Congratulations, senior sister. It seems that I will prepare gifts again when I go back. Brother Jiang chuckled and congratulated. Senior Monthly pulled Ian Sherlon and asked about practicing the Bong Wu Jiu Tian Ju. The other two female senior monks helped supplement the information. But for a while, Li Shiming was left alone. Li Shiming didn't care. He watched Ian Sherlon communicating with Brotherly. And he could feel that Ian Sherlon was very happy. He also had no intention of locking up Ian Sherlon. Although he had become a Taoist couple, he still hoped that Ian Sherlon would have his own circle of friends. Brotherly was also sighing in his heart. When he asked about Ian Sherlon's cultivation, he asked about the fourth grade elixir that Ian Sherlon had taken. Even the core monks of Luanfeng Palace do not have the conditions like Ian Sherlon. After Ian Sherlon was promoted to the nascent soul stage, all the fourth grade elixirs she took for practice were of high quality. This made her cultivation stable after being promoted for one year. Ever since Li Shiming was willing to accept the commission of alchemy, high level elixirs were no longer hard to come by. However, Li Shiming only accepts the refining of fourth grade elixirs from great monks and will not accept the entrustment of fourth grade elixirs in the early and middle stages of Yuanying. This makes the monks in the early and middle stages of Yuanying still unable to access the fourth grade high level elixirs. As a Taoist monk of Li Shiming, a top alchemy master, Yin Sherlon's cultivation resources make monks in the same realm envious and jealous. Several female cultivators talked about the Bong Wu Jiu Tian Ju, about their cultivation, and unknowingly, they also talked about the daily necessities of the female cultivators. Yin Sherlon has never been exposed to this aspect of the world of immortality, and everything is brand new knowledge to her. The Beishu continent is too closed. Not to mention that her freedom was restricted in the Beishu continent. Even if her freedom was not restricted, she would not have access to this knowledge. Chapter 845 Clone Li Shiming is in the Balian Hall of Heaven and Earth. And he is preparing to condense an energy clone today. This is also something that many great monks do. An energy clone can do most of the things that a great monk can do. And can also represent the great monk. There is no secret method for energy clones in the Heavenly Man Art but he has obtained many copies of the secret methods for energy clones. There are complete secret methods for energy clones from Taoist, demonic, and Buddhist cultivators. What he chose was a secret method of cloning from the 10,000 B sect, called Phantom Clone. Phantom Clone is not a top secret method. In fact, all energy clone secret methods ultimately produce similar energy clone effects. Even the monks in the early stage of Yuanin can still use Phantom Clone but the spirit cutout will affect the subsequent cultivation of the monks in the early stage of Yuanying. So there will not be many monks in the early stage of Yuanying who can condense energy clones. The great monks are different. After reaching this realm, their spirit is strong enough. The subsequent realms mainly require an understanding of the rules. The impact of mental cutting is not that big. Of course, the spirit that was cut out can still return to the original body after the energy clone is recovered. But if the energy clone is destroyed outside, then the cut spirit will be lost forever. Li Shiming recalled the content of the secret method of Phantom Clone. Instead of calling on the spirit of his master brain, he chose a brain and cut the spirit of this brain. Precisely because it was not the spirit that cut off his mastermind, he was not affected at all by the most difficult step of cutting the spirit of the Phantom Clone secret method. Under authentic circumstances, when cutting the spirit, even if you are as strong as a great monk, you still need to bear the pain from the soul. This is a kind of pain that goes straight into the soul. Cutting the spirit is equivalent to cutting the soul. The brain transformed by the CPU of Z15 is equivalent to a virtual soul. Cutting the spirit of a brain. As long as it blocks the perception of the brain. It can cut the spirit without any impact. A massive spirit is separated from the brain. This physical separation does not affect its spiritual connection with the brain. Li Shiming summoned the Chaos Spiritual Power from Yuanying's body and introduced it into the spirit. Mixing the chaos spiritual power with the spirit to form an existence similar to Yuanying liquid. He then mobilized the secret technique of phantom clone. And this mixture of chaotic spiritual power and spirit slowly transformed into a human form. Inside the human form, bones, muscles, internal organs, etc. appear one by one. These are naturally composed of a mixture of spiritual power and spirit. But they also have corresponding functions. The spirit Li Shiming cut is one-fifth of a brain. After this part of the spirit is cut, unless the phantom clone is taken back, one-fifth of the spirit is really missing. 
This is also the upper limit of the maximum spirit cutting ability of the Phantom Clone. Secret Method Few great monks can cut so many spirits. You must know that if one-fifth of your energy is cut off, you will lose one-fifth of your total energy, which cannot be made up for. Even if you try your best to improve your spirit, only the other four-fifths will be improved. If a great monk really cuts off one-fifth of his spirit, if the Phantom Clone is destroyed outside, his own strength will suddenly drop a lot. It may even cause permanent damage, which is why no great monk would cut off so many spirits. Li Shiming didn't care. Even if one-fifth of his spirit was lost, the impact on him would be minimal. In front of him, a translucent body almost identical to his appeared. One-fifth of the spirit has an effect at this time. As long as he puts his mind on the cut brain, two visions will appear, one of which is the vision of the phantom clone. Phantom clone looked down at his body. He was not satisfied with this body. With the transformation of chaos spiritual power, part of the chaos spiritual power, was transformed into body refining energy. His body was no longer transparent, but quickly transformed into a physical body. On the surface of the phantom clone, a small amount of chaos spiritual power changed again, forming a robe. Phantom clone rarely uses magic weapons because phantom clone is in a body with full energy. Unless it carries its own magic weapon and turns it into energy, the phantom clone as movement advantage will be lost. Li Shiming thought for a while, took an empty soul crystal ring and threw it to the phantom clone. As for the magic weapon, he found a fourth grade top notch. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, which came from a certain great master of the Yuching sect, the monk's natal magic weapon. After being devoured by the heavenly ghost, the mark of recognition in the natal magic weapon was completely cleaned. He checked the endurance of the phantom clone again and inserted the magical runes of divine foot power and Thunder and Lightning Rule Seal into the body of the Phantom Clone. This is already the maximum endurance of the Phantom Clone. If there is one more rune mark, this Phantom Clone will collapse. This is good for him. Phantom Clone is composed of one-fifth of the spirit and Chaos Spiritual Power. Only with the strength of his spirit and the particularity of Chaos Spiritual Power can it accommodate a magical rune with a rule imprint. You must know that even great monks Many great monks only have one rule mark in their nascent soul. The soul crystal ring was converted into energy. And the phantom clone took the fourth grade top level. Sky strike thunder hammer into the soul crystal ring. This allowed the phantom clone to carry the sky strike thunder hammer magic weapon that could not be energized. Condensing the phantom clone. Li Shiming took the phantom clone out of the heavenly man cave and appeared in his own cave. Now, he no longer needs to be careful when using the Heavenly Man Cave. Even if there are monks who know the existence of the Heavenly Man Cave, they would not dare to snatch it from him. Rather than snatching Li Shiming's cave, it would be more appropriate to snatch the Cave of Dizongmen. Li Shiming's combat power alone can equal the combined combat power of multiple large sections. It is not cost-effective to rob him. Lord, you're back from your master. Li Shiming greeted Yin Shirlan with a smile when he saw Yin Shirlan, who had just entered the cave. These days, Yin Shirlan spends most of the day with his master, brotherly, but he comes back on time every day and shares what he has learned with his master. Shimming, why are there two of you? Yin Shirlan was startled by the two Li Shimming and pointed at the two figures in surprise and asked. With her eyes, she couldn't tell which one was Li Shimming's true body. It's not like she didn't know anything before. In the process of studying with brotherly, she learned a lot about the nascent soul stage. She also knew that the clones existed. But when she saw the two Li Shimmings, she did not recognize one of them as a clone. This is my energy clone! After a while, I plan to retreat and practice, and the clone can accompany you! Li Shimming explained after making the phantom clone become more transparent, just like an ordinary clone. It's too dangerous to refine energy clones! Take it back quickly! Yin Shirlan became anxious when she heard this. She knew from Master Li that energy clones need to cut off the spirit. Cutting the spirit will affect the monks. Even if it is great monks also need to pay a certain price. I know in my heart that the 10,000 bees sect also needs clones to deal with some things. Besides, we said we would never separate again. Li Shiming said with a smile. Master wants me to go to Luanfeng Palace in two months. And it will take at least three months before I can come back. Yin Shirlan thought of something important and said with some reluctance. You happen to have a clone to accompany you. So I feel more at ease. Li Shiming said with a smile. 
A large part of the reason why he refined the Phantom Clone was for Yin Shirlan. Yin Shirlan worshipped in Luanfeng Palace and always needed to go to Zhongzhou Continent. Li Shiming was not allowed to enter the Zhongzhou Continent. He was worried that if he entered the Zhongzhou Continent, he would be targeted by some powerful people, or even powerful people would directly capture him. But there is no need to worry when the Phantom Clone goes there. The monks who have the strength and confidence to capture him will naturally see the origin of the Phantom Clone. As for Yin Shirlan's safety, with the great monks from Wanfeng Palace accompanying him and his Phantom Clone. There are not many monks who can threaten Yin Shirlan with this kind of strength. A monk with such strength would not do such a thing. As long as Li Shiming is still alive, if he really wants to take action against Li Shiming's Taoist companions, he needs to consider the revenge from Li Shiming. A terrifying existence that can kill two great monks at the top. No monk can suppress Li Shiming unless the powerful one comes out. Just three days after Li Shiming returned, Senior monk Lu Zian, the manager of Dongchi Continent of Zhongzhou Trading Company, rushed over. Li Shiming did not send the message to the great monk Lu Zian. He originally planned to contact the great monk Lu Zian after some time. And he happened to be resting during this time. Unexpectedly, the intelligence capabilities of Zhongzhou Trading Company were really strong. Only three days after Li Shiming came back, the great monk Lu Zian knew about it and rushed over. Li Shiming even suspected that when he came back the same day, the great monk Lu Ziyun received the news and only gave him three days to deal with his affairs. I heard that fellow Daoist Li and fellow Daoist Yin have become Taoist couples. So I'm here to congratulate them. Senior brother Lu Ziyun couldn't say that he was here to let Li Shiming start the alchemy furnace. So he held out a jade box and congratulated them. I didn't expect that my incident would alarm fellow Daoist Lu. Li Shiming said with a faint smile. He signaled to Yin Shirlan, who took the jade box with a slight smile. Since Yin Shirlan became the hostess here, Li Shiming has handed over the daily affairs of the cave to Yin Shirlan. Look at the flowers everywhere in the cave. These are all arranged by Yin Shirlan. She goes to Bawa Peak every day to choose the most beautiful flowers for the cave. With Yin Shirlan, this cave has come to life. And Li Shiming will be in a great mood every time he smells the fragrance of flowers. Yin Shirlan opened the jade box. And Li Shiming glanced at the side and found that the gift in the jade box was the resource of the early 4th grade red gold phoenix. Li Shiming couldn't help but marvel at how powerful the intelligence network of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank was. This gift was prepared for Yin Shirlan. Although Yin Shirlan has not yet obtained the red gold phoenix, one thing Palace has already agreed. And the red gold phoenix spiritual pet is indispensable. Although this gift is not very valuable, it is very thoughtful. Fellow Daoist Lu, you are determined, Li Shiming said with a smile. As long as fellow Daoist Li and fellow Daoist Yin like each other. In fact, if fellow Daoist Yin like spiritual pets, our Zhongzhou Commercial Bank can help keep an eye on it. Senior monk Lu Ziyun laughed when he heard Li Shiming's words. Thank you Daoist Lu for your concern. I think Wanfeng Palace will take care of the matter of spiritual pets. Li Shiming waved his hand and said, Li Shiming is very clear about the relationship with Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. He will not deepen the relationship with Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. The relationship between them is that of commercial cooperation. He really understands the virtues of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. If one day, a powerful person pays a sufficient price, Zhongzhou Commercial Bank will never care about betraying him again. Fellow Daoist Li, I wonder if you have had time to refine elixirs recently. Senior Monk Lu Zian finally couldn't help but ask the question he was most concerned about. He knew that refining alchemy required full concentration. Now that Li Shiming had a Taoist companion, it was hard to say whether he would be interested in refining elixir. The refining of the great monk's elixir took almost 30 days on Li Shiming's side. And based on the alchemy commissions currently accumulated by the great monks in Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, Li Shiming is afraid that it will take several years to continuously refine the alchemy. I need your trading company to exchange the alchemy reward for the cultivation treasures used in the early stage of nascent soul. If this condition is met, I can immediately accept the alchemy commission. Li Shiming replied with a smile. Cultivation treasures refer to special resources that can be quickly absorbed by nascent soul cultivators. When Li Shiming got the purple thunder plasma and sword spiritual liquid, they both belong to this type of treasure. However, these types of treasures are extremely rare. They are the top resources used by superpowers to cultivate their own core monks. Such treasures rarely appear in outside world. Li Shiming needs this kind of treasure because of Yin Shirlan, the higher Yin Shirlan's realm the stronger her self-preservation ability. And her longevity will increase accordingly. The most important thing is that with Yin Shirlan's current state, 
Li Shiming has to suppress his aura at all times in the cave. If the great monk's aura is not careful, it will cause harm to Yin Shirlan. Yin Shirlan stood quietly aside. Although she didn't speak, she couldn't hide the tenderness in her eyes. The days with Li Shiming were even more beautiful than her best dreams during the hundred years of being trapped in Beishu Continent. I really envy your deep love as a couple. Although cultivation treasures are rare, I will still try my best to get them. But it will take at least half a year. Senior brother Lu Zian said with a smile. I believe fellow Daoist Lu. We can complete the alchemy commission in the next time. Li Shiming did not ask for more. He nodded and said, These are 26 copies of the Great Monk's Elixir. They are the most urgent batch. Please help me. Fellow Daoist Li. Master Lu Zian was relieved when Li Shiming heard this. He took out the mustard ring that he had prepared long ago without any courtesy. Said in his mouth, Chapter 846 going out. Li Shiming stood up, and said Brother Lu Zian away. Just as Brother Lu Zian disappeared into the distance, Li Shiming's body became slightly transparent. He looked at his body helplessly. When getting along with Yin Shirlan, this phantom clone was required by Yin Shirlan to be in this transparent state. Because even Yin Shirlan couldn't tell the difference between the phantom clone and the original body. Even Lu Zian, the great monk, did not realize that Li Shiming who received him was a clone. It can only be said that the strength of the great monk Lu Ziyun is really average. According to Li Shiming's estimation, probably any monk whose strength is close to the peak of the great monk can sense the difference between the clones. He gently put away the mustard seed ring in his hand. And the mustard seed ring disappeared. The mustard seed ring appeared in the Balian Hall of Tianren Cave, where Li Shiming's body was practicing. Li Shiming sent out a spiritual consciousness and put the mustard seed ring into the computer room, where five fourth grade alchemy furnaces were ready and ready to be used for elixir making. Doing these things does not affect his normal cultivation. The heavenly art is swallowing a huge amount of spiritual energy, and at the same time absorbing the energy of five great monks advanced spiritual pills. He knows very well that the reason for his relatively peaceful life now is his strong combat power. Now that Yin Shirlan is accompanying him, he must ensure Yin Shirlan's safety, which also requires strong combat power as a guarantee. Although his strength is absolutely invincible in the realm of a great monk, there is still a half-step of great power and great power above the great monk. Even though he has killed the half-step power, it does not mean that his combat power is stronger than the half-step power. On the contrary, in the process of fighting against the half-step almighty, he didn't even have any room to resist. If he hadn't had a strong physical body and the magical power of Inatimu to quickly recover from injuries, he might have been banned by the half-step power. Li Shiming doesn't want any force to break up his life. He now has a phantom clone, accompanying Yin Shirlan. The phantom clone contains one of his brains and can be inseparable from Yin Shirlan. His true form can be practiced while refining elixirs, and it will not affect the growth of his cultivation. The happy life passed quickly, and Li Shiming and Yin Shirlan lived in the 10,000 B sect for several months in the blink of an eye. On this day, it was time for Brother Li to take Yin Shirlan away. Yin Shirlan and the Phantom Clone boarded the flying boat of Luanfeng Palace with their five followers. Friend Daoist Li, every time I see your clone, I think it's your real body here, Brother Li said with some envy when he saw the Phantom Clone. As a relatively powerful monk, and having dealt with Li Shiming's Phantom Clone many times, and knowing the details of the Phantom Clone, she was even more surprised by this Phantom Clone. Energy clones have always been used by great monks to help them deal with some affairs. There is still a big gap between energy clones and real great monks. Think about it. An energy clone can only have one-tenth to one-fifth of the strength of the great monk. This kind of strength is naturally incomparable with that of a great monk of the same level. But the strength of Li Shiming's phantom clone in front of him is not much different from that of a great lay cultivator. In the perception of great monk Li, the strength of the phantom clone is almost the same as that of an early-stage great monk. In addition, the phantom clone is Lei Xiu. So its real combat power is comparable to the strength of an ordinary great monk in the middle stage. Brotherly took another look at the five followers following Yin Shirlan. These five followers were very mysterious. But if she had not made a mistake in judgment, these should be Li Shiming's five late-stage golden corpses. Li Shiming's possession of five late-stage golden corpses is not a secret among superpowers. Li Shiming didn't care about the concealment of the information about the five late-stage golden corpses. But very few monks knew the true situation of the five late-stage golden corpses. If Brother Li had not known the details of the five late-stage golden corpses before, he would have thought that these were five ordinary monks. 
she shook her head in her mind, wondering how careful Li Shiming was, sending so much combat power to protect Yin Shirlan. Friend Daoisli, my clone strength is limited, so I still need to rely more on the prestige of Wanfeng Palace, Li Shiming said with a smile. He didn't want Brotherly to think that he didn't believe in the strength of Wanfeng Palace. Although this was the case, he had too many enemies in Zhongzhou Continent and in the entire world of immortality. Fellow Daoisli, please rest assured, Wanfeng Palace is not that easy to challenge. Brotherly felt extremely comfortable when he heard this and replied with a smile. Wanfeng Palace may not be considered a top rank superpower, but when it comes to the network of relationships it can build, Wanfeng Palace is definitely ranked first. Even though Wanfeng Palace rarely participates in the competition for resources in the world of immortality, no one should touch the resources of Wanfeng Palace. Because the female cultivators married in Wanfeng Palace have Taoist companions all over the various forces in the entire world of immortality, Wanfeng Palace can mobilize a terrifyingly powerful force at any time if needed. Just likely shimming at this time, Yin Shirlan has joined Wanfeng Palace. Although there are many interests involved, after Yin Shirlan has obtained a lot of benefits from Wanfeng Palace, what kind of trouble will Wanfeng Palace really encounter? Li Shiming absolutely cannot stand idly by. Several people entered the flying boat. It was a top-grade fourth-grade flying boat with decorations that female cultivators liked from the inside out. After the guests and hosts were seated, although Li Shiming came as a phantom clone, Brother Li still prepared a treat for him. Li Shiming did not participate in the conversation between Yin Shirlan and Master Li. As in every conversation, the master and disciple first started with cultivation and then slowly talked about the trivial matters of the female cultivator's life. Li Shiming began to study his phantom clone, who knows that Li Shiming has enough brains, and he can be distracted and do many things at the same time. During this time, he conducted research on phantom clone and achieved good results. The current phantom clone. If a monk can break through the energy of this clone to form flesh and blood, they can find that there is a nascent soul in the phantom clone. Of course, this nascent soul will not be the real nascent soul and it is impossible for him to separate one of the five nascent souls into a phantom clone. Although he can really do this as long as he is willing, the chaos spiritual power and spirit from the same source can accommodate the original nascent soul living in it. The nascent soul in the phantom clone is a nascent soul that he carved using 0.5 nanometers in the computer room space based on his own nascent soul. Since the mixture of chaos spiritual power and spirit in the phantom clone is not much different from the nascent soul liquid of the nascent soul. He put the phantom clone into the machine room space for a period of time. And in the phantom clone, a yuanian was engraved inside. This clone nascent soul is very different from the real nascent soul. But it is essentially similar to the real nascent soul. He transferred the phantom clone s. Divine foot power, magical runes and lightning rule seal to the clone nascent soul, making the clone nascent soul more like the real nascent soul. But this clone nascent soul cannot leave the phantom clone. He has tried it before. And the clone nascent soul will collapse directly as soon as it leaves the phantom clone. This makes the clone nascent soul seem to be not much different from the one without the clone nascent soul. But this clone nascent soul is the biggest improvement in the secret method of phantom clone. No matter what kind of energy clone it is, it has a huge trouble. That is, the energy in the energy clone's body is extremely limited. If it is used beyond a certain limit, the energy clone cannot be maintained. In addition, the energy consumed by the energy clone cannot be recovered by itself, and it can only rely on the input of energy from the main body. This makes the normal energy clone, after leaving the main body, no longer able to consume intense energy. Otherwise, the energy clone cannot be maintained, and the monk's spirit remaining in the energy clone body will disappear. Although the clone Yuanin created by Li Shiming does not have many abilities of the real Yuanin, it does have one of the most special abilities. That is, the clone Yuanin can absorb and store energy. Even the clone Yuanin can restore the energy in the body more quickly through the operation of the technique. The clone nascent soul makes the phantom clone approximately equal to a real great monk who can cast magic weapons, recover spiritual power on his own, and use magical powers and lighting techniques. The flying boat with the Wanfeng Palace mark on it did not encounter any trouble during its voyage from the eastern Qi continent to the Zhongzhou continent. Even if the Great Monthly did not deliberately speed up, he arrived at the Zhongzhou continent in one month. Brotherly felt extremely bad during this month. Anyone who spends a month spending time with a couple who look at each other tenderly and show intimacy all the time will not have a good experience. In the flying boat, 
The five late-stage golden corpses did not move at all. They stood on the deck of the flying boat and did not move for a month. That is to say, the three of them, Brotherly, Phantom Clone, and Ian Sherwan. At the beginning of the voyage, Brotherly also talked with Ian Sherwan, but most of the time was spent with Lee Shimmings, Phantom Clone, and Ian Sherwan. Ahead is the mountain gate of Wanfeng Palace. You can see it after passing through a space barrier, Brotherly reminded aloud. Yin Shirlan looked forward with curious eyes. After entering the Zhongzhou continent, she discovered the difference between this place and the East Qi continent. The aura of Zhongzhou continent is richer than that of Dongqi continent, and there are also more monks here. Along the way, she met many monks, many of whom were nascent soul monks. The early nascent soul monks, who are at the top of their strength in the Beishu continent and are called ancestors are just like ordinary monks in the Zhongzhou continent or the nourishment of richer spiritual energy makes the scenery of Zhongzhou continent more charming. From time to time, you can see the fantastic and steep valleys, peaks, rivers and lakes. The flying boat passed through a space barrier. Yin Shirwan knew that it was a cave sky barrier. There was also such a barrier outside the 10,000 beast sect. As he passed through the space barrier, the scenery in front of him suddenly changed. The space barrier of Wanfeng Palace has the effect of isolating and hiding making it impossible to observe the inside of the cave barrier from the outside. This was also the first time that Li Shiming saw the mountain gate of Wanfeng Palace. He saw peaks one after another, with white clouds suspended on the mountainside. Every mountain here has its own characteristics, as if all the scenery in the world has been moved here. The cranes were flying through the clouds, making a cry from time to time. And this is only the periphery of Wanfeng Palace, not the real mountain gate. Brotherly deliberately slowed down the speed of the flying boat so that Yin Shirlan and Li Shiming could watch the scenery here carefully. This is an environment created by a great master of Wanfeng Palace thousands of years ago using special methods. In terms of scenery, it definitely ranks first in the world, she introduced proudly. Yin Shirlan's eyes were shining. The beauty here was very in line with her aesthetics. And many beautiful poems surged in her heart. Li Shiming just watched. With a different view in his heart. He has seen the mountain gates of many sects. And he does not believe that those superpowers do not have the means to make the outside of their own mountain gates extremely beautiful. Yes, his evaluation of the scenery here is that it is beautiful. Which is not a particularly good evaluation for the scenery. Most sects would not waste this vast land within the space barrier outside their mountain gate like this. This place shares the spiritual energy of the mountain gate. And the richness of the spiritual energy is many times stronger than the outside environment. The most important thing is that it is extremely safe here and is within a space barrier. Even the climate can be controlled. Therefore, this vast land should be arranged as a spiritual field. Arranging such a large place into a spiritual field can at least solve most of the resources of low-level monks in the superpower. And a large number of spiritual fields gathered together under long-term nourishment will produce a small number of high-level spiritual fields. High-level spiritual fields can provide certain resources for early and middle nascent soul monks. These resources are extremely important resource guarantees for many superpowers. Look at Wanfeng Palace. The place where such good resources are generated has been laid out as a landscape. Of course, Li Shiming only dared to think this in his heart. After seeing the proud look on Brother Li's face, if he really expressed his thoughts, he was afraid that Brother Li would fall out on the spot. Fellow Daoist Li, Wanfeng Palace is a female cultivator sect. Although you came here in the form of a clone this time, there is not much difference between your clone and the real body. Luofeng Palace will have some tests for the uncle who comes here. Brotherly turned his head and said to Li Shiming when the flying boat approached the mountain gate of Luofeng Palace. There was a smile on her lips. As if this was something extremely fun. Yin Shirlan was about to say something to her. But she waved her hand to stop him. Shirlan, there is no need to worry. This is the tradition of Luofeng Palace. Fellow Daoistly will not be put in any danger. And considering that fellow Daoistly came as a clone, I have already informed the palace, and they will pay attention to reducing the energy of the clone. Consumption. Brotherly explained with a smile. Chapter 847 Wanfeng. Yin Shirlan's attention was attracted by the mountain gate of Wanfeng Palace. The Wanfeng Palace in front of her was a palace complex appearing on the sea of clouds. This palace shone with golden light under the sunlight. And from time to time, female cultivators in colorful dresses flew out of various palaces. The gate of Wanfeng Palace is like a picture scroll. And the content of the picture scroll is fairyland. Although Li Shiming's phantom clone cannot use spiritual eyes, 
he can see more things than Ian Sherlon in the realm of a great monk. Under his observation, he could see that the Sea of Clouds was a large formation, which held up all the palaces in Wanfen Palace. Of course, this is not all. He can sense that this Sea of Clouds formation is constantly absorbing the energy around it. And what is gestating inside the Sea of Clouds formation? All palaces are perfectly integrated with the Sea of Clouds formation, forming a complete energy cycle. This is what he can see from the outside. There are more situations that he has to be inside to be able to observe clearly. A long cloud platform protruded from the Sea of Clouds in Wanfen Palace. Brotherly stopped the flying boat on the cloud platform. And she got off the flying boat first. Lee Shimming, Yin Shirlan, and five late-stage golden corpses stepped off the flying boat. The platform under your feet is very strange. It feels loose and soft when you step on it. But it can hold up everyone's body and prevent them from falling into it. Although Lee Shimming and the five late-stage golden corpses can fly, he also understands the principle of doing as the Romans do in the countryside. Since Wanfeng Palace allows everyone to board the cloud platform, it does not want everyone to fly. Sherlon, you come with me first. Brotherly waved to Yin Sherlon and then said to Lee Shimming, Friendly, the clouds and mist will separate a passage. The test is in the passage. Once you pass the passage, you can enter. Already. Yin Sherlon looked at Lee Shimming, who smiled and waved his hand to her, indicating for her to go in first. Brotherly took Yin Shirwan into the Sea of Clouds, and his figure was separated by the Sea of Clouds and disappeared. Li Shiming was not in a hurry. This was a female cultivator sect, and some of the rules were normal. He could even feel that there were many eyes peering at this side, and most of these eyes were observing this side through the formation. This is Li Shirjin. She looks really young. Didn't you say it was a clone? But it doesn't look like a clone. And Li said it was a clone. It can't be wrong. It is said that apart from his great power, his combat power is unrivaled in the world. It's a pity that he's a clone and can't see him take action. Voices spread among the sea of clouds. They were all voices of female cultivators. Some were gentle. Some were sweet. Some were charming. And some were gentle. How's the arrangement going? A gentle voice sounded. Master Gu, it has been arranged. It is just too difficult to arrange this formation using a large formation. This is the formation master of Wanfeng Palace replied. This is an astonishing genius. If the arrangement is simple, he will look down on our Wanfeng Palace. Master Gu Palace said calmly. While Li Shiming was waiting, the sea of clouds in front began to disperse. And a 30 meter wide passage appeared. Before he could walk towards the passage, cloud pillars erected from the ground formed by the sea of clouds. In just three breaths, the 30 meter wide passage turned into a forest. A strange look flashed in Li Shiming's eyes. He did not expect that the test of Wanfeng Palace would be the formation. But it's normal to think about it again. He is an energy clone. If it was really going to be a battle, Wanfeng Palace would not have thought that his phantom clone could restore energy and cause the phantom clone to collapse directly. It's not friendship but enmity. He looked at the forest in front of him. If the other party didn't let him see the rising cloud pillars before setting up the formation, maybe he would have used a little more time. But the process of those cloud pillars rising exposes the nodes of this formation. This may not be of much use to other formation masters. But to him, it is equivalent to giving the best calculation data for the natal magic weapon Z-15. He passed the data he saw with his eyes to the main body through the phantom clone. And the main body's natal magic weapon Z-15 gave the detailed information of the formation in only two breaths. He walked toward the forest. And when he approached the forest, he waved his hand and a piece of spiritual consciousness fell into the forest, gently pulling the spiritual power lines on several nodes of the formation's spiritual power lines. His walking did not slow down. When he reached the forest formation, the forest formation that had just been set up disappeared as soon as he stepped into it. There was only an empty passage in front of him, and there was nothing stopping him from moving forward. What's going on? Why is the formation gone? Palace Master Gu asked in confusion. It's strange. Isn't it said that it's a clone? Why is it so easy for a clone to break the formation? The formation master also said to himself in confusion. Is it because the formation is not set up well? Even if we attack forcefully, we shouldn't be able to break the formation so quickly. Palace Master Gu had doubts about the ability of the master of formation. So she asked aloud. Master Gu, this formation was recently developed by me. There will definitely be no problems. His level of formation is so high that no formation master in the world of immortal cultivation can compare with it. The formation master was helpless. 
He shook his head and replied. As a formation master, he knew how rarely Shimming's operation was just now. For breaking the formation. Forcibly breaking the formation is the simplest way. Using strong strength to violently destroy the nodes of the formation can be done as long as the strength is strong enough. Using technology to crack it is a completely different matter. It requires in-depth research on the formation and a lot of analysis and calculations to find out how the formation operates and discover the nodes of the formation. Then use the mastery of the formation nodes to use special means to cause energy conflicts in the formation, causing loopholes in the formation to appear. Li Shiming's method was more direct. Going directly into the formation and activating the formation nodes to make the formation disappear. Even she, a formation master who arranges formations, cannot do this kind of cracking method. The amount of calculations required is too great. This method of breaking formations only exists in theory. Send two red gold phoenixes over and try to stop him no matter what. Otherwise it will be too embarrassing. Palace Master Gu thought for a moment and ordered. Master Gu, he is a clone. Don't get into trouble. A female cultivator reminded. Just be careful. Palace Master Gu is not too worried about this. As long as the red gold phoenix, he sends out his handle properly. Nothing will happen to him. This passage is not too long. And Li Shiming can already see the steps ahead and a palace above the steps. At this moment, two red gold phoenixes flew out from the sea of clouds and swooped towards him. These two red gold phoenixes are both in the middle stage of the fourth level. And their combined strength is enough to stop any great monk. Li Shiming's pace slowed down. And the five late stage golden corpses behind him quickened their pace, protecting him among them. In the later stage, the golden corpses flashed with light and a full set of armor appeared on their bodies. The two red gold phoenixes just wanted to force Li Shiming to stop moving forward at first. This was the mission they received, and they did not need to carry out any attacks. But the five late-stage golden corpses wearing armor made the two red gold phoenixes feel provoked. The five late-stage golden corpses walked forward together with Li Shiming, not taking the threat of the two red gold phoenixes to heart. The two red gold phoenixes were no longer polite, and both let out a phoenix cry. Then the feathers on the two red gold phoenixes turned into flames and fell towards Li Shiming. The five late-stage golden corpses did not take action. They just protected Li Shiming and allowed the flames to fall on the defensive shield. The most terrifying thing about the flames of the red gold phoenix is that it burns the soul. This soul-burning effect can easily penetrate the defense when the defense is insufficient. However, the defensive shields of the five late-stage golden corpses were extremely strong. The flames of the two red gold phoenixes fell on them, and were completely blocked. The two red gold phoenixes became angry. Their cries became more urgent. And flames began to burn on their bodies. And they transformed into flame forms. The red gold phoenix spit out balls of flames at the defensive shield. These flames were more powerful than the flames transformed by its feathers. Even the great monks did not dare to allow the red gold phoenix to attack. The bloodline of these two red gold phoenixes is extremely rich. And the flame they use is the same. Fire of Nirvana! As Xiaofeng possessing terrifying lethality. When she first saw the two red gold phoenixes getting angry, the Valley Palace Master was about to recall the red gold phoenixes. But what happened next made her stop. Li Shiming had a smile on his face. He was very satisfied with the armor on the later golden corpse. Five sets of armor took him almost more than a year. Of course, in the later period, the golden corpse had not only five sets of armor, but also five bows. In fact, refining the five bows is not that difficult. In order to increase the power of the five bows, each bow is engraved with 800 million power runes and 400 million charge runes. That is to say, in the later period, the golden corpse does not need to recognize the magic weapon as its owner. Although the five bows have reached the level of spiritual treasures, the quality of the five bows cannot be perceived as long as they are not stimulated. All five bows are used to attack Ling Mao from a distance. As long as the arrangements are made before the attack to prevent the leakage of breath, the Lingbao bow will not leak out. The reason why it is said that five bows are easy is because there is no need to worry about the quality of the five bows being leaked. However, refining armor is difficult for Li Shiming. If it is only refined into the top quality of the fourth grade, even if it is a weapon of calamity, its defensive power will not reach a higher level. If you want to defend yourself against an attack by someone like a peak monk, you need a Lingbao level defense level. Finally, he came up with a solution which was to break the armor into many parts. A piece of armor is divided into seven components. Head armor, breast armor, left arm armor, right arm armor, half body armor, left leg armor, and right leg armor. 
Each part is engraved with 300 million solid runes and 300 million a defensive rune. And these seven components can be connected together to form a combined magic weapon. When the combined magic weapon is formed, this combined magic weapon is a spiritual treasure. And it also has 2.1 billion solid runes and 2.1 billion defenses. Rune Super Defense Treasure This is also the most powerful spiritual treasure that Li Shiming has ever refined. If it were to be revealed, it would probably shock a large group of powerful people. The five late-stage golden corpses now do not adopt the ultimate defensive form. They only use the seven components of the armor to work independently, to form a defensive shield. Even so, any one of the seven armor components is at the level of a fourth-grade top-level weapon, and is only one step away from a spiritual treasure. With the defensive power of the five late-stage golden corpses, coupled with this set of extremely defensive armor, this was the confidence he dared to let the Phantom Clone protect Yin Shirlan when she came to Zhongzhou Continent. Amid the frenzied attacks of the two red gold phoenixes, Li Shiming stepped onto the steps. When his feet came into contact with the steps, the attack of the two red gold phoenixes immediately stopped, and they turned around and flew away with two unwilling phoenix cries. Li Shiming looked up and saw the plaque on the palace in front of him. The name on it was Fingqi Palace. The phoenix of the phoenix is the male, and the phoenix is the female. This Fingqi Palace should be the palace for entertaining male cultivators. Arriving at the gate of Fingqi Hall, the Vermilion Gate made a spiritual with separated to the left and right. Palace Master Gujio, on behalf of Wanfeng Palace, welcomes fellow Daoist Li Shurjin and Li. Palace Master Gu walked out of Fingqi Palace. She was dressed in plain palace clothes without any makeup. But she was very heroic. She bowed and saluted Li Shiming. I've met Master Gu. Li Shiming returned the salute. Hall Master Gu made an invitation gesture and introduced Li Shiming into the hall. In the main hall, Great Monk Li and Yin Shirlan were already here. The brief separation from Li Shiming and meeting again made Yin Shirlan look forward to it. She seemed to have a lot to say to Li Shiming. Li Shiming smiled at her. Li Shiming knew her well and must have wanted to share what happened during this period with him. The previous test made fellow Daoist Li laugh. I didn't expect that fellow Daoist Li was extremely powerful in both formation and strength. No wonder he is called the number one great monk. He is truly worthy of the title. Palace Master Gu said with a chuckle. When Li Shiming heard this, he felt uncomfortable. Looking at Brother Li's expression again, Brother Li no longer had the expression of wanting to see his joke before, but replaced it with a look of helplessness. This made him startled. Shouldn't the test be as easy as possible? Master Gu, I can only be considered a beginner in the formation. As for my strength, I don't rely on myself but borrow external forces. In any case, he was more modest. Li Shiming responded with a smile. The two red gold phoenixes are a bit too much. In fact, I told you beforehand that it was just a test. I didn't expect them to use their full strength. I have already locked them up to await punishment. Palace Master Gu's expression has improved a lot. And Li Shiming's attitude is good. She also spoke tactfully. That doesn't have to be the case. I still understand the red gold phoenix. It's normal for the proud phoenix to have a little temper. Li Shiming waved his hand and said. The atmosphere of the conversation became normal. And Palace Master Gu didn't talk much. After some pleasantries, he revealed his arrangements for Li Shiming. On the second floor of Fingqi Palace, a residence was prepared for Li Shiming. According to the Master of Gu Palace, all male cultivators who come to Luanfeng Palace can only stop here. Except for Fingqi Palace. Other places are not specially invited, and male cultivators are not allowed to enter. Yin Shirlan can come over at any time. So although the two are separated, they will not be separated for long. Chapter 848 Ceremony Li Shiming originally thought that he came as a phantom clone, and not in his true body. So he would not attract much attention. But he miscalculated his influence. In addition to his great power, he was the most powerful monk who could walk outside, and an alchemy master who could stably refine the high-quality elixir of a great monk. Either of his two identities is enough to affect the situation in the world of immortality. His powerful combat power allows him to compete with the external combat power of any superpower. And his alchemy ability can even change the future of a superpower. So on the second day after he moved into Fingqi Palace, a superpowerful monk came to visit. Even if this is Luanfeng Palace, Luanfeng Palace cannot stop the enthusiasm of these superpowers. Originally, some superpowers sent great monks to the eastern Qi continent. But unfortunately, it was not easy to meet Li Shiming. At most, they would only meet with the great monks of the 10,000 Beasts sect. 
now that there is an opportunity to meet Li Shiming directly. The superpowers will not let it go. Although Li Shiming only came with an energy clone. In a sense, the energy clone is enough to represent Li Shiming's identity. First, the great monks from the Zhongzhou continent came to visit. Of course, the Wanfeng Palace still did not let those great monks, who were born below the major sections. Only the super-powerful monks had the opportunity to enter the Wanfeng Palace. This time Wanfeng Palace got a lot of favors just from visiting Li Shiming. It can be said that it made a lot of money. Li Shiming didn't care. As his reputation became more and more famous, he couldn't always rely on Zhongzhou Commercial Bank to receive alchemy commissions. Now he can completely organize his own connections. The hall on the first floor of Fingqi Palace became his temporary reception room. And Luanfeng Palace also prepared enough fourth grade hospitality items for this purpose. Li Shiming was not polite to Luanfeng Palace. He understood that Luanfeng Palace had received a lot of benefits from him. And it was appropriate for him to give out this small amount of hospitality. In the days that followed, he met a great monk who was either familiar or unfamiliar. It is said that it is familiar. But in fact this sense of familiarity does not come from the main body. But from the clone Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba is a monk from the superpower sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion. And has many more opportunities to deal with other superpowers than his main body. Li Shiming's most dealings with superpowers were in battles. And most of the superpower monks he fought with had already fallen in his hands. Twenty days later. Before Yin Shirlan's initiation ceremony officially began. Li Shiming had already met with all the superpowerful monks in Zhongzhou Continent. These superpowers also knew that he came here as an energy clone. They did not directly talk about the Alchemy Commission, but discussed the alliance with the 10,000 Beast Sect. Moreover, the conditions for the alliance between the superpowers and the 10,000 Beast Sect were very loose, which gave the 10,000 Beast Sect an advantage in many aspects. Li Shiming also has no exclusive authority. Any discussions between the Phantom Clone and the superpowers will be informed by the main body through Senior Monk Luo Pei to Monk Hu and monk who and other monk of the 10,000 beasts sect will make a decision after discussion. Speaking of the great monk Luo Pei, in a few years, the huge body of the heavenly ghost has been controlled, and the surplus spiritual energy has been controlled. At least the heavenly ghost will not be unable to control the great monk Luo Pei because of his huge body. The phantom clone left Li Shiming's side, and even the five late stage clones also left together. Li Shiming was practicing in seclusion again and could only communicate with the outside world through the great monk Luo Pei. Li Shiming's phantom clone did not wear a robe made of energy. Instead, he wore a very formal pure white robe. There was a small Luanfeng Palace mark on the chest of the pure white robe. This pure white robe was sent by Luanfeng Palace. It is the identity mark of the female monks of Luanfeng Palace. You don't need to wear it normally. But in important ceremonies of Luanfeng Palace, you need to wear such a robe to represent your identity. Of the master of Gu Palace took Li Shiming away from Fingqi Palace and headed towards the main hall inside Luanfeng Palace. Fellow Daoist Li, this is the Luanfeng Hall, and it is only open to male cultivators during important ceremonies. Hall Master Gu introduced Li Shiming with a smile. Her attitude towards Li Shiming has changed a lot. She was still angry because Li Shiming easily broke the test she carefully prepared. But during these 20 days, every superpower who came to visit Li Shiming needed to get permission from her which gave her a lot of benefits and allowed her to see Li Shiming's terrible influence. View has greatly changed. A capable monk is naturally different from an ordinary monk. I didn't expect that it would take so long to prepare for Lanar to worship at Wanfeng Palace, Li Shiming said with a smile. According to Brother Li, the general initiation ceremony only requires a few days of preparation. The main purpose is to give Yin Shirlan time to purify her mind and teach her something she needs to know during the ceremony. But this time, it took a full 20 days for the ceremony to begin. Which made Li Shiming very strange. This is because fellow Daoist Li has too much influence. Yin Shirlan's initiation ceremony received many applications. And the palace needed to deal with these matters. Which delayed the time. Palace Master Gu shook his head helplessly and explained. While he was talking. He had already arrived at the entrance of Wanfeng Hall. And the Master of Gu Hall led Li Shiming into the gate. At this time. The Wanfeng Hall was divided into left and right sides and all the male cultivators on the left were male cultivators. Although the robes worn by these male cultivators were different, they all had the Wanfeng Palace mark on their chests. The female cultivators on the other side are all Wanfeng Palace nuns wearing palace attire. Among the male cultivators, he recognized nearly ten of the senior monks who had come to visit Li Shiming, although he had never seen the other senior monks. 
it could be seen from where they stood that the status of these senior monks was not at all comparable to that of the senior monks. The super-powerful monk, he recognized, was low. Hello, fellow Dawesley. I am Neil Huan of the Shooting Sun sect. Guiyuan sect Mo Bao has met fellow Dawesley. Feiyu sect Ma Chu has met fellow Dawesley. Some enthusiastic monks took the initiative to greet Li Shiming, while some more reserved monks smiled at Li Shiming. But the male monks here all know very well that the purpose of their coming here is to get acquainted with Li Shiming and let Li Shiming know that they are also the uncles of Luanfeng Palace. Making friends in this capacity provides an entry point for deeper friendships. Li Shiming returned the favor one by one, and with the recommendation of all the great monks. He was placed first on the left. He also wanted to be polite. But the problem was that no senior monk would stand above him. If he was really too polite, he might be afraid that the male senior monks here would line up from where he was standing, forming a strange formation. Scene. Master Feng Palace has arrived. Following an announcement, a figure flew into the main entrance of Wanfeng Hall, and a powerful aura enveloped the hall. Peak Great Monk. Li Shiming since the realm of the Phoenix Palace Master. No superpower should be underestimated. The Phoenix Palace Master of Luanfeng Palace is not simple. Although he cannot judge the Phoenix Palace Master's own combat power. The small phoenix standing on the Phoenix Palace Master's shoulders is four. Late grade red gold phoenix. When the red gold phoenix was in the middle stage of the fourth grade. It had the strength to compete with the great monks. And when it reaches the late stage of the fourth level. Its combat power is even close to that of a powerful monk. And the red gold phoenix in Fong Palace is about to reach its peak level in the late stage of the fourth stage and it can definitely fight with the peak monk. In other words, the Phoenix Palace Master alone can equal the strength of two peak monks. This is the benefit of cultivating top spiritual pets. Although it requires more resources, it will be more helpful to oneself after forming combat power. Of course, Li Shiming was just surprised and not afraid at all. Don't look at the fact that what he came over this time was just a phantom clone. But his combat power was considered to be that of an ordinary lay cultivator but he brought five late-stage golden corpses, plus the extremely exaggerated equipment of the five late-stage golden corpses. As long as he was not targeted by a powerful person, he would be able to fight. Luofeng Palace has not had such a grand event for a long time. Thank you all fellow Taoists for coming to participate in the initiation ceremony of new disciple Yin Shirlan. The master of Feng Palace sat on the main seat of the main hall and said with a slight salute to the male cultivators on the left. Her eyes focused on Li Shiming. After sensing Li Shiming's phantom clone, her eyes were full of inquiry. As a peak monk, she can sense how strange Li Shiming's phantom clone is. If she hadn't known in advance that Li Shiming came as a phantom clone, she would have thought it was a real body. At the same time, she also has a clear understanding of Li Shiming's power. And being able to give the phantom clone the strength of a Lei Xiao great monk means that Li Shiming's mastery of Lei Xiao is beyond imagination. Even if she is a top monk, she cannot make the energy clone reach the level of Li Shiming's phantom clone. Li Shiming didn't care about the probing gaze of Master Feng Palace. With his current strength, unless one Feng Palace planned to form a deadly feud with him, it would be impossible for him to do anything about this phantom clone. He smiled and returned the salute with the other male cultivators to show respect for his status as the palace master. The initiation ceremony has begun. Please honor me, Ancestor Luanfeng. Palace Master Feng said, as he turned around and bowed to the long table in front of the hall. In a flash of light, a jade card phoenix appeared on the long table. As soon as the jade phoenix appeared, Li Shiming felt the phantom clone tremble. This body was actually affected by a jade sculpture. While he was horrified, he also understood that this jade phoenix must be a top-notch treasure. But he didn't know what special abilities it had besides being used as the ancestor of one phoenix for rituals. The master of Feng Palace looked extremely solemn and the monks below who were able to participate in the ceremony all maintained their respect for the ancestor of Luan Feng Palace. Then Brother Li came in with Yin Shirlan. Yin Shirlan changed into a palace dress today. The palace dress is the standard robe of Luan Feng Palace. The subsequent ceremony was conducted step by step under the personal auspices of Palace Master Feng, with Yin Shirlan stepping forward to salute the ancestor Luan Feng. After Yin Shirlan finished her ceremony, a spiritual light flew from the body of Luanfeng Ancestor and landed on her. In Shirlan, due to your contribution to Luanfeng Palace, through the proposal of this palace master and the approval of all the elders, you will become the core disciple of Luanfeng Palace after entering the palace. This is the spiritual pet red gold phoenix egg given by Luanfeng Palace. 
I hope you can practice hard and live up to the expectations of Wan Feng Palace. Palace Master Feng took out an egg and handed it to Yin Shiruan and announced in a deep voice. Li Shiming glanced at Brother Li unexpectedly and Brother Li also had a look of surprise on his face. It was obvious that Palace Master Feng's proposal had not been discussed with Brother Li. Yin Shiruan happily took the red gold phoenix egg. She didn't need to think about those complicated issues. She knew that the so-called contribution was because of Li Shiming. She was happy that she also had a red gold phoenix. And Xiaofeng had a companion. Since she became a Taoist couple with Li Shiming, she can come into contact with Xiaofeng and the Phantom Dragon at any time. Due to the Phantom Dragon's invisibility and the fact that the female cultivator has almost no resistance to the beautiful phoenix, she really wants to have it. A red gold phoenix. Disciple. Thank you, Palace Master. Yin Shirlan woke up from the surprise and thanked Palace Master Feng. Congratulations to Fairy Yin. On behalf of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, I send you a congratulatory gift. Congratulations to Fairy Yin. Beinu Sek sends you a congratulatory gift. At this time, the great monks on the left came forward to congratulate Yin Shirlan one by one and gave them gifts. The blessings given by the spectators cannot be refused. Yin Shirlan glanced at Li Shiming. Li Shiming nodded slightly, and she accepted the gifts one by one. Palace Master Feng looked at it with a smile. The reason why he made Yin Shirlan a core cultivator when he started and also gave him a red gold phoenix was precisely because of Li Shiming. Perhaps before Li Shiming's phantom clone comes to Zhongzhou continent, Palace Master Feng will follow Brother Li's idea and let Yin Shirlan get a red gold phoenix as soon as possible among the red gold phoenixes in recent years. However, the enthusiasm of the superpowers in Zhongzhou continent for Li Shiming made the Lord of Feng Palace realize the importance of Li Shiming again. This uncle of Luanfeng Palace could bring great benefits to Luanfeng Palace. There is one thing that the master of Feng Palace needs to consider. Yin Shirlan did not join Luanfeng Palace from the beginning, but was introduced to Luanfeng Palace by Li Shiming after becoming a Taoist priest. This makes Luanfeng Palace's influence on Yin Shirlan not great. When Li Shiming's importance is strong enough, Luanfeng Palace needs to increase its investment in Yin Shirlan. So that Yin Shirlan recognizes Luanfeng Palace instead of Luanfeng Palace acts as a guide in practicing the exercises. In addition to the male cultivators who came to watch the ceremony to send congratulatory gifts, some female cultivators from Luanfeng Palace also step forward to give their own gifts. They know very well that becoming friends with Yin Shirlan will bring benefits to themselves. This is not a philistine, but the most basic way of doing things. It is estimated that it was Yin Shirlan's initiation ceremony that led to such a scene. A normal initiation ceremony would be solemn at best. But there would not be so many monks watching the ceremony. And there would be no such thing as a gift. Chapter 849 Xiao Huang Because Yin Shirlan has the status of a core monk of Wanfeng Palace. She has a cave in Wanfeng Cave. The core cave of Wanfeng Palace. It is a pity that Li Shiming cannot enter the Wanfeng Cave. It is the core area of Wanfeng Palace. Not to mention the male cultivators. Even the female cultivators of Wanfeng Palace. Only a very small number of core cultivators have the right to enter. Therefore, after the initiation ceremony, Yin Shirlan did not go to her cave, but returned to Fingqi Hall with Li Shiming. As soon as she entered the room, she took out the gift from the soul crystal ring. Opening gifts is a very happy thing for female nuns. But when she opened the gifts from the superpowers, she was shocked by the spiritual objects inside. Among these gifts, they are basically gifts of the 4th grade top grade materials. Yin Shirlan has followed Li Shiming in recent years. And her knowledge has greatly increased. But she was still shocked when she saw these gifts. Shiming, is it really okay to accept these gifts? She looked at Li Shiming worriedly and asked. It doesn't matter whether you accept the gift or not. If Li Shiming gets into any trouble for the gift, that's not what she wants to see. Lord, just accept it. These gifts are just some of the wishes of the superpowers in Zhongzhou continent. If you don't accept them, they will think too much. Li Shiming comforted with a smile. Then I will handle these things for you. They are of no use to me. Yin Shirlan said, pushing a pile of precious gifts that would make any great monk jealous in front of Li Shiming. She then opened the gifts given by fellow female nuns. The gifts given by these female nuns were the real gifts. Some small items, cosmetics, decorations, pendants, etc. that female nuns like are not very valuable. But they are novel and unique. Yin Shirlan would put an ornament on her body from time to time to show off. And let Li Shiming see what it was like. Li Shiming couldn't help but shake his head. These little things that Yin Shirlan liked together were not as valuable as any of the previous gifts. But what he likes about Yin Shirlan is this kind of character. 
Yin Shirlan has no pursuit of material things. She maintains an innocent heart and remains unchanged even after being imprisoned for hundreds of years. Yin Shirlan is extremely pure. She just likes her if she likes her. She has no ambitions. Her biggest wish is to be with Li Shiming and have time to study formations at the same time. Now her expectation has been fulfilled. Although Li Shiming's body is practicing in seclusion, the Phantom Clone is Li Shiming's soul and has always been by her side. In her soul crystal ring, all the jade slips collected by Li Shiming were stored. After Yin Shirlan opened all the gifts, she took out the red gold phoenix egg. Lord, should we hatch it now? Li Shiming asked with a smile. Do you need any preparations? Yin Shirlan asked very worriedly. Don't worry. I've been prepared, Li Shiming said confidently. He has stayed in the 10,000 Beasts sect for so many years. The highest level spiritual pet of the 10,000 Beasts sect is also the Red Gold Phoenix. His research on the Red Gold Phoenix is not much weaker than that of Wanfeng Palace. He took out the 4th grade formation flag and arranged an incubation formation on the ground. Place the Red Gold Phoenix egg in the center of the formation and put a drop of blood on it, Li Shiming ordered. Yin Shirlan took out her natal flying sword, cut a wound on her finger, and dripped the blood on the Red Gold Phoenix egg. Due to her haste, the wound was a bit big and there was a lot of blood. Li Shiming shook his head and used the magical power of Innate Mu to treat her wounds. Probably only he would be so extravagant to use the Innate Mu magical power, which can treat serious injuries of a great monk, to treat a small wound. You must know that with the physique of the nascent soul cultivator, such a wound will heal in a while even if it is not treated. In this phantom clone, ten channels of Innate Mu magical energy are input from the main body, which is needed for first aid in case of any accidents. Li Shiming activated the formation, and he mobilized his chaos spiritual power to provide energy support for the incubation formation. A large amount of energy was absorbed by the red gold phoenix egg, and within a short time cracks appeared on the edge. L. Lord, stand in front so that the red gold phoenix can see you the first time it's born, Li Shiming said. Yin Shirlan stood close and carefully looked at the cracks in the edge. L fearing that something would happen to the unborn little guy. Amidst the cracking sounds of click, the small red pointed beak was exposed first, and then the red gold phoenix's head stuck out of the egg. L. Yin Shirlan was lucky, unlike when Li Shiming made the contract with Xiaofeng. Xiaofeng was already a baby. At that time, Li Shiming had to put a lot of effort into making the contract successful. Yin Shirlan's red gold phoenix received her blood while in the egg, and saw her for the first time when it emerged from the SH. L. Don't think that it is easy to hatch a red gold phoenix egg. Without Li Shiming's help, Yin Shirlan would have to go through the special place of Wanfeng Palace to hatch it. Li Shiming's in-depth research on the red gold phoenix. Coupled with his formation skills, the hatching formation he arranged was no worse than the special hatching place in Wanfeng Palace. Coupled with the special nature of chaos spiritual power, it can be converted into the energy attributes that the red gold phoenix needs most, which allows the red gold phoenix eggs to hatch quickly. It's a female phoenix, ready to sign a contract using the secret method in the phoenix dance, nine heavens technique, Li Shiming said with a smile. When he reaches his realm, he can determine the gender of this red gold phoenix with just a scan of his spiritual consciousness. The little red gold phoenix came out of the egg, L completely. It had an instinctive feeling for Yin Shirlan and gave out a soft cry to Yin Shirlan. A gentle smile appeared on Yin Shirlan's face, and her heart seemed to melt at this moment. After interacting with the little red gold phoenix for a while, a contract rune was played and landed on the little red gold phoenix. The little red gold phoenix was slightly startled, tilting his head as if thinking. But after discovering what the contract rune was, he let the contract rune enter his body without any hesitation. I feel its existence, Yin Shiruan said happily. The little red golden phoenix also responded to her, jumping onto her palm and singing happily. Lord, this is the third grade spiritual beast and yuan pill. You feed it with this, and you also give it a name. Li Shiming took out a jade bottle and handed it over and said, Fortunately, when he came out this time, he was fully prepared, taking into account the possibility of Yin Shirlan contracting the red gold phoenix. Since it's a female phoenix, let's call it Xiao Wang, which just matches Xiao Feng's name. Yin Shirlan thought for a while and said. Then she said helplessly to Li Shiming, You chose the name Xiao Feng so perfunctorily. Xiao Huang, when you become wiser in the future, you will definitely blame me. I just got Xiao Feng at that time. So I wanted to give him a temporary name first. Who knows? Xiao Feng is used to being called 
and I can't change my name. Lee Shiming would not admit that he was a bad name maker. He explained quickly. Yin Shiroan looked at Lee Shiming who was trying to defend himself and couldn't help but chuckle. She turned around and took out a Spirit Beast Enhancing Pill from the Jade Bottle. As soon as she took out the Spirit Beast Enhancing Pill, Chao Huan couldn't wait to scream. Eager to eat the Spirit Beast Enhancing Pill. Dan. Don't worry. It's all yours. Yin Shiroan glanced at the Spiritual Beast Enhancing Pill and understood why Xiao Huang was acting like this. She said softly, Although the Spiritual Beast Sing Yuan Pill is of the third grade, it is the top quality. Spiritual Beast Sing Yuan Pill of the third grade. As long as there are enough top level third grade Spiritual Beast Enhancing Pills, Xiao Huang can quickly pass the infancy period. Xiao Huang was a third grade spiritual pet when he was young. This is the terrifying thing about the powerful Phoenix bloodline. When Xiao Huang reaches adulthood, he will be a fourth grade early stage spiritual pet. By then, he will have developed real combat power. Xiao Huang ate a third grade top grade. Spiritual beast sing you in pill. In one gulp, the newborn baby absorbed the energy in the third grade top grade. Spiritual beast sing you in pill. And was unable to fully digest it. Xiao Huang's body swayed slightly. And then fell asleep in Yin Shirlan's palm. Yin Shirlan gently stroked Xiao Huang's feathers with her hands. Hoping to make Xiao Huang sleep more peacefully. Shimmy, Master asked me to live in Wanfeng Palace for three months before going back. During this period, she will take me to accept the core inheritance of Wanfeng Palace. Yin Shirlan said in a negotiating tone. It was impossible for her to live in Wanfeng Palace for a long time. Which she had agreed upon before entering the palace. But three months was still longer than the previous plan. I thought it would only take one month to return to the eastern Qi continent. But who would have thought that she would become a core monk right after she started? And the inheritance she could get would be upgraded to core inheritance. In addition, Xiao Wang, the Red Gold Phoenix, and Luanfeng Palace also had corresponding inheritances to learn. Listen to your master in Luanfeng Palace. I have prepared some elixirs for you to use as your usual return gifts. I also bring these two jade talismans with me. Li Shiming will not object and accepts Luanfeng Palace's offer. Core inheritance is of great benefit to Yin Shirlan. He took out several jade bottles and two jade charms and handed them to Yin Shirlan. Yin Shirlan took the jade bottle, opened one of them, and found that the elixir in the jade bottle was actually the elixir used by female cultivators. The main functions of these elixirs are to condition the skin, smooth hair, etc. Male cultivators would not pay attention to this. Li Shiming should have made it specially for her. Although these elixirs are only of the third grade, all of them are at least of high quality, and a single bottle is of the top quality of the third grade. As for the two jade talismans, she recognized them as powerful life-preserving jade talismans, which were a much higher quality than the great monk life-preserving jade talismans that Luanfeng Palace had given her after she became the core monk of Luanfeng Palace. I used the top grade third grade elixir myself, Yin Shiroan said as she put the bottle of top grade third grade elixir aside. Lauder, you have taken the Zhu Yin Dan before, so you don't need this kind of elixir. Li Shiming analyzed from the professional perspective of an alchemy master. Yin Shirlan rolled her eyes at Li Shiming. It seemed that just as Li Shiming said, these elixirs were gifts prepared for her. In the following days, not only Li Shiming was busy, but Yin Shirlan was also busy. Yin Shirlan needs to accept the core inheritance of Wanfeng Palace, and is often unable to come to Fengqi Palace for more than 10 consecutive days. Li Shiming was constantly visited by monks and had almost no leisure time. He was really a little annoyed, taking advantage of Yin Shirlan's time to accept the inheritance. He left Wanfeng Palace with five late-stage golden corpses. The place he wants to go this time is near Jianyi Chengshao Pavilion. After coming out of Wanfeng Palace, he collected the five late-stage golden corpses, and he used close to the end of the world to head towards the distance. It's not that he doesn't want to use. Are there in one fell swoop? But it's extremely uneconomical for this phantom clone to use. Are there in one fell swoop? At one stroke, consumes a lot of energy. Although phantom clone can restore the energy in the body. It cannot be used several times and then stop to restore the energy in the body. Besides, since the phantom clone cannot use spiritual vision, his field of vision is limited. And the distance of reaching in one go is not much farther than the distance of so close to the end of the world. However, it feels very strange to use the phantom clone to exert magical power. Every time you display south close to the end of the world, you can feel the fluctuations of the 
Divine Foot Power. Magical Runes on the Clone Yuanin. This is the experience of an ordinary great monk using Divine Foot Power. Without a lot of help from the brain, he cannot use multiple Divine Foot Power. At the same time, just like an ordinary great monk. On the contrary, this gave him a deeper understanding of Magic Foot Power and gain new feelings from another perspective. This time he came to Wanfeng Palace. Among all the superpowers in Zhengzhou Continent, no great monks representing Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion came to visit him. Only several great monks representing individuals visited him. I think it's because Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion has Li Yuanba, the alchemy master. And there is no need to deliberately make friends with Li Shiming, the alchemy master. Li Shiming went to the vicinity of Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion just to meet the clone Li Yuanba, and bring a batch of spiritual pills to the clone Li Yuanba. As he returned to the 10,000 Beasts sect, he refined all the mid-stage nascent soul elixirs of the 10,000 Beasts sect, which allowed him to obtain a lot of top-notch mid-stage nascent soul elixirs. Over the past few years, he had accumulated a lot of top-level elixirs in the middle stage of nascent soul. These top-level elixirs in the middle stage of nascent soul were what Li Yuanba needed most urgently. Li Yuanba has been practicing in seclusion for the past few years, and his cultivation has improved quite a lot. But there is still a big gap between him and his peak in the middle stage of nascent soul. If you want to be promoted to the realm of a great monk as soon as possible, the best way is to take the top spiritual elixir in the middle stage of nascent soul. The phantom clone flew very skillfully to the seabed thousands of miles away from Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion, where there was an undersea cave. He didn't need to wait long before his clone Li Yuanba arrived in the underwater cave. The two clones met, looked at each other, and couldn't help laughing. I leave this late-stage golden corpse to you. Phantom clone handed a late-stage golden corpse to Li Yuanba. These five mid-stage golden corpses are for you. Li Yuanba took out five mid-stage golden corpses and said, Li Yuanba will always be in seclusion before he is promoted to a great monk. The chance of encountering trouble is very small. But if he does encounter trouble, it will definitely be a big trouble. In the later period, the Golden Corpse gave Li Yuanba a very powerful means of self-protection. Of course, this means of self-protection should be used as little as possible. Once used, it is very likely that the origin will be recognized. The midterm Golden Corpse will be sent back to Li Shiming, who will try to promote the midterm Golden Corpse. Chapter 850 Blocking A period of time has passed, and Li Shiming's Phantom Clone still maintains the frequency of having at least one great monk guest every day. That is to say, he is the phantom clone, here, and does not need to think about cultivation. If the main body is here, it is impossible. Such a waste of time. When Yin Shirlan came back every once in a while, she would tell him what she had encountered. From this, it can be seen that Wanfeng Palace valued Yin Shirlan and truly cultivated Yin Shirlan as a core monk. Finally, after three months, Yin Shirlan accepted the corresponding inheritance. Brother Li would stay in Wanfeng Palace for a while. So Yin Shirlan didn't want to wait any longer. So she returned to the 10,000 Beasts sect with Li Shiming. Although the training conditions in Wanfeng Palace were good, when Yin Shirlan returned to Li Shiming and entered the powerful palace of Tianan Cave to practice, the training conditions were much better than those provided by Wanfeng Palace. The training conditions of Wanfeng Palace are just to open a cave in Wanfeng Cave and provide a mid nascent soul spiritual vein that can supply Yin Shirlan with spiritual energy. Wanfeng Dantian and Tianren Dantian belong to the same level of cave, but the cultivation resources of Wanfeng Dantian are shared by all the core monks of Wanfeng Palace, and they also include a powerful being. However, only Li Shiming and Yin Shirlan can use the Heavenly Man Cave, so their cultivation conditions are naturally very different. Of course, Li Shiming lacked the guidance of Bong Wu Jiu Tian Ju. So when Yin Shirlan encountered any problems, she still needed to ask Wan Feng Palace for advice. Fortunately, Yin Shirlan's master, Brother Li, will be stationed at the 10,000 Beasts sect in the Eastern Qi Continent as usual. She can answer any questions Yin Shirlan has. An emerald green flying boat sailed over the Zhongzhou Continent, with the mark of Wanfeng Palace on it, which made any monk who saw the flying boat deliberately avoid it. Li Shiming and Yin Shirlan sat face to face, with a tea set placed in front of Yin Shirlan. Li Shiming just looked at it, no matter how much the phantom clone looked like a real entity, it could not eat like a normal monk. The speed of the flying boat was very slow. This time, since there was no monthly following him, there was no need to rush. Li Shiming happened to take Yin Shirlan to visit the Zhongzhou continent. This is also a rare experience. For Yin Shirlan, 
who rarely goes out. Everything she sees is new. At this time, the benefit of reading a large number of classics became apparent. Every time the flying boat went to a place in the sky, Li Shiming would tell the allusions to that place. He originally thought that with the prestige of Wanfen Palace, no monk would disturb his and Ian Sherlon's comfortable life. But things still came to his door. The auras of seven great monks appeared in front of the flying boat. At the same time, he sensed that the surrounding space was shielded by formations. Lord, there are some little troubles that need to be dealt with. Li Shiming's expression turned gloomy. And he waved his hand lightly and said to Ian Sherlon, Do you need me to inform Wanfeng Palace? Yin Shiruan asked softly, without much fear. This is Zhongzhou Continent. As long as a distress signal is sent out, Wanfeng Palace will call in powerful monks nearby for help even if it cannot send reinforcements in time. After staying in Wanfeng Palace for three months, she knew how terrifying Wanfeng Palace was. Although Wanfeng Palace does not compete for fame and wealth, its strength is far from ordinary, as it seems on the surface. Not to mention the aunts and uncles, who are all over the Wanfeng Palace in the world of immortality. Over the years, through the relationship network established by being a female cultivator, there are familiar forces everywhere in the world of immortality. Perhaps when faced with conflicts between superpowers, these assistances are of little help. But when encountering some minor troubles, one thing palace can mobilize a lot of power. That's not necessary. Li Shiming shook his head and replied. If he cannot deal with the enemy, one thing palace will have no effect unless it sends a peak monk. Protect the mistress. He waved his hand and released a late-stage golden corpse, and ordered in a deep voice. Yes! The late golden corpse bowed and responded. Wait until I finish them off! Li Shiming said to Yin Shirlan again. Be careful! Yin Shirlan said with concern, even though she knew that this was not Li Shiming's true body, but just a phantom clone. Li Shiming smiled and nodded. He flew out of the flying boat. After getting out of the flying boat, he waved his hand, and some fourth-grade formation flags appeared around the flying boat protecting the flying boat in the middle. His mind moved slightly, and three late-stage golden corpses appeared beside him. After being prepared, he looked at the seven great monks opposite. He did not recognize the identities of the seven great monks opposite. Seeing them all for the first time, the aura on their bodies made Li Shiming judge that they were not from a superpower, or even a large power. They were most likely a group of casual cultivators. The weak aura does not affect the violent aura of these seven monks. Even if they are casual cultivators, they are not peaceful monks. Instead, they are most likely a group of monks who make a living by robbing. Li Shiming was a little curious. In fact, it wouldn't be surprising if he was intercepted by a super powerful monk. The hatred between him and many superpowers cannot be resolved. Regardless of the fact that those superpowers want to be on good terms with the 10,000 Beasts sect, it seems that they don't want to pursue the past matters anymore. But these are all based on Li Shiming's terrifying combat power. Li Shiming single-handedly killed two peak monks and a half-step master. Only with this kind of power can the superpowers compromise. Who are you and why are you trying to stop me? Li Shiming asked aloud without taking action immediately. We are the seven immortals of the West Sea. And we have been asked to invite Fairy Yin to be our guest this time. The tall and strong man who headed the seven great monks replied with a smile. Li Shiming was startled. He had never heard of the seven immortals of the West Sea. As for being entrusted by others, who could invite seven great monks? How much would it cost? Who invited you here? He then asked in a deep voice. We, the seven immortals of the West Sea, are people of good faith. How could we tell you about our master's family, even if you are going to die soon? The tall and strong monk replied with a smile. The seven immortals of the West Sea mentioned by the tall and strong monk are what they call themselves. In the West Sea to the west of Zhongzhou continent, they are a group of notorious pirates who specialize in robbing long-distance ships on the ocean. At the same time, they will also accept tasks entrusted by some big forces and do dark things for them. This is the main reason why they can survive in the West Sea. Their real names are the Seven Wolves of the West Sea, a wolf pack composed of seven great monks. The threat is so great that unless it is a long-distance spaceship that is paid a protection fee, it will definitely be robbed whenever they encounter it. This time, they received a mission with great benefits. When they heard about this mission, they did not want to take it. But the other party gave too much. And I heard that this time it was just an energy clone. So I intercepted this time. The tall and strong monk is not stupid. He has already confirmed the energy clone through the client's information and his own information. Although Li Shiming is said to be the first person in the realm of great monks, the strength of an energy clone is limited. 
and Li Shiming's body is still in the eastern Qi continent. And Yin Shirlan's strength is almost negligible. Such a good opportunity. As long as the task is completed, the reward will be enough for the seven months to hide and be stable for a while. When Li Shiming summoned the three late-stage golden corpses, they did not attract much attention from the seven wolves of the West Sea. With Li Shiming's reputation, he would bring some means of self-defense. Their intelligence, as well as the client's deliberate concealment, made them unaware of how terrifying Li Shiming's later golden corpse was. In the final analysis, they are just a group of bandits. Their intelligence capabilities cannot be compared with those of major forces, and the intelligence they can obtain is limited. Is it the Yuching sect or the Baidi sect? Li Shiming suddenly asked. The expressions on the faces of the seven wolves of the West Sea did not change. It seemed that Li Shiming's sudden question did not have the desired effect. Don't use such methods. When we hand over Fairy Yin, you will know who invited us. The leader, the tall and strong monk, replied with a cold smile. He didn't want to say any more. After testing for so long, it was clear that Li Shiming had no other means. Take action, he shouted. The seven great monks all used their magic weapons to attack Li Shiming. At the same time, behind the emerald flying boat, a wave of water appeared, and two mid-level fourth grade dragon beasts flew out of the water wave and rushed towards the emerald flying boat. As soon as the battle between the seven wolves of the West Sea began, they used all their strength to catch Li Shiming off guard. The attack of two mid-level fourth grade dragon beasts made the formation that Li Shiming set up crumbling. It seemed that the formation would be broken in a few breaths. On the frontal battlefield, Li Shiming didn't pay attention to the fact that the flying boat behind him was being attacked. He disappeared in a flash, making all attacks against him in vain. There was a flash of light on the three late-stage golden corpses. They had an additional set of armor on their bodies, and each held a war hammer in their hands. The seven great monks found that their attack had failed and Li Shiming's figure disappeared. Instead of taking back the magic weapon, they shifted the target of the magic weapon and attacked the three late-stage golden corpses. They did not move rashly. The seven great monks were suspended in the air, forming the Big Dipper Array. This Big Dipper formation is their confidence to fight against powerful enemies. The personal combat power of the casual cultivators is relatively much weaker. There is no way around it. Without a strong inheritance of skills, no high-quality magic weapons, and no background to rely on, they found a fighting method suitable for casual cultivators which was to use numbers to make up for the lack of combat power, and use formations to enhance their own attack power. Li Shiming did not launch an attack immediately. The seven monks were suitable for testing the new equipment of the Golden Corpse in the later stage. He used, close to the end of the world, to appear on the other side of the battlefield, closing the distance between him and the seven great monks. At the same time, he was also observing whether there were any other monks. Seven attacks flew towards the three late-stage Golden Corpses. The three late-stage golden corpses suddenly accelerated from stillness. Just when the seven magic weapons were about to fall on them, they turned into three intermittent shadows and rushed towards the seven great monks. The reason why it is intermittent is because the speed of the three late-stage golden corpses is too fast. And even the eyes of the great monk cannot clearly observe the movement trajectory of the late-stage golden corpses. Water shield! The tall and strong monk issued the order in time. The seven great monks took out seven aqua blue formation flags and immediately a water spiritual shield appeared outside the Big Dipper formation. This is a defensive shield formed by gathering the power of the seven great monks and the effect of the Big Dipper array. The three late-stage golden corpses collided head-on with the water shield. The speed enhanced by the speed rule seal and the power enhanced by the strength rule seal made the collision of the late-stage golden corpses almost pass through the water shield. Freeze! When the tall and strong monk saw this situation, he quickly shouted again. The water shield formed by the water spiritual shield changed from liquid to solid and turned into solid ice. Three late-stage golden corpses were frozen in the ice, maintaining a charging posture. The tall and strong monk was about to let his companions take this opportunity to destroy the three late-stage golden corpses with all their strength. But the ice that froze the three late-stage golden corpses turned into fragments and scattered in all directions before their eyes. The three late-stage golden corpses broke free from the shackles of the ice with unparalleled strength. When Li Shiming saw this, he made a mental note of future improvement plans for the later Golden Corpse. Although the defense of the late-stage Golden Corpse is extremely strong, so strong that it is almost impossible to harm the late-stage Golden Corpse at the level of a great monk, some restrictive methods still have some effect. The three late-stage Golden Corpses broke through the defensive shields of the seven great monks. 
The seven great monks were left with only their own defenses and the collaborative defense effect of the Big Dipper array, without Lee Shimming's command. If the three late-stage Golden Corpses wanted to break through the Big Dipper formation, it would still take several hits to completely break through it. But just when the three late-stage Golden Corpses launched an attack, the seven wolves of the West Sea themselves made trouble. The Big Dipper array did not fully exert its effect. And there was some chaos. The thing happened with the two mid-level fourth-level dragon beasts that attacked the Emerald Flying Boat. They attacked Ian Sherwan first. If Lee Shimming was not prepared, they would indeed disrupt Lee Shimming's position. But Lee Shimming left behind a late-stage golden corpse. When two mid-level fourth-grade dragon beasts attacked the flying boat's defensive formation, the late-stage golden corpse left behind rushed out of the flying boat. The two mid-level fourth-grade dragon beasts were also unlucky. In order to break through the formation outside the flying boat as quickly as possible, they attacked the formation at close range and used the attack method that the dragon beasts were best at. This also allowed the late-stage golden corpse to be not far away from the two mid-level fourth-grade dragon beasts after leaving the flying boat. With the speed of the late golden corpse, it is as if it is right in front of you at such a close distance. The late golden corpse stretched out his hands, and when rushing towards the two mid-level fourth-level dragon beasts, he grabbed the necks of the two mid-level fourth-level dragon beasts with both hands. The combat power of the mid-level fourth-level dragon beast is not weak. It was discovered by the seven wolves of the West Sea among the goods they accidentally encountered during robbery. After being recognized as its owner, they spent a lot of resources to cultivate it to the mid-level fourth level. Although the dragon bloodline of the mid-level fourth level dragon beasts can only be regarded as ordinary, the combat power of the two mid-level fourth level dragon beasts can already be compared with that of normal great monks. Plus the two mid-level fourth level dragon beasts, with his special water ability, even a great monk would suffer a lot from a surprise attack. Chapter 851 Going Home The late-stage golden corpse grabbed the necks of two mid-stage fourth-grade dragon beasts with one hand and the other. The two dragon beasts wanted to resist. But the power coming from their two hands was so great that they were unable to make any other movements. The only thing they could think of was to mobilize the muscles on their necks with all their strength to resist the power of the two hands. Porphyry! Unfortunately, the two dragon beasts couldn't last even one breath, and their necks were broken by the later golden corpse. The death of the two dragon beasts here caused the two great monks in the Big Dipper formation, the owners of the two dragon beasts, to suffer a mental backlash from the death of their spiritual pets. The Big Dipper formation composed of seven great monks can still maintain the existence of the formation without the cooperation of two great monks. This is already supported by the experience of daily cooperation. If you want to mobilize the formation to fight against the three late-stage golden corpses, you don't have to think about it. It is definitely a nightmare experience to have three late-stage golden corpses close to you. The Warhammers in the hands of the three late-stage golden corpses hit the three great monks almost simultaneously. The defenses of the three great monks completely collapsed the moment they were hit. Not to mention they are casual cultivators. Even the top super-powerful cultivators dare not say that they can withstand the Warhammer of the Golden Corpse in the later stage. The Warhammer in the hands of the Golden Corpse in the later period was modified from the magic weapon of the 4th grade top mountain. When this thing hits someone, the quality of the 4th grade top mountain will be revealed without restoring its original size. In addition, driven by the unparalleled power of the Golden Corpse itself in the later stage, even the body-refining monk will be crushed by this blow. After the bodies of the three great monks were hit by the war hammer, their bodies strangely stagnated in the air for a moment, and then exploded with a bang. Under the influence of the terrifying power, the physical bodies of the three great monks were shattered together with a nascent soul. This kind of attack contains the rule of power. The attack effect of the power of this rule will attack the physical body and the nascent soul together. Escape! The tall, strong monk's eyes were red. His body was stained with the blood of his companions, and a line of blood formed a long mark on his face, making him look like an evil ghost. After experiencing countless battles, even though his heart was filled with anger at the death of his companions, his mind still remained clear. After seeing the power of the golden corpse in the later period, he understood that this action was a mistake. There are no false warriors under the famous reputation. Even if Lee Shimming is just an energy clone, the protection methods he carries with him are not something that can be offended by beings like them. Under the influence of the tall and strong monk's consciousness, a jade talisman on his body shattered, and instantly his body turned into water and escaped into the distance. If water release is performed above the ocean and enters the sea, no matter how powerful the enemy is, 
they will not be able to track him. But this is land, and the seven wolves of the West Sea rarely go on land, which is why they dare to provoke Li Shiming. Even if Li Shiming wanted to cause trouble for them, it would not be easy to find them in the vast West Sea. In the later period, the wisdom of the Golden Corpse was not weak. During the attack, it deliberately missed the two great monks who had been attacked by the Dragon Beast's spiritual pet and put them in the second round of attack. After the tall and strong monk said, Escape. Only one monk really responded to him. The other two monks had just escaped from the backlash effect of the spiritual pet and did not have time to react. The two great monks performed water escape and their figures turned into water and escaped into the distance. The two great monks who were attacked by their spiritual pets were greeted by two war hammers. The remaining late-stage golden corpse as well as the other late-stage golden corpse that had killed two mid-stage fourth-grade dragon beasts had their weapons replaced by longbows. The terrifying huge force opened the long bow. The long bow was engraved with 800 million power runes and 400 million charge runes. Later, the power of the golden corpse was blessed by the power of the long bow. And the real power was displayed. Extremely scary. When these powers are drawn on the long bow, the rune formation on the bow is transformed into an energy arrow. As the bow string is loosened, the power is transformed into the propulsive force that drives the energy arrow. Energy arrows were shot out towards the two great monks in the distance. It is impossible to describe the speed of energy arrows. Although the long bow was drawn for a short time and did not reach the ultimate power of the long bow, the speed and power of the arrows shot directly were far beyond imagination. The tall, strong monk was filled with grief and anger. He thought about going back this time and immediately finding a place to hide for hundreds of years. Li Shiming was so terrifying that he didn't even see his true form. In the frontal battle between them and the seven wolves of the West Sea, only two of them remained in a matter of breaths. As for revenge, the seven wolves of the West Sea were incapable of doing so during their heyday, and it will be even less possible in the future. While he was thinking about it, he felt an indescribable sharpness. When he felt it, he realized that he had been hit by an arrow. The energy arrow penetrated his body, and the energy arrow carried indescribable force. Even if he was in the water escape state, he still could not withstand the power of this blow. The water escape state is in the form of water flow. In theory, it can reduce or even be immune to some attacks, especially this kind of pure power attack. However, the power carried by the arrow exceeded a certain limit, and even in the water escape state, it could not withstand the power of the attack. The tall and strong monk's physical body and Yuani expanded at the same time. This was the effect of being instantly destroyed by huge force. And then the physical body and Yuani exploded. Another great monk also came to the same result as him. A Lingbao level long bow is most likely the strongest bow in the world of immortality. They were lucky enough to be among the first batch of monks to be shot by the Lingbao longbow. Of course, there is a high probability that they themselves will not feel lucky. After the battle, the three late stage golden corpses put away their weapons, especially the Lingbao longbow. That is to say, Li Shiming made some observations and found no monks around. So he asked them to use the Lingbao longbow. He flashed around and collected the spoils of war from the seven great monks. Now he is not the same as before. With the 10,000 bees sect and the northern Shu sect here, no matter how much garbage he has, he can be consumed. In addition, he also wanted to find clues about the person who asked them to take action from the items carried by the seven monks. You still have to be more careful when using late-stage golden corpses in the future. Li Shiming put away the trophies and concluded in his mind. The battle went well, but looking at the seven great monks, because the power of the golden corpse in the later period was too strong, none of the seven great monks died. Fortunately, these seven great monks were all casual cultivators, and Li Shiming did not expect to use the corpses of casual cultivators to refine golden corpses. He was extremely picky in choosing the materials for refining the corpse. Previously, the materials for both the midterm golden corpse and the late stage golden corpse came from the core monks of the superpower. In this battle, the corpses of two mid level fourth grade dragon beasts were completely preserved. These two dragon beast corpses were thrown directly into the treasure pavilion of the Northern Shu sect and were used by the monks of the Northern Shu sect for training. Returning to the green flying boat, Yin Shirlan glanced at Li Shiming's body with concern. In fact, even if Li Shiming is injured, the phantom clone body will not show up. It's a little troublesome. I don't know which force didn't dare to come here on its own. So it hired seven random cultivators to come here. Li Shiming said relaxedly, spreading his hands. 
as long as it's okay. Let's go back to the Eastern Chi continent directly, Yin Shirlan said, losing her interest in playing. Although she was protected by the formation just now, and the fourth grade high level flying boat weakened the aura outside, she was still able to sense the auras of the seven great monks and two mid level fourth grade dragon beasts. In recent times, she has seen a large number of great monks, and she is very sensitive to the aura of the great monks. Li Shiming seemed to be able to easily resolve the obstruction this time. But she also discovered something. Yin Shirlan truly understood Li Shiming's power from Wanfeng Palace. But even such a powerful Li Shiming will still encounter enemy attacks. One can imagine what kind of life Li Shiming lived before he grew to be as powerful as he is now. Although she had been trapped in loneliness for a hundred years, her experience was nothing compared to Li Shiming. Let's go home! Li Shiming did not object. It seemed that his enemy had not given up. He could not put Yin Shirlan in danger. The flying boat turned and sailed in the direction of the eastern Qi continent. Yin Shirlan had experienced a battle, and she was mentally exhausted. Li Shiming lovingly motioned for her to close her eyes and rest. Li Shiming checked the trophies. He didn't have any hope for the trophies of the casual cultivator. He only thought about whether he could find clues about the person behind the scenes. To his surprise, the seven great monks were not as poor as he imagined. Each of the great monk space items has some good-looking treasures, the value of which is no less than the value of the trophies he had previously found from the super-powerful great monk space items. He soon found out the reason. It turned out that the treasures saved by the seven great monks were almost all treasures from various superpowers. This can be seen from the superpower marks on some treasures. And some treasures have obvious stylistic tendencies. He even discovered a sea chart. A chart that was incredibly detailed. The most detailed of which was the West Sea. He also understood the identities of these seven great monks. Which were the seven pirates. Those preserved treasures should all be trophies from robberies. But due to obvious markings or styles. They were unable to sell these trophies. And could only keep them as collections. It was precisely because of the existence of these treasures that Li Shiming was unable to find out the clues about who entrusted the seven great monks. There are too many clues, and there are many treasures of superpowers here, so it is impossible to make an accurate judgment. If there are only one or two treasures related to the superpower, it may be considered as the reward for the superpower to bribe the seven great monks. Li Shiming sighed helplessly. In fact, he had a guess in his mind. The most likely possibility was that the Yuching sect or the Baidi sect or both sex, were involved. But without evidence, it is impossible for him to take action against the two major sects again. In addition, it is difficult to say whether it is other superpowers using this to test his strength, or whether they want to frame Yuching sect or Baidi sect. Thinking about it made his head hurt. So he stopped thinking about these things. Anyway, he is not worried about such enemies. It doesn't matter how many they come. During the subsequent voyage, we encountered no enemies again. This is normal. Being able to invite seven great monks is already a huge feat in the world of immortality. Although there are many great monks in the world of cultivating immortals, there are not many great monks who have no worries. With Li Shiming's reputation, those concerned monks would not dare to trouble him. Yin Shirlan rested for a while and regained her energy. She was also trying to get used to fighting between monks. She recalled the previous battle and suddenly discovered one thing. That is, Li Shiming's late golden corpse was missing one. She looked at Li Shiming and did not ask. She knew that Li Shiming must have some secret existence in Zhongzhou Continent. And the late golden corpse was left in that secret place. Lord, do you need me to leave a late stage golden corpse beside you? Li Shiming asked when he saw Yin Shirlan regaining her energy. In his opinion, Yin Shirlan has experienced a danger that is not dangerous. And will know the importance of self-protection. Since Yin Shirlan is a female cultivator, she still has to ask before knowing whether she will accept corpse refining. With you by my side? I don't need the golden corpse to follow me later. Yin Shirlan shook her head and refused. Not only does she dislike refining corpses, but also because the golden corpse is Li Shiming's important combat power in the later stage. And she does not want to reduce Li Shiming's combat power because of herself. Anyway, she rarely travels outside. And even when she does, she is accompanied by Li Shiming to protect her. If you don't like it, don't do it. Li Shiming said with a smile. Driven by Li Shiming, Feijou returned to the eastern Qi continent in less than a month. After Yin Shirlan entered the space barrier of the 10,000 Beasts sect, she felt extremely peaceful in her heart, as if she had returned home. She couldn't wait to see Li Shiming, although she was accompanied by Li Shiming's phantom clone. It was not as good as the feeling of Li Shiming's true body by her side. 
Her return was welcomed by the two female monks stationed here in Wanfeng Palace. The two female monks prepared belated gifts for her. Now staying in the 10,000 B sect, it is a particularly popular garrison task in Wanfeng Palace. Because on the 10,000 B sect, you can directly contact Li Shiming and ask Li Shiming to make alchemy and have the power to jump in line. If Brother Li and the two female monks hadn't made it clear that they didn't want to leave, there might have been a different batch of station monks. After dealing with the two female monks, Yin Shirlong was taken into the Cave of Heaven and Man by the Phantom Clone, in Li Shiming's cave. She came outside the Balian Hall, stood at the door, and looked at Li Shiming who was practicing with his eyes closed. After seeing Li Shiming, her whole body felt relaxed. It's good to be home. She turned to the Phantom Clone, without disturbing Li Shiming's practice. In six hours, let's dine together at the Palace of Power, Phantom Clone said with a smile. Won't it affect your cultivation? Yin Shirlan asked with surprise on her face, but also worry. You come back just in time. This round of training is about to end, Phantom Clone explained. In fact, ending the practice after six hours will waste part of the medicinal power. But Li Shiming doesn't care about this. Chapter 852 Coming Out of Seclusion The 10,000 Beasts sect of the Eastern Qi Continent is still a large sect in the world of immortality. But in a sense, it has broken away from the category of a large power and is only a powerful being compared to a superpower. Since there is no powerful person in the Eastern Qi Continent, Li Shiming, a powerful monk, relied on his own strength to suppress all the great monks in the entire world of immortality, giving the 10,000 beasts sect a unique position in the world of immortality, and Li Shiming's other ability, the most powerful alchemy ability in the world of immortality, makes all forces willing to be friends with the 10,000 beast sect, regardless of whether it is true or false. No force will conflict with the 10,000 beast sect on the surface. Even the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect, two superpowers that have a grudge against Li Shiming, have used various methods to ease their relationship with the 10,000 beast sect. Because without easing the relationship with the 10,000 beast sect, it was impossible to commission alchemy from Li Shiming. The number of great monks of Yuching sect and Baidi sect is at the lowest point in history. If the number of great monks is not replenished in time, the two superpowers will be in the troublesome situation of sect strength gap in the near future. Li Shiming lived a very comfortable life. The Phantom Clone accompanied Yin Shirlan, and the main body entered into seclusion for practice, and only came out every few years. The Phantom Clone also met with the visiting monks and accepted the Alchemy Commission. At present, the number of Alchemy Commissions brought by Zhongzhou Commercial Bank is getting smaller and smaller. Most of the great monks are willing to come to the 10,000 beasts sect to meet with Li Shiming to discuss the reward for alchemy. And at the same time, they also take this opportunity to make friends with Li Shiming. The last time Li Shiming's, Phantom Clone, and Yin Shirlan were attacked in Zhongzhou Continent, Luanfeng Palace mobilized many relationships, but was unable to find out who was behind the scenes. But the fact that the investigation cannot reveal it shows that the people behind the scenes are powerful and they need to be at least a superpower of the same level as Wanfeng Palace. Li Shiming did not pursue the matter. After the Phantom Clone took Yin Shirlan back to the 10,000 Beasts sect, he never left the scope of the 10,000 Beasts sect for the next 30 years. Shiming, you're out of seclusion. Come and taste the spiritual tea I've brewed. Yin Shirlan, who was in the Great Ning Palace that day, said happily when she saw Li Shiming walking into the palace, having been with Li Shiming for more than 30 years. Even if the Phantom Clone no longer deliberately remains transparent, she can still recognize the difference between the Phantom Clone and the original body at a glance. Li Shiming, who walked into the Palace of Power, was just like a mortal, with no extraordinary aura about him. But his cultivation is very different from 30 years ago. Before, he could only be regarded as entering the realm of a great monk. But now his strength has stabilized at the level of a mid-level great monk. This is due to the continuous flow of high-level spiritual elixirs from the great monks, which keeps his practice at a state of resource saturation. 30 years of practice. Although he has five nascent souls, allowing him to consume the amount of high-level spiritual elixirs of the great monks equal to the consumption of five great monks of the same realm. But the high-level spiritual elixirs of the great monks in his hands not only did not decrease, but actually it has increased a lot. Since he let go of the alchemy commission, the great monks in the entire world of immortality have used their backlog of resources one by one, especially large forces and superpowers. The number of great monk resources they have accumulated in their hands far exceeds his estimate. Perhaps there is no alchemy master like Li Shiming, 
and there is no alchemy master who can maintain the level of alchemy to the high level of a great monk. The various forces will still accumulate some great monk elixirs and reserve them as war preparation resources. But with the emergence of Li Shiming, these forces can no longer reserve the great monk's elixir in their hands. With Li Shiming's alchemy ability, they can increase the value of the great monk's elixir in their hands dozens of times. The rewards paid to Li Shiming by these forces, and the great monks have greatly increased the top resources in Li Shiming's hands. Li Shiming sat across from the tea table, picked up the fourth grade top quality tea cup, and took a sip of the fourth grade spiritual tea. Lord, your tea making skills have greatly improved. He saw Ian Sherlon's expectant eyes and praised with a smile. I learned this from my master, but it's a pity that you can't learn how to make tea. Ian Sherlon said with a smile and narrowed her eyes. Your cultivation level is improving too fast. Take less elixir and stabilize your level first. Li Shiming put down the fourth grade top tea cup and said, In 30 years, not only Li Shiming's cultivation level has improved, but Yin Shirlan has also been promoted from the early stage of Yuaning to the middle stage of Yuaning. Yin Shirlan's cultivation speed is extremely rare among the superpowers in the world of immortality. The main reason for such a fast cultivation speed is that a batch of cultivation treasures were sent by Zhongzhou Trading Company 20 years ago, which allowed Yin Shirlan to reduce a lot of cultivation time. The other is the great monk elixir that Li Shiming provided to Yin Shirlan in addition to some of the high-level elixirs for the great monks in the early Yuanying stage. There are also some top elixirs for the great monks in the early Yuanying stage. The last time Li Shiming came out of seclusion two years ago, it was the time when Yin Shirlan was promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul. Li Shiming supplemented Yin Shirlan with some advanced elixirs in the middle stage of Yuanying. In just two years, Yin Shirlan had improved a lot in the middle stage of Yuanying. Although Luanfeng Palace's technique, Bong Wu Jiu Tianju, is a gentle technique that is very suitable for female cultivators. The practice of Bong Wu Jiu Tianju cannot be advanced too aggressively. It still requires some precipitation and accumulation. Master said the same thing. I have stopped taking elixirs recently and focus on the research of formations. Yin Shirlan poured another cup of spiritual tea for Li Shiming and said with a smile. After that, she began to ask Li Shiming about formations. Li Shiming naturally answered all questions. In terms of formations, his level can be said to be the strongest among the great monks in the world of immortality. My cultivation level has also improved a bit quickly. I will accompany you to study formations for a while from now on. Li Shiming told Yin Shirlan some good news, which made Yin Shirlan feel good. Although the phantom clone is also Li Shiming, it feels like being with Li Shiming's true body. Li Shiming smiled. From the early stage to the middle stage of a great monk, it seemed like a small improvement in a small realm. But in fact the gap was so huge that it was like a world of difference. Look at the great monks of the 10,000 beasts sect. All of them are stuck in the early stage of the great monks. Not only the 10,000 beasts sect, but also the great monks of most large forces are almost in the early stages of great monk cultivation. It's not that these great monks don't work hard. This is partly due to the problem of cultivation resources. But more of it is due to the inheritance of the skills. The improvement of a great monk's cultivation level not only requires an improvement in the total amount and quality of spiritual power in the body, but also requires a deeper understanding of the rules one masters. It is the understanding of the rules that holds back the great monks who have no inheritance of skills. Unless you are a super genius who can understand the rules on your own, you can only continuously study the cultivation experience of your predecessors. Slowly absorb knowledge that is beneficial to you, and gradually improve your understanding of the rules. Li Shiming practices, heavenly art, through understanding the rules in the Half-Life Cave and the Thunder Cave. His five elements rules and thunder and lightning rules have been greatly improved, together with the total amount and quality of spiritual power gained from 30 years of retreat. The promotion only made his realm increase by a small step. It took him 30 years to take this small step. But his master, the great monk who, took nearly a thousand years to take it. Sometimes qualifications and opportunities are more important than monks' hard work. During this period of adjusting his state of mind, Li Shiming had another important thing to do, which was to convert the resources he had obtained previously into combat power. Regarding this point, he is planning to upgrade all the five mid-stage golden corpses that he previously recovered from his clone Li Yuanba to late-stage golden corpses, and equip them all with the strongest equipment. He does not lack the corresponding resources. Although he has been practicing for 30 years, he has a lot of spare brain and is thinking about many things. But before doing this, 
He needs to go to Zhongzhou Continent. He did not tell anyone about his trip to Zhongzhou Continent, but only told Yin Shirlan. With Yin Shirlan's temperament, as long as Li Shiming didn't want to explain something, she would never trace it to the source or ask for the reason. I'll be back in 20 days. Li Shiming promised Yin Shirlan with a smile before leaving. Yin Shirlan showed surprise, but did not express any doubt. The reason for surprise was that it would take about a month to travel from the eastern Qi continent to the Zhongzhou continent, even if a great monk controlled the flying boat. However, Li Shiming said that he would be back in 20 days, which meant that he could reach Zhongzhou continent in 10 days, or even shorter. It is impossible for Li Shiming to go to Zhongzhou continent without doing anything, as it will definitely take some time. Li Shiming came out of the cave of 10,000 beasts. He used, Arrive in one move! and his figure disappeared from the mountain gate. When he reappeared, he was 8,000 miles away. He summoned the Thunder Beast, which had been sleeping in the Thunder Cave for the past 30 years. After being summoned, the Thunder Beast seemed very lively. Due to the contract, there is an extremely close connection between him and the Thunder Beast. He gently patted the Thunder Beast's neck, feeling the slight numbness in his hands. He smiled and jumped on the Thunder Beast's back. Take me to Zhongzhou Continent! He ordered softly. The thunder beast let out an excited hiss. And its figure turned into a bolt of lightning and headed into the distance. Thunder beasts are the peak beings in the late fourth stage. They are born with lightning energy. And the lightning escape they can perform is several times faster than the thunder escape performed by the thunder cultivator. This time, the thunder beast let go of its speed. And quickly left the Dongqi continent with Li Shiming hunched over. The thunder beast is on the ocean. So there is no need to consider the route at all. Even if a powerful spirit beast discovers the thunder beast, regardless of the level of the thunder beast, even if a powerful spirit beast wants to intercept the thunder beast, it cannot compare with the speed of the thunder beast. Although Li Shiming has divine foot power and surpasses the thunder beast in terms of speed, he cannot compare with the thunder beast when traveling long distances. The consumption of achieving it in one go is not small. Even if he is a great monk with a spiritual power supply of five nascent souls, he still needs to consider the possible dangers of consuming a large amount of energy. For the Thunder Beast, it is an instinct to use Thunder Escape to travel, just like a human monk walking normally, and the consumption is almost negligible. In two days, the Thunder Beast approached Zhongzhou Continent. Li Shiming controlled the Thunder Beast and did not enter the Zhongzhou Continent, but came to the undersea cave thousands of miles away from the Jinni Chongxiao Pavilion. The clone Li Yuanba was already waiting there. He came here to meet Li Yuanba. In the past 30 years, Li Yuanba's aura has stabilized at the peak of the middle nascent soul stage. And as long as he takes one step further, he will reach the realm of a great monk. In order to allow Li Yuanba to be promoted to a great monk safely, Li Shiming came here in person. Although there are many great monks in Jin Chongxiao Pavilion, Li Yuanba's own master Jin Wuwei is not as skilled as Li Yuanba. So he can provide limited help to Li Yuanba in this regard. Ever since Jin Lao solved the problem of space cracks that time, he has spent much less time showing up. According to his analysis, the cost of Jin Lao's attack was not small. Although it was a clone, the details were difficult to tell. Otherwise, it would not be possible to explain Jin Lao's reduced number of appearances. Besides, even if Li Yuanba has great reputation, it is still a bit troublesome to ask the Sword Master to protect him. The most important thing is that Li Shiming is more suitable to protect Li Yuanba. Even when it is most important, Li Shiming's spiritual power can be used with Li Yuanba. This kind of help is something that even Jian Lao cannot do. Fellow Taoist, I haven't seen you for decades. Li Shiming smiled and said, Okay, to Li Yuanba. Fellow Taoist, you are still as charming as ever. Li Yuanba returned the gesture. The main body and the clone looked at each other and smiled. This feeling was like talking to himself in the mirror. No matter how many times he repeated it, he still felt novel. Thank you, fellow Taoist. Li Yuanba said with a gesture of invitation. Li Shiming smiled, took out the formation base that had been prepared long ago, and began to arrange the formation in the cave. This formation was designed based on the characteristics of the sword intent climbing into the sky. At the core of the formation, he projected the shadow of the sword intent monument from the natal magic weapon Z15 into the core. Although the sword intent monument is a virtual projection, there is Li Shiming, a mid-level sword cultivator, who is still practicing the same source of chaos sword intent. Chaos sword intent. This is also the strongest sword intent that he can emit. If it is virtualized inside the Z15, 
it can simulate most of the sword intent of the sword intent monument itself. But if it is released outside, it can only be this level of sword intent. However, the chaos sword intention in the middle stage of the sword cultivating master is enough for Li Yuanba, who is in the nascent soul stage, to be promoted to the sword cultivating master. Li Yuanba walked into the formation and sat cross-legged in front of the virtual sword intention monument. He took out a few great monk elixirs and drank them, immersing himself in the sword intention Chong Shao Ju. At this time, Li Shiming monitored the situation in his body by contacting his soul. No matter how prepared you are, no matter how deep your accumulation is, the process of being promoted to a great monk in the middle stage of nascent soul has always been risky. The purpose of Li Shiming's visit this time is to minimize the occurrence of this risk. Chapter 853 Overhaul As Li Yuanba breathed, the energy contained by the formation entered his body. His Chaos Sword Intent echoes the Chaos Sword Intent on the Virtual Sword Intent Monument. In fact, his understanding of Chaos Sword Intent is the same as Li Shiming's. However, due to his realm, the rules of Sword Intent he can perceive are very limited. Only when you reach the realm of a great monk can you feel the existence of the rules of the sword more strongly. Since he and Li Shiming are one body, Li Shiming's Chaos Sword Intent is the form of his sword in the middle stage of the great monk. When he was promoted to a great monk, he had Li Shiming's Chaos Sword Intent as a reference, which made it almost impossible for him to take any risks when he understood the rules of the sword intent. Li Yuanba frowned slightly. The elixir energy in his body was very strong but the spiritual energy from the outside world was less, making him feel that the energy absorbed into his body was lacking. Li Shiming also sensed this immediately. In order to allow Li Yuanba to consume enough spiritual energy, he arranged the spiritual veins of two great monks. Unexpectedly, it was still not enough for Li Yuanba. No wonder the super-powerful nascent soul monk would go to a special cave for promotion when he was promoted. But he was not in a hurry. He had a plan for this. He stretched out his left hand, and the chaotic spiritual power was transformed into the spiritual power of the sword intent climbing to the sky, practiced by Li Yuanba, and was sent into the formation. This is the specialness of chaos spiritual power. The chaos spiritual power cultivated by the heaven art can change it will between the five elements of spiritual power and the spiritual power transformed by the five elements. The five elements of spiritual power are the five spiritual powers of metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. While the five elements of transformation spiritual power include special spiritual powers in the form of thunder, wind, ice, fog, etc. Although Li Shiming no longer regarded the sword intention climbing to the sky as a concurrent skill after being promoted to a great monk, the special nature of the heavenly man allowed him to show that he was as good as a sword cultivator when using his natal flying sword. The same fighting abilities and methods as a monk as his chaos spiritual power was transformed into the sword intent climb to the sky technique spiritual power. Li Yuanba absorbed these spiritual powers. Once these spiritual powers enter the body, they can be directly absorbed by his nascent soul without any refining. The prerequisites for Li Yuanba's promotion are all met. In terms of resources, understanding of the rules of the sword, and accumulation of spiritual power, all conditions are met. As more spiritual power enters the Yuaning body, the already saturated spiritual energy in the Yuaning body, there is congestion. He continued to send spiritual power into nascent soul. And at the same time, he continued to understand the rules of the sword. When the spiritual power in Yuaning's body reached a critical point, there was a bang in Yuaning's body. And the spiritual power shrank sharply. The quality of spiritual power has improved qualitatively. But the total quantity is only less than one tenth. At the same time, changes also occurred in the Yuaning. The Sword intent rules mark. He comprehended appeared in the Yuaning. The sword intent rule mark contained his understanding of the chaos sword intent. The sword intent rule seal is a little blurry, which is normal. When he understands the sword intent rule seal more deeply, the sword intent rule seal will become clearer and clearer. Li Shiming did not stop the output of spiritual power. He needed to ensure the energy intake for Li Yuanba's promotion. Li Yuanba's promotion process was surprisingly smooth, and he completed his promotion without any setbacks. His aura jumped from the middle stage of Yuaning to the aura of a great monk. Although he was in the initial stage of a great monk, a great monk was a great monk. 
This was a qualitative leap in his realm. From then on, he can drive the rules of the sword and strengthen his attack power. There is no need to rely on 10,000 swords peak to fight every battle. The chaos sword intent, blessed with sword intent rules, can almost compete with the peak monks. Congratulations, fellow Taoist. Li Shiming saw Li Yuanba standing up from the formation. He took out a mustard ring and threw it over with a smile. Li Yuanba took the mustard seed ring. He didn't even need to look at it to know that it contained some advanced spiritual elixirs for great monks. I left, and the aura here alerted the great monks of Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion, Li Shiming continued. In his perception, a sword cultivator was approaching here. The aura that broke out when Li Yuanba was promoted to great monk just now leaked out from the seabed. This place is close to the mountain gate of Jinni Chongshao Pavilion. So naturally there will be great sword cultivator monks coming to check on the situation. At such a close distance, a strong aura of an unknown monk appeared. For the safety of the mountain gate, we need to know the reason. Li Shiming took a step forward, and his figure disappeared from the spot. South close to the end of the world, made him appear on the sea, and then followed by. Arrived in one fell swoop, he was far away from where Li Yuanba was. He looked at the time, and saw that it had only been half a day since he arrived in Zhongzhou Continent. Looks like I can go home early. He shook his head and said to himself with a smile. He summoned the Thunder Beast. And in a flash, he sat on the Thunder Beast's back. The Thunder Beast turned into a flash of lightning and disappeared. The two great sword cultivators, Brother Lu and Brother Tang, flew out from the mountain gate of Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. With solemn expressions, they flew towards the direction of the aura discovered by the sex formation. Recently, the world of cultivating immortals seems to be very peaceful. But in fact the original battle has risen from the early stage of nascent soul to the level of great monks. Almost all the superpowers are competing like crazy for all the great monks' elixirs. It is precisely because of the competition among the great monks that the world of immortality seems to be peaceful. But in fact the danger of the world of immortality has increased many times. The culprit of this incident was Li Shiming. Due to Li Shiming's extensive alchemy, the value of the monk's elixir increased dramatically. Originally, a great monk's elixir fell into the hands of a normal alchemy master. But it was just three great monks' primary elixirs. With luck, it could become three great monks' intermediate elixirs. But in Li Shiming's hands, the quality is guaranteed to be that of a senior monk's elixir. This makes the value of the monk's elixir increase dozens of times even after paying Li Shiming's alchemy reward. In other words, obtaining one great monk's elixir now is equivalent to the value of dozens of great monks' elixir previously. The high-level spiritual elixir of the great monks has also caused the cultivation of the great monks of various forces to increase rapidly. Why did the Yuching sect and Baidi sect endure their hatred and suppress their helplessness, but also made friends with the 10,000 beasts sect and entrusted Li Shiming to make elixirs? Because the two superpowers discovered it only a few years later than the other superpowers. The other superpowers had the high-level spiritual elixir refined by Li Shiming which improved the cultivation of their high monks. However, these two superpowers suffered heavy losses, and the strength of the great monks lagged behind the other superpowers. Just like two great monks with the same strength before, one has the high-level spiritual elixir refined by Li Shiming, and the other does not. It only takes 10 years for the two sides to have a gap in their cultivation. Under this situation, although Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion has Li Yuanba, an alchemy master who can also refine the high-level monks' elixirs, they cannot lag behind in the competition for the high-level monks' elixirs. Amid the tense situation, all the great sword cultivators in the sword and tent Chongshao Pavilion were in a state of war readiness. Only then did the two great sword cultivators dispatched as soon as the formation gave a warning. Brother Lu and Brother Tun came to the place where the breath appeared thousands of miles away. They were suspended in the air and sensed the source of the breath. This breath is a bit familiar. It seems to be Yuanba's breath. Brother Lu has known Li Yuanba for the longest time, and he discovered the source of the breath. Yuanba was promoted to Great Monk? Why did he get promoted here? Brother Tun looked at the surrounding environment and asked with some confusion. For such an important matter as being promoted to a Great Monk, Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion should be notified, and a place should be prepared for Li Yuanba in the pavilion to increase the success rate of promotion. Everyone has secrets! Brother Lu withdrew his consciousness and said with a smile. He sensed that it was Li Yuanba's aura, so he wouldn't intentionally investigate it. He didn't want to offend Li Yuanba for this matter. Brother Tang also withdrew his spiritual consciousness and stood in the sky with Brother Lu, waiting for Li Yuanba to appear on his own after finishing his promotion. Not long after, 
The sea water parted, and Li Yuanba's figure flew out of the sea. Li Yuanba's aura is a little unstable. He has just been promoted to a great monk. Although he has the experience of mastering the body of a great monk with the original body Li Shiming, the spiritual power in Yuan Ying's body is insufficient, and the physical body is still being transformed by the rules of the great monk's sword. This kind of unstable breath will continue for a while. If he were in Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion, he should continue to retreat at this time, because in this state, his combat power is at its weakest. I've met these two uncles. Li Yuanba bowed to Monk Lu and Monk Tung and saluted. Congratulations to Junior Brotherly. You can just call us Senior Brother from now on. I didn't expect you to be promoted to a great monk so quickly. Senior Monk Lu returned the salute. He looked up at Li Yuanba and said with emotion in his eyes. In just a few years, Li Yuanba was promoted to a great monk, a sword cultivator who was less than 200 years old. Moreover, when Li Yuanba was in the middle stage of Yuanying, he was the first person in the middle stage of Yuanying, and he had the strength to compete with ordinary great monks. Now that he is promoted to a great monk, his combat power will definitely increase again. If the monsterly Shiming hadn't appeared in the world of immortality, a genius like Li Yuanba would have been the dazzling sun. Unfortunately, it was the presence of young great cultivators, like Li Shiming, that made Li Yuanba's style obscured. But even so, Li Yuanba's promotion to the great monk is a major event worthy of celebration for Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. From then on, Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion gained a super powerful monk. This is a great event. I want to inform the pavilion and let everyone in the pavilion know about it. Brother Tang said with some urgency as he typed several message passing techniques. This place is not far from the mountain gate of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion and is still within the range of the transmission of the secrets. Of course, no matter how far away it is, the messenger sword issued by the sword cultivator can also send messages over long distances. Junior Brother Li, let's go back to the pavilion first. You need to rest. Brother Lu thought of Li Yuanba's situation and quickly reminded him. This place is very close to Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion. But after all, it is outside the mountain gate. If he is attacked by surprise, Li Yuanba in this state will not have much combat power. Yes, let's go back to the mountain gate together. Brother Ting finished sending out the message transmission formula and nodded in agreement. Neither of the two great sword cultivators asked Li Yuanba why he went out for promotion. They knew very well what they should ask and what they should not ask. They even guessed that there should be a cave under the sea. But they said nothing and planned to forget about it when they went back. Li Yuanba was not that weak. He thanked the two great sword cultivators for their concern and followed them to fly to the mountain gate of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. He was not worried about being attacked. Although his condition was not good, he had enough means to protect himself. The late stage golden corpse alone can compete with the peak monk. When entering the mountain gate of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion, Li Yuanba saw many monks waiting for him in the sky. Yuanba! I was left behind by you again! Master Jin Wuwei laughed and came to Li Yuanba, patted Li Yuanba's shoulder hard, and said half proudly and half complaining. All the monks here could hear the deep pride in his words. Jian Wuwei is currently in the middle stage of Yuanying. He has mastered the breaking void sword intent, and his combat power can be ranked among the top in sword cultivation in the middle stage of Yuanying. In addition, because Jian Wu Wei is a direct descendant of the Jian clan, he has a very high status in the Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. Previously, he had been practicing hard for a period of time because his realm was lagging behind the Yuanba. With the help of the sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion Sword Master, he not only mastered the broken void sword intent, but also raised his realm to the middle stage of nascent soul. I just didn't expect that just a few years later, he would be left far behind by Li Yuanba again. But he was only happy and not jealous at all. The master-disciple relationship is the closest relationship in the world of immortality. The elixirs used in his master's practice were all refined by Li Yuanba. Of course, Li Yuanba also enjoyed the benefits of being a direct disciple of the Jian family. Both the inheritance of the Jian family and his status in the pavilion were all because of the direct lineage of the Jian family. Obtain the status of direct disciple. Master, it won't take long for you to catch up. Li Yuanba said to Jian Wuwei with a smile. Indeed, I will catch up soon. Just wait. Jian Wuwei said with great pride. Congratulations, Master Li. Congratulations to Junior Brother Li. Those who were called Master Uncle were all his former peers. Li Yuanba was promoted to a great monk. Except for his relationship with Jian Wuwei in the sect. Other mid-stage nascent soul monks were required to call him Master Uncle. The person called Junior Brother is naturally the great sword cultivator. 
This time, the people who came out to greet him were a familiar Wudu monk and another unknown sword cultivator. It is normal for there to be unknown swordsmanship masters. Some of the swordsmanship masters of sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion were in retreat when he was active. It is common for a great sword cultivator to stay in seclusion for decades or hundreds of years. Li Yuanba did not grow up in Jianyi Cheng Shao Pavilion since he was a child. He is able to know most of the great sword cultivators because of his alchemy ability. Li Yuanba was attracted by this unknown swordsmanship monk. And he sensed the aura of a peak monk from the monk's body. Chapter 854 Stable Yuanba! This is my uncle Jian Tiani! Jian Wuwei introduced the Yuanba. When he said this, he thought that Li Yuanba was his disciple and Jian Tiani was his uncle. This relationship gave him a headache. However, according to the rules of the world of immortality, unless it is a master disciple relationship, other relationships are not as important as the realm. Just call me senior brother. I have long heard that Yuan Ba is a new generation genius in the pavilion. Unfortunately, you were in retreat when I came out. We are lucky enough to meet you today. You are really talented. A monk from Jian took it with a smile. Huanto said to Li Yuan Ba. Li Yuan Ba has met senior brother Jian. Li Yuan Ba did not want to be rude. Although he addressed the other party as senior brother, he still saluted as a junior. Yuan Ba, hurry up and stabilize your realm. There are a lot of things going on in the pavilion recently, and I need your help. Jian Wu interrupted at this time. He could see Li Yuanba's weakness, and he didn't want to delay Li Yuanba any longer. This weak state was uncomfortable. Master, what happened? Li Yuanba asked curiously. He has been in seclusion, but he doesn't know what happened in these years. Li Shiming, the main body, is far away from the Zhongzhou continent, unless some big events happen in the Zhongzhou continent. Li Shiming doesn't know what happened in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. There have been many conflicts over the years for the resources of the great monks. The pavilion has mobilized all the combat forces it can mobilize. Jian Wu thought for a while and replied. Afterwards, Jian Wu selected some important things that happened in the past 30 years and told Li Yuanbo. Since Li Shiming opened the Alchemy Commission, the world of immortality has attached great importance to the resources of great monks. And every resource of great monks has become an important resource to compete for. Previously, because of Li Yuanba, the Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion had refined all the great monk elixirs in the Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion into high-level monk elixirs. Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion is also in urgent need of more great monk elixirs. And the tradition of sword cultivators is to snatch resources. Almost as long as there is news about great monk elixirs, sword cultivator great monks will appear. It was precisely because of the competition for resources that the great monks of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion were short of manpower. Even Jian Tiani, who was practicing in seclusion, was invited to take charge of affairs. Jian Tiani, a peak sword cultivator, has the reputation of being the number one offensive sword cultivator. His combat power is one of the best among the peak sword cultivators. With his presence, he can suppress most of the great monks. After listening to Jian Wuwei's introduction, Li Yuanba knew the current situation. Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion currently has accumulated a batch of great monk elixirs, waiting for him to come out and refine them. Of course, the refining of this batch of elixirs for the great monks is not too urgent. It needs to wait until he has completely stabilized his realm. In addition, his strong combat power is also urgently needed by Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. Jian Tiani cannot be responsible for everything, although the other sword cultivators are also very powerful. They may be able to suppress the swords of many great monks by one person. There are still too few great monks. Even though Li Yuanba had just been promoted to a great monk, his combat prowess in the middle stage of nascent soul showed that his combat power was comparable to that of an ordinary great monk. After being promoted to a great monk and sword cultivator, his combat prowess was among the best among the great monks. Master, bring those great monk elixirs and refine them when I have time. Li Yuanba said to Jian Wu before entering his cave. Jian Wuwei wanted to persuade him, but considering the importance of refining the monk's elixir, he agreed to Li Yuanba's proposal. Yuanba, these are 24 great monk elixirs. Although refining the elixir is important, it should not affect yourself. Jian Wuwei sent a batch of great monk elixirs over not long after. He confessed worriedly. Li Yuanba, who was in the cave, had already taken the high-level monk's elixir. With the nourishment of the high-level monk's elixir, his weak state had improved. Master, I will pay attention to it. There is one more thing I want to ask Master for help. Li Yuanba said, summoning the late golden corpse. And then said, Master, 
Please give this golden corpse an identity so that it can enter and leave freely in the pavilion. If you didn't say this was a golden corpse, I would have thought it was a great monk. Jian Wei looked at the later golden corpse and said in surprise, He was quite knowledgeable. But if Li Yuanba hadn't explained that this was a late-stage golden corpse, he really wouldn't have been able to tell. You are now also a great monk in the pavilion. When your identity Jade Disc is given a higher authority, you can apply for an identity for this golden corpse by yourself. He looked at it for a while before shaking his head and saying, he had a strong curiosity in his heart. This was a late-stage golden corpse. A weird late-stage golden corpse. Although the Yuanba had five mid-stage golden corpses, and they were extremely powerful mid-stage golden corpses, the late-stage golden corpses should not be something that Li Yuanba could refine at this time. In the later stage of refining the golden corpse, one must be in the realm of a great monk. Li Yuanba was promoted to a great monk, so he had no time to refine it. Jian Wei had no intention of prying into the secrets of his disciples. He also had secrets of his own. Otherwise, how could he be promoted to a nascent soul cultivator in the resource-poor Beishu continent far away from Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion? Li Yuanba entered the practice, and he had a batch of high-level elixirs from great monks sent by Li Shiming in his hand, which was enough for him to consume for a period of time. Before he entered cultivation, he sent his thoughts to Li Shiming, the main body of Dong Qi continent. Li Shiming's Bantam clone has already mounted the Thunder Beast and rushed towards Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. With the speed of the Thunder Beast, the distance between Zhongzhou Continent and Dongqi Continent only takes four or five days to go back and forth. As for Li Shiming, Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion's alchemy matter would not be delayed much by jumping in. Li Yuanba's later golden corpse was responsible for delivering the Great Monk Elixir to the hands of the Phantom Clone. Sword Intention Chongshao Pavilion put so many Great Monk Elixirs in his hands, and was not worried that he would covet these Great Monk Elixirs. Medicine. An alchemy master who can refine high-grade Monk's Elixirs. This identity alone far exceeds the value of these Monk's Elixirs. Li Yuanba spent a year in retreat this time. At the cost of consuming many high-level spiritual elixirs for Great Monks. It was much shorter than the time for normal Great Monks to stabilize their realm. Slowly opening his eyes, he felt the nascent soul within his body. The aura of Yuanying at this moment is extremely sharp. And the sword intent rule mark is clearer than a year ago. At the same time, chaos sword intent is filled with every part of Yuanying's body. A normal nascent soul is formed by the fusion of spiritual power and soul. But the nascent soul of a great sword cultivator has more sword intent. It is precisely because of this that the great sword cultivator does not need to use the Yuanying method to exert the amplifying effect of the Yuanying on the sword intention. A great swordsman cultivator can exert powerful power with just a single movement of his hand. If the sword intent rule seal is mobilized to bless the sword intent, its power can be doubled. Powerful! He felt himself and made a judgment in his heart. This is different from Li Shiming's power. Li Shiming practices heavenly art and develops in all aspects of body refining, spiritual power, and spirit. He can even use the special conversion of chaos spiritual power to exert the power of Thunder Cultivator and Sword Cultivator. Combat Strength Li Yuanba's strength was due to his pure sword cultivation. His body was transformed by the Chaos Sword Intent, and his sword body reached the realm of a great monk in one year. In the realm of great monks, this sword body truly reflects why it is called a sword body, rather than being called a body refining technique. Because the sword body at the level of a great monk allows the physical body to perfectly fit the extremely sharp sword intention running in the body. The effect of the powerful physical body is only incidental. Li Yuanba felt like he was a flying sword. His physical body was the body of the sword. And his nascent soul was the sword's intention. The combination of the two made him a flying sword made by swordsmen. He believed that if he were at the same level as his real body Li Shiming, his sword cultivation attacks would be more powerful than Li Shiming's sword cultivation attacks. This was the bonus effect of the pure sword cultivation of the physical body and nascent soul. Of course, Li Shiming's combat power is not that of a sword cultivator. Among the many methods, a sword cultivator can only be regarded as a relatively ordinary one. What Li Yuanba needs most now is to fight. Through fighting, he can adapt to the swordsman fighting style of the great monk level, and at the same time sharpen his chaos sword intent. The main body Li Shiming's chaos sword intention is as powerful as it is today, all thanks to the improvement of chaos sword intent. Obtained by Li Yuanba's continuous fighting. In actual battles, Li Shiming rarely used sword cultivator's attack methods. 
His understanding of sword cultivator's combat came from Li Yuanbo. The meaning of the clone's existence is to make the main body safer, and to bear the risk of fighting for the main body. Li Yuanba cast a message transmission spell, and waited for a while before his master Jian Wuwei arrived in the cave. After Jian Wuwei was promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul, Jian Wuwei began to take over some affairs of Jin Chongshao Pavilion, which was to cultivate his management ability. As a direct lineage of the Jin clan, the main power of Jin Chongshao Pavilion is usually taken over by sword cultivators from this lineage. Li Yuanba also learned about this from Jian Wuwei before retreating. And that's why Jian Wuwei contacted him about making alchemy. Master, you're here. Li Yuanba greeted Jian Wuwei with a smile when he saw him coming in. He had prepared a pot of fourth grade spiritual tea for Jian Wuwei. And it was ready when Jian Wuwei came in. Save some of this spiritual tea for me. Jian Wuwei sniffed the aroma of the fourth grade spiritual tea and said with bright eyes. He is very familiar with the aroma of this spiritual tea. There are only two monks in the world of immortality who can make it. One is Li Shiming from the northern Shu continent. And the other is Li Shurjin from the eastern Qi continent. Recently, the 10,000 beast sect suddenly formed an alliance with the northern Shu sect in the northern Shu continent. And the northern Shu sect merged the original seven sects of the northern Shu continent. And Li Shiming is the real leader of the 10,000 beast sect. These signs, coupled with Li Shiming's alchemy ability, made Jian Wuwei almost certain that Li Shiming and Li Shurjin were the same person. In particular, he obtained Li Shiming's portrait from the intelligence department, which further confirmed his guess. Seeing this fourth grade spiritual tea today, Jian Wuwei knew that his disciple had some kind of connection with Li Shurjin. Li Yuanba and Li Shiming were good friends when they were in Beishu continent before. And Li Shiming and Li Shurjin were the same person. So it was not surprising that Li Yuanba and Li Shurjin were connected. If you like, I have some more here. All for you. Li Yuanba smiled and took out a jade box and pushed it in front of Jian Wuwei. Jian Wuwei was not polite at all. And the master-disciple relationship was extremely solid. To be honest, did you ask Li Shurjin to refine the elixir? Jian Wuwei asked after taking a sip of the elixir tea and feeling it. Master, my alchemy skills can really refine a high-level monk's elixir. I just don't have time to refine it. So I asked fellow Taoist Li for help. Li Yuanba had no intention of hiding anything and explained with a smile. As he spoke, he took out the high-level spiritual elixir that the great monk commissioned from Jin Chengshao Pavilion to refine and placed it in front of Jin Wuwei. Maybe I don't understand how geniuses interact with each other. Jian Wuwei looked at the jade bottle in front of him, shook his head and smiled. Jian Chou Pavilion asked Li Yuanba to refine the high-level spiritual elixir for the great monks. And the reward was very small. But when Li Shiming was asked to refine the elixir, the reward was many times higher. Unless Li Yuanba and Li Shiming had an excellent friendship, it would have been impossible for Li Shiming to make elixirs with such remuneration. Not to mention that as far as Jian Wuwei knew, Li Shiming's alchemy commission had been queued up for at least 10 years. It goes without saying that Li Yuanba jumped in the queue when he took out the high-level spiritual elixir for the great monk. You have stabilized your realm, and you need to fight to temper it. It just so happens that there are many combat missions in the pavilion that are suitable for you. Jian Wuwei put away the jade bottle and continued. That's what I meant. Li Yuanba was thinking about the battle and replied with a smile. Perhaps for other superpowers. Sending a top alchemy master to the battlefield is an unimaginable thing. But for Jenny Chongshao Pavilion, Li Yuanba's talent is not only in alchemy. His fighting talent is also extremely strong. If a sword cultivator wants to increase his strength, he must go through a lot of battles. Why do all the sword cultivators in Jenny Chongshao Pavilion like to go out and fight? The world of immortal cultivation also calls sword cultivators sword madmen. It is because of the way sword cultivators grow. After Li Yuanba sent Jian Wuwei away, he took out the jade plate of his identity. His status as jade disc has been upgraded. He used to be an alchemy master, which was equivalent to the power of a great monk. But it was still somewhat different from the power of a real great monk. This is reflected in many matters that require the strength of a great monk. When he is an alchemy master, his identity will not be shown on the jade plate. Now his identity jade plate contains the relevant tasks of the great monk. Opening the great monk quest. He was a little surprised by the number of great monk quests. There are more than 10 tasks from top to bottom. Considering how many great monks there are in the entire world of immortality. There are more than 10 tasks at the level of great monks. This shows how chaotic the world of immortality has been at the level of great monks recently. He browsed through the high monk mission descriptions one by one 
and found that these high monk missions were all similar tasks. Robbing the high monk resources. All high monk resource points have owners, and each force will work hard to hide the location of these high monk resource points. Chapter 855 Mission Over a long period of time, the locations of many great monk resource points were exposed. In the past, it was just because of stability. The various forces did not want to cause a war, and they had a set of distribution principles for the resource points of the great monks. But Li Shiming's public acceptance of the Alchemy Commission broke the previous balance. When the resources of the great monks and almost every great monk resource point are mature, there will be many great monks trying to snatch them. No great monk will destroy the great monk resource points, which will become the public enemy of the great monks and all forces. But there is no problem in taking away the resources of the mature great monks. Thirty years ago, this kind of robbing the great monks' resource points was only done in a sneaky way. A small number of great monks united, and when the great monk resources at the great monk resource point matured, they raided the great monk resource point there to steal the great monk resources. As the value of the great monk's elixir continues to increase, more and more great monks are participating in this robbery. Even later, the superpowers took advantage of their own intelligence to participate in this blatant war for resources. All forces maintain a tacit understanding that they will rely on their strength to seize the resources of the great monks, and will not trigger the battle into a full-scale war. In fact, no force dared to start a full-scale war because the resources of the high monks were robbed. Because there were too many forces involved in robbing the resources of the high monks. Thirty years later, this chaotic situation has reached an extreme level. Even the resource points of super-powerful monks will be targeted by a large number of monks as long as their location and the maturity time of the monks' resources are exposed. Today's world of immortality can be said to be the period when the number of great monks is most active in the past millennium. The great monks who were originally in retreat, as well as the great monks who were traveling abroad, have all been recalled by various forces to participate in this crazy battle for resources. Li Yuanbao looked at the tasks one by one. These tasks were the great monk resource points that had recently exposed their positions and were close to the mature monk resources. They needed the great monk to participate in the snatching. These great monk resource points are not just in the Zhongzhou continent, but are spread across all known continents. No wonder Jian Wuwei said before that the great monks in the pavilion were not strong enough. It turned out to be this reason. If the swordsmanship masters from Sword and Tent Chong Shao Pavilion were to participate in every competition for the master's resource points, even if all the swordsmanship masters were released, they would still not have time to travel between continents. Li Yuanba has no intention of leaving Zhongzhou Continent. He has many enemies. After leaving Zhongzhou Continent, and without the influence of Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion, it is difficult to say whether any enemies will find him. Li Yuanba chose a resource point task for the great monks of the Infinite Sect. It can be seen that the Infinite Sect cannot stop many great monks from robbing its great monk resource points. Not long after he chose the mission, a detailed information about the resource point was sent to the Identity Jade Plate, and a list of major monks who might participate in the robbery was also attached. This is the advantage of choosing Zhongzhou Continent to carry out missions. The Intelligence Department of Jenny Chongshao Pavilion can obtain more accurate intelligence in Zhongzhou Continent. There are still seven days before the next batch of Great Monk resources mature at the Infinite Sex Great Monk resource point. There is no need to rush in terms of time. Even if he flies over at a slow speed, he can still make it in time. He checked his magic weapon. After he was promoted to a Great Monk, the power he could exert had increased a lot. Ling Bao needs great power to be able to exert its power 100%. And now, he can still only exert part of its power. The power of 10,000 Swords Peak has also been improved. Among them, the power of the energized flying swords in 10,000 Swords Peak has not changed much. The biggest change in power is the gravity field strengthened by gravity bricks. At the level of a great monk, he can exert the stronger power of gravity brick. The released gravity field can have a great impact on the great monks in the early stage of the great monk and cause a certain deceleration to the great monks in the middle stage of the great monk. Effect? As for the performance of the two spiritual treasures in battle, it still needs to be observed through battle. After leaving Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion, Li Yuanba performed. Come in one fell swoop, although the spiritual power in his body could not achieve the luxury of long-term use of. Come in one fell swoop, he could still use. Come in one fell swoop, as a, a common method for traveling short distances. Each time the space moves 8,000 miles, this movement speed exceeds the flying speed of the great monks known in the world of immortality, and also gives him an extra layer of security. 
you must know that the divine foot power in the middle stage of nascent soul, although it is also extremely fast, there will be a certain interval between each use of south close to the end in the face of powerful enemies. This interval will become the biggest flaw. It's different now. He can move 8,000 miles at a time and still have energy left, which allows him to leave the battlefield with ease. He took out a mirror and tapped it a few times. This mirror is a receiving device that can receive signals from drone satellites. Although the drone satellite system over the Zhongzhou continent has been unmanaged for decades, the drone satellites that have been upgraded many times can continue to stay in the sky for hundreds of years. This batch of drone satellites are still in working condition. Since the main body Li Shiming is not in Zhongzhou continent, Z-15 is not within the scope of Zhongzhou continent, and cannot contact the UV satellite system over Zhongzhou continent, Li Yuanba could only use a backup plan. This mirror was a display screen with a built-in drone satellite connection device that was refined using a refining method. After a hundred years of research, Li Shiming has achieved a lot of results in the combination of past life technology and methods of cultivating immortals. In particular, the materials he has access to and the improvement of his weapon refining skills allow him to now simulate many functions of past life technologies using weapon refining methods. The mirror in Li Yuanba's hand is one of them. It is also a reset an upgraded version of the thousand miles of mutual view he studied before. However, he no longer has the communication function and just uses it as a monitoring terminal. Perhaps a new generation of drone satellites will soon replace the current generation. Just waiting for Li Shiming to produce a new batch of drone satellites. The research work has ended long ago. But Li Shiming prioritizes cultivation. And the computer room space is occupied by alchemy and refining equipment so he has no time to produce a new generation of drone satellites. The new generation chip is designed according to the Z-15, with a precision of 0.5 nanometers, and its computing speed is far higher than that of previous generations of technology. If the Z-15 itself had not become Li Shiming's talisman, being completely energized and freed from the limitations of precision and temperature, the 0.5 nanometer precision chips now designed could replace the 190 main chips of the Z-15. Li Yuanba monitored the situation in the area where the Great Monk Resource Point was located through the drone satellite system. Judging from the surveillance screen, at least nine Great Monks have arrived there. The good news is that no Peak Monk has arrived. Of course, the actual number of Great Monks must be more than nine. And the drone satellite system cannot detect the Great Monks hidden in the protection of the Great Monk's Resource Point array. In addition, there are still a few days left. And no one can tell how many other Great Monks will rush over. Comparing the information provided by Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion, the number of great monks in the information is only one or two different from the actual number, which shows how strong the intelligence capability of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion is. Li Yuanba put away the mirror, and a few hours later, he approached the great monk resource point. He did not approach immediately, but first found a hidden location and drank a high-level monk spiritual pill to restore the spiritual power in his body. After his strength was fully restored, he used Sword Escape to fly towards the Great Monk's resource point. Here comes another one. It seems to be a Sword Cultivator. But I don't know which Sword Cultivator it is. A Great Monk looked at the approaching Sword Escape light and asked nervously. It's not Jiantiani. This Sword Cultivator's aura is very weak. So he probably isn't strong. Another Great Cultivator was much more relaxed and replied with a smile. However, as Li Yuanba released his Sword Escape state and all the Great Monk saw Li Yuanba's face clearly. All the great monks who knew him took a deep breath. Back in the Hell Cave, Li Yuanba stole the show, allowing many great monks to see how powerful he was. At that time, he was only in the middle stage of nascent soul. But now, he is already a great sword cultivator. It turns out to be fellow Daoist Li. Congratulations to fellow Daoist Li for being promoted to a great monk. How come I haven't heard of such a big thing? A great monk smiled and bowed slightly to Li Yuanba in greeting. I've met fellow Taoist son. Long time no see. And everyone. Too. Li Yuanba replied with a smile. He ignored several of the great monks who had ugly faces after seeing him. And greeted them with a smile. When they come here, they are all ready to snatch the resources of the great monks. Once they break the formation of the great monks' resource points and enter the resource points, they are all opponents. Regardless of how polite brother son is, he will still take action against the Yuanba when necessary. What surprised Li Yuanba was that most of the great monks here came from various superpowers. And two of them came from major sects. Fellow Dawa's son, why haven't you seen the great monk from the outer continent? Li Yuanba asked. 
sitting not far from the great monk Sun. This monk Sun was a great cultivator of the Guyuan sect. He had dealt with him in the Hell Cave, so he was quite talkable. Not much is known about the maturity period of the resources of the great monks in the central continent from the outer continent, but I think that when the next time it matures, there will be great monks from the outer continent participating. Great monk Sun replied with a smile. Li Yuanba shook his head and asked for next time. Even if the resources of the great monks in this great monk resource point are divided into several batches, it will take at least a hundred years for a group of great monks to mature. He did not believe that such chaotic robbery would last for more than a hundred years. Because as long as the main body Li Shiming accumulates enough great monk resources, the scale of alchemy will be reduced. Li Shiming is equivalent to using all the resources of the great monks in the world of immortality to cultivate the body and clones. It seems that the great monks and various forces have benefited a lot. But the real winner of the greatest benefit is Li Shiming. For a furnace of great monk elixirs, the person who entrusts the alchemist can get two of them. Li Shiming can use the 110 point elixir formula to get four high level monk elixirs. Once the number of elixirs is increased, Li Shiming can concentrate on refining and use all the excess elixirs to refine higher quality elixirs for himself. In fact, it is not that there are no monks in the world of immortality who have noticed Li Shiming's plan. Although it is impossible to guess that Li Shiming has obtained more than double the elixir, the reward for alchemy alone, plus a large monk's elixir that was intercepted according to the rules of the alchemy master, the benefits Li Shiming gained were astonishing. But where Li Shiming's strength lies, no force dares to challenge him. He achieved this through bloody battles, and the lives of two peak monks proved his combat prowess. Li Yuanbao looked at the great monk resource point of Wuyang sect. The formation there had long been activated to its strongest state. He observed the spiritual power lines of the formation through his Shen eyes, and passed these data to the main body Li Shiming. And Z15 helped analyze the detailed information of the formation. Soon a formation diagram appeared in his mind, with Z15 marking the loopholes in the formation and various ways to crack it. He could even use one of the loopholes to use Shen Zutong to move directly into the resource point. After all, Wuyang sect is a new super force, and its background is indeed a bit lacking. In his eyes, the formation of this great monk's resource point had a lot of loopholes, which allowed him to enter directly. He has seen many superpower resource points, and the resource point array in front of him is at a relatively poor level. Of course, after Li Shiming was promoted to a major monk, the computing power of Z15 has been greatly improved, and his ability to analyze and research formations has also improved a lot, making it easier to crack formations. Li Yuanba stopped observing and closed his eyes to rest. Brother Sun glanced at him, stood up gently, walked to a place further away from him, and sat down again. You can't blame Brother Sun for changing places and being a little closer to Li Yuanba, which made him feel the sword intent on Li Yuanba. The sword intent made him a little confused, and his danger alarm sent out reminders from time to time. If it continued like this, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to exert much combat power until he didn't have to take action in a few days. Although Li Yuanba has stabilized his realm, he still cannot fully grasp his own power. The sword intention he revealed was the Chaos Sword Intent. After being promoted to a great monk, the Chaos Sword Intent became much more powerful. In addition, under the influence of the Sword Intent rule mark, his control was weakened a lot. What he needs to get used to is not just the sword intention, but also his sword body. The sword body also has the Chaos Sword Intention flowing from time to time, exuding the aura of Chaos sword intention to the surroundings. These are all unconscious behaviors, which will gradually converge as his realm improves. A truly profound monk can control his aura freely, but now Li Yuanba is like an unsheathed sword, constantly exuding the sharpness and threat of the sword. Only through continuous tempering can this sharpness and threat be restrained. And then, it will be even more powerful and terrifying. Although the other great monks were relatively far away, the faint Chaos sword intention also affected them and made them lose interest in communicating. Chapter 856 begins. Li Yuanba closed his eyes and rested, ignoring the several great monks not far away. He thought that as long as the time came when the resources of the resource point and the monks' resources matured, he would directly enter the resource point formation and take away the resources of the monk. Even though there are all great monks here, the competition for the resources of great monks is not random. The great monks need to be careful when releasing their power. Any act that damages the environment will lead to counterattacks from all forces. 
there are corresponding instructions in the mission information released by Jianyi Chengshao Pavilion. Under such conditions, it is extremely beneficial for the sword cultivator. You must know that if the other great monks want to exert their strongest combat power, many methods will affect large areas. And such methods cannot be used inside resource points. Perhaps the great monks can only use some extremely powerful methods when breaking through the resource point formation. After the formation is broken, they need to restrain their own strength. And any attack must be restrained so that it does not affect the surrounding areas. While he was thinking about it, a great monk stood up and without saying a word, he rose into the air and headed into the distance. Then another great monk stood up and flew into the distance. Among the remaining great monks, some had sarcastic expressions on their faces, as if they were disdainful of the two great monks' timidity, while some had hesitant expressions on their faces, as they were considering whether to leave like the two great monks. Li Yuanba didn't need to use his eyes to see. He knew through perception that the two great monks who left were the same great monks he had seen in the Hell Cave. Great monks who have truly seen Li Yuanba's strength will consider the improvement in his strength as a great monk. It is obvious that these two great monks are self-aware and know their own strength. On such a battlefield that is beneficial to the sword cultivator, the possibility of them competing for the resources of the great monk is extremely low. Li Yuanba was obviously not a merciful person, as he had killed many great monks. Back in the Hell Cave, Li Yuanba killed too many monks, and his decisiveness in killing was obvious to all the great monks present. Fellow Daoist Li, I will not participate in the competition for the resources of the great monks. See you when you have time? Great Monk Sun stood up and said with a smile, Fellow Dawa's son, thank you for your kindness. Li Yuanba opened his eyes, bowed slightly to Monk Sun and said, Brother Sun made it clear that he would quit, and he would always give Brother Sun some face. After hearing what he said, Brother Sun jumped into the air with a smile on his face. As for his true mood, it is unknown. Anyway, it won't be too nice. The great monks who came here all accepted the mission. After a hard trip, they left without any results. But he knew one thing very well. It was not cost-effective to take action against the Yuanba, a powerful swordsman monk, just for the resources of a great monk whose ownership was unknown. Besides, quitting in time can also establish a friendship with the Yuanba. There were only six great monks left at the scene, and two more great monks looked at the situation and left. The remaining four great monks were very unconvinced by the Yuanba's intimidating power. They had heard of Li Yuanba's reputation. But the reputation of being the number one person in the realm of immortal cultivation in the middle stage of Yuanying could not intimidate the four great monks. These four great monks had never seen Li Yuanba's combat power in the middle stage of Yuanying. The four great monks looked at each other, and after some communication through voice transmission, they sat closer and seemed to have formed a temporary alliance. Li Yuanba cares about them lazily. Even if the four great monks unite, they won't put much pressure on him. A few hours later, a great monk flew from a distance. Hey, why are there so few senior monks participating this time? The senior monk came closer and saw that there were only five senior monks there. And he couldn't help but ask strangely. Li Yuanba didn't know him. So he couldn't answer his questions. The other four great monks were carefully on guard against Li Yuanba and also ignored the great monk. It won't be that the war has begun in advance. With such a small number of great monks, it will be more difficult to break the formation. The great monk was very ambitious and said to himself after falling down. After observing for a while, he discovered something was wrong with the scene. Neither of them had any intention of joining. So he walked to the other direction and sat down. In the next few days, several more great monks came over. I wonder if the news that Li Yuanba was here spread out. And the arrival of the great monks who had not participated in the Hell Cave. They were all great monks that Li Yuanba did not know. These later great monks were all wary of the four great monks who came first. Who told these four great monks to unite? As for Li Yuanba, the later great monks were also sizing him up. But not as much as the four great monks. It is about to reach the time when the resources of the great monks and the great monk resource point are mature. The great monks who are guarding outside the great monk resource point today all feel the changes in the energy emitted by the great monk resource point. This is because the great monk resource points strengthen the isolation effect of the formation. This situation will only occur when the great monk resource points in the resource point mature, in order to prevent the breath from leaking out. The isolation effect of the formation is temporarily enhanced. If the isolation effect of the formation is not strengthened, the aura of the great monk's mature resources will be revealed, thereby attracting the attention of the monks and spiritual beasts. However, 
if the formation is to maintain the effect of isolating the great monk's resources for a long time. The energy consumed by the formation is too great, and it is far less cost-effective than temporarily strengthening the formation. This also became a sign that the great monk's resources were mature. After sensing this sign, all the great monks stood up. Only Li Yuanbo was still sitting. He wanted to see the guarding situation of the great monk resource point of Wuyang sect. Outside the great monk resource point, in addition to Li Yuanba, there are 12 great monks. It can be said that the number of great monks here is enough to break the formation of the resource point. The premise is that the number of great monks in the resource points will not be too exaggerated. With the support of the formation of the resource points, the defensive power of the great monks will be greatly improved. In the great monk resource point, the auras of the three great monks rose up. At the same time, the formation of the resource point flashed with light, and formation runes were lit up in the void. This is to activate the maximum effect of the formation with the help of the spiritual veins of the great monks resource points. Cooperate with the three great monks for defense. As long as the great monks resources are mature, the battle will be over when the defending great monks collect the mature great monks resources. The competition for the resources of the great monks is much more civilized than the battles of other monks. The main reason is that all the forces jointly urge the great monks to abide by the rules and not destroy the resource points of the great monks. This made the great monks restrained in the fight for resources. Forming an unspoken rule now. In the world of cultivating immortals, even great monks must abide by this unspoken rule. Among the twelve great monks, the four great monks who formed an alliance were facing the resource points, but they were always paying attention to Li Yuanba's movements behind them. Seeing that Li Yuanba did not move, they launched an attack on the formation together with the other great monks. Suddenly, they discovered that Li Yuanba's figure had disappeared, and in their perception, Li Yuanba's aura was completely gone. Where did Li Yuanba go? Did any of you see it? One of the great monks asked repeatedly. I don't know. It is said that he has the magical power of space movement. Has he left? Another great monk asked doubtfully. They also understood that this possibility was too low. Li Yuanba had been waiting here for several days, and it was impossible for him to leave without even fighting. Li Yuanba used, Arrive in one move, and his figure flashed inside the formation. His position was not far from the three great monks, who were fusing with the formation for defense. When the three great monks sensed it, Li Yuanba's figure disappeared again before they could check. This time Li Yuanba entered the resource point. The outer formation was the peripheral protection of the resource point, and there was another layer of formation inside. This was to prevent the garrison monks from affecting the growth of the resources of the great monks. Any kind of great monk resource requires a special living environment. Every major monk resource point that can be protected must protect this special living environment and not allow outside or own monks to disturb this relatively fragile living environment. Therefore, the protection of multiple formations is inevitable. And everything is for the safety of the great monk's resources. This time Li Yuanba entered the internal formation which was the entrance to the resource survival area of the great monk. He waved his hand, and later the golden corpse blocked the entrance, and he walked in. What is protected is a grassland full of spiritual energy, and patches of spiritual grass form a small-scale grassland. In the small-scale grassland, two small withered areas appeared. In the center of the withered area, two clusters of golden threaded green grass grew, which was a kind of great monk elixir. During the growth period, the golden green grass is no different from the ordinary green grass around it. But when it matures, it will absorb the spirituality of the surrounding green grass. Li Yuanba can be sure that there must be a special wood type spirit stone mine under this piece of Qingling grass. This is the growth condition of Qingling grass. And this area must have existed for an extremely long time to be able to grow in Qingling grass. The golden green spiritual grass is bred from the spiritual grass. It's not a loss this time as I can get two clusters of golden-threaded green spiritual grass at one time, which is enough to refine six furnaces of the great monk's spiritual pill. Only after he truly participated in obtaining the resources of the great monks did he understand the difficulty of obtaining the resources of the great monks. If a group of great monks had not left before, that means there would have been at least twenty great monks coming to snatch these two clusters of golden-threaded green spiritual grass. Li Shiming, the main body, has been refining the great monk's elixir continuously, and has never considered the difficulty of obtaining the great monk's elixir. Of course, if it weren't for the current chaotic situation, each force would have its own stable source of resources for the great monks. Looking at now, even the superpowers are unable to protect the resources of the great monks produced by their own resource points. 
It can be seen that the competition for the resources of the great monks has long been out of control. The three great monks of Wuyang sect, who were defending against outside attacks, were in a dilemma. Outside are twelve great monks who are desperately attacking. And inside there are invading great monks who have entered the core of the resource point. The three great monks only hesitated for a moment before making a decision. They activated the formation. Since there was no way to avoid the formation being destroyed and there was no chance of delaying time, it was better to release the formation to avoid the formation being destroyed. Everyone, a great monk has entered inside. Let's drive him away first and then consider other things. The great monk of Wuyang sect said to the twelve great monks outside. It's the Yuanba who went in. One of the four great monks from the alliance said loudly. All the other great monks felt like they had been tricked. We were fighting to the death. But you went in directly to snatch the fruits of victory. This really shouldn't be the case. Get rid of him first, shouted one of the great monks. The other great monks reconsidered one after another. And the fifteen great monks, who were originally from opposing sides, all targeted the Yuanba. The great monk of Wuyang sect used his spiritual consciousness to operate the control jade tablet in his hand. And he also opened the formation inside. The effect of the formation disappeared, revealing a passage. This is also the only passage. Entering from other places will destroy the growth environment of Qingling grass to a certain extent. At the entrance to the only passage stood a late-stage golden corpse. The late-stage golden corpse leaks the aura belonging to the fourth-grade late-stage corpse core. Even though his skin does not have the golden color of the golden corpse, it still indicates his identity as a late-stage golden corpse. The great monks were not surprised that Li Yuanba, a great sword cultivator, used the golden corpse because Li Yuanba is very famous for using golden corpses in the world of immortality. His golden corpse abilities are extremely strange and have become a talking point among many great monks and also led to the pursuit of golden corpses for a period of time. It's a pity that the golden corpses refined by the other monks could not possess the special abilities of Li Yuanba's golden corpse. The rush for the golden corpse died out soon after. What surprised all the great monks was that it was a late-stage fourth-grade golden corpse. Li Yuanba had just been promoted to great monk and had mastered a late-stage golden corpse. Isn't it just a late-stage golden corpse? Destroy him! A great monk shouted first. As soon as he opened his mouth, he was noticed by the late golden corpse. This late-stage golden corpse did not use equipment or any weapons. The great monks here could not let Li Yuanba risk being recognized by using golden corpse equipment that could easily be identified as coming from Li Shiming. Later, the golden corpse flashed and rushed into the great monks. Although the fifteen great monks have a unified enemy, this does not mean that they trust each other. The fifteen great monks were divided into several teams, guarding each other. The golden corpse in the later stage suddenly rushed closer. The great monks did not expect that the golden corpse in the later stage was so stubborn and dared to attack first. In the later stage, the golden corpse activated the speed rule mark. Its speed was so fast that by the time the monks reacted, it had already punched the monk who spoke first. This punch contains the mark of the rules of power. Although there is no other blessing, the golden corpse itself in the later stage has the power to control the rules in terms of strength and speed far beyond that of a normal great monk. Chapter 857 Victory Boom! In the later period, the golden corpse punched out the magic shield of the great monk. Perhaps because of his confidence, or because he was in the joint efforts of so many great monks. The great monk did not activate the defensive magic weapon. Later, after the golden corpse broke the magic shield of the great monk, his fist did not stop and continued to strike forward. The fist struck the great monk's body, and the great monk's body flew backwards, and there were constant explosions of bone cracking in the air. Although the great monk did not die on the spot, he was already seriously injured, and his body and nascent soul were severely injured if not treated in time. His death would only happen sooner or later. Just when the golden corpse launched an attack in the later stage and hit the body of the great monk, its figure stopped due to the attack. This gave the other great monks a chance. All the other great monks present were ready to attack, and they were all ready to launch their own attacks in an instant. At the same time, Li Yuanba's coordinated attack arrived. Xing Yijian suppressed the top quality of the fourth grade and contained Chaos Sword Intent and shot out from inside the channel. The terrifying, chaos sword intention, made the hairs on the whole body of the great monks, who sensed it stand up. The terror of death made them immediately react in the most correct way. Half of the great monks used their magic weapons to attack Xing Yijian. The other half, the various magic weapons of the seven great monks, 
still fell towards the late golden corpse. In the later stage, the golden corpse danced with its hands, forming a defense in front of the body, and used its speed to dodge. Among the seven magic weapons, only two hit the body of the late golden corpse, and the rest were either dodged by it or blocked by both hands. The two magic weapons hit the body of the late golden corpse, and the robe on the late golden corpse was torn, revealing its fair skin. On the skin hit by the two magic weapons, there were faint golden runes that were too small to be seen clearly. The two magic weapons did not break the skin of the later golden corpse. You must know that these two magic weapons are top-level fourth-grade magic weapons. That is to say, among the great monks here, many of them are super-powerful monks. So they can possess such level of magic weapons. In the later stage, the golden corpse was hit. Although the defense of the skin was not broken, it was still hurt. It let out a roar and grabbed a fourth-grade top-level jade ruler magic weapon that had failed to attack and was about to withdraw. The owner of this top-level fourth-grade jade ruler magic weapon found that the magic weapon was caught by the late-stage golden corpse and quickly activated the magic formula to take back the jade ruler magic weapon. In the later period, the golden corpse used the jade ruler magic weapon as its own weapon. Its huge power ignored the control of the master of the jade ruler magic weapon and wielded the jade ruler magic weapon to hit the other magic weapons. On Shingijian's side, seven magic weapons came to attack. And the Chaos Sword Intent suddenly burst out from Shingijian. The Chaos Sword Intent, enhanced with the Sword Intent rules, turned Shingijian into an indestructible weapon. Two Kacha sounds, followed by the screams of the two great monks. Five magic weapons were bounced away, and the other two magic weapons rushed to the front, which were also the most unlucky. They were directly cut in half by Shingi's sword. The two great monk screams came from the mental backlash after the magic weapon was destroyed. That is to say, Shingi Jin's strongest blow was consumed by two magic weapons, and the remaining five magic weapons were simply knocked away. Even so, the five great monks quickly retrieved their magic weapons and examined them. Shingi Jin did not continue the attack, but returned to Li Yuanba's side, and Li Yuanba reempowered the Chaos Sword Intent. The power of this blow truly demonstrated Li Yuanba's current combat power. A pure sword cultivator attack, with one against seven, against seven monks who were higher than him, achieved such results, showing the terrifying combat power of the sword cultivator. The five great monks looked ugly. They found that there were varying degrees of damage inside their magic weapons. Although it was not too serious. If they continued to fight with Li Yuanba, the magic weapons would not be saved at all. In the later stage, after the Golden Corpse used the Jade Ruler Magic Weapon to repel the magic weapon that attacked it, it showed its speed again and approached another Great Monk. Being inside the resource point, there was not much space, and the Great Monks did not dare to use overly powerful attacks, making this battle extremely unfair from the beginning. In the later stage, the Golden Corpse does not need to worry about the aftermath of the attack. If it does not use long-range attacks, it will not cause unexpected damage by relying on melee attacks. It can be said that the combat power of the Golden Corpse in the later period was not greatly affected by the environment. On the other hand, the Great Monks were always careful. I quit! Seeing that the Golden Corpse was approaching in the later stage, the attack monk no longer persisted and shouted loudly. In the later period, the Golden Corpse's fist stopped on his chest. Although it had a magic shield and a temporary defensive magic weapon, it still left the great monk without the slightest sense of security. He can guarantee that the dual defense of defensive magic weapon and magic shield will not be able to withstand the punch of the golden corpse in the later stage. Just look at the miserable state of the great monk before after being punched, and you will know what the result will be after receiving this punch. Later, the golden corpse set its sights on another great monk. Before it could attack, the great monk also shouted, I quit! This is the unspoken rule. As long as you say quit, it is equivalent to quitting the competition for the resources of the Great Monk. As long as the attacking party has no deep hatred, it will generally stop the next attack. Li Yuanba informed the late Golden Corpse of these rules before attacking. In the later stage, the wisdom of the Golden Corpse was not low. And it stopped attacking after the big monk said, Quit! 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 I'll quit too! Amidst the continuous exit sounds, all the Great Monks who fought with the Golden Corpse in the later period, except for the one who fell to the ground and could not speak. All the other great monks withdrew from the battle. The seven great monks who were confronting Li Yuanba saw the late-stage golden corpse 
that had adjusted its direction and prepared to attack them. At this time, Shang Yijian flew out again. This time, he did not use extreme speed, but flew slowly, adding pressure to the seven great monks. Among the seven great monks, there were three great monks from the infinite sect. They looked at each other with helpless and bitter expressions. We also quit, the seven great monks said in unison. At this point, the battle was over, and Li Yuanba was a little dissatisfied because he hadn't warmed up yet. But he is not a mortal enemy of these great monks. It is just a competition for resources. He walked out of the passage. At this time, no big monk took action. The great monks have all withdrawn from the competition. So the resources of mature great monks here belong to Li Yuanba. Without competition for resources, everyone has no reason to fight. Li Yuanba came to the side of the seriously injured monk. A white light emitted from his hand. The innate emu, magical power was activated. And the healing light fell on the seriously injured monk. The great monk was on the verge of a life and death struggle when he sensed the healing light from Li Yuanba falling and entering his body. The serious injuries in his body healed at an extremely fast speed. In just a few breaths, his serious injuries turned into minor injuries. Li Yuanba's eyes moved slightly. He discovered his innate emu magical power. It seemed that after being promoted to a great monk, the healing effect had increased many times. This should be related to the innate Jianmu tree heart. The healing effect of the innate emu magical power he used is much better than the innate emu magical power of Li Shiming. Considering the seriousness of the injured monk's injuries and his condition of being on the verge of death, he can still be treated by Li Shiming. But he needs to continuously use the magical power of innate emu many times to be able to recover from his injuries. This time, the effect of the magical power of Xiantian Emu was used. Don't think that the difference between this is the difference between multiple times and one time. If Li Yuanba is seriously injured during the battle, he only needs a treatment with the innate Emu magical power to restore his fighting strength. Thank you, fellow Daoist Li, for saving your life. The rescued monk ignored the minor injuries on his body and said in a deep voice, Okay, to Li Yuanba. Your injury was caused by me. Li Yuanba waved his hand to the great monk to excuse himself and said, I brought the injury on myself, and I dare not forget the life-saving grace. The great monk said stubbornly. Li Yuanba said no more, since he didn't care about the great monk's thanks anyway. His figure disappeared from the spot in a flash, and then appeared at the golden thread green spirit grass. Waiting for the golden thread green spirit grass to fully mature, the battle process was a bit fast. It took almost an hour for the golden green spirit grass to mature, but the battle outside was over in less than a stick of incense. The great monks looked at each other and shook their heads. Some of the great monks felt that they had no face left, so they turned around and flew away. There were also some great monks who did not leave and were watching from a distance. The reason why they stayed far away was because they were worried that Li Yuanba might misunderstand something. The three great monks of the infinite sect were the most helpless. They guarded the resource point to prevent any unexpected troubles from happening in the resource point. The great monk who was rescued took a deep look in the direction of Li Yuanba. He bowed again and saluted before turning around and leaving. All the great monks understand one thing. That is, from today on, they will all become Li Yuanba's ladder of fame. Li Yuanba's record of 15 points in one battle will greatly enhance Li Yuanba's reputation among the great monks. In the past, Li Yuanba, no matter how famous he was, was only the number one person in the middle stage of Yuanying. His level in the middle stage of Yuanying was comparable to that of a great monk. But starting from today, Li Yuanba has been upgraded from a celebrity in the middle stage of nascent soul to a strong one among the great monks. Having defeated 15 great monks, Li Yuanba's combat power ranking is likely to be promoted to second only to the peak great monks. The golden threaded green grass was finally fully mature. Li Yuanba carefully picked two clusters of golden threaded green grass and put them into the jade box. After doing this, he used arrival in one fell swoop and disappeared. The three great monks of the infinite sect felt that Li Yuanba's aura disappeared. In their perception, they could not detect the existence of Li Yuanba's aura at all, which made them feel horrified. You must know that with the spatial magical powers they know, no matter how fast they are, they will still leave a little bit of the breath of space jumping. They didn't know that Li Yuanba's spatial movement this time was a full 8,000 miles, which was far beyond their perception range. So it was naturally impossible for them to sense it. They entered the resource point, check the situation inside, and then restore the formation. The great monk who stayed in the distance saw that there was no excitement to see. 
so he also left the resource point. The bustling battlefield has returned to its initial quietness. But soon the story here will spread throughout the entire world of immortality. On the way back to Jenny Chongshao Pavilion, Li Yuanba summed up his combat power. The greatest advantage of a sword cultivator is that he has an absolute advantage when facing enemies who cannot defend themselves against sword attacks. Once the opponent can block his sword in tension, the battle will become a hard fight. Fortunately, the Chaos Sword Intention he mastered is the strongest sword in the Sword Intention Chengshao Pavilion. And the Chaos Sword Intent is still being strengthened with the NS study of the Sword Intent Monument by Li Shiming. The Chaos Sword Intent is also being continuously strengthened. Perhaps one day, his Chaos Sword Intention can reach the level of the Sword Intention in the Sword Intent Monument. And that will be his most ideal sword intention. You can't blame him for having a high vision. But he has seen the Sword Master's moves and the Sword Intent contained in the Sword Intent Monument, which makes his knowledge of Sword Intent far higher than other sword cultivators. When can I find an evenly matched opponent? Li Yunba especially wanted to find a suitable opponent so that he could truly hone his combat power. A battle like today's will only improve him very little. It can only let him know what level his strength belongs to in the world of immortality. He set his sights on the high monks who were close to their peak. Perhaps the enemy he needed was this kind of high monk. He returned all the way to Jin Chongshao Pavilion and sent a message to his master Jian Wuwei when he came back. When he entered Jin Chongshao Pavilion, he saw Jian Wuwei waiting for him. Master! Li Yuanba took out the jade box and handed it over and said, The mission is completed. With one against fifteen, your fighting power is beyond everyone's expectation. Jian Wuwei took the jade box, shook his head and said with a smile, Li Yuanba was not surprised that Jian Wuwei knew the outcome of the battle. Although only the great monks participated in this battle, there were still some monks watching the battle in the distance of the battlefield. As an observer of superpowers, they may have mastered some kind of children's skills and distant hearing skills. I took advantage. This restrained battle is more beneficial to sword cultivators, Li Yuanba explained. You won't have such trouble when you go on missions in the future. I guess most of the great monks will quit voluntarily when they see you appear. Jian Wuwei continued, thinking of the great monks who left before the war. Li Yuanba understood the importance of reputation. I have submitted the task for you. You can rest for a few days and see if there are any tasks available. I will give it to you after registering the golden green spirit grass in the jade box. Jian Wuwei opened the jade box and took a look at it. After picking up the golden green spirit grass in the box, he closed the jade box again and handed it back to Li Yuanba. The matter of refining the alchemy is also with Li Yuanba. As long as you register the task harvest, Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion has its own corresponding reward mechanism. Chapter 858 Battle Suddenly, the news about Li Yuanba's achievements spread to Zhongzhou Continent first, and then the news spread to other continents at an unimaginable speed. Great monks are the strongest combat force among all the forces in the world of immortality. A swordsman who has just been promoted to great monks actually fought against 15 great monks by himself, and defeated them all in a short period of time. This record made everyone the forces understood Li Yuanba's huge potential. However, these did not affect Li Yuanba. After he returned to Jinny Chongshao Pavilion, he chose to retreat for a short period of time. At the same time, a phantom clone, riding a thunder beast from the eastern Qi continent, was galloping toward the gate of Jinny Chongshao Pavilion. Two days later, Li Yuanba gave the phantom clone, the golden green spiritual grass and the jade box, and the auxiliary elixir sent by Jinny Chongshao Pavilion. To do this well, he once again chose a task from the Identity Jade Disc, which was still the task of competing for the resources of the great monks in Zhongzhou Continent. But this time, it was a large sect that was unlucky. From the mission information, we could see that that large sect had no intention of sending any major monks to resist. When the great monk's elixir is mature, the formation will be open directly, and the most powerful great monk can enter it and take away the mature great monk's elixir. There is nothing that can be done about this. Large sects cannot resist the joint robbery of many great monks. If their own great monks are injured due to defense, it is better to directly open the great monks' resource points. In fact, in the cases of successfully resisting the robbery of the resources of the great monks, they were all achieved by super forces. If a top monk who is like a superpower has free time, he can defend the resources of the monk. There are still 20 days left for this mission. So there is no need to rush. After going there early last time, he found that getting there early was very boring. So it was better to go there on time. 
He used this time to start taking the high-grade monk's spiritual elixir to practice the sword and tech climb to the sky technique to increase the spiritual power reserves in his body. He left Jenny Cho Shao Pavilion only two days before the resources of the great monk were mature when he was close to the mission resource point. Through the drone satellite system, he observed that 20 great monks gathered at the mission resource point. It seemed that this defenseless great monk resource point attracted many great monks. The 20 great monks usually form a team of two to three great monks surrounding the great monk resource points. Since there is no powerful monk in the monk resource point, the 28 monks are looking at each other. If there is a chance, they will probably start a battle immediately. However, before the resources of the great monks matured, they all suppressed their desire to fight. If we really fight without seeing the maturity of the great monks' resources, we may not even have the chance to participate in the final fight for the great monks' resources. In the battle between the great monks, you will get injured if you are not careful. With so many great monks looking around, getting injured is not a good thing. It is easy to be kicked out by the great monks first. The 28 great monks were observing the great monk resource points while being careful of the other great monks around them. The atmosphere here was extremely tense even before the competition started. A great monk who came alone suddenly felt space fluctuations in a distant location. Without thinking, he slashed at the space fluctuations with the three flying axes in his hand. Where the three flying axe magic weapons were slashing, a figure appeared. Accompanying this figure was a flying sword with terrifying sword intent. Li Yuanba didn't expect that he would be attacked as soon as he showed up. He thought that this mission was the same as the previous mission. All the great monks were waiting quietly. More and more great monks kept coming. And no great monk would take the initiative to take action against the arriving great monks. That's why he placed his position near the great monk when he used. Arrive in one fell swoop. His reaction was fast enough. And every time he used. At a glance. He would consider the possibility of being attacked. So he had a timely reaction. This kind of spatial movement, a rise in one fell swoop, is indeed very far away, as much as 8,000 miles. But the shortcomings are also obvious. Since the spatial movement distance reaches 8,000 miles, his final position cannot guarantee his own safety. 8,000 miles is far beyond the warning range of his divine consciousness, which means that every time he uses, at a glance, he may encounter unpredictable dangers. When his figure stabilized in space movement, he felt the attacks of the three magic weapons. Without any hesitation, he fired out the Shingi sword that he had prepared long ago. The Shingi sword, which was suppressed to the top quality of the fourth grade, contained the chaos sword intent and the sword intent rules. Ching Yi's sword was inspired, and he took the initiative to fly towards the three flying axe magic weapons. The great monk who made the move was not very wealthy. Perhaps the three flying axe magic weapons were not his natural magic weapons. These three flying axe magic weapons were only a fourth grade upper level quality. Coupled with a hasty action. The power of the three flying axe magic weapons has not reached its peak state. Xing Yi's sword crossed each other with three flying axe magic weapons. Silently, the three flying axe magic weapons turned into six segments. The damaged magic weapon structure could no longer be controlled by its owner and fell to the ground. The great monk's face was pale. And Li Yuanba did not kill him with a sword. Instead, he appeared in front of the great monk and kicked him in the chest. The body of the great monk flew sideways a hundred meters away, and his body and nascent soul were locked by the chaos sword intention. The damage caused by this kick was not great, but the great monk was unable to fight anymore. Even life and death were in Li Yuanba's hands. The whole place was quiet. Everything happened so fast. It's Li Yuanba. Why is he here? A senior monk recognized Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba just completed a competitive mission. Normally, the great monk would rest for a month or two to digest the gains from completing the mission. A great monk would not accept missions too frequently. After a big battle with someone of the same rank, he would need some time to rest. Not long after Li Yuanba finished a mission, he came out to do something again. This enthusiasm was beyond the expectations of the great monks. Li Yuanba was stared at by more than 20 great monks. He did not show much worry. Instead, his chaos sword intention was fully activated, and the terrifying sword intention rose from his body. Xing Jian was stimulated by his fighting spirit and kept flying around his body, ready to launch a fatal attack on the next enemy at any time. Among the more than 20 great monks present, except for a few who were relatively powerful, the rest of the great monks slowly retreated. The threatening power displayed by Li Yuanba's chaos sword intent was too strong. 
especially the power with which he had destroyed three magic weapons with one sword just now, which made all the great monks present think of the rumors they had just learned about him. Don't retreat. We still have 27 people. If we join forces, no matter how strong he is, he will never be able to defeat us, a great monk said in a deep voice. This great monk should be of great status, and his words lifted the spirits of all the great monks. In fact, if there were so many great monks among them, they would lose a lot of face if they were really frightened by Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba originally wanted to take action to kill the senior monk who spoke, but this senior monk was extremely cunning. After speaking, he retreated behind several senior monks. This great monk had heard about Li Yuanba's previous battle. Li Yuanba's flying sword was extremely fast, especially the first sword that was simply unstoppable. In addition, the sword that Li Yuanba revealed just now all confirmed the speed of the sword. Join forces! Join forces! The 27 great monks stood next to the speaking great monk one by one, facing Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba's eyes did not fall on him, but looked in one direction. A golden light approached quickly in the distance, and Li Yuanba discovered that this golden light was not monitored by the drone satellite system. Amit Ba! Before the golden man arrived, a Buddha's name came over. The 27 great monks had not yet arrived to form a battle formation. When the Buddha's name came, they all changed their expressions. A great monk who practiced magic skill spit out a mouthful of blood. Li Yuanba restrained his spirit and protected his nascent soul. He recognized the magical power in this Buddha's name. It was the Thunder Sound Magic Power. A powerful magical power of the Great Thunder Sound Temple. The Great Master at the Peak. He was secretly shocked. To be honest, the appearance of a Peak Master here still surprised him. As if he had won a big prize. Among the various superpowers, there are not many active Peak Monks. Even if it is due to the situation, the awakened peak monks will often only go to those more important places, and they will look down on small tasks like this. Send out a peak monk just for a few cultivator elixirs. This was very inconsistent with the status of a peak monk. Some large resource points of superpowers can produce dozens of great monk elixirs at one time. That is the task that the peak great monks should strive for. The great monk who practiced magic skills immediately activated the life-saving jade talisman after spitting out a mouthful of blood. In a flash, he activated his escape technique and fled away. Buddhist Kung Fu and Demonic Kung Fu are in opposition. The great monk who practiced Demonic Kung Fu was shocked by the sound of Buddha's name. He understood that there was nothing he could do. So he chose to retreat. The golden light fell between Li Yuanba and the other great monks. He was a middle-aged monk with pale golden skin. Li Yuanba couldn't help but feel strange. This peak-level venerable looked more like a golden corpse than his late-stage golden corpse. Of course, this is just the appearance. The reason why the skin of this peak venerable has a bluish golden color is a manifestation of a certain Buddhist body training technique that has been practiced to the extreme. This peak great venerable is one of the rare all-round peak great venerables. He has reached the level of a peak great venerable in both body refining and energy chaining. In the presence of the great venerable Mihai, if I had known that the great venerable was interested in the resources here, I should have given in. After recognizing the great venerable Minghai, a great monk bowed and said, Okay. Thank you so much. Donor! Reverend Minghai smiled slightly and returned the favor. When he looked at the other great monks, no matter how unwilling they were, they all bowed and saluted, expressing their intention to withdraw. Li Yuanba saw the terror of the truly strong. After the arrival of the great master Minghai, the momentum of the 27 great monks who dared to fight Li Yuanba disappeared immediately, and they chose to withdraw from the competition. These great monks did not really leave, but stood further away, from a long-distance position. They can observe the situation near the resource points without letting Lord Mayhai think they have any ideas. Once the 27 great monks left, only Li Yuanba and the great venerable Mayhai were left in this area. This is Li Yuanba, the rising star of Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion, and Donor Li. The Sword Intent in you is really powerful. Great Master Mayhai looked at Li Yuanba, and he revealed Li Yuanba's identity. Li Yuanba was suddenly promoted to a great monk and showed great strength, which made him, who was already extremely famous, once again attract the attention of various forces. Great Venerable Mihai, why are you trying to grab such a small resource? You are not letting weak monks like us survive, Li Yuanba said in a deep voice. The great master Mihai was not angry. He smiled indifferently. He opened his mouth as if he wanted to say something. But when he opened his mouth, Li Yuanba sensed a strong magical aura. 
Li Yuanba's perception of magical powers is stronger than most of the great monks in the world of immortality. This is because he has practiced too many magical powers with his real body Li Shiming. And he can sense the trace of magical power when the magical power is about to be activated. He activated the Qi Qi Tianya that he had prepared long ago. And the figure disappeared from the place. At the moment when his figure faded and disappeared, a sound wave came from the mouth of the great master Mihai. The sound wave converged into one and passed through Li Yuanba's virtual body. What a despicable great monk! Li Yuanba's figure appeared a thousand meters away. And he thought to himself, the great master Mei Hai looked kind-hearted and was not angry when he was ridiculed. But in fact, he directly responded with a thunderous magical power attack. If Li Yuanba was not prepared, this thunderous magical attack could cause him serious damage. Although Li Yuanba has now reached the realm of a great monk and his physical body's defense has been greatly improved. When he faced the attack of the peak master, his body was still unable to withstand his blow. The golden light flashed on Master Minghai's body, and his body swayed slightly. There was a crack on the cassock on his shoulder. Just when he used the thunder sound magical power, Li Yuanba's Xingyijian also struck him with a sword. Cutting boy! Great Master Minghai was also cursing secretly in his heart. To launch a sneak attack while the two parties are still communicating is really not something that ordinary monks can do. He completely forgot that he also had the magical power of thunder. Li Yuanba's sword was not able to withstand it due to the extremely fast speed of the sword strike and the fact that the great master Mei Hai was focused on using his thunderous magical power for a sneak attack. Xing Yi's sword stabbed the shoulder of the great venerable Mei Hai. Unfortunately, although the sword broke the great venerable Mei Hai's cassock, it was blocked by the great venerable Mei Hai's body. Great venerable Mei Hai moved his shoulders, and with a tap of his palm, he drove away the trace of chaos sword intention that entered his body. Chapter 859 Victory Great Master Mei Hai looked at Li Yuanba again, and there was no longer any contempt in his eyes. The Chaos Sword Intent seemed to be easily expelled by him. But you must know that this was when Xing Yijian did not break through his physical defense. If the physical body's defense is broken, the Chaos Sword Intention that enters the body will not be so easy to expel. Li Yuanba was also secretly shocked. The Great Master Ming Hai's physical body was so strong. Although he did not use all his strength with his sword just now, it was mainly a surprise attack. But it was not something that the physical body of an ordinary great monk could withstand. This was the strongest enemy he had ever encountered. He was not nervous at all. Instead, his whole body became excited. His eyes became brighter and brighter. And he looked at the great master Mihai as if he were looking at some treasure. Kill! He shouted loudly. And the power of Xingyi's sword increased greatly this time and he shot towards the great venerable Mei Hai again. The great venerable Mei Hai waved his hand, and the cassock flew out, and with the blessing of his spiritual power, it turned into a shield in front of him. Then he threw a Vidra, and the Vidra emitted golden light on its way to Li Yuanba. The golden light, with its delayed power, instantly blocked the area where Li Yuanba was located. But this time, the golden light of the Vidra was still a shadow. Li Yuanba took the first step and used South close to the end of the world to dodge to another place, causing the Vidra Pestle's attack to fail. Xing Yi's sword struck the cassock, and the golden light on the cassock flashed. Lord Mei Hai frowned slightly. This cassock magic weapon had been punctured before, which weakened the power of this top-level 4th grade defensive magic weapon. After blocking Xing Yijian, he felt that the spiritual imprint in the Kasai magic weapon was eroded by the Chaos Sword Intent, and the spiritual imprint was partially attenuated. Even if his spiritual power is strong enough to be contained in the Kasai magic weapon and block Xing Yijian's attack, the terrifying effect of Chaos Sword Intent makes it impossible to use the Kasai magic weapon a few more times. This is what causes top sword cultivators the most headaches for their enemies. Of course, ordinary great cultivators don't have this trouble because the magic weapon of an ordinary great monk is destroyed by the Chaos Sword Intent before the internal spiritual imprint is eliminated without enough time to feel sorry for his own cassock. Master Mihai took out another golden bell, which was also a 4th grade top quality magic weapon. Before he could activate the golden bell, a figure appeared behind him. When Li Yuanba appeared, he was holding a 4th grade sword base in his hand, because he had practiced the sword intent climbing to the sky, to the extreme, and also practiced the unknown sword code. The quality of his 4th grade sword base had been upgraded to the top level of the 4th grade. This sword uses the close-up secret method in the Unknown Sword Code, which concentrates the whole body's strength, spiritual power, 
Chaos Sword Intent, and is blessed with the Sword Intent rules. When Master Mihai sensed that he was being attacked behind him, the golden bell in his hand suddenly enlarged and hit him behind him. Li Yuanba only had time to sweep out half of the attack with the 4th grade sword base before he had to withdraw the 4th grade sword base and retreated to avoid Jin Zhong's attack. Although the 4th grade top level golden bell is not a magic weapon used to hit people, the great venerable Mei Hai has practiced body refining. With the golden bell blessed by its huge power, the power of the golden bell after hitting Li Yuanba is no more than the damage caused by a spell attack. Weak. Although Li Yuanba was forced back, the 4th grade sword base still left a shallow sword mark on the back of Great Venerable Mihai. Blood oozed from the wounds of the Great Venerable Mihai. This kind of injury was not considered an injury to the Great Venerable Mihai, who was refining his body. Normally, such scars would heal on their own in just a few moments. But the shallow wound left by Li Yuanba's 4th grade sword base did not heal with time. The wound didn't bleed much because it was very shallow. But the blood kept flowing out and couldn't be stopped for a while. Lord Mihai naturally knew the reason why the wound could not heal. It was because there was chaos sword intent in the wound. Now he can only use his spiritual power to seal the chaos sword intent at the wound, preventing the chaos sword intent from continuing to erode other parts of his body. Then slowly use spiritual power to clean up the chaos sword intent on the wound. This time, the difficulty of expelling the chaos sword intent is ten times more difficult than the previous one. He was angry in his heart. With so many great monks watching, he was injured first. Even if the wound was very small, it would be a huge loss of face. Although the great master Mei Hai is a monk, his cultivation to such a powerful state makes him more sensitive than other monks. He cannot stand the strange looks from others. He opened his mouth, and a thunderous magical power centered on him came out. This is an attack with extremely wide coverage, no matter which direction Li Yuanba is in. As long as he is within a certain range, he will be harmed by the thunder power. It's just that after Li Yuanba sensed the supernatural aura, the first thing he did was to use South Close to the End of the World to retreat to a distance. When the sound waves of the thunder sound magic power were swept out, Li Yuanba was already in a safe position, and the thunder sound magic power had no effect on him. His mind moved slightly, and Xingyi's sword moved away from the great venerable Mei Hai when the thunder sound magical power was released. At this time, Xing Yijian shot at the Great Venerable Ming Hai again. The Great Venerable Ming Hai activated the Golden Bell. The Golden Bell flew above his head, and a golden light emitted from the Golden Bell enveloped his body. Xing Yi's sword slashed at the Golden Light. The Golden Light shook but did not disappear. Li Yuanba saw that the attack was blocked, and he controlled Xing Yi's sword to attack Jin Zhong's body. Lord Ming Hai had the protection of Jin Zhong, and he had more time to deal with Xing Yijian. He controlled the Vidra and chased Xing Yijian. When he was close to Xing Yijian, the golden light of the Vidra emitted, and a delayed golden light emitted. He thought very well. Li Yuanba was too cunning and had magical powers. So it would be difficult to attack Li Yuanba's true body. But Li Yuanba is a great swordsman. As long as he attacks Li Yuanba's natal flying sword, causes damage to the natal flying sword, or even takes away the natal flying sword, it is equivalent to seizing Li Yuanba's lifeline. Just when the delayed golden light was about to approach Xing Yijian. Xing Yijian escaped from the scope of the delayed golden light faster than the delayed golden light. How come Li Yuanba's fighting consciousness is so strong? Great Master Mei Hai couldn't help but be surprised by Li Yuanba's fighting consciousness. He didn't know that although Li Yuanba suppressed the quality of Xing Yijian and only showed the top quality of the fourth grade, there were no restrictions on the weapon spirit inside Ling Bao Xing Yijian. To a certain extent, the weapon spirit of Xing Yijian was cooperating with Li Yuanba's flying sword attack. When Li Yuanba launched an attack, as long as he specified his intention, many subtle controls did not require him to pay too much attention, and the weapon spirit would control the subtle parts, especially for some attacks that pose a threat to Xing Yijian. The weapon spirit will dodge on its own. With the speed of Xing Yijian and the existence of the weapon spirit, no matter how the great master Ming Hai wanted to target Xing Yijian, he would not be able to have any real impact on Xing Yijian. After the delayed golden light disappeared, Xing Yijian began to attack Master Ming Hai again. The delayed golden light of the Vidra cannot be used so casually, continuously displaying delayed golden light. Vidra also needs to relax for a period of time. The great Master Ming Hai was about to force out the Chaos Sword Intention from the wound. At the same time, he had to strengthen his control over the Golden Bell Magical Treasure and carefully hit the main body of the Golden Bell Magical Treasure with one sword strike. In this case, 
a gap appeared in the protective cover of the Golden Bell magic weapon. Li Yuanba's figure broke through this gap through, close to the end of the world, and once again, approached the side of the great venerable Mihai. When the fourth grade sword base in his hand appeared, it was a melee secret method of the unknown sword code. The great venerable Minghai's Vidra is still recovering, and the Golden Bell magic weapon is being chased and slashed by Xing Yijian. He is still distracted and forcing out the Chaos Sword Intent. The only thing he can do is to fight back with his own fists. The fists of the body refining monks are weapons no less than magic weapons. Li Yuanba's body flashed lightly, and there was a strange rhythm in this flash. This was a close combat technique in the Unknown Sword Codex. In terms of melee combat ability, the melee sword cultivation technique, Unknown Sword Code, is definitely the strongest. If the mainstream of the world of immortal cultivation had not shifted to long-range combat, which almost cut off the inheritance of melee sword cultivators, the combat abilities of melee sword cultivators would be on par with those of current flying sword cultivators. The fourth grade sword base avoided the attack of the great venerable Minghai, and hit the great venerable Minghai's waist with ease. The great master Meihai was hit by a sword and knew that he could not fight in close combat with the Yuanba. He once again displayed his magical power of thunder. And a thunderous sound wave spread out in all directions. Li Yuanba had no choice but to use South close to the end of the world to retreat away from the great venerable Meihai, preventing him from increasing the outcome of the battle. Lord Minghai's thunder power is so disgusting. And coupled with the stagnant golden light of the Vidra, if any one of them is hit, it will be the end of death. Moreover, the thunder sound magical power and the delayed golden light are both range attacks. If it were not for the divine foot power, a normal monk would not be able to easily escape the attack range of the thunder sound magical power and the delayed golden light. The great venerable Minghai, who had suffered a loss, looked at Li Yuanba helplessly. He also felt disgusted by Li Yuanba's fighting style, and at the same time made it clear that he could not fight Li Yuanba in close combat. Just after meeting him, he noticed that Li Yuanba was acting strangely up close. He recognized that it was the ability of melee sword cultivators. De Lian Temple had a description of melee sword cultivators. They were a group of sword madmen who pursued melee combat. Just like Li Yuanba showed. Once he gets close, if he doesn't have strong ability to force him away, fighting him at close range is an act of seeking death. Because of this, the great master Mei Hai paid the price with a wound. The powerful body refining ability still showed strong defensive power. Li Yuanba's sword caused a half-inch deep wound on the waist of the great master Mei Hai. The fourth grade sword base's attack was blocked when it cut through the skin of the great master Mei Hai and cut into half of the muscles. Great master Mei Hai felt very uncomfortable. This time, Li Yuanba's chaos sword intention entered a lot into his wound. He needed to mobilize more spiritual power to resist the chaos sword intent in the wound. Amit ba. Please give up the resources here to Donor Li, Great Venerable Meihai said in a deep voice without insisting. This made it clear that he meant to withdraw from the competition. Li Yuanba showed a pity that such a good opponent would not fight like this. You must know that he did not use 10,000 sword peaks in order to fight better. Nor did he summon the late golden corpse. Just to have a good fight with the great master Meihai. Thank you, Lord Meihai, for your concession, Li Yuanba said with a smile. He fired a ray of light with the magical power of Inaimu and flew towards the great venerable Mihai. The great master Mihai smiled faintly, as if he trusted Li Yuanba very much, and allowed the light of the Sintianimu magical power to fall on him. In fact, when he saw the divine light of Sintianimu, he recognized what kind of magical power it was. Although he was confident that he could expel the Chaos Sword Intention from his body, the Chaos Sword Intent and the second wound was not so easy to expel. And it would take at least several days. Lord Mihai felt the chaos sword intent disappear from the wound. And the wound healed rapidly. He was horrified in his heart by the powerful effect of this innate emu magical power. He no longer has any thoughts about the battle with Li Yuanba. With divine foot power, close combat swordsmanship, flying sword swordsmanship, and the innate emu magical power. It can be said that Li Yuanba is a swordsman who can attack retreat, and be close or far. Great monk. Even if he was hit by the great master Meihai, Li Yuanba could use the magical power of Inaimu to quickly recover from his injuries. When fighting an enemy like Li Yuanba, even if he is much stronger than Li Yuanba, he will be slowly worn to death by Li Yuanba. Daughter Li, I hope to become friends with you. 
the great Reverend Nei Hai expressed his gratitude to Li Yuanba with a okay salute. He did not stay any longer and left for the distance. Li Yuanba smiled and shook his head. He didn't want to become friends with this despicable monk. And he didn't know how he would die. He sat cross-legged on the ground and focused on the resource point. The great monks watching the battle from a distance were all stunned by this battle. They saw an incomprehensible battle. As a sword cultivator, Li Yuanba actually defeated the great Master Mei Hai in a head-on battle. Although judging from the battle process, Master Mei Hai was not completely defeated. And he still had the strength to fight. But the great venerable Mei Hai chose to retreat. Which means that the great venerable Mei Hai lost this battle. Which no one can deny. Previously, Li Yuanba's strength was below that of the peak monks. And even ranked below many senior monks, who were close to the peak monks. But from today on, Li Yuanba's strength ranking will be recalculated and his combat power will be on par with the peak monks. The onlookers looked at Li Yuanba with awe. Even if they had not withdrawn from the competition before, they no longer had the courage to challenge Li Yuanba. Another great monk arrived. This was a great monk in the middle stage of the great monk. He flew nearby and saw Li Yuanba sitting cross-legged at the resource point. There were more than 20 great monks watching from a distance. He did not rush to the resource point, but came to the great monks. He knew very well that there must be some reason unknown to him that more than 20 great monks did not dare to challenge Li Yuanba. To be able to live to such an old age, he naturally knew what to do. Chapter 860 Restrictions Li Yuanba once again completed the mission and brought back several great monk elixirs. This time he was in a very good mood. Not because the mission was completed, but because the battle with the great master Mei Hai made him finally achieve the evenly matched battle he wanted. His advantages and disadvantages are obvious. His powerful attack power and extremely fast attack speed allow him to always attack one step ahead of the enemy in battle. His magical powers allow him to escape from combat in time when danger arises. The entire battle was at a pace that was favorable to him. And Master Ming Hai's combat power was not really brought into play. His disadvantage is his own defense. He has no confidence to take any blow from Lord Mei Hai. However, this is also the characteristic of sword cultivators. Using extreme attack power to make up for lack of defense. This is what a sword cultivator does. After handing back the task, he rested for a while. After that, he went out on a mission every one or two months. There are really a lot of great monk resource points in the Zhongzhou continent, ranging from large forces to top forces. It is usually invisible. Under this kind of chaos, most of the great monk resource points have become the targets of the great monks. In subsequent missions, whenever he appears, he has the intimidating power of a peak monk. One day a year later, Master Jian Wei approached Li Yuanba. Master, sit down quickly. I'll prepare spiritual tea for you. Li Yuanba welcomed Jian Wei into the cave hall and said with a smile, No need to go to such trouble. I'm here to do something. Jian Wei waved his hand for Li Yuanba to sit down. Li Yuanba looked at Jian Wei's look and realized that this was something serious. He sat opposite Jian Wei and looked at Jian Wei with a puzzled look on his face waiting for Jian Wu's next words. You and Ba, don't take on ordinary tasks from the great monks in the future. Jian Wu hesitated and said, Why? Li Yuan Ba asked in surprise. As a great sword cultivator, fighting is an important part of his improvement. Although in these tasks that compete for the resources of the great monks, he has fewer and fewer opportunities to take action. But there are still some opportunities to take action. If he didn't go out on missions and normally traveled in the world of immortality, as a great swordsman cultivator, he might not have the chance to find an opponent of the same level to fight with him even if he was away for 10 years. The current situation requires a large number of great monks to be dispatched. When the demand for the resources of great monks is no longer so urgent this time, and the world of immortality returns to calm, it will not be easy to find such opportunities to fight at the same level from time to time. The pavilion has received a lot of messages from superpowers and large powers. All about your strength. It is too much to participate in the competition of ordinary great monks with your strength. Jian Wei shook his head helplessly. Li Yuanba performs tasks quite frequently. And they are all performed in Zhongzhou Continent. This made it possible that in the past year, most of the mature elixirs of great monks that had been made public in Zhongzhou Continent were covered by him. His behavior has greatly affected the profits of other forces and made the competition extremely unfair. But I'm just entering the realm of a great monk for the first time. Besides, doesn't the great venerable Mei Hai, as a peak great venerable, also participate in this kind of mission? Li Yuanba said dissatisfied. 
His dissatisfaction was not directed at his master Jin Wuwei, but at those forces. Why could the great venerable Mihai do something, but he couldn't do it? Great venerable Mihai, or any great monk at the peak, will only occasionally participate in the tasks of ordinary great monks. And your strength has long been considered not to be the first to enter the realm of great monks, but has been recognized as the strength of the peak great monks got it. Jian Wei explained with some emotion. He is proud. His disciple Li Yuanba has just entered the realm of a great monk. But because of his excessive strength, many forces demand that Li Yuanba be treated as the same as a peak great monk. Although this is a restriction, it is also the limit of the cultivation world to Li Yuanba's strength. Recognized? Okay. I'll reduce the number of missions. Li Yuanba suppressed his dissatisfaction and said in a deep voice. Actually, this is a good thing. Although ordinary high monk missions are restricted, you have the right to participate in top high monk missions. If you want to find an opponent to fight, that kind of mission is the most suitable for you. Jian Wuwei understood him. Thoughts? Said with a smile. Li Yuanba felt much better when he heard this. I wonder when this kind of top monk mission will be available. He asked with interest. Usually there will be one every two or three years. And the pavilion will notify you in advance. Jian Wuwei had already understood the situation and answered immediately. In the next few months, Li Yuanba did not participate in the competition tasks of ordinary great monks, which made all the forces breathe a sigh of relief. The strength shown by Li Yuanba made some forces pay more attention to him. But if you want to deal with him, who is equivalent to a peak monk, no matter what force you are, you must think carefully. He is not some great monk with no background. All the great masters know that there is Mr. Jian standing behind him. Jian Lao had gone out of his way for him back then, blocking some of the super powerful methods that some superpowers wanted to use. This is the advantage of being in a superpower and having a strong background. If you want to deal with Li Yuanba, you can, but it must be within a certain range of strength. And you cannot say that you use strength beyond the rules. Anyone who dares to use combat power beyond the rules will be tantamount to a slap in Jian Lao's face. Who in the world of immortal cultivators dares to slap the face of Master Jian? The face of a powerful sword cultivator is not so easy to be beaten. Therefore, Li Yuanba only received reminders from various forces and did not take any actual targeted actions. Although he did not have a lot of opportunities to fight, Li Yuanba benefited a lot from the battle with the great master Mihai. In the following years, he had more time to practice without going on missions. On the contrary, his cultivation level has improved somewhat, and the amount of spiritual power in his body has steadily increased. While practicing, he found something to kill time. That is to use Chaos Sword Intent to enhance the sword intent of the 4th grade energy transform flying sword in 10,000 swords peak. This was also an unexpected discovery he made while refining 10,000 swords peak after being promoted to a great monk. 10,000 swords peak has always been his most powerful magic weapon before. 10,000 swords peak has been upgraded to the level of a spiritual treasure. Among the thousands of energy flying swords inside, there are more than 2,100. Most of the fourth grade energy flying swords contain the sword intent of the great monks. In the middle stage of nascent soul, he had more than 2,100 fourth grade energy transformed flying swords. And the great monk sword intent contained in them was of great help to him. However, after he realized the chaos sword intention, especially after he was promoted to a great monk, the great monk sword intention contained in more than 2,000 and 100 fourth grade energy flying swords was not enough. Compared with the chaos sword intent, these great monk sword intent has an advantage in quantity, but is far inferior in quality. If the sword intent of ordinary sword cultivators is absolutely impossible to improve the sword intent of these great monks, because the improvement of the sword intent of normal great monks requires the same sword intent, and the perception of the sword intent is greater than the energy contained in the flying sword. Only when the great monk sword intention is stronger can he be improved. Just like an energy flying sword that contains the breaking void sword intent of a great monk, it must be strengthened by a sword cultivator who also masters the deeper breaking void sword intent. Even if the other types of sword intentions are understood to the extreme, they cannot improve the energy flying sword of the great monk. Breaking void sword intent. But Li Yuanba is different. The chaos sword intent. He masters has the advantages of many sword intentions. Most of the powerful sword intentions in the world of immortality come from the Sword Intent Monument. The Chaos Sword Intent Learn from the Sword Intent Monument can accommodate most of the powerful sword intentions. However, 
and probing the fourth grade energy transformed flying sword sword intention in 10,000 swords peak is something that takes a long time to do. Li Yuanbai used ontology's natal magic weapon Z15 to participate in the research and based on a large number of classics in the database as a reference. He designed a plan for him to maximize the improvement of the sword intent in the fourth grade energy base flying sword. The reason why only the sword intent in the fourth grade energy form flying swords rather than all the energy form flying swords is increased is because energy form flying swords lower than the fourth grade are simply unable to withstand the chaos sword intent just likely you and by himself if he hadn't cultivated the sword body in the sword intention chong shao ju he would not be able to use his physical body to use the chaos sword intent without using the flying sword he introduced part of the chaos sword intent into 10,000 swords peak and the chaos sword intent formed a mysterious sword intent rule seal. This was the greatest degree of sword intent rules he could master. 104th grade energy enhancing flying swords entered the sword intent rule seal. He arranged with chaos sword intent. Then it was left to time. It took almost 10 days to make 104th grade energy containing flying swords. The sword intention in the flying sword was upgraded to chaos sword intention in the foreseeable future. When all the sword intent in the more than 2,000 fourth grade energy flying swords are converted into chaos sword intent, 10,000 sword peaks will become his biggest trump card again. He also asked sword intent Chongshao Pavilion to use a fourth grade flying sword that contains sword intent as a reward for alchemy. For other forces, it is not easy to obtain a fourth grade flying sword that contains sword intent. But for Jenny Chongshao Pavilion, it is just a waste of some nascent soul sword cultivation time. Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion has issued related tasks for this purpose. There is a large inventory of 4th grade flying swords in the pavilion. It only requires nascent soul sword cultivator to cultivate the sword intention on the 4th grade flying swords. I just want to put together all the energy based flying swords in 10,000 swords peak and replace them with 4th grade energy based flying swords. At the current speed, it will take at least 100 years. Upgrading 10,000 swords peak did not affect the UN bus cultivation. He only needed to import Chaos Sword Intent into 10,000 Swords Peak to form the Sword Intent Rule Seal. And then, there was no need to worry about it. Hey! On this day, Li Yuanba took out his Identity Jade Disc and checked the mission and found an unexpected mission. He saw a defense mission, which turned out to be a major monk resource point participating in the defense of Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion. Compared with other superpowers, the resource points of the great monks of Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion are relatively less. Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion has always adhered to the principle of using strength to grab resources and did not attach importance to its own production of resources. Who said Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion is full of sword cultivators? And sword cultivators don't learn any spiritual plants. If it weren't for the fact that the resources of the great monks are too few, even if they rob, they won't be able to grab much. So they would deliberately collect them some great monk resource points. It seems that this time, the great monk resource point of Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion has matured the great monk resources, and it has become the mission target of all forces. Li Yuanba reached out to take over the defense task, and he checked the details of the task. The great monk resource point of Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion will mature a batch of great monk elixir in five days. Since the number of this batch of great monk elixir has reached nine, the intelligence department has received information that there are at least 30 people. The great monk will participate in this competition. It seems like we can have a good fight this time. Li Yuanba thought with some excitement. He didn't hesitate at all. And he didn't have much time. Considering that those big monks would start early. He set off immediately after accepting the task. Since he took over the defense task of the great monk's resource point. His identity. Jade Disc. Had the authority to freely enter the defensive formation. At a distance of nearly 5,000 miles, he activated his spiritual eyes to observe the situation of the great monk's resource points. After seeing the details of the formation clearly, he activated, arrive in one fell swoop, and the figure disappeared on the spot, and then appeared directly in the formation of the great monk's resource point. Who is it? Two sword intents were locked on the Yuanba's body, and there was a soft shout as the sword intents were locked. If the defensive formation didn't sound the alarm, indicating that there was no foreign invasion. The two sword intent locks would have turned into two flying sword attacks. Li Yuanba felt the hairs on his hair stand on end. The feeling of extreme danger made him almost summon the late-stage golden corpse. 
and took out 10,000 swords peak to prepare for the battle. Because one of the sword intentions that locked onto him turned out to be the sword intention of a peak monk. And the terrifying peak monks, breaking void sword intent, posed a fatal threat to him. You will never play like this again. Li Yuanbao warned himself in his heart that he could no longer use one move to enter the unknown formation. If he was killed by a sword from his own sword master, he would have died unjustly. Brother Jian, why are you here? Li Yuanbao asked in surprise when he saw clearly that the sword cultivator who used the peak cultivators, broken void sword intent, to lock him was none other than Jian Tian. If I had known that this peak swordsmanship monk was here, how could he use it? There is no peak swordsman among the more than 30 monks let alone the peak swordsmanship monk Jian Tian on such a battlefield with many restrictions. One has absolute repressive power. Junior Brotherly, why are you here too? Jian Tian, a great monk, asked with a look of astonishment on his face. In today's world of immortal cultivation, various forces have regarded Li Yuanba as the pinnacle of the combat power of a great monk. In order to defend a great monk resource point, Jian Chou Shao Pavilion sent two peak sword cultivators. Isn't this bullying? It's just that everyone has come and accepted the mission. And we can't drive them away. The great monk Jian Tian and Li Yuanba looked at each other, and both couldn't help laughing. Chapter 861 Shock Retreat Brother Jian, why don't you take action and give me the opportunity? Li Yuanba said to the great monk Jian Tian with a smile. Okay, I'm too lazy to take action. My opponent is too weak. The great monk Jian Tian didn't care. He waved his hand and said, This is not because he is arrogant with his fighting power. If he really takes action, no one among the more than 30 monks facing him will be able to take his sword. Although the great monk Jian Tian agreed, there was a strange smile on his face. I've met senior brother Wu. Only then did Li Yuanba notice the other great monk beside him. And he stepped forward to say H. Lo. Junior brother Li. I finally had the opportunity to see you take action with my own eyes. Brother Wu's eyes flashed with enthusiasm. Li Yuanba's rise was too fast. Monk Wuda has watched him grow up. But since he was promoted to a great monk, he has never seen his true combat power. He only heard that he defeated the great master Mihai. There are still a few days. Why not sit down and rest? I brought good tea, Li Yuanba said, pointing to the stone table and chair beside him. He took out the fourth grade spiritual tea, and then took out the fourth grade spiritual spring, and began to use the six yang spiritual fire to boil water to make tea. This is the fourth grade spiritual tea made by Li Shurjin. Right. That guy Wu Wei is very stingy. He just takes out a little every time. A monk from Jian Tian sat down and smelled the aroma of the tea. Monk Wuda also sat down, staring at Li Yuanba's movements. Because Li Shiming's reputation for alchemy resounded throughout the world of immortality, his fourth grade spiritual tea became even more famous. Unfortunately, it is too difficult to drink the fourth grade spiritual tea fried by Li Shiming himself except for a few friends of Li Shiming. There is no channel to obtain this kind of fourth grade spiritual tea. This kind of fourth grade spiritual tea that used to be scattered outside has long been consumed after more than a hundred years. Three great sword cultivators sat together, sipping top spiritual tea and exchanging sword intentions. Among the three great swordsmanship monks, Li Yuanba has been a great monk for the shortest time and has the lowest level of cultivation. However, when exchanging sword intentions, it is often his casual words that make the two great swordsmanship monks fall into thinking. Of course, this kind of communication will not go very deep. Even if you want to talk about your sword intention in depth, you can't express it in words. The three great sword cultivators were sipping good tea and chatting happily. Outside the great monk resource point, nearly 40 great monks had gathered. They were not as relaxed as the three great sword cultivators. Nearly 40 high monks gathered together and they needed to be careful of sneak attacks from other high monks at all times. This made them dare not relax their vigilance. And they were always in a state of tension. Although the atmosphere was tense, no great monks took action in advance. This was the resource point for the great monks of sword in Tension Chongshao Pavilion. The best way to deal with the great swordsmanship monks they needed to deal with was to use their numbers to attack and defend the great swordsmanship monks first. A few days passed, and Li Yuanba felt the mature aura of the great monks elixir. It's time to start. Let me strengthen the formation first. Li Yuanba stood up and said. He took out 180 formation flags and quickly threw them into the formation at the resource point. The placement of the 180 formation flags was arranged by Z15 based on the strengthening plan 
for the defensive formation here. Your formation level is probably better than any formation master in the pavilion. The great monk Jian sensed the changes in the defensive formation and couldn't help but admired. Although such a defensive formation still cannot block an attack from dozens of great monks, it can prevent a surprise attack by a small number of great monks. Li Yuanba's Chaos Sword Intent was activated, and a terrifying sword intent rose up from the great monk's resource point. Monk Wuda then activated his Evil Breaking Sword Intent and the same sword intent rose up. Finally, there was the great monk Jian As soon as his breaking void sword intention came out, he immediately suppressed the evil breaking sword intent of the Wuda monk, echoing Li Yuanba's chaos sword intent. He looked at Li Yuanba's chaos sword intent with some surprise. He felt the aura of the sword intent monument from the chaos sword intent as a direct descendant of the Jian clan. He has naturally come into contact with the Sword Intent Monument, and not once or twice. He knew that the time for a sword cultivator to receive the inheritance of the Sword Intent Monument was limited. It was extremely rare to realize one of the sword intentions within the limited inheritance time. The sword cultivators he knew who had the opportunity to receive the inheritance from the Sword Intention Monument had been passed down several times and had experienced dozens or hundreds of years before they could comprehend a sword intention from it. Li Yuanba only received the inheritance of the Sword Intention Monument once, but he mastered this powerful sword intention that was very close to the most powerful sword intention in the Sword Intent Monument. He only admired Li Yuanba's talent in swordsmanship. It's Jian Tiani! A scream sounded out, the voice full of horror and panic. At first, Li Yuanba's Chaos Sword Intention rose, and then Monk Wuda's Evil Breaking Sword Intent rose up which did not surprise the 40 monks. A big reason for this is that no great monk has recognized Li Yuanba's chaos sword intention. However, as soon as Jintian's two breaking sword intent, a sword intention belonging to the pinnacle of the great monks, came out, all the great monks present immediately felt the spiritual suppression effect. The first sword intention is Li Yuanba's sword intention. I can recognize it, another voice said at this time. This great monk was the great monk who had fought against the Yuanba. He recognized Li Yuanba's chaos sword intent. At this time, it should be said that the one who first knew about the resource points of the defense monks was Jian Tian. With nearly 40 monks, he might still be able to fight. After learning about the resource points of the defense monks and Li Yuanba, all the monks the monks' momentum dropped sharply again. Li Yuanba's record was achieved through repeated battles. Without any luck, he easily defeated 15 great monks of the same level and defeated the great master Mei Hai. He shocked many great monks in multiple consecutive missions and easily completed the competition for the great monks' resources. Is Sword Intention Chong Shao Pavilion crazy? Send out two peak sword cultivators? Some of the senior monks were already dissatisfied. Why can the swordsmanship monks of Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion steal the resources of the great monks of other forces? When it was Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion's turn, it adopted this unreasonable defense method. None of the great monks took action. As the first great monk left, one after another soon turned around and left. Li Yuanba saw that something was wrong. There were nearly 40 great monks on the opposite side. Why did they leave without even fighting? It seems that junior brother Li is not aware of his intimidating power yet. Jian Tian. A great monk said with a smile. Brother Wu Da also laughed. It seemed that it was impossible to see Li Yuanba take action. This is too boring. When will we be given a chance to fight with all our strength? Li Yuanba said with a long sigh as he looked at the empty scene. It's not easy to fight. In ten months' time, you and I will go to grab the resources of the spiritual realm cave heaven. The great monks who will go there will all be top-notch combat power. The great monk from Jian looked at Li Yuanba's warlike appearance, said with a smile. Spiritual realm cave. This is the first time Li Yuanba has heard of this cave. After the explanation from the great monk Jian Li Yuanba knew what kind of cave the spiritual realm was. In the world of cultivating immortals, some caves are bound to sections. However, some sects disappear as their own strength weakens. But those caves remain. These caves are still immovable and have become caves that can be occupied by monks. After being occupied by some forces, they have become a source of resources. This type of resource origin is formed by caves. And these caves locked to a certain sect have been transformed by the great power to cultivate monks and produce resources for the sect. Therefore, the output inside the cave will far exceed that of the world of cultivating immortals. Resource Point Resources 
The spiritual realm cave heaven proposed by Jian Tian's great monk is one of these cave heavens, and it is occupied by Wuyang sect. In the past, it was impossible for such cave resource points to be invaded, because the sect's confidentiality and defense capabilities for such cave resource points were not comparable to ordinary resource points. If you want to enter the cave, you can only enter through a fixed space door, which also makes it many times more difficult to enter. It's a pity that no matter how well these resource caves controlled by superpowers are kept secret, they will still be discovered by other superpowers after countless years. Of course, not everyone who wants to enter this type of resource cave can enter. In the previous resource cave competitions, the combat level has been raised to a level close to that of a peak monk. A high monk with ordinary strength may not even be able to escape after entering it, and thus becomes a cannon fodder. The great monk is an extremely important combat force for any force, even a super force, and it is impossible to let it be compromised on such a task. Looking at the current Yuching sect and Baidi sect, it is because of the loss of a large number of great monks that they are almost at the bottom of the superpowers. You must know that before Li Shiming and Li Yuanba killed a large number of great monks from the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect. The Yuching sect and the Baidi sect were both extremely powerful super forces. After agreeing with the great monk Jintian on the next joint mission, the three great swordsmen monks waited until the great monk's elixir was mature, and during the process of picking and packaging it, no more attacks from the great monk occurred. This time, Li Yuanba returned to Jinny Chongshao Pavilion with the first monk Jintian. He took the fourth grade top flying boat of the first monk Jintian. This fourth grade top level flying boat always felt a little weird under his observation. Although there were multiple Jinny Chongshao Pavilion style decorations on the surface, the structure of this fourth grade top level flying boat was in the style of Zhongzhou Trading Company. He was very sure of this because he had snatched a flying boat from Zhongzhou Trading Company. Although the quality was not so high, there were still traces of Zhongzhou Trading Company's unique boat building style. Is this flying boat made by Zhongzhou Trading Company? Li Yuanba asked with a smile without any scruples. You know your stuff. I can tell you have researched the flying boat at first sight. There are many monks riding on my flying boat. You are the only one who really recognizes the origin of the flying boat. Jian Tian, a big monk said with a smile. He waited for Li Yuanba to brew the spiritual tea, then took the cup and took a sip of the spiritual tea, squinting his eyes in enjoyment. Did you come up with the material for the fourth grade top flying boat? I've never heard of Zhongzhou Trading Company willing to manufacture flying boats of this quality for other monks. Li Yuanba then asked. The main body Li Shiming spent some time in Zhongzhou Trading Company and learned some things. The fourth grade top grade flying boat is no longer a treasure that can be measured by value due to the special nature of the flying boat. It requires a lot of 4th grade top grade materials. And if these top grade 4th grade materials are used to refine magic weapons, they may be able to refine more than 10 top grade 4th grade magic weapons. Not to mention that the top grade 4th grade materials needed to make a flying boat are extremely special and very rare. Even superpowers would have difficulty gathering a set of top grade 4th grade materials. That's why Li Yuanba asked if it was processed with supplied materials, and asked Zhongzhou Commercial Bank to manufacture it on his behalf. Ha ha! This is my trophy! It was 230 years ago. I was entrusted by the pavilion to escort a batch of resources. On the ocean, I encountered a great monk from the Zhongzhou Trading Company who robbed me. After he was killed by me, I got it. This boat, Jian Tian, a great monk, explained proudly. Li Yuanba was just about to ask if he was not afraid of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank's revenge. But considering his strength and identity, Zhongzhou Commercial Bank was definitely going to suffer the consequences of being a mute. Of course, I also want to give Zhongzhou Trading Company some face. So I made the changes on the flying boat. Jian Tian, a great monk, continued. Li Yuanba thought of the several top-grade fourth-grade airships in the hands of Li Shiming. Each of those top-grade fourth-grade airships was in huge trouble. Once exposed, some of the events of the year would be revealed. Although Li Shiming's combat power has reached the level of invincibility in the realm of a great monk, considering that excessive stimulation of some superpowers may cause the superpowers to do crazy things, if Li Shiming had a strong background, likely Yuan Ba, with a superpower behind him and being valued by powerful people, then he wouldn't have to worry so much. Shaking his head and no longer thinking about these things, Li Shiming realized that along the way, he was able to freely choose his exercises and do many things freely because he was not restricted by super powerful sex. The first monk of Jitian seemed to be very good at talking. When he was at the resource point, there was the monk Wuda who was beside him. 
the strength of the monk Wuda was a little weaker. In addition, the monk Wuda also knew many things, so he didn't talk about himself at that time. Many interesting things. Now he was alone with Li Yuanba, whose strength was similar to his. This equal status made him speak with great interest. It's hard for him. It's extremely difficult for a top monk to find compatible friends. If you want to be friends with a top monk from an outside sect, you have to consider the relationship between the two forces. Li Yuanba heard a lot of secrets from the great monk Jintian along the way, and he gradually entered the world of the top monks. The height that the great monk Jintian stood at was completely different from that of ordinary great monks, which gave Li Yuanba a lot of inspiration. When Feizhou returned to Jin Chong Shao Pavilion, the two great sword cultivators had become good friends. Chapter 862 Travel Ten months passed almost in the blink of an eye. In the realm of great monks, ten months is not even a true retreat. In ten months, Li Yuanba completed the upgrade of the sword intent and all the remaining fourth grade energy flying swords in. Ten thousand swords peak. The sword intent contained in more than two thousand one hundred fourth grade energy flying swords all became chaos sword intention. This is not the end of the sword intent in the more than two thousand one hundred fourth grade energetic flying swords. After his chaos sword intent has been significantly improved, he can continue to attack the chaos sword in the fourth grade energetic flying sword. Want to improve? In ten months, Li Yuanba met almost all the great sword cultivators of sword intent Chengshao Pavilion and established a certain amount of friendship. He is not a difficult person to get along with. And in addition, he is an alchemy master. The top alchemy master. An alchemy master who can refine high-quality elixirs for great monks. Although he had recently left all the alchemy matters to Li Shiming, the main body, very few people knew about this matter. Only his master Jin Wuwei in Jin Chong Shao Pavilion knew about it. All the great sword cultivators are willing to become friends with Li Yuanba, the alchemy master. In addition, when you come to Li Yuanba as a guest, you can taste the top-notch fourth-grade spiritual tea in the world of immortality. This is also an important reason. Although the world of immortality has been in chaos recently, and there are still battles at the level of great monks, the number of great monks who died in the battle is very small. Unless there is a huge difference in strength that makes the great monk unable to react and is directly killed. Otherwise the life-saving things in the hands of the great monk can be used. Under normal circumstances, two parties that are not engaged in mortal enmity will not escalate the battle to a point of death in the process of competing for resources. This is also the reason why Li Yuanba was merciful in previous missions. However, when he obtained the information about the top monk's mission from Jin Wuwei, he found that the top monk's battle was full of dangers. Since the missions of the top monks are usually aimed at the resource cave, no matter how intense the battle is before entering the resource cave space, it will not affect the interior of the resource cave. This allows the top monks to fight with all their strength without any scruples during the competition. The most important thing is that the top monks are the best of each force's generation. If the top monks are killed, the force can fall behind other forces at the level of top monks. Jian Wuwei put the resources in Li Yuanba's hands before Li Yuanba performed the top monks' mission, which was to inform Li Yuanba of the danger of the mission. Of course, this time, the mission involves the participation of a great monk from Jian Tian. If two sword cultivators with peak sword cultivator combat power cooperate in their actions, the risk will be greatly reduced. Yuanba! Let's go! The voice of Jin Tian's great monk came into the cave from outside. Senior brother Tiani, I have been prepared for a long time. Li Yuanba left the cave, his whole body in the best condition. He began to adjust his condition a few days ago. He was very cautious about this mission. This was his first time to truly enter the circle of peak monks. Even if he is fighting against other peak monks, it is recognized by many peak monks. Let's take my flying boat. We'll just have a chat along the way. Jian Tian, a great monk, summoned his fourth grade top flying boat and said with a smile. Li Yuanba understood what he meant. He wanted to drink the fourth grade spirit tea. He is not stingy. He had previously given a box of fourth grade spiritual tea to Jin Tian. A great monk. However, in order to avoid too many monks guessing his relationship with Li Shiming, he could not provide unlimited supply of fourth grade spiritual tea. For the great monk Jian Tian, there are very few resources that can have an effect on him in this realm. This top-notch fourth grade spiritual tea in the world of immortality is one of these very few resources. Although you can't explicitly ask Li Yuanba for more fourth grade spiritual tea, you can have this kind of casual drinking. Yuanba, the fact that you can hurt me high shows that your attack power is extremely strong. 
You don't need to consider my side in the battle. You should fight in your own way as much as possible. A big monk from Jiantian drank the spiritual tea, while reminding Li Yuanba of things that need attention. Li Yuanba nodded, but his consciousness was focused on the monitoring screen of the drone satellite system. He was surprised to find that there were more than 10 vague figures with clothes to peak monks around the mission target. Although these are not necessarily all peak monks, they are at least top monks close to the peak monks. As far as he knew, only the top monks from the Zhongzhou continent were participating in the spiritual realm cave heaven competition. And no top monks from the outer continent were participating. On the one hand, the information about the spiritual realm cave heaven is only circulated among the various forces in Zhongzhou continent. Even if the outer continent knows this information, it is impossible to know the exact time when it is judged from the recent actions of the top monks when the spiritual realm cave heaven resources will mature. It was too late to send the top monks here. It takes about a month to arrive from the outer continent to the Zhongzhou continent. By the time you arrive, it will have already passed the maturity time for the resources of the great monks in the spiritual realm. If this competition for resources does not stop, the next time the spiritual cave resources mature, there may be top monks from the outer continent joining the competition. The great monk Jiantian drove the fourth grade top flying boat, and its speed was extremely fast. It didn't take long to get close to the mission target location. The great monk Jiantian put away the fourth grade top level flying boat. He stood in the void and looked into the distance. Everyone is here this time. I'm really looking forward to it, he said with a smile. Then turned to Li Yuanba and said, Remember not to hold back. Each of these guys has a fatal attack method. Of course, you can kill them if you want to. It's difficult. They all have life-saving jade talismans given by the Almighty. I understand. Li Yuanba nodded. And with a wave of his hand, the late golden corpse appeared beside him. This was the first time that Jian Tian, a great monk, saw Li Yuanba's late-stage golden corpse. Feeling the threat coming from the late-stage golden corpse, he couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. His realm will react to any threatening creature. This late-stage golden corpse gave him the same feeling as facing a peak monk of the same level. It's really unreasonable not to take back the resources this time, he murmured in a low voice. The aura on his body increased, and a sword intent rose up. In front, auras belonging to the peak monks rose up, seeming to respond to him. Li Yuanba sent three familiar auras, one of which was the great venerable Mei Hai, whom he had just fought with not long ago. The other one was the great monk Renmu, whom Li Shiming had fought against. He was the pinnacle monk of Zhongzhou Trading Company. The last one was the Phoenix Palace Master of Wanfeng Palace. I didn't expect that the Phoenix Palace Master of Wanfeng Palace would also participate in this competition. You all came very early. Did you come here to fight Chui Cheng? Jian Tian, a great monk, flew close and said with a smile, Brother Jian, we don't know. You must be here to fight Chui Cheng. Senior monk Renmu replied with a smile. His words made the other great monks laugh. And this atmosphere made Li Yuanba feel a little surprised. There was no tense feeling at all. It was like a gathering of friends. Brother Jian, is this Li Yuanba next to you? Why don't you introduce me? Palace Master Feng's eyes fell on Li Yuanba, with curiosity shining in his eyes. It has to be said that Li Yuanba's appearance is unparalleled even in the world of immortality, where there are many means of modifying appearance. Li Yuanba's appearance was researched by Li Shiming through the natal magic weapon Z15, the most perfect appearance, and then the precise surgical plastic surgery in the computer room space gave him his current appearance. Appearance is only one of them, coupled with the special temperament brought about by his practice of sword intent climbing into the sky, and his chaos sword intent. It is only through the combination of the two that he can achieve perfection in the world of immortality. Perhaps Palace Master Feng was just curious, but her attention made several male monks on the side look at Li Yuanba with scrutiny. Palace Master Feng, this is my junior brother Li Yuanba. I'm following you this time to gain more knowledge. I hope you'll take care of me. Jian Tian, a monk, introduced with a smile. Fellow Daoist swordsman is so humble. Who doesn't know that friend Daoistly defeated Master Ming Hai? A great monk on the side said calmly. There was a hint of provocation in his words. The great venerable Ming Hai was standing aside. And the meaning was very obvious when he specifically said this at this time. Fellow Daoist Lin, if you are not convinced, let's go aside and have a fight first. Brother Jian looked at Brother Lin and said coldly. The great monk Jian didn't have a very good temper. As soon as the great monk Lin's words came to the ground, he made a counterattack. As for why Brother Lin targeted Li Yuanba, 
It was not within his scope of consideration. Since Brother Lin was provoking, he would fight back. Fellow sword Daoist, Brother Lin just told the truth. Why can't he speak? Another big monk next to Brother Lin came forward and said, Young man named you. No one here knows what you and Mr. Lin are thinking. You two are worthy of me. Jian Tian, a great monk, sneered and said directly, breaking his face. After hearing his words, all the great monks present had strange expressions on their faces. That is to say, he was more careful in his words and did not mention Palace Master Fong. However, everyone knew that these two peak monks had thoughts about Palace Master Fong, but they had never been told in person. Palace Master Fong didn't pay much attention to the words of the great monk Jian Tian, but the two great monks Lin and you had their faces flushed and looked like they wanted to take action. Amit Ba, it is true that Donerly defeated me. I am indeed not as strong as Donerly. This was the great venerable Mei Hai coming to smooth things over. Master, it was a concession. There was no winner at that time. Li Yuanba continued quickly. With the interruption from the great venerable Mei Hai and Li Yuanba, the tension at the scene was relieved a lot. Great Master Ming Hai's eyes fell on the late golden corpse. His eyes full of doubts. But he did not ask. Not only him. There are already many great monks looking at the late golden corpse. The great monks here are all very strong. When Li Yuanba summoned the late stage golden corpse, he made the late stage golden corpse reveal the aura of the corpse core. They all recognized it as the late stage golden corpse. What concerned them the most was the sense of threat that the golden corpse brought to them in the later period, which was the same as the feeling of Jintian's great monk, the great master Mihai sighed in his heart. It seemed that Li Yuanba did not show his full strength when he fought against him. In the world of immortality, corpse refining is also a part of strength, because the resources required for corpse refining are the monk's own resources. If they are not used for corpse refining, they will be used for themselves. All the great monks here are divided into two circles. Li Yuanba also learned from the exchange that Brother Lin was the great monk of Guiyuan's sect, and Brother Yu was the great monk of Beidu's sect. They were both interested in Palace Master Feng and wanted to become the uncle of Wanfeng Palace. It's a pity that Palace Master Feng didn't take a fancy to these two peak monks. Palace Master Feng's strength exceeded these two peak monks. Although Brother Lin and Brother Yu did not like Brother Jintian and Li Yuanba, they still formed a circle with other top monks. Li Yuanba had the fighting power to defeat the great venerable Ming Hai. So he also joined this circle. This circle was the circle of the top monks. The strength of other great monks is only a little bit different from that of the peak great monks. But just this difference makes them excluded from the circle of the peak great monks. Li Yuanba saw several great monks in another circle and looked at him with envious eyes, seeming to be particularly envious that he could join the circle of peak great monks. Although Li Yuanba joined the circle of peak monks, he had no say in the topics these peak monks talked about. The top monks are all great monks from various superpowers who wield huge power. The communication between them represents their respective superpowers. This kind of communication is more like a high-level communication. Fellow Daoistly, you feel boring? Palace Master Feng came to Li Yuanba's side at this time. He seemed to see what Li Yuanba was thinking and said with a smile. I don't like power. It will affect my practice. Li Yuanba said honestly. You are still too young and have experienced too little. If you want to be promoted to a peak monk, or even to a higher level in the future, you need the support of the sect. And accordingly you need to contribute to the sect. Palace Master Feng said with a sigh. Li Yuanba couldn't help but look at the Master of Feng Palace. He didn't expect that the Master of Feng Palace, as the Master of Wanfeng Palace and holding extremely high power in Wanfeng Palace, would say such a thing. There was a lot of helplessness in Palace Master Feng's words. It seemed that this Palace Master also didn't like power. Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion does not require me to participate in power. I will repay Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion in my own way. Li Yuanba explained with a smile with his alchemy ability. As long as he can continue to improve his cultivation, Sword Intention Chong Shao Pavilion will provide him with all conveniences. Besides, he is not worried about resources. Even if Sword Intention Chong Shao Pavilion does not provide the resources to advance to great power, one of the caves in the hands of the main body is enough for him to reach great power. Chapter 863 Chui Chung Fellow Daoistly, are you interested in finding a Taoist companion? Palace Master Feng asked softly. Li Yuanba discovered that when Palace Master Feng raised this question, although he did not use sound transmission, he used spiritual isolation to allow the sound to only spread within a small area with Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba was slightly startled. He looked at Palace Master Feng. 
wondering if Palace Master Fong was planning to recruit a son-in-law for him. Don't think too much. There are many female cultivators similar to your age in Wanfeng Palace. If you are interested, I can introduce them to you. The master of Fong Palace saw Li Yuanba's expression and realized that Li Yuanba had misunderstood and couldn't help but said slightly. Li Yuanba couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Although he didn't know how old Palace Master Fong was, he was definitely many times older than him. Just stay alone, Palace Master Fong said angrily, and then turned around and ignored Li Yuanba. The expression of Palace Master Fong has been secretly watched by Brother Lin and Brother Yu. They have never seen such a rich expression from Palace Master Fong. It looked like a couple flirting, which made the two great monks feel like they were being cut by a knife. And they felt like their beloved things had been robbed. It would be fine if the one who snatched away their beloved things was a powerful being like the great monk Jian But it was someone like Li Yuanba who had just been promoted to a great monk, which made them unbearable. Although Li Yuanba defeated the great venerable Ming Hai through the previous contact, the two great monks easily understood Li Yuanba's weaknesses. Li Yuanba may be outstanding in swordsmanship, so he was able to defeat beings like the great master Ming Hai with his cultivation as a novice great monk. But with Li Yuanba's level, he couldn't withstand a casual blow from the peak monk. As long as they are given the opportunity to the two peak monks, Li Yuanba can fall with one blow. Brother Lin and Brother Yu looked at each other. Everything was in silence. The two sides competed for the favor of Palace Master Fong. They had known each other very well for so many years. And they knew what the other was thinking with just one look. A secret cooperation agreement was formed inadvertently. With their cultivation level. Even if they had any thoughts about Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba would not be able to sense it. Li Yuanba smiled. He knew very well what Palace Master Fong meant. After Li Shiming, the real body, asked Yin Shirwan to join Wanfeng Palace. He learned how Wanfeng Palace gathered power which was to use the convenience of female cultivators to find suitable male cultivators and female cultivators to become Taoist companions. These male monks will become the help of Wanfeng Palace, giving Wanfeng Palace a huge callable combat power. He is not disgusted with the behavior of Wanfeng Palace. Wanfeng Palace does not force the female cultivators in the palace to marry outside male cultivators. It completely complies with the female cultivator's own ideas. Besides, Wanfeng Palace borrowed the help of male monks not to expand Wanfeng Palace's sphere of influence, but to protect itself as much as possible. Otherwise, it would be extremely difficult for a superpower composed entirely of female cultivators to gain a foothold in the world of immortality. As for Palace Master Feng's proposal, Li Yuanba had never considered it. He is just a clone, but his main consciousness is connected with the original body Li Shiming. He has only one Taoist companion in the world, and that is Yin Shiruan the Taoist companion of the original body Li Shiming. You and Ba, it's rare to get together with all of you fellow Taoists. Let's have some spiritual tea. Jintian's great monk waved to Li Yuan Ba and said. Li Yuan Ba took out a jade box and handed it to the great monk Jian Tian. The great monk Jian Tian proudly took out a tea set from his soul crystal ring and began to refine the spiritual tea. At first, the peak monks didn't pay attention and were still chatting. But as the aroma of spiritual tea wafted out, they all stopped talking and all looked at the teapot in the hands of Jian Tian's monk. Come! Palace Master Feng, Master Ming Hai, Brother Ren, and fellow Daoist Lu. How about trying this spiritual tea? He took out a few cups, poured the spiritual tea, and distributed it to these people. He only missed Brother Lin and Brother Yu. Brother Lin and Brother Yu sniffed the aroma of spiritual tea and couldn't help but sit aside angrily, wanting to stay away from the aroma of tea. This is the spiritual tea fried by Li Shurjian himself. I didn't expect to be able to drink it. Li Shurjian's method of frying the spiritual tea has been improved. This is truly the best spiritual tea in the world. The most knowledgeable one is the great monk Renmu. He and Li Shiming is considered a friend. And he can tell the origin of Ling Cha after drinking it. And this sip and Ling tea was roasted by Li Shiming for himself to drink. So when choosing sip and Ling tea, he chose the highest quality sip and Ling tea. With Li Shiming's alchemy ability, as long as he said he wanted top quality spiritual tea. A large number of monks would try their best to get it for him. Compared with a fourth grade spiritual tea given away, the quality of the fourth grade spiritual tea sent to Li Yuanba was definitely the best. Amit Ba, thanks to the kindness of the benefactor of Cheng Jian today, being able to drink such spiritual tea is really the best spiritual tea in the world. The great master Mei Hai couldn't help but praise. Palace master Feng smiled and looked relatively calm. 
but she was thinking about how to get some fourth grade spiritual tea from Ian Sherlon. Who said Ian Sherlon was a disciple of Wanfeng Palace? Although Ian Sherlon joined Wanfeng Palace more for Li Shiming's face. Wanfeng Palace also received a lot of benefits. But if you want to have some fourth grade spiritual tea, you can still come. All the peak monks present were tasting the fourth grade spiritual tea, each with their own expressions. But everyone could see that this spiritual tea was liked by all the peak monks. This made Brother Lin and Brother Yu even more uncomfortable. Even if they had the foundation of cultivation, they could not control their tongues. The great monk Jian did this intentionally. When he saw the expressions of the two peak great monks, he smiled. The pot of spiritual tea was quickly empty. The great monk Jian took the jade box that Li Yuanba handed him and put it into the soul crystal ring without any unnaturalness. Li Yuanba glanced at him helplessly, wanting to laugh in his heart, but didn't say anything. To him, fourth grade spiritual tea of this quality is nothing. Since he discovered the speed of the thunder beast, his connection with the main body Li Shiming has become closer. If needed, it can be delivered in two or three days. A batch of fourth grade spiritual tea. It is rare to see Jian Tiani, a peak sword cultivator, behave in a childish manner, and it is worth paying for some fourth grade spiritual tea. The other great monks didn't know this. After tasting the spirit tea, they stopped talking and each one of them began to recall the feelings they had when they tasted the tea. Chui Chung is out! Senior Monk Mumu suddenly reminded. Without his reminder, even Li Yuanba sensed the rising aura of a peak fire cultivator, and the violent fire spiritual power transformed into a red light that shot straight into the sky. Nanming Liwa! Li Yuanba said softly. He did not expect that this great cultivator Chui of the Wuyang sect was practicing the fire magic power of Nanming Liwa. A long time ago, he thought that there were many magical inheritances in the world of immortality. But only after entering the world of immortality did he realize his mistake. Miraculous powers, especially powerful ones, are extremely difficult to master. An inheritance of magical powers is even rarer. And Nanning Lihua is a rare offensive magical power. Although Li Shiming has practiced many magical powers, there are not many truly powerful offensive magical powers. However, Brother Chui has cultivated the fire magic power of Nanming Lihua to the peak monk level. Li Yuanba has a rough estimate of how powerful such Nanming Lihuo is. Nanming Lihua, fire attack magical power, is to a certain extent a form of fire rules. When used in the form of magical powers, it can reduce the difficulty of using fire rules. The real body Li Shiming is also in the realm of a great monk. He has also cultivated the magical power of Nanming Lihua. The Nanming Lihuo, magical power combined with the rules of the fire system, is not just the power of one plus one but the power far exceeds the fire rules. The ordinary fire secret method. Yuan Ba recognized it. It is Nanming Lihua. Tui Cheng's temper is as violent as the fire magical power he cultivated. No one likes him. Jintian's great monk was a little surprised. Li Yuan Ba recognized Nanming Lihua. Supernatural powers, he explained. Li Yuan Ba saw several top monks, including the great venerable Mei Hai, looking in the direction of the great monk Tui with disgust. It is absolutely rare for this great monk Chui to be able to do this. So many acquaintances are here. Hey, there's also a baby boy. The figure of the great monk Chui appeared outside the attack range of the other great monks. Facing so many great monks, he was not afraid at all. When Li Yuanba heard Master Chui calling him Naiwatsi, his eyes suddenly became sharp. He grabbed the arm of the late-stage golden corpse with one hand. And then he and the late-stage golden corpse disappeared from the spot. Brother Chui never expected that the milkman he called would be so unreasonable and launch a surprise attack before the war even started. When he sensed something was wrong, Li Yuanba had already appeared behind him. And what appeared with Li Yuanba was the later golden corpse. As soon as the golden corpse appeared in the later stage, it rushed close to the great monk Chui, launching continuous attacks with head, fist, feet, elbows, knees, claws, and teeth in an instant. Li Yuanba was very close to Brother Chui. But with the attack of the Golden Corpse in the later stage, he did not immediately distance himself, but activated Xing Yijian, who was already prepared. Xing Yijian almost attacked Monk Chui together with the later Golden Corpse. Xing Yijian's attack was a supplement to the attack of the later Golden Corpse. The attack of the Golden Corpse in the later stage was blocked by the fire shield on Chui Dashio's body. But after resisting the powerful attack of the Golden Corpse in the later stage, the fire shield's defense fluctuated. Then Xing Yijian hit the same position of the fire shield. 
A gap appeared in the fire shield. And Xing Yijian shot into it. Brother Tui's control over flames is so strong that even if a gap is broken in the fire shield, the rest of the fire shield will not be broken. After he discovered that the fire shield was broken, he retreated and mobilized Nan Ningli fire to burn toward Xing Yijian. This is also the solution he can think of in a short period of time. He is extremely passive now. He was approached by the late stage Golden Corpse. And the late stage Golden Corpse's attack put great pressure on him. Coupled with Xing Yijian's harassment, he was unable to effectively attack the late stage Golden Corpse. Xing Yijian collided with a Nan Ming Lihua. And the Chaos Sword Intent exploded with indescribable sharpness, forcibly breaking through the Nan Ming Lihuo. But he was not damaged by the Nan Ming Lihuo. Master Chui's counterattack was theoretically correct. But what he didn't expect was the true quality of Xing Yijian. Use the magical power of Nan Ming Lihua to burn any top level 4th grade magic weapon. This magic weapon must be dealt with carefully. However, the true quality of Xing Yi's sword is a spiritual treasure. Unless Nan Ming Lihuo is promoted to the next stage, there is nothing you can do about it. Ling Bao is a swordsman. Master Chui only felt that his robe was punctured and a wound appeared on his skin. Fortunately, Xing Yi Jian was blocked many times and lost most of its power. When it hit his body, only a small part of its power was left. So it did not cause too much damage. Xing Yi Shu returned with one strike. And just when Chui Dashio wanted to take this opportunity to counterattack the later Golden Corpse, Li Yuanba suddenly approached with a fourth grade sword base. You are the milk baby. And your whole family is a milk baby. Li Yuanba cursed while attacking Brother Chui with his sword. And Xing Yijian flew back to Li Yuanba. After being replenished with energy and sword intent by Li Yuanba, he flew towards Master Chui again. Brother Chui was confused. He had seen many great monks. But he had never seen a great monk like Li Yuanba. When did the great sword cultivator use corpse refining? When did the great sword cultivator start fighting at close quarters with a long sword? Moreover, Li Yuanba's close combat ability is even more powerful than that of the later golden corpse. The attack of the golden corpse in the later stage comes from the powerful power and the destructive power of the terrifying cold energy contained in its body. Although the attack speed is extremely fast, the golden corpse in the later stage only knows how to attack continuously and does not attack the weak points in a targeted manner. Li Yuanba's attack was different. The fourth grade sword base in his hand was aimed at the weak point of Brother Chui's fire shield when attacking. He activated the spiritual eyes and was able to see clearly the weak points of Chui Dashio's defense. The fourth grade sword base in his hand was also blessed with chaos sword intent. When Xing Yijian failed to restore the quality of the spiritual treasure, the fourth grade sword sword base's attacks are more powerful. Li Yuanba cursed and attacked at the same time. Watching as the fire shield on Chui Dashio's body was cut into holes, the robe of the great monk Chui was also cut into many cracks by the fourth grade sword base, and blood could be seen faintly flowing out from the cracks. Explode Nanming Li Huo! Brother Chui couldn't bear it anymore. He mobilized the Nanming Li Huo magical power in his body and shouted. He instantly exploded the fire magical energy accumulated in the Nanming Li fire magical power rune in his body, forming a terrifying circle of flames that spread from him to the surroundings. When Li Yuanba sensed the changes in the aura of the Nanming Lihua, magical power, he knew what was going on based on his understanding of the Nanming Lihuo, magical power. His figure flashed and activated, south close to the end of the world, and disappeared from the place. The flame circle of Nanming Lihua impacted the late golden corpse. A set of armor appeared on the late golden corpse. It faced the flame circle erupted by Nanming Lihua and still chased and attacked Chui Dashiu. The terrifying Nan Ming Li Hua. Magical power burst out, but was blocked by the Golden Corpse in the later stage. It was not even able to affect the movement of the Golden Corpse in the later stage. Chapter 864 Differentiation The great monks at the top of Zhongzhou Continent stared blankly at what was happening in front of them. The great monk Chui of Wuyang sect. The arrogant, powerful and violent peak monk was beaten violently by Li Yuanba in just a short period of time. Yes, it was a violent beating. This is an extremely appropriate description. When it comes to other great monks, the term beating is not accurate because few great monks can fight at close range. But look at Li Yuanba. Not only the attack of the Golden Corpse in the later period, but also Li Yuanba's attack was a close combat. Perhaps it was precisely because of this that Master Chui misjudged the situation of the battle and fell into a disadvantage from the beginning. Come back! Li Yuanba commanded in a deep voice. 
the late-stage Golden Corpse disappeared from the battle in a flash. Even if Master Chui wanted to keep the late-stage Golden Corpse and regain some face for himself, the defense of the late-stage Golden Corpse wearing armor was not something he could break through in a short time. Besides, with the speed of the Golden Corpse in the later stage, when it wanted to retreat, Brother Chui couldn't stop it. Li Yuanba looked at Brother Chui's robes and tatters, and his anger caused by Brother Chui disappeared a lot. Li Yuanba. Master Chui looked at Li Yuanba bitterly, wanting to say something threatening, but thinking of Li Yuanba's temper. He only said Li Yuanba's name and made no next move. Fellow Daoist Chui, how come you keep coming back as you live longer? Li Yuanba is able to stand here, so he has our recognition. If you insult him, you are insulting us. Senior Monk Renmu said lightly at this time. Fellow Daoist Ren, two powerful sword cultivators have come to the Sword Intention Chengshao Pavilion. I think they are preparing to monopolize the resources of the spiritual realm. Chui Dashio said coldly as he restrained his hatred. There was provocation in his words. And it was obvious. But his words were still very effective. At least Brother Lin and Brother Yu, who had had issues with Brother Jintian and Li Yuanba before, had special meaning in their eyes. This is just the circle here. In another circle of great monks whose strength is close to the peak of the great monks. All the great monks are hostile to the great monk Jintian and Li Yuanba. They, the great monks, came here just to have a chance to take advantage of the battle between the peak great monks. If Jinning Choshao Pavilion is the dominant family, then they will not be able to take advantage. Chui Chung, stop talking nonsense. In your current state, can you still guard this entrance? Brother Jintian said in a deep voice, interrupting what Brother Chui wanted to say. Although the battle between Chui Great Monk and Li Yuanba separated in a short time, and Li Yuanba did not take advantage of the victory to pursue him. Everyone could see that Chui Great Monk's injuries had not recovered. Even if he recovers from his injuries now, he has lost the confidence to fight against so many great monks. When you reach the realm of a peak monk, a strange situation will occur. As long as a monk is undefeated, he will become more courageous as he fights. The confidence accumulated from continuous victory will make him stronger. Just like the great monk Chui dared to block all the great monks here. He had extremely strong confidence in himself. In this state, he was able to explode with super strong combat power. Unfortunately, after the battle with Li Yuanba, Master Chui's state of complete victory was broken. He lost confidence and his combat power was greatly reduced. I didn't lose the battle with Li Yuanba. I just suffered a little loss because I wasn't used to his fighting style. Brother Chui didn't want to admit defeat. He insisted. After he said these words, he immediately carefully guarded against Li Yuanba's possible surprise attack. His actions made what he said even more unbelievable. In addition, he was trying hard to expel the Chaos Sword Intention that invaded his body from the injured area. Although the Chaos Sword Intent is extremely powerful because Li Yuanba's own cultivation is too weak. It will only take some time to dispel it without the follow-up support of the Chaos Sword Intent. You too. If you can help drive away the two sword cultivators, Will Yang Sect is willing to pay half of the resources produced this time. I think those great monks from the periphery also want to drive away the two sword cultivators. Great Monk Chui secretly sent a message to Lin Senior Monk and Senior Monk Yu. He had already observed the situation here through the formation. At this time, when he felt that he was unable to defeat them, the most correct thing to do was to find helpers. You are helping hold down Palace Master Fong and Rin Mu. I don't think other top monks will interfere. Brother Lin replied through a message. Brother Yu began to contact the outer monks, preparing to raid Brother Jintian and Li Yuanba. There was no pressure on them to take action against the great monk Jintian and Li Yuanba. They were not on the same journey. And in this kind of mission, it was normal to fight no matter what. No one who can raise his strength to the level of a peak monk is a fool. Perhaps due to the cultivation techniques, he has certain shortcomings in his character. The seemingly reckless behavior of the great monk Chui was actually planned but he didn't expect that Li Yuanba was even more reckless than him. So he was beaten up before he even started planning. At this time, taking advantage of the conversation, he re-implemented the plan. As he imagined, both Brother Lin and Brother Yu agreed to the plan. The flames are overwhelming! Brother Chui suddenly shouted, and a feather fan appeared in his hand. With a flick of the feather fan, a sea of fire rushed towards Palace Master Feng and Brother Ren Mu. Jian Tiani, Li Yuanba, let's fight! Brother Lin and Brother Yu shouted at the same time, and they launched attacks on Brother Jintian and Li Yuanba respectively. The several great monks on the periphery also launched an attack together 
with the two great monks, as if they had made an appointment. The spiritual rays of various colors were threatening Jian Tian and Li Yuanba, and a battle was about to begin. Palace Master Feng saw the flames containing Nan Mingli fire coming toward her. She was not afraid at all. She waved her hand gently, and a late fourth grade red gold phoenix appeared in front of her. As soon as the red gold phoenix appeared, the feathers on its body turned into flames. The flames separated from the body of the red gold phoenix and attacked the flames of Nan Mingli Hua. The two flames refused to give in to each other in the air and were in a stalemate. A fourth grade top grade shield appeared in front of great monk Ren Mu. The shield was blessed with water spiritual power and blocked his face. Nan Ming Lihua was blocked by the shield. And the contact between fire and water formed a large red mist. Brother Chui was one against two. He launched an attack with all his strength. Not to defeat palace master Feng and brother Ren Mu. But to prevent the two peak monks from supporting the battle on the other side. Nan Ming Lihua is good at explosive attacks at least for a short period of time. It can make Palace Master Feng and Senior Monk Ren Mu unable to free their hands. Leave these two to me, and leave the rest to you. Jian Tian, a great monk, confessed to Li Yuanba through his spiritual consciousness when he was attacked. His natal flying sword met the attacks of Brother Lin and Brother Yu. The peak monk level, void breaking sword intent, broke the attacks of the two peak monks almost at the first contact. After hearing his explanation, Li Yuanba disappeared from the spot and south close to the end made him appear among the peripheral monks at the moment when it emerged from the void a mountain magic weapon appeared above the head and instantly transformed into a huge mountain as soon as ten thousand swords peak transformed into its true form it activated the gravity field a single gravity field does not have much effect on these top monks who are all close to the strength of the top monks it only slows down their movements for a moment Li Yuanba's level was too low on the other hand, the gravity field of 10,000 swords peak dealt with many top monks at the same time, causing the power of the gravity field to be dispersed, taking advantage of the slow movement of all the top monks. Xing Yijian struck out two swords like a flash of light. He doesn't ask for attack power. He just wants to cause more damage in the shortest possible time. A fourth grade sword base appeared in his hand, and he stabbed a sword at a top monk nearby. There were originally eight top monks here. The top monks escaped from the gravity field, and three of them had wounds on their bodies. The faces of the three top monks turned pale, and they quickly mobilized the spiritual power in their bodies to start expelling them. Chaos sword intent. As for the wounds, they were pursuing faster attacks. After breaking through the defense of the three top monks, the wounds caused were not serious. But these three top monks will no longer be able to participate in the battle at least for a short period of time leaving only five top monks left to fight among the original eight top monks. The five top monks recalled the magic weapons they had attacked. They were carefully guarding them. Ten thousand swords peak above their heads to prevent the ten thousand swords peak from suddenly pressing down. In the world of cultivating immortals, the critical power of mountain magic weapons is still very strong. Although the Yuanba's cultivation level has only just entered the realm of great monks, the explosive power of mountain magic weapons can still pose a threat to them. But they were wrong. The power of the 10,000 swords peak attack was far less powerful than the subsequent attack. More than 2,100 energy based flying swords flew out of 10,000 swords peak. So many energy based flying swords swarmed towards the five top monks like a swarm of bees. It was impossible for the five top monks to sit back and wait for death. With time to prepare, they took out their own defensive magic weapons and at the same time aimed their offensive magic weapons at Li Yuanba to launch an attack. Li Yuanba was once again so far away. His figure appeared on the other side of the battlefield. Since being promoted to the realm of a great monk, the speed of Shenzhou Tong's south close to the end of the world has been significantly improved, allowing him to use it freely in battle. And the interval is short enough that he can use it continuously. He did not dare to resist the attacks of the five top monks, so he could only use his best method to dodge with south close to the end. At the same time, he cannot leave the battlefield, which makes his dodge more like dancing on the tip of a knife. He is within the attack range of the five top monks. The five top monks only need to move their minds slightly to control the attack magic weapon to pursue him. But Li Yuanba did not leave much time for the five top monks to attack. They took the initiative to withdraw their attack magic weapon without even giving them a chance to strike a second time. The five top monks did not expect that the more than 2,100 fourth grade energy flying swords attacking them all contained. Chaos sword intent. 
Their defensive magic weapon was forcibly broken after resisting several fourth grade energy flying swords. Their hair stood up in shock, and they almost unanimously made a choice. They activated the life saving jade talisman, and the five figures turned into light and escaped from the place. The fourth grade energy flying sword only hit nothingness, not even a top monk. When the three top monks who were exorcising the chaos sword intent saw this scene, especially those fourth grade energy flying swords that turned around and flew towards them, they also activated the life saving jade talisman. Li Yuanba was a little helpless. He really wanted to keep one or two top monks, or even all the top monks if possible. But it is obvious that his combat power has not reached the final level. If he cannot kill the enemy instantly, it will be very easy for a top monk with a life-saving jade charm to withdraw from the battlefield. In the past, whether it was the main body Li Shiming or the clone Li Yuanba, the prerequisite for being able to kill the enemy was the ability to kill with one strike. The lack of the ability to kill with one hit made it difficult for him to easily kill the enemy. Li Yuanba didn't think much about it. On the other side, the battle between the Jintian monk and the two peak monks continued. He waved his hand and put away. 10,000 swords peak. And all the fourth grade energy flying swords flew back to. 10,000 swords peak. To recuperate. He looked to the other side of the battlefield. Preparing to join the battle there. The situation on the battlefield is that Jintian. A monk. Is suppressing two peak monks. But it is impossible to resolve the battle quickly. The combat power of the two peak monks is not weak. One on one. Perhaps Jintian a large monk can also quickly end the battle. But in a one on two situation. The cooperation of the two peak monks formed a stronger combat power. The great monk Lin erected a wall of ice to block the natal flying sword of the great monk Jintian. Although every ice wall would be broken into pieces by the flying sword of the great monk Jintian. The speed at which he created the ice wall was very fast. Brother Yu first took out a formation disc and formed a formation in an instant. Then Brother Lin suddenly launched with all his strength. And countless ice walls rose. The combination of the ice walls and the formation formed an aerial ice crystal fortress. The natal flying sword of the great monk Jintian hit the ice crystal fortress again and again. No matter how fast it was destroyed, it would be easily repaired by the great monk Lin inside. With the formation of this ice crystal fortress, the two peak monks finally had time to breathe, and they began to fight back against the big monk Jintian. Although Jintian's great cultivator still has some advantages, his advantages are slowly being offset. Li Yuanba couldn't help but lament that the peak monks were difficult to deal with. With the cooperation of the two peak monks, the ice crystal fortress formation seemed uncomplicated, but after adding the ice wall containing the rules of the ice system, its defense power reached the ultimate that a peak monk can achieve. Chapter 865 Must Kill Li Yuanba did not immediately intervene in the battle. His eyes flashed with divine light, indicating that he had activated his spiritual eyes. The Shen Mutong observed the direction of the spiritual power lines of the Ice Crystal Fortress formation and passed all the observed data to the main body Li Shiming, who transferred it to the natal magic weapon Z-15. After a while, Li Yuanba received Z-15's analysis information in his mind and found the solution to the Ice Crystal Fortress formation. In fact, he could easily crack the formation laid out on the array plate without using the Z-15. But after adding an ice wall containing ice rules to strengthen the formation, the difficulty of cracking this formation was greatly increased. In the formation protected by ice crystals, most of its spiritual power lines flow within the ice crystals. Break it! Li Yuanba used all his strength to move his sword. And his sword flew out. Xing Yijian did not attack Brother Lin and Brother Yu but instead circled and danced in the air in a weird arc around the ice crystal fortress formation. Quickly block that flying sword! It is destroying the formation! Monk Yu felt the feedback from the formation disc and said to Monk Lin. Monk Lin danced his feather fan, and a piece of ice crystal flew toward Xing Yijian. Xing Yijian suddenly accelerated and got rid of the ice crystal's attack at extremely high speed before the ice crystal got close. Crack! The impregnable ice crystal fortress formation formed cracks on the surface as Xing Yi's sword circled and danced. Seemingly useless movements. Brother Lin continuously gave up intercepting Xing Yijian. He fanned the feather fan in his hand, trying to repair the cracks in the ice crystal fortress formation. But no matter how fast he repaired it, he couldn't repair it faster than the cracks would appear. Xing Yijian circling and dancing is not random. Every time Xing Yijian approaches the ice crystal fortress formation, it is cutting the spiritual power lines that guide the formation. Although most of the spiritual power lines were protected by ice crystals, with a small portion of the spiritual power lines still remaining, 
Li Yuanbai used the guidance of Xing Yijian to cause conflicts within the formation. The ice wall used by Brother Lin was based on the formation. An energy conflict occurred within the formation. The foundation of the ice wall was destroyed. And the cracks continued to increase. Brother Yu would not sit back and let the formation be broken. He took out a handful of fourth grade formation flags and threw them out. Each fourth grade formation flag falling into the formation would stabilize the formation by one point. Brother Yu was born in the Beta sect. And the Beta sect inheritance he received was a combat method that integrated formations. This kind of fighting method is very rare. But once, he is allowed to form a formation. He will have an advantage in the battle. If he hadn't met a monk from Jiantian before, whose chattering sword intent could forcibly break the formation, he could have restrained many top monks by himself. The light in Li Yuanba's eyes kept flashing. And the Shin Mutong transferred all the strengthening information of Master Yu's battle method to Z15. And Li Yuanba quickly received the updated cracking method in his mind. Under his control, Sheng Yijian was still flying around the Ice Crystal Fortress formation. But the formation enhanced by the monkey was constantly being destroyed by this kind of flying. For a moment, the Ice Crystal Fortress formation was wandering back and forth between crumbling and restabilizing. Brother Yu has already studied this formation to a very deep level. So when he added the fourth grade formation flag, he could enhance the formation with almost no thought. Li Yuanba needs to pass the observation results of Shin Mutong to Z15. After analysis and research by Z15, the results will be passed to Li Yuanba. This process seems extremely complicated. But with Z15's unparalleled computing power, it is exactly the same as Yuta's. Monk's enhancement speed has been flattened. A strange scene appeared on the battlefield. Countless cracks appeared on the Ice Crystal Fortress formation. After a fourth grade formation flag fell, the number of cracks was greatly reduced. After that, Xing Yi's sword flew in a circle and a large number of cracks appeared in the Ice Crystal Fortress formation again. It was like a textbook formation competition here. Brother Yu had studied this formation for thousands of years. And Li Yuanba had seen this formation for the first time. But the two sides were tied. The emotions in Brother Yu's heart were not as calm as shown on his face. Even though he and Li Yuanba were in a draw in the formation competition, the number of fourth grade formation flags in his hand was always limited. Once the fourth grade formation flag in his hand is used up, the balance he has established will collapse instantly. He counted the fourth grade formation flags on his body and made a decision in his heart. Brother Lin is manipulating the ice crystal with all his strength to attack Brother Jintian and Li Yuanba. Although his attack is not very effective, it is still within his power. Suddenly, what Brother Yu took out was no longer a fourth grade formation flag, but a jade talisman. After taking out the jade talisman, he immediately activated the jade talisman. A strong power of rules appeared from the jade talisman. His body instantly turned into light and fled into the distance. The ice crystal fortress formation lost its controller and was cut through by a great monk from Jiantian. Even the core of the formation was cut in half by this sword. Brother Lin did not receive the notice of Brother Yu's departure. He was still using all his ice attacks to help Brother Yu as much as possible. Brother Yu escaped without notifying him, leaving him extremely passive for a moment. In fact, Li Yuanba was the first person to notice Brother Yu's thoughts. After he discovered that something was wrong with Brother Yu, he guessed what Brother Yu was planning. But he did not stop Brother Yu's actions, but instead cooperated with Brother Yu. He knew very well that Brother Yu had enough time to activate the life-saving Jade Talisman in his hand before the formation was destroyed. After repeated battles with no results, he wanted to successfully kill a peak monk. Before participating in this mission, Master Jian Wu Wei told him that unlike previous missions, when participating in this kind of mission that only powerful monks can participate in. He should kill as many hostile monks as possible, regardless of whether they are the pinnacle great monks or the top great monks. They are the most powerful beings among all the forces. The death of such a powerful great monk will put the force in a vacuum zone of top combat power. In today's era of competition for great monk resources, once there is a vacuum zone in top combat power, the force will fall behind other forces. Li Yuanba sensed the malice of Brother Lin and Brother Yu towards him very early. And now, he could finally take revenge. He chose to let go of Brother Yu, who was unable to kill him, and left the attack to Brother Lin. Just when the great monk Jian Tian cut through the ice crystal fortress formation with one sword, the great monk Lin also knew what he should do. He took out the life-saving jade talisman from the soul crystal ring. But at the same time, Li Yuanba launched his prepared attack. Later, the golden corpse flashed in front of Monk Lin and hugged Monk Lin. It used all its strength to hug him. 
after the previous battle, Brother Lin's defense was already at a weak stage. Being hugged by the Golden Corpse in the later stage made Brother Lin's defense tighten. In the later stage, the Golden Corpse tightly hugged Brother Lin. In this state, even if the life-saving Jade Talisman was activated, Brother Lin would not be able to enter the escape state at all due to the influence of the late Golden Corpse. Shang Jian is a bit slower than the later Golden Corpse, which is also intentional by Li Yuanba. Now Brother Lin's defense has almost collapsed, and he can't even move. Xing Yi's sword struck Monk Lin between the forehead and the head with unparalleled power. In a normal battle, it is impossible to hit this position unless there is a huge difference in strength. Without much resistance, Xing Yi Jian sank into the center of Brother Lin's head. Xing Yi's sword passed through a barrier, and Li Yuanba understood that it had penetrated into the brain. His mind moved, and the chaos sword intention of Xing Yi's sword surged out of the sword, destroying everything around him. From the center of the eyebrows to the deepest part of the brain. There is the brain and body. Not to mention. Chaos sword intention. Even if there is no sword intention. A flying sword piercing this position will be fatal. There was a hole in Brother Lin's brow. The life in his eyes disappeared. And there was still a strong sense of unwillingness on his face. Suddenly. A small nascent soul flew out from his body. As soon as this small nascent soul left its physical body. It had a look of horror on its face and wanted to fly away into the distance. Li Yuanba used South close to the end of the world to block the direction in which nascent soul was flying away. Yuanying almost collided with Li Yuanba's body at this moment. Yuanying immediately turned around and wanted to leave from the other direction. Li Yuanba's body flashed with golden light and with him as the center. The entire kilometer range was covered by flying sand. He had activated the Tamadhi Divine Wind before Brother Lin's nascent soul could speed up. It was surrounded by a sandstorm formed by the Tamadhi Divine Wind. The emergence of Tamadhi Divine Wind completely made it impossible for Brother Lin's nascent soul to leave. Tamadhi Divine Wind is extremely targeted to the soul and spirit. Nascent soul is the carrier of the soul. Inside, Tamadhi Divine Wind. Even if you don't move, you will be affected by countless Tamadhi Divine Sand. S attack. Just when Monk Lin's nascent soul was almost collapsed by the Tamadhi Divine Wind. Attack. Li Yuanba reached out and hit a spirit locking talisman on the nascent soul. And the weak nascent soul could no longer move at all. Li Yuanba took out a spirit locking jade box. He performed multiple spells and used all the spirit locking methods he had on Brother Lin's nascent soul. Then he put the nascent soul into the soul locking jade box, which is the best food for heavenly ghosts. Even if it is not used as food for heavenly ghosts, the research value of such yuanying is very great. Just when Brother Lin's nascent soul was put away by Li Yuanba, the entire battlefield fell silent. On the side, Brother Chui was fighting with Palace Master Feng and Brother Rin Mu. After seeing the death of Brother Lin, he involuntarily stopped fighting. Brother Chui looked at Li Yuanba with a hint of fear in his eyes. Although he had been beaten badly before, he knew Li Yuanba's weaknesses better and could kill Li Yuanba with just one chance. But seeing Brother Lin's physical body being destroyed and nascent soul not being able to escape, Li Yuanba's cruelty frightened Brother Chui. Li Yuanba mastered the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind, which effectively eliminated the possibility of Yuanying escaping from him. Li Yuanba put away the body of the great monk Lin. When his spiritual consciousness grabbed the body, he was considering refining the body of the peak monk into a late-stage golden corpse. Using the corpses of peak monks to refine corpses is probably a unique idea in the entire world of immortality. I quit! Brother Chui said loudly before Li Yuanba looked at him. After he said these words, he immediately retreated to the side, as if he was afraid that the great monk Jian and Li Yuanba would regret it. Amit Ba! Exit! Great Venerable Mihai also said. He did not intervene in the previous battle, but chose to watch. This is normal. His reputation is now greatly damaged because of Li Yuanba. It was with some dissatisfaction in his heart that he adopted a bystander attitude in the previous battle. Palace Master Feng and Senior Monk Renmu also stopped and stood next to senior Monk Jintian. I'm quitting too! Monk Luda from Feiyu sect, who was also a bystander, said out loud, Brother Jian, fellow Daoistly, I don't want to compete for the resources of the great monks. I just want to enter the spiritual realm cave and feel the conditions of the spiritual realm cave. Palace Master Feng spoke up at this time and stated his request. I also want to see the spiritual realm. I can't defeat you. The resources of the great monk this time are yours. Great Monk Renmu followed. Yuanba, 
I have truly seen your strength. Jian A great monk. Actually saw Li Yuan Bot take action this time. Although the sword intent on the energy form flying sword of 10,000 swords peak is far inferior to that emitted by the sword cultivator himself. It still contains part of the power of the sword cultivator. When more than 2,100 fourth grade energy transformed flying swords flew out, all the hairs on Jintian's body stood up. He is particularly sensitive to sword intentions. And more than 2,100 chaos sword intentions appear at the same time. No matter how superficial this chaos sword intent is, it is still chaos sword intent. There are more than 2,100 fourth grade energy flying swords, all of which contain chaos sword intent. Who can resist such an attack? Not to mention Li Yuanba's novel fighting style, which is as far as the natal flying sword and the near future as the golden corpse and himself. The great monk Jian saw Li Yuanba's close combat ability, and a long sword made the great monk unstoppable. The first monk Jian thought about his battle with the two top monks. If Li Yuanba hadn't taken care of the top monks on the periphery first, the battle on his side would have been a hard fight. It was a fluke this time. Brother Lin was abandoned by Brother Yu, which gave me the opportunity to kill Brother Lin's body. Li Yuanba said modestly. Yuanba, let's go collect the spoils of war. Brother Jian said in a deep voice as he watched Lord Mei Hai and Brother Le retreat. The only ones left in this area at this time were him and Li Yuanba, as well as Palace Master Feng and Master Ren Mu. These two peak monks had a very close relationship with Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion, at least at the level of peak monks. So it is. Thinking of the previous interaction between the main body Li Shiming and the great monk Ren Mu, the great monk Ren Mu has an excellent character, and any monk is willing to make friends with such a person. Chapter 866 Inventory Under the leadership of the great monk Jintian, Li Yuanba entered the spiritual realm cave. This spiritual cave, which belongs to the Wuyang sect, has already evacuated its personnel. The monks who originally stayed in the spiritual cave were all spiritual planters. Such secondary monks with little combat power may be affected if they stay. Even if the great monks who enter here do not take the initiative to attack these spiritual planters, the powerful aura emitted by the great monks alone will cause great harm to the spiritual planters. There is no defensive means left in the now deserted spiritual cave. The Wuyang sect also knows that the final winner, who can defeat the other competing monks and enter the spiritual realm cannot be blocked by defensive means. The best way is to let go of everything and let the winner take the spoils without affecting other spiritual plants. The great monk Jian Tian seemed to be very familiar with the spirit realm cave heaven. He was flying in front and soon brought Li Yuanba to a place. Senior monk Ren Mu and Master Feng were some distance behind. The two peak senior monks were observing everything in the spiritual realm. This was a rare opportunity, and would also enrich relevant information about the spiritual realm. Li Yuanba saw an ice crystal mountain peak. White flowers could be faintly seen on the ice crystal mountain peak. Waves of medicinal fragrance emanated from the ice crystal mountain peak. He recognized the white flower as a great monk elixir that only grew in the land of ice and snow. Based on his preliminary judgment, there are at least 30 cultivators with mature elixirs on the ice crystal peak. Probably only a cave environment with specific rules designed specifically for planting could breed and mature so many great monk elixirs at once. This is only the source of resources of the Wuyang sect outside the sect. As an emerging superpower, with such resources produced, it is no wonder that the Wuyang sect can quickly become stronger. If he hadn't followed the rules and not wanted to start a full-scale war with Wuyang sect, Li Yuanba would have wanted to occupy this cave. In fact, if you really do this, it will definitely cause a war. Even powerful people may take action. Which is why the great monk Jintian, the great monk Ren Mu, and the Lord Feng can all stay rational despite the huge temptation of interests. The great monk Jintian waited for a while. And he picked the right great monk's elixir. He waited until the last great monk's elixir was mature and picked. And then he finished the action. There are 26 great monk resource producing areas in the spiritual realm cave. Great monk Ren Mu said aloud. Although Zhongzhou Commercial Bank often handles a large number of resources, these are businesses, and the number of resources that can be obtained from them is limited. Seeing such a large monk resource cave at once, he couldn't help but be amazed. The scale here is indeed not small. Palace Master Feng nodded. Li Yuanba shook his head. Wu Yang Sek was afraid that there would be trouble. Although due to the restrictions of the rules, the super forces cannot snatch this cave during this period. But after the matter is over, Lingjing Dong Tian will definitely be targeted by Zhongzhou Trading Company and Luanfeng Palace. 
as the junior among the superpowers. Wuyang sect occupies such great monk resources, which really makes these two superpowers jealous. Without staying in a spiritual cave for too long, after picking the great monk elixir, the great monks left the spiritual cave. Next, monks from the infinite sect will come to take over the spiritual realm cave. And what happens after that will have nothing to do with them. The great monk Jian Tian made an appointment with the great monk Ren Mu and the master of Feng Palace to get together. And Li Yuanba also got the contact information of the two peak monks. Returning to Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion, Master Jian Wu approached Li Yuanba. Master, are you looking for me? Li Yuanba greeted Jian Wu and asked, Follow me. Ancestor Jian wants to see you. Jian Wu waved his hand and said, Li Yuanba was startled. After practicing in seclusion, he had not seen Jian Lao again for decades. Suddenly Jian Lao came to him, leaving him unaware of what big thing had happened. Thinking about recent events, he thought of Brother Lin's nascent soul, which was sealed in a jade box by him. This was the most likely thing for Jian Lao to come forward. With questions in his mind, he followed Jian Wu Wei to the core area of Sword Cave. In a bamboo pavilion, a faint and transparent figure was standing there. Li Yuanba recognized at a glance that this was the clone of Jian Lao who went to the Hell Cave last time and sealed the space rift. It's just that the clone of Jian Lao I saw this time was not as solid as the first time I saw it. The reflection on the clone's body was that the transparency increased a lot. Jian Lao! Although he is Jian Lao's clone, this is still Jian Lao's will. So Li Yuanba took the initiative to bow and salute. Yuanba! I saw you right! I just rested for a while, and you were promoted to a great monk. Jian Lao's clone looked at Li Yuanba and said with a smile on his face. Thank you also, Mr. Jian. For your concern and help, Li Yuanba replied humbly. Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion can only help you so much. I know this very well. Your contribution to Sword Intention Chong Shao Pavilion is far greater than the help you get. Jian Lao pressed his hand and said, When I got into trouble outside, it was Mr. Jian who saved me from danger because of your intervention. Li Yuanba said, as he couldn't possibly agree. Ha ha. You always provoke powerful people. This old guy who returned to Yuan Zone came to find me. I heard that you took away Lin Yuan Juanying? Jian Lao asked with a smile. Sure enough, the great monk Lin from Gui Yuan sect has great power behind him. Which is normal. Being able to become a peak monk is not only extremely talented in cultivation, but also will be valued by superpowers. So that there will be sufficient resources to enable him to reach the peak monk realm. An ordinary great monk, no matter how talented he is, cannot be promoted to the peak level of a great monk without the support of sufficient resources. The peak monk realm is not the previous realms. Almost all the resources of the great monks are in the hands of the major forces. Individuals cannot obtain enough great monk resources without the support of the forces. With the scarcity and preciousness of the resources of great monks, it is difficult for ordinary great monks to obtain the resources of great monks to maintain their own realm. If they want to go further, they must obtain the support of the forces. Li Yuanba didn't know what kind of relationship the great monk Lin had with the great master of Guiyuan sect. But the great master of Guiyuan sect asked Jian Lao for this matter. So the relationship must be extremely complicated. Li Yuanba took out the jade box and handed it to Jian Lao's clone. This is fellow Daoist Lin's nascent soul. Please let Mr. Jian make the final decision. Jian Lao's clone took the jade box. He opened the jade box and took a look at brother Lin's nascent soul. As soon as he stretched out his hand, there was an extra ring in his hand, which was the soul crystal ring. There is no need to return this soul crystal ring. Just leave him his magic weapon. Jian Lao's clone said calmly. Li Yuanba couldn't help but marvel at the methods of Jian Lao's clone. If he wanted to get this soul crystal ring, unless he killed the Yuanying of Brother Lin, he could only let the soul crystal ring stay in the body of the Yuanying in the form of energy. Why the soul crystal ring has become the first choice for many powerful monks to store? In addition to the huge internal space of the soul crystal ring, the more important thing is that it cannot be easily plundered. Unless the monk dies on the spot, the soul crystal ring will exist with the nascent soul. Wherever the nascent soul is, the soul crystal ring is there. When danger comes, Yuanying takes the soul crystal ring and escapes with it, which will not affect the speed of the soul crystal. The Guiyuan sect is not trying to get Lin Yuan's nascent soul back empty-handed. This is the Guiyuan curtain. You put it away. Jian Lao's clone took out another gauze-like object and threw it to Li Yuanba and said. Then Jian Lao's clone made a move and an energy-flying sword appeared in front of him. 
he placed the jade box containing Brother Lin's nascent soul on the energetic flying sword and gently pointed at the energetic flying sword. The energy flying sword flew out and disappeared in an instant. Li Yuanba naturally recognized that this was the method of flying sword passing letters, but this type of sword cultivator's method of transmitting letters. Because there are many alternative methods nowadays, it is difficult for sword cultivators to actually use this flying sword passing letters method too much. The flying sword used by Jian Lao's clone is not an ordinary flying sword. Just when the energized flying sword flew out, Li Yuanba felt a trace of space fluctuation. Flying sword passing letter should use space rules. As for the principle and effect, Li Yuanba had no way of knowing. Guiyuan sect accepted your love this time. You held back your hand and did not kill Nason's soul. That old guy won't do anything to you. As for the other monks of Guiyuan sect, I guess you don't care what they think. They I can't threaten you anymore. Jian Lao's clone said with a smile. From the chaos sword intent. On Master Lin's nascent soul. The old sword clone could sense how strongly Yuanba's understanding of the sword intent was now. From this we can judge Li Yuanba's combat prowess. With such a powerful chaos sword intent. And the help of divine foot power. He can definitely fight against any great monk. Jian Wei didn't say much in front of Jian Lao. He just stood aside quietly. In the end, Jian Lao's clone asked Li Yuanba to leave first, while Jian Wuwei was left behind. Li Yuanba returned to his cave and took out the Guiyuan Curtain. His spiritual consciousness scanned the Guiyuan Curtain and found that it was a special magic weapon that could be used without identifying its owner. He activated the Guiyuan Curtain, and the Guiyuan Curtain floated above his head and spread out, forming a circular transparent gauze tent. After the Guiyuan Curtain, was activated, he immediately discovered the usefulness of the Guiyuan Curtain. In the Guiyuan Curtain, he felt the change of spiritual energy. The spiritual energy passing through the Guiyuan Curtain became extremely pure and could be absorbed by the body faster. The most critical thing is that the total amount of spiritual energy that Guiyuan Curtain can absorb is very large. This treasure is aimed at peak monks and can improve the cultivation effect of peak monks. Li Yuanba had been pitying Brother Lin's nascent soul before. You must know that a peak monk's nascent soul has many uses. The biggest function is to let the ghosts absorb it. Of course, it is not absorbed by the ghosts now. The spiritual energy in Tiangui's body now seriously exceeds the standard. He wants to use it as a kind of accumulation. When one day Tiangui needs to advance to a higher level, he will need a lot of spiritual energy. The great monk's nascent soul is the best source of spiritual energy which is why he caught the great monk Lin's nascent soul. But that's fine. He didn't expect that there was a powerful person behind Brother Lin who could exchange the Guiyuan Curtain for Brother Lin's nascent soul. He still made a profit. You must know that nowadays, whether it is him or Li Shiming, it is extremely difficult to practice more quickly. Li Shiming, in particular, has used a lot of cultivation treasures to push his cultivation speed to an extreme. There are too few treasures that are useful for Li Shiming to increase his cultivation speed. According to his judgment, this Guiyuan Curtain has some effect on Li Shiming. Li Yuanba took out the Soul Crystal Ring of Brother Lin. The Master Recognition Mark on the Soul Crystal Ring was cleaned by Jian Lao's clone, which reduced his troubles. He cast a method of recognizing the Master and recognized the Soul Crystal Ring as its Master. His consciousness entered the Soul Crystal Ring and he sensed the spiritual objects in the soul crystal ring. The first thing I saw was a single person airship. From the smell, I could tell that it was a fourth grade top quality airship. After seeing this top grade fourth grade flying boat, he was still very satisfied. This fourth grade top level flying boat has passed the Minglu, and it was handed over to him by Jian Lao himself. Even if the great master of Guiyuan sect had any ideas, he would not be able to trouble him because of this matter. Just as Jian Lao said, Except for the great power of Guiyuan sect. He doesn't need to care about the other monks of Guiyuan sect. With the combat prowess he has shown and the great backer of Jin Lao. At least within the Zhongzhou continent. No force will take the initiative to provoke him. Returning to the ultimate spiritual boat. This is the information he got from the 4th grade top level flying boat. After he expelled the master recognition mark from the 4th grade top level flying boat. And recognized its master again. Without the slightest hesitation. He put the. Giyuanji spirit boat into his soul crystal ring. From now on, this would be his travel boat. Of course, he will also learn from the great monk Jiantian 
and make some modifications to the Guyuanji spirit boat so that the Guyuan sect can save some face. In the soul crystal ring, Li Yuanba's spiritual consciousness scanned one by one. Several bottles of the high-grade spiritual elixir of the great monk were refined by the hands of the original body, Li Shiming. There are also great monk elixirs. Some fourth-grade materials. Fourth-grade top-quality tea sets. Spare fourth-grade top-quality robes. And so on. These spiritual objects that could drive most monks crazy in the world of immortality did not make Li Yuanba feel much excited. It wasn't until his spiritual consciousness swept across a jade box that he opened it. His spiritual consciousness was almost frozen by the cold breath emanating from the jade box. And he quickly closed the jade box. There was a look of surprise on his face. This turned out to be the Xian Bing Holy Spirit, a weapon refining material that exceeded the quality of the fourth grade and was infinitely close to the fifth grade. With the Xian Bing Holy Spirit in hand, a great monk who is good at the eye system can refine it into a magic weapon that exceeds the fourth grade quality. And the probability of causing a weapon calamity is extremely high. But that is the effect that can be exerted in the hands of other great monks. In the hands of Li Yuanba. Or in the hands of the original body Li Shiming. The Jianbing Holy Spirit can exert power beyond imagination. Chapter 867 Follow Li Yuanba became famous again. And his fame rose to a fever pitch. Previously, he became famous because of his fight with the great master Mei Hai, who was injured and retreated. Now he single-handedly defeated eight top monks, killed the physical body of Brother Lin, and took away Brother Lin's nascent soul. This battle once again improved his ranking among the great monks in the world of immortality. It is easy to defeat a peak monk, but it is difficult to kill a peak monk. Everyone knows that peak monks are cultivated by various super forces to intimidate other forces with their powerful combat power. The peak monks usually have life-saving means given by the powerful. If you want to kill the peak monks, you need to kill the peak monks instantly to have a chance. Of course, these reputations did not affect the Yuanba. He continued to practice, contacted Li Shiming to refine elixirs for Jianyi Cho Shao Pavilion, and went out on a mission every few months. He delivered the Qian Bing Holy Spirit and the body of Brother Lin to Li Shiming. Leaving him here was of little use. Fifty years have passed in the blink of an eye, and the competition among the great monks in the world of immortality has not stopped. Almost all the great monks have improved their cultivation. This was due to Li Shiming's alchemy. Li Shiming let go of the alchemy entrustment. As long as there was an alchemy remuneration that met the requirements, he would accept the alchemy entrustment. Decades have passed, and the accumulation of great monk resources in the hands of various forces in the entire world of immortality has long been exhausted, and all of them have been refined into high-level spiritual elixirs for great monks. Now that Li Shiming is at leisure, most of the alchemy commissions he receives are from the newly produced resources of great monks. It can be seen that the resources of great monks are actually not many. What he received before was mostly accumulated by various forces over many years. Deep in the Yuching cave of the Yuching sect, a breath awakened, and the source of the breath was Luo Yuan, the great power of the Yuching sect. Not long after great nun Luo Yuan arranged for the monks of the Yuching sect to retrieve the Shishao Thunder Bead, he entered a state of cultivation. This cultivation took more than a hundred years. To the mighty man, more than a hundred years just passed by in the blink of an eye. After waking up from the cultivation state, he felt the results of this cultivation in his heart and couldn't help but frown and sigh. After losing the Chishao Thunder Bead, even the effectiveness of his cultivation dropped a lot. With the Chishao Thunder Bead by his side, his control over thunder and lightning can be improved to a small level. For the realm of Almighty, Raising a small level is a huge improvement. Without the help of Jishao Thunderbead, the sense of gap made him very uncomfortable. Lu Yuanang let go of his perception. But he did not discover the existence of the Jishao Thunderbead, which made him extremely angry. It seems that Yuking Zong was not able to retrieve the Jishao Thunderbead. Otherwise, he would not be able to sense the Jishao Thunderbead. You must know that in the Jishao Thunderbead, there is still his mark of recognition. As long as the Chishao Thunder Bead is in the world of immortality, he can sense and take it back. Where is Wang Yi? Luo Yuan asked in a deep voice. As soon as Great Nun Luo Yuan asked this question, he thought of what had happened before. Before he went into seclusion, he received the news of the death of Great Monk Wang Yi and the Great Master Yang Xing. It was because of the disappointment in his heart that he went into seclusion. At that time, he had the idea of going to the Dongchi continent in person but the price he had to pay made him hesitate. 
a powerful move, especially if it is too far away from the sect, is likely to trigger reactions from other powerful people, not to mention the amount of energy required to take action. He sent out several messages and soon had an understanding of the current situation of Yuching Zong. The Yuching sect has been recuperating for decades, but there is still no new peak monk. This makes the Yuching sect unable to participate in the high-end competition for the resources of the great monks in the world of immortality. The so-called high-end competition is the competition for monk resources that only top monks are qualified to participate in. Without the suppression of the top monks, even if the Yuching sect sends top monks to participate, it will be useless. It is more likely that other superpowers will take the opportunity to kill the top monks of the Yuching sect, making the already weak Yuching sect even worse. Although it is said that as long as the Yuching sect has the power of Liu Yuan, it is impossible to fall from the superpower. But the Yuching sect, which lacks top combat power, will weaken step by step. If we wait until the great power Liu Yuan falls, then the Yuching sect will have no new great power due to the fault of the top monks. The Yuching sect will not only fall from the superpower, but also fall into the disaster of annihilation. Originally, Almighty Luo Yuan did not intend to take action against Li Shiming himself. But after practicing in seclusion this time, he found that the impact of the absence of the Chishao Thunder Bead was greater than he had previously imagined. Thunder Beast! He was checking the information from the Yuching Sect's intelligence department to see what happened during his period of seclusion. He suddenly saw a piece of information and couldn't help shouting in surprise. It turned out that a monk saw Li Shiming's phantom clone flying above the sea on a Thunder Beast. Li Shiming often rode a thunder beast to sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion, so it was impossible for him to remain completely undetected. Great Master Liu Yuan did not know that Li Shiming had obtained the thunder beast from Yang Xing, a half step almighty. Yang Xing did not leak the matter of the thunder beast, but kept the secret. In the world of immortality, the more powerful the monk is, the more secrets he has that cannot be told to others. The importance of thunder beasts to Lei Xiao, especially the importance of thunder power is not something that outsiders can know. Even the half-step great master Yang Xing himself knew very little. But the great master Liu Yuan knew very well that the thunder beast could open up a sea of thunder and lightning in the cave sky. The sea of thunder and lightning and the thunder beast complement each other. The sea of thunder and lightning can make the thunder beast stronger and stronger. The long-term presence of the thunder beast in the sea of thunder and lightning will allow the sea of thunder and lightning to breed powerful thunder rules. This kind of powerful thunder and lightning rule is exactly what Liu Yuan needs and pursues to improve himself. Great Nung Liu Yuan's understanding of thunder and lightning rules has reached a bottleneck. If there are powerful thunder and lightning rules, it may be possible to go further. After knowing that Li Shiming had a thunder beast spiritual pet, Liu Yuaneng had one more reason to personally deal with Li Shiming. Whether it is the Chishao Thunder Bead or the Thunder Beast spiritual pet, they are what the powerful Liu Yuan needs most urgently. Great Nung Luo Yuan issued orders one after another, and the Yuching sect, which had been dormant for a long time, became active again, and a large number of intelligence personnel were dispatched. Now that he has an idea, he needs accurate intelligence support. Otherwise, if he had gone all the way to the eastern Qi continent but failed to find Li Shiming, it would not have been a waste of effort. Luo Yuanning took a long breath, and a soul fragment separated from his body. After the soul fragment left the body, it independently absorbed the surrounding spiritual power. And soon a clone was formed. Just like other powerful beings. He also has his own avatar. It's just that the clone will not be released normally. But will maintain the integrity of the soul. Allowing itself to have a complete soul to strengthen its own ability to perceive. Separating the soul fragments will not have a big impact on the ability to understand. But the ability to understand. Especially the understanding of rules. May be just the slightest difference or a world of difference. Liu Yuanning looked at his clone, and in order to be more sure, he grabbed his body again, and a stream of energy that seemed to be substantial was drawn out by him. This substantial energy was sent into the clone's body by him, and the clone changed from transparent to solid, almost no different from the real person. He grabbed the void in the cave sky again, and this time a bolt of lightning appeared in his hand. He stuffed the lightning into the clone body with some distress. This was the origin of the lightning rules in Yuching Cave. With the clone possessing the origin of the lightning rules in the cave, it would be equivalent to possessing part of the power of the Almighty. It can be said that the great leader Luo Yuan regarded Li Shiming as his strongest opponent. He did not underestimate Li Shiming at all, and used all the means at his disposal. The origin of the lightning rules alone caused Yuching Dong Tian 
to lose 200 years of accumulation of the origins of the lightning rules. It took 200 years of accumulation in Yuching Cave to create the powerful power of a clone. It's not that he doesn't want his main body to go there. The cost of a clone's dispatch is huge. But once the main body leaves the cave for too long, it will trigger the locking of the rules of heaven and earth in the world of immortality and bring about a thunderstorm. In the eastern Qi continent, Li Shiming entered another round of retreat practice. During this time, Yin Shirlan traveled to Zhongzhou continent and went to Luanfeng Palace to obtain more inherited knowledge. Li Shiming's phantom clone accompanied him and also took away four late-stage golden corpses. Although Li Shiming was practicing in seclusion and the alchemy commissions had been reduced a lot, the computer room space was not free. He obtained a lot of resources through alchemy, including 4th grade top grade weapon refining materials. The 4th grade top level refining materials are the top refining materials in the world of immortality. However, compared with the high level spiritual elixir refined by Li Shiming, the value of the 4th grade top level refining materials is relatively weak, and it is reduced to the elixir refining reward. Regardless of the fact that 4th grade top level weapon refining materials are relatively rare in the world of immortality. In fact, most of the weapon refining materials at this level are in the hands of superpowers. In the treasure troves of each superpower, a large number of 4th grade top level weapon refining materials have been accumulated. Over the years, he has been refining weapons whenever he had free time, and he never had time to waste the space in the computer room. The Ruijin Yu Peak that Li Shiming recognized as its master has been upgraded to the level of a spiritual treasure by him. Compared with the Ling Bao, 10,000 Swords Peak, Rui Jin Yu Peak, is completely the normal attack method of the mountain magic weapon, turning into a big mountain to suppress the enemy. Rui Jin Yu Peak was originally the natal magic weapon of Yin Gao, the peak monk of Baidi sect, and it has been cultivated to a very high level in all aspects. Because of the existence of the Heavenly Ghost, this natal magic weapon was recognized by him again without any impact and became an ordinary magic weapon in his hand. After receiving the top grade 4th grade soil weapon refining materials from the alchemy reward, he began to improve the quality of Rui Jin Yu Peak. He had been using this Rui Jin Yefeng upgrade intermittently for three years. The main reason why it took so long was that the computer room space was occupied by alchemy from time to time. But the number of runes engraved on Rui Jin Yu Peak exceeds that of any previous spiritual treasure, which is also an important reason. Rui Jin Yu Peak was sacrificed by the great monk Yin Gao, which is really great. The Baidi sect has a secret method that can absorb the origin of other mountain magic weapons to enhance its own mountain magic weapons. Under the influence of this secret method, Brother Yin Gao's Rui Jin Yu Peak has almost reached the ultimate level of the fourth grade top mountain magic weapon. Li Shiming's improvement of Rui Jin Yu Peak was just to use a 4th grade earth element top grade weapon, refining material to re-engrave the runes on. Rui Jin Yu Peak, in the computer room space, with the control power of 0.5 nanometer precision, he engraved a total of 2 billion gravity runes and 1 billion solid runes on. Rui Jin Yu Peak, this has almost reached the ultimate endurance of. Rui Jin Yu Peak, it is also because the quality of. Rui Jin Yu Peak, itself is too high that it has reached such a number of runes that exceeds history. When Rui Jin Yu Peak is promoted to Ling Now, the thunder calamity power of Rui Jin Yu Peak alone, if Li Shiming had not possessed the Chi Shao Thunder Bead, could give Rui Jin Yu Peak a thunder resistance that exceeds that of a peak thunder cultivator. The secret method, perhaps, Rui Jin Yu Peak was destroyed in the terrifying thunder disaster. Li Shiming couldn't help but feel frightened every time he thought about the thunder disaster encountered by Rui Jin Yu Peak. He had a vague feeling that perhaps the number of 2 billion runes inscribed was a limit. If the number of each type of rune inscribed exceeded 2 billion, the repulsive force it would receive from the rules of heaven and earth would increase sharply, and the thunder it would receive would increase dramatically. The power of the calamity will also be enhanced tenfold and a hundredfold. The Lingba level. Rui Jin Yu Peak has no special abilities. The 2 billion gravity runes and 1 billion solidity runes on the surface disappeared after surviving the catastrophe and were replaced by a gravity rune, seal of rules, and a sign of solid rules. The attack method of Rui Jin Yu Peak is also very direct. After being activated, Rui Jin Yu Peak turns into a huge Jin Yu Peak with a weight 10,000 times its own and carrying a gravity field that is enhanced 100 times by the gravity rule mark. Depressing all enemies within the attack range, he couldn't give an accurate judgment on the specific power. 
Anyway, he felt that if he was suppressed by Ruizhen Yue Peak, it would be difficult to escape from it. The more single the effect, the more powerful it is. Two billion gravity runes are exchanged for unimaginable weight and gravity field. The weight and gravity field can be regarded as one. It is the action of the gravity field that increases the weight of Ruizhen Yue Peak by 10,000 times. In the realm of great monks, no great monk can bear the weight of Ruizhen Yue Peak. Jin Yefeng's suppression. Of course, there is also a problem with Ruizhen Yefeng. That is, this extremely heavy spiritual treasure cannot limit its quality when used. In other words, as long as Ruizhen Yue Peak is used, the spiritual treasure quality of Ruizhen Yue Peak will be exposed. The reason why this happened is very simple. When Li Shiming was inscribing the runes, he inscribed too many gravity runes. Two billion gravity runes prevent Li Shiming from fully controlling Ruizhen Yue Peak. The consequence of not being able to fully control Ruizhen Yue Peak is that he cannot freely control and adjust the quality of the Ling Bao like other spiritual treasures. Chapter 868 Powerful On a calm morning, Li Shiming sat cross-legged in the Tian Balian Hall of Tianren Cave. He had been in retreat for more than three years. Suddenly he felt a burst of heart palpitations. In his state, this palpitating feeling indicated that something big related to him was about to happen. He stopped practicing the art of heaven and man, and first threw the contact with the phantom clone. He sensed whether an accident had occurred in Wanfeng Palace in the Zhongzhou continent. There is nothing abnormal in Wanfeng Palace. The phantom clone is in Fingqi Palace and Yin Shirlan is not around. However, both the phantom clone and Yin Shirlan are under the protection of Wanfeng Palace's formation. As long as Wanfeng Palace didn't want to deal with the Phantom Clone and Yin Shirlan, no monk in the world of immortality would dare to rush into Wanfeng Palace. Not even a powerful person can do it. Wanfeng Palace is guarded by powerful people. If a powerful person enters the cave of another powerful person, it will put him in an extremely passive situation. Since it was not the Phantom Clone and Yin Shirlan who had an accident, Li Shiming thought of his own side. At this time, he had stopped practicing the Art of Heaven and Man, and he left the cave in a flash and came to the 10,000 Bees sect. At this time, the magic weapon Z15 automatically connected to the drone satellite system. As soon as it connected to the drone satellite system, it received an urgent alarm from the drone satellite system. Then Z15 transmitted a surveillance screen to him. It was a fuzzy area with a range of about 100 meters. This fuzzy area was quickly heading towards the 10,000 Bees sect at a speed that was almost comparable to his ability to use. Arrival in one move. Come. When Li Shiming saw the fuzzy area within a hundred meters, even the fuzzy shadow area he had seen when Wang He and Yen Gao, two peak monks, were monitored by drones and satellites, was less than one-fifth of this fuzzy area. When he saw this fuzzy area, his sense of danger was almost heightened to the extreme, giving him a direct feeling of impending disaster. Is it a powerful one? He only thought of one possibility. It's just that he hasn't figured out one thing. It's been so long. How come the powerful one still comes to his door? When he showed great strength in the eastern Qi continent and killed the two peak monks Wang He and Yin Gao, as well as the half-step powerful Yang Xing, he thought that someone might come to him. After many years, he thought that perhaps the mighty power could not cross the ocean. And he relaxed. But today the great power has really come. And there is no need to fight. Just looking at the terrifying effect on the space. You can judge the terrifying strength of this great power. Master, I have something to do, and I have to leave the sect. He sent a message to his master. Brother Hu, there is not too much explanation. And too much explanation is not a good thing for Monk Hu and the 10,000 Bees sect. After sending the message, he activated the Shen Eyes. And then, he was 8,000 miles away from the gate of 10,000 Bees sect. He didn't know if he could avoid being found by that powerful person by hiding in the Tianren cave. But he couldn't take risks if he really wanted to hide in the heavenly man's cave and be found by the powerful. He wouldn't even have a chance to escape. Now that he has the magical power of reaching in one fell swoop, he at least has a chance to escape. I want to escape! Liu Yuan's clone was performing thunder escape. After sensing the fluctuating atmosphere in the space, he looked towards the direction Li Shiming left and said lightly, although he is only a clone, he can sense strong energy changes in extremely distant areas through the weak lightning energy floating in the space. If Li Shiming used ordinary flying, he might not be able to be detected by Luo Yuan's powerful clone. But what Li Shiming used was the magical power of 
coming in one fell swoop. This magical power of long-distance space movement that consumes a lot of spiritual power, causing the spatial fluctuations are still very strong. For ordinary monks, they can perceive very little of the spatial fluctuations of Shinzutong due to their insufficient perception. But for the powerful clone of Luo Yuan, Li Shimming's arrival in one move was like lighting a torch in the darkness. All he had to do was shout, I'm here! Luo Yuaning suddenly turned and pursued Li Shimming. This movement was discovered by Li Shimming through the drone satellite system. Li Shimming increased Denong's ability to an infinite level. He thought that Denong Luo Yuan had tracked him through some magical means. So he couldn't help but use the highest arrival in one move. Continuously, he didn't know that it was his recklessness that exposed him to the powerful Luo Yuan. To be honest, reaching in one fell swoop is definitely the fastest way to move in the world of immortality. Especially for Li Shimming who also possesses the Divine Eye Power, compared with other monks who have mastered the Divine Foot Power. The distance they move each time is farther, much, moving 8,000 miles at a time. This distance would make most monks feel desperate. But the speed at which Liu Yuan's powerful clone can perform Thunder Escape is unimaginable. The clone itself has no entity, but a ball of energy, and it is a powerful level of lightning escape, so that its speed is not slowed down by Li Shimming's one shot. Especially when Liu Yuan's powerful clone uses Thunder Escape with all its strength. The powerful level of Thunder Escape has a certain effect on space, making the clone appear and disappear in the void. The two figures chased and escaped in the void, and soon left the land of Dongchi Continent and entered the ocean. Li Shiming looked at the sea and wanted to use Water Escape. This place is really suitable for Water Escape. However, he just thought about it and did not do so. He didn't know how strong Denung was, and whether he could find himself in water escape from the ocean. This feeling made him extremely uncomfortable. When he used to deal with any enemy, his Z-15 analysis and calculation allowed him to always have a certain advantage. But this time it is completely different. Z-15 does not have relevant data on its strength, which makes it impossible for Z-15 to make accurate analysis and judgment. Any wrong choice while escaping may lead to a fatal outcome. Li Shiming found that after leaving the eastern Qi continent, he could no longer determine the location of the powerful forces in the rear. There was no coverage of the drone satellite system over the ocean, so he could only judge how close the pursuing powerful force was to him through faint perception. This forced him to use all his strength to perform. Come in one fell swoop! The five nascent souls provided him with massive spiritual power. However, in order to maintain his speed advantage, he had to perform. Come in one fell swoop! Without any gaps. This made his spiritual energy, it consumes a lot of energy. When he was using the interval of Arrive in one move, he put into his mouth a high-level spiritual elixir of a great monk that restored his spiritual power. But doing so is just a drop in the bucket. And the consumption of All at once is far beyond what the high-level spiritual elixir of the great monk that restores spiritual power can make up for. Based on his current situation, Z15 gave a calculation result that he should be exhausted in 26 hours. He was already sure who the powerful man behind him was. From the faintly perceived thunder and lightning aura, that great power should be the great power of the Yuching sect. He smiled bitterly, and finally came into contact with a monk at the level of Denung. This is the existence at the top of the pyramid of the world of immortality. Just look at the existence of a powerful person, who can make the powerful force become a superpower, and enjoy the power to allocate the maximum amount of resources in the world of immortality. Although each superpower occupies different places, the benefits that any superpower can generate in the area occupied are staggering. No, this shouldn't be the powerful body. After waking up from the initial panic, Li Shiming made more judgments based on the current information. The reason why he said this was that he had met Jin Lao and even his clone. Comparing the two, he had some criteria for judging the powerful aura. Judging from the aura of the powerful man chasing him from behind, it was similar to the aura of Jian Lao's clone and was far from Jian Lao's original body. In addition, after conducting extensive research, he learned that it was difficult for a powerful person to stay away from the sect. Li Shiming didn't want to escape for 26 hours. In the end, he couldn't even fight back, and was caught by the power of Yuching sect. A fierce look flashed in his eyes, and he summoned 40 brains, each one preparing the Thunder Cloud Technique. The Sky Strike Thunder Hammer appeared in his hand since he was a little far away from Liu Yuan's powerful clone. He hesitated and used the Ling Bao level. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. He also contacted the Chishao Thunder Bead. 
in the computer room space to add the blessing effect of Thunder Cloud Technique. His figure slowed down for a moment. And Rui Jinyu at peak appeared above his head. He adjusted his breath and let the heavenly art operate at full strength so that he could quickly return to his best condition. Master Luo Yuan was very surprised at Li Shiming's speed. Shen Tong was able to display such speed, which made him feel like he was riding a tiger. Although he is very fast, he also has the problem of lack of energy. The clone cannot restore energy on its own. Every time he consumes some energy, the clone will become weaker. Although the consumption of using Thunder Escape is relatively small, the accumulated energy consumption of using Thunder Escape at full strength for a long time cannot be underestimated. He could only hope that Li Shiming would run out of energy first. Otherwise it would become a joke if he personally dispatched the clone this time. He didn't believe that the dispatch of clones would not be known to other powerful people in Zhongzhou continent. If all the clones are dispatched and Li Shiming is not dealt with, there is a high probability that he will be laughed at by all the powerful people for many years. Just as Luo Yuan was thinking in his mind, he felt Li Shiming's breath stagnating in place. He didn't know what Li Shiming was thinking, but he knew that this was an opportunity. Li Shiming was definitely looking for death. It didn't take long for Luo Yuan to see Li Shiming standing in the void and on the sea. The young aura made Master Luo Yuan feel a little dazed. He hadn't seen such a talented monk in many years. Maybe if Li Shiming survives, he can really become a powerful being that surpasses the older generation like them. But it's a pity. Li Shiming was also sizing up great nun Luo Yuan. When he saw great nun Luo Yuan emerging from the thunder escape, he could confirm through his Shin vision that this was an energy clone. The Shin Ai can see the flow of energy, and he himself has a phantom clone. When practicing phantom clone, he studied a lot of secret techniques of clones and has achieved considerable research results on energy clones. Because of Z15's help, his theoretical foundation is extremely deep in any secret method he has studied. Li Shiming mobilized his natal magic weapon Z15 at this time, and Z15 participated in the battle analysis. When Liu Yuan's clone reached a certain distance, he launched the attack first. Liu Yuan's powerful clone was a bit surprising. As a powerful clone, even if it was just a clone, its attack range was much farther than that of the great monk. After he entered the attack range, he launched Realm Suppression on Li Shiming. To suppress a monk in the middle stage of a great monk with his level of power can be said to be bullying. But what he didn't expect was that his realm suppression actually failed. He probably would not have thought that his realm suppression seemed to be affecting one person. But Li Shiming had 191 brains. And the realm suppression was divided into 191 parts. And each brain was divided into 191 parts. Share. This allowed Li Shiming not to be suppressed by the realm of Liu Yuan's powerful clone but instead launched a counterattack. Of course, this is not the real power of Denung Lil Yuan. The most terrifying ability of Denung is to mobilize the cave to fight, which is not reflected in the clone. He also blessed the clone with a source of thunder and lightning rules. But if he could catch Li Shiming using ordinary means, he would not use this source of thunder and lightning rules easily. The use of the origin of the thunder and lightning rules will consume Dong Tian's 200 years of accumulation. The 200 years of accumulation of Yuching Dong Tian will make the already weak Yuching sect even weaker. The missing part of the original source of thunder and lightning rules will reduce the output of Yuching Dong Tian for 200 years until Yuching Dong Tian recovers its original origin. Jun! The Rui Jin Yu at peak. Above Li Shiming's head flew out and landed on the head of Luo Yuan's clone. Luo Yuan's clone sensed the attack from Rui Jin Yu at peak. But he didn't pay attention at first. Such an attack didn't have much practical significance to him. But when he sensed the aura of the spiritual treasure coming from Rui Jin Yu at peak, he was stunned. This turned out to be a spiritual treasure. Then, Rui Jin Yu at peak sent out an indescribable gravity field, causing Luo Yuan's powerful clone to feel sluggish. At the same time, a large number of dark clouds quickly gathered above the head of Luo Yuan's powerful clone. Here is the ocean again, and Li Shiming deliberately suppressed the excited state when he used the Thunder Cloud technique. After the Thunder Cloud Technique was released. The Thunder Cloud Technique had a very short time to condense. 40 Thunder Cloud Techniques were released at the same time. And each Thunder Cloud Technique exceeded the power of a peak thunder cultivator. This is also the most powerful thunder method that Li Shiming can display. The lightning flashes in the dark clouds. And the lightning energy contained in it makes the water waves on the sea tremble continuously. Boom! 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 
just as the powerful clone of Luo Yuan broke free from the gravity field of Ruijin Yu at peak. The thunder cloud technique in the sky began to attack. Lightning bolts fell in the sky, all aimed at Luo Yuan's powerful clone. Each round of attacks caused 40 bolts of lightning to fall together. The power made Li Shiming's hair stand on end uncontrollably. Stand up. Chapter 869 Teleportation You actually used thunder to attack me. Ha ha ha. Amidst the crazy laughter, Liu Yuan's powerful clone stood in the lightning, seemingly unaffected by the lightning. In fact, he was still very frightened. That is, he, if other powerful clones encountered such an attack, they might really suffer a big loss. But he is different. He is a powerful thunder cultivator. In terms of control over thunder and lightning, Li Shiming can only be regarded as a primary school student. While he is a professor, of course, Li Shiming is not as good as Luo Yuan in terms of control over thunder spells. But in terms of the number of thunder spells, it is beyond the reach of the clone of Great Nung Luo Yuan. At least Luo Yuan's clone does not have the ability of Li Shiming. Releases 40. Thunder Cloud Technique. Abilities at the same time. Luo Yuan Nang laughed wildly. Firstly, he was laughing at Li Shiming's useless efforts. Secondly, he was happy to think that such a genius enemy would be caught by him and tortured to find out all the secrets. Li Shiming was shocked. At this time, he also thought of his mistake and used the thunder method to attack the powerful Lei Xiu. He found that he seemed to be lacking in combat methods. Although the heavenly art could develop a lot of attack methods, he was too obsessed with the power of Lei Xiu and spent most of his energy on thunder methods. Another method of his sword cultivation ability. After his clone Li Yuanba, a pure swordsman, was promoted to a great monk. He discovered his shortcomings in swordsmanship. He was not a pure swordsman. So he did not think that his swordsmanship attacks the power can threaten Luo Yuan's clone. So he did not choose the sword cultivator's attack method. A secret method flows through the brain, which is the corresponding method given by Z15 based on the current situation. Li Shiming discovered that this was the secret eyes technique he obtained from his clone Li Yuanba after he killed the great monk Gu Yuan Zongling. Looking at the environment, this is the best place to use the eyes secret method. Lu Yuan Danang allowed lightning to hit him. He enjoyed Li Shiming's fear. Li Shiming took away the Chishao Thunder Bead and affected his cultivation and even his state of mind. This is unforgivable. Before catching Li Shiming, he planned to torture Li Shiming. At this time, Li Shiming once again called on 40 brains. And 40 Ice World secrets were activated at the same time. The chaotic spiritual power in his five nascent souls was instantly transformed into Ice spiritual power and input into the secret runes of I sealed heaven and earth. Liu Yuanning felt the coldness. And then white ice mist appeared from the void. In just a moment, the ice mist turned into ice crystals. One. Frozen heaven and earth can create an ice crystal seal about the size of a small mountain. The freezing effect of 40. Frozen heaven and earth allowed the clone of Liu Yuan to be sealed in the center of a huge iceberg. Through the iceberg, you can also see the laughing appearance of the clone in the frozen world. This appearance was preserved after being frozen in an instant. Li Shiming couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief when he saw that Ice World had successfully sealed Liu Yuan's clone. He also knew that these 40 frozen earths could not seal the clone of Liu Yuan for a long time. So he planned to take this opportunity to escape. Just when he was about to activate the one snap, countless tiny lightnings appeared between the sky and the earth. He felt that his one snap had not been used yet and it dissipated into nothingness. He looked at the clone of Liu Yuan and saw that the clone of Liu Yuan was emitting a blazing white light. He sensed the terrifying power of thunder and lightning coming from the powerful clone of Liu Yuan. The power of this thunder and lightning exceeded all his imagination and seemed to be stronger than the most powerful catastrophe he had ever seen. Of course, among the heavenly tribulations he had ever witnessed, the strongest was the nascent soul stage thunder tribulation. Danung Liu Yuan was very angry. He actually suffered a loss at the hands of a junior. He was frozen. At the time when he was most proud, he was still thinking about how to deal with Li Shiming. He didn't expect that Li Shiming, who was obviously specialized in lightning cultivation, could display ice skills no less than those of a great ice cultivator. In fact, Li Shiming's ice magic power can only be considered average. In the opinion of Liu Yuan, it is average and is above the average level of a great monk. Li Shiming didn't practice any ice techniques. And even the secret technique of Ice the World was used for the first time. He used Z15's research on Frozen World to use 
frozen world. If it were a frozen heaven and earth, it would not be able to seal Luo Yuan's powerful clone. But Li Shiming made up for quality with quantity. 40. Frozen heaven and earth were used at the same time, so that even the powerful clone of Luo Yuan could not get rid of the result of being sealed. Luo Yuanong's clone found out that Li Shiming was leaving, and he used his last resort. He stimulated the origin of thunder and lightning rules in the clone, which was equivalent to releasing part of the power of Yuching Cave Heaven. Li Shiming's mastery of space does not have the power of Super Jade Clear Cave Heaven, which prevents Li Shiming from using the magic foot power to reach in one fell swoop. Even Li Shiming's physical body was invaded by the origin of the thunder and lightning rules. He felt the feeling of other monks being hit by lightning. His whole body was paralyzed, and he could no longer control himself. The Ling Bao. Rui Jin Yu a peak blew back and hovered above his head. It continued to release its power according to his will, trying to fight against the origin of the thunder and lightning rules. But everything was in vain. The weapon spirit of Rui Jin Yefeng instinctively tries its best to help the controlled master. This spiritual treasure is mainly for attack, but it is also a defensive spiritual treasure. It's a pity that it is facing a powerful clone, and the powerful clone is attacking with the power of the cave, which is far beyond what Rui Jin Yefeng without the control of the master can resist. The iceberg that sealed Luo Yuan's powerful clone cracked after the source of the thunder and lightning rule was released. The clone of Luo Yuaning flew out and flew towards Li Shiming with a ferocious smile. He was really angry. Li Shiming made him lose the origin of the thunder and lightning rules. Although he was prepared to use it when necessary, it was a preparation for the worst case scenario. After it was actually consumed, he was certainly not happy. Although Li Shiming's body was paralyzed, his consciousness was not affected much. Seeing the clone of Great Nung Luo Yuan approaching. If he were caught by the clone of Great Nung Luo Yuan, the consequences would be unimaginable. Li Shiming thought of a treasure. And at the same time, the natal magic weapon Z15 also reminded him of this treasure. That was the teleportation ring he got from the half-step powerful Yang Xing. He had been studying the coordinates in the teleportation ring before. But no matter how he analyzed and compared, he could not find the spatial coordinates in the teleportation ring. But after a period of research, he could determine that this teleportation ring was of extremely high quality and was an extremely special rare treasure. The space teleportation involved is more advanced than the spaces he has studied. Now that it was the most dangerous time, he no longer considered whether the place teleported by the teleportation ring was dangerous. The half-step powerful Yang Xing put the teleportation ring on his body indicating that the half-step powerful Yang Xing should have used this teleportation ring and came back alive. He didn't believe that the half-step powerful Yang Xing would hold back his curiosity and not use the teleportation ring. Even Li Shiming plans to wait until his level improves a bit before trying to teleport. The half-step powerful Yang Xing must have had his own adventures when he was promoted to half-step powerful. According to Li Shiming's analysis, the teleportation coordinates in this teleportation ring may be the adventures of the half-step powerful Yang Xing. Li Shiming has no choice now. He can only try to use the teleportation ring. His consciousness tapped on the teleportation ring on his finger, and the spatial coordinates on the teleportation ring were activated. A burst of space energy was activated from the teleportation ring, wrapping his body. Then the space contracted, causing his body to disappear. When Liu Yuaning felt the fluctuation of space energy, he immediately increased the control power of the origin of the thunder and lightning rule, trying to prevent the stimulation of space energy. Obviously, what he did was in vain. He came to the place where Li Shiming disappeared, stretched out his transparent palm, and felt the place where Li Shiming disappeared. The ancient space shift. You have so many secrets. He murmured to himself after a long time. He didn't know that this ancient space shift was not Li Shiming's secret, but the secret kept by Yang Xing the half-step master of the Yuching sect. Even the thunder beast he longed for was also the secret of the half-step powerful Yang Xing. The Nung Luo Yuan stood in the void, and after a column of incense had passed, he slowly came back to his senses. He had a feeling that Li Shiming would definitely become a big trouble for him. But when he looked at the place where Li Shiming disappeared, a feeling of powerlessness emerged. With this kind of ancient space shift, even if his powerful body is here, Li Shiming's position cannot be traced. We can only wait for Li Shiming to return by himself and be discovered by Yu Qingzong again. Great Master Luo Yuan had no idea of doing anything to the 10,000 Beast Sect. If he really wanted to touch the 10,000 Beast Sect, he could just let the monks of the Yu Qing Sect handle it. Before finding Li Shiming, it was impossible for him to clean up the 10,000 Beast Sect 
and even Li Shiming's Taoist companions would not move. If the 10,000 bees sect and Li Shiming's Taoist companions are really destroyed, Li Shiming will no longer have any concerns, and the possibility of finding Li Shiming will be much smaller. As for the threats from the Taoist monks who caught Li Shiming, if he, as a powerful person, really did such a thing, his reputation would be ruined. Liu Yuanan glanced at his transparent body. The energy consumption in this body was too high, and he could not stay any longer and had to return. He couldn't let the clone be destroyed. There were fragments of his soul in this clone. In the room of Fingqi Palace in Zhongzhou Continent, Li Shiming's phantom clone looked dull and no longer as agile as before. Yin Shiruan was talking to the phantom clone, telling Li Shiming what she had encountered in the past few days, which was what she liked to share the most. Although the phantom clone is just a clone, part of the soul is Li Shiming's soul. What Yin Shirlan says will also be known by the main body. And what the phantom clone says is also controlled by the main body. Except that Li Shiming's physical body is not here. Everything is as if Li Shiming is here. But for the first time today, there was something wrong with the phantom clone's expression. Juan, what happened? Yin Shirlan immediately asked the phantom clone after discovering something was wrong. Phantom is her name for the phantom clone. The phantom clone maintains a certain degree of transparency when getting along with her, coupled with the different names. She can tell the difference between the phantom clone and the original body. After she asked, she found that the phantom clone was still in a sluggish state and did not answer her questions. Her heart sank. After studying in Luanfeng Palace for so long, she was considered a core monk of a super force and had a relatively in-depth understanding of energy clones. There is only one possibility for the phantom clone to occur. And that is that there is something wrong with Li Shiming's body, which affects the phantom clone. She did not move the phantom clone, but looked at the phantom clone with worried eyes, waiting for the phantom clone to recover. She was afraid of seeing the scene where the phantom clone would be disillusioned. If the phantom clone was disillusioned, it would be the death of the original body. Fortunately, this terrible scene did not happen. The phantom clone was sluggish for a while, and its eyes regained their dexterity. What happened to Shiming? Yin Shiruan asked again. Since the phantom clone has not disappeared, it means that Li Shiming has not died. But when the phantom clone appears like this, something big must have happened. Otherwise it would be impossible. Lord, I met an enemy and triggered a super long distance teleportation. Everything is fine now, but I can't return for a short time. You will stay in Luanfeng Palace from now on. And don't return to the 10,000 Bs sect. Phantom clone said. He didn't lie about Yin Shirlan. Yin Shirlan was his Taoist companion and a part of his life. I stay in Luanfeng Palace. What should I do with the 10,000 Bs sect? Yin Shirlan did not think about herself, but considered the 10,000 Bs sect. She knew Li Shiming's feelings for the 10,000 Bs sect. From the fact that Li Shiming chose to stay in the 10,000 Bs sect instead of the Northern Shu sect, we can know that Li Shiming's feelings for the 10,000 Bs sect exceed those of the Northern Shu sect. The Northern Shu sect left Li Shiming with betrayal and hostility. Due to various reasons, Li Shiming repaid evil with kindness, providing the Northern Shu sect with a large amount of resources and opening up business routes to obtain resources. But this also consumed Li Shiming's last feelings for Beishu sect. And he did not want to stay in Beishu sect. As Li Shiming's Taoist companion, Yin Shirlan knew this. The 10,000 B sect was Li Shiming's last home. I will send two late-stage golden corpses back to the 10,000 Bs sect. With two late-stage golden corpses here, there will be no problems in the 10,000 Bs sect. Phantom clone answered with certainty. In the later stage, the golden corpse has a certain degree of wisdom and can handle many affairs on its own. In addition, although Li Shiming was teleported to an extremely distant place, he could still communicate with his spiritual pets and contract objects through souls. And when necessary, he could control the later golden corpse through his brain. Two late-stage golden corpses were sent back to the 10,000 Bs sect, which to a certain extent also allowed Li Shiming to know what happened in the 10,000 Bs sect. As for Yin Shirlan, who was in Wafen Palace, it didn't matter if she had two more late-stage golden corpses or two less late-stage golden corpses. Anyway, being in Wanfeng Palace was far safer than staying in the 10,000 Bs sect. At least until Li Shiming returns. Yin Shirlan needs to stay in Wanfeng Palace. Chapter 870 Temple After activating the teleportation ring, Li Shiming felt white appear in front of his eyes. It was pure white with no other colors. 
he felt a strong pull on his body. If his body wasn't strong enough, and the teleportation ring had an energy protecting his body, it would have collapsed if it was placed on a weaker monk. I don't know how long it took. It could be a second, a day, or even a year. Time has no concept in this pure white world. Until he was squeezed out of the pure white world, his body became unstable, and he suddenly fell to a solid ground. This was probably the most embarrassing time for him, since he was promoted to great monk. He instinctively looked around, fearing that his embarrassment would be noticed by others. Obviously, his worries were unnecessary. There was no one around. He was at the foot of a towering mountain. In front of him were steps made of white jade, which extended toward the top of the mountain. A palace stood on the top of the mountain, and a terrifying pressure emanated from the palace. Even as a great monk, he felt the shock in his mind. He did not climb the mountain immediately, but observe the environment here. The first is the spiritual energy. The richness and purity of the spiritual energy here surprised him greatly. The spiritual energy here was almost no less than the cultivation environment he established for himself in the Balian Hall of Tianran Cave. As for the cultivation environment he established for himself, he put all the spiritual veins he had acquired over a long period of time into the Heavenly Man Cave. In addition, the Celestial Tao, Hall of the Heavenly Man Cave was originally the place where the master of the cave heaven practiced. So the original spiritual energy was it is extremely sufficient to have such a cultivation environment. Tianren Dongtian is a powerful cave. He believes that even if he is a super powerful person, his cultivation environment will not be much better than his cultivation environment. But the mountain peak in front of him, he was only at the foot of the mountain, and its spiritual energy was enough to astonish him. Where is this? With this question, he looked into the distance. But what disappointed him was that even if he used his spiritual eyes, he could not see anything in the distance. Even the mountain peak he was on was suspended in the void. It was as if there was only this mountain peak in the world and nothing else existed. When observing the outside of the mountain peak, he had a sense of danger. If he left the range of the mountain peak, there might be extreme danger. He trusted his feelings, so he didn't try. In this unknown place, survival is the most important thing. Li Shiming looked at the white jade steps. The white jade steps did not give him a sense of danger. He wasn't flying. And even when he was off the ground, he felt unsafe. He lifted his feet and walked up the white jade steps. Nothing happened, just like ordinary steps, with nowhere else to go. He had no choice but to look up at the palace. Of course, the powerful Yang Xing can return from here half a step before he wants to come. The degree of danger here should still be controllable. He walked up step by step. There was nothing at first. But after taking ten steps, he felt as if a bell was ringing in his ears with every step he took. However, the natal magic weapon Z15 clearly gave the message and no bell rang. The natal magic weapon Z15 is closely connected with him. Z15 has not received any bells. So where does this bell come from? Li Shiming thought while thinking. Because the bell did not cause him any danger warning. He did not stop walking and continued to move upward step by step. The bell was still ringing, each sound shaking his soul. He felt that his soul was clear, as if it had been cleansed. Due to the long-term killing, his soul was contaminated with some impurities. These impurities were contaminated by killing creatures. He had never sensed impurities in his soul before. And if he hadn't heard the bell today, he might never have known it. As he continues to move upward, there is nothing else in his mind. There is the magic weapon Z-15, that monitors all his situations. If anything happens, Z-15 will immediately remind him. He always felt that climbing the white jade steps was a kind of opportunity, which could be seen from the cleansing of his soul. After the impurities in his soul were cleared by the sound of the bell, the sound of the bell began to shake his soul, as if it wanted to bring his mind into a certain artistic conception. But at this moment, Z-15 issued a warning, and Z-15 discovered that there was abnormal information trying to enter his brain. Z-15 can analyze external information, just like antivirus software. If external information wants to enter Li Shiming's brain, it will be checked by Z-15. If there is some kind of information with negative effects such as controlling the mind, affecting the mood, changing the personality, or even seizing the body, Z-15 will actively intercept it and remind Li Shiming. Analyze information! Li Shiming's eyes suddenly sobered up, and he issued an order to Z-15. If climbing is dangerous, then the danger level of this mountain must be increased. It didn't take long for him to get Z-15's analysis results of the intercepted information. 
There is no strong malice in those messages. Only a piece of consciousness implanted, which makes the monks yearn for this place, and at the same time keep the existence of this place secret. This method of consciousness implantation is ineffective for most monks. But here, through the previous cleansing of the soul, the monk's body and mind have completely relaxed their guard. Under normal circumstances, even the peak master the monks are also unable to resist this method of consciousness implantation. Li Shiming has Z15, which can maintain calm analysis and judgment no matter what the situation, which allows him to escape being implanted in consciousness. Although the sound of the bell that followed could still shock his soul, it had no other effect. The consciousness implantation mixed with the sound of the bell had no effect on him at all. He couldn't help but let out a long sigh of relief. This consciousness implantation did not force a strong negative state. This showed that there was no strong hostile intention here. And it was more like an entrustment to the entrant. Thinking of the entrustment, Li Shiming suddenly thought of the teleportation ring. Perhaps the teleportation ring was some kind of certificate. So that there would be no hostility towards him. But this relatively gentle method. He checked his teleportation ring. The original space energy inside the teleportation ring had been exhausted. And it was slowly absorbing space energy from the void. His consciousness entered the teleportation ring and found that the original coordinates here were replaced by another coordinates. When he placed his consciousness on the spatial coordinates, he seemed to suddenly see the area on the Dongchi continent where he activated the teleportation ring. He understood that as long as the space energy of the teleportation ring was replenished, he could use the teleportation ring to return to the Dongchi continent. This discovery gave him some peace of mind. With this way to go back, if it was really dangerous here, he would find a place to enter the Tianren cave and practice until the teleportation ring replenished the space energy before coming out. He paid attention to the speed of the teleportation ring absorbing space energy for a while, as well as the space energy stored in the teleportation ring. He was helpless to find that it would take 20 years for the teleportation ring to restore the space energy. He tried to stimulate the space energy of Shinzu Tong and wanted to introduce it into the teleportation ring, but found that the teleportation ring did not accept this space energy. To be honest, the space energy in the teleportation ring is more pure, and the level of space energy is several levels higher than his Shinzatong space energy. Therefore, the teleportation ring would rather absorb the space energy in the void than Li Shiming's Shinzatong space energy. Perhaps absorbing the Shinzatong space energy requires an additional process of space energy conversion. The designer of the teleportation ring did not create this function. After Li Shiming gained confidence, he climbed the white jade steps again. Finally, he reached the end of the white jade steps and came to a white jade platform. Standing on the white jade platform, he saw the majestic palace in front of him. Only when he really stood in front of the palace did he understand the majesty of this palace. The palace that Shin Mutong saw before was different from the actual palace. It seems that Shin Mutong was affected by some kind of force field here. He came to the palace. The threshold of the palace was up to his waist. He could not imagine what kind of palace existed here. The palace's gate was more than 30 meters long. He didn't recognize the material used in the gate, but its quality was definitely top-notch fourth grade. The value of this gate alone is unimaginable. Such a huge fourth grade top grade material is just used as a gate. There are many copper nails inlaid on the gate, which form a strange formation. Li Shiming looked at this formation. Although the system of this formation was different from his formation. Starlight C. And the formation in the Z15 database. Z15 after analysis and calculation, concluded that this formation was the way to open the door. Just when he was about to activate the formation and open the door, he suddenly stopped. He looked behind him in surprise, where six monks were walking up the white jade steps to the platform. Are there any monks here? He didn't expect to encounter such a thing, so he couldn't help but prepare secretly. The six monks were all top monks, but their aura was very strange, completely different from the aura of the great monks Li Shiming had seen. Three of the great monks practice the righteous way, and the other three great monks practice the evil way. They are also separated when walking. The three great monks, each of the good and evil monks, maintain considerable vigilance. Li Shiming found that there were no monks beyond the realm of great monks, but he felt relieved. No matter how powerful these six peak monks are, they have no influence on him. It's just that he is very curious about where these six peak monks are. He has never heard of them in the world of immortality. Although he was born in the 10,000 Beasts sect and was only a large-scale force, he had a wide range of friends. In addition, his clone Li Yuanba was in sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion. So he and his clone Li Yuanba knew a lot of peak monks. 
Even the peak monks whom he didn't know had seen the portrait and read the relevant information. He was 100% sure that these six peak monks were not from any continent in the world of immortality where he was. Only superpowers can cultivate peak great monks. The auras of the six peak great monks do not match the techniques of the superpowers in the world of immortality. Especially the three great monks of demonic cultivation. The number of peak great monks of demonic cultivation in the world of immortality, it is extremely rare and impossible for three great monks at the peak of demon cultivation to appear at the same time. This year, one more person entered the temple. And he walked in front of us. One of the three great monks of the Zhengdao said in surprise when he saw Li Shiming. The other two righteous monks sensed Li Shiming's aura and couldn't help showing joy on their faces. Although they did not know Li Shiming. They could tell from Li Shiming's aura that Li Shiming was not a demon cultivator. The three demon cultivator monks were different. After seeing Li Shiming, their expressions changed slightly. It was obvious that this time the number of good and demonic cultivators was not equal and the demon cultivator would suffer a lot. However, they also discovered that Li Shiming's strength had not reached the peak of a great monk, but was still far away from it. The three demon cultivators looked at each other, and one of them, a skinny demon cultivator, suddenly flew toward Li Shiming. The skinny demon cultivator did not fly, but when his feet walked on the ground, he crossed a hundred meters with each step, and he approached Li Shiming in just a few steps. Stop him! The three great monks of the right pass shouted. Fellow Taoist, be careful! A righteous monk reminded Li Shiming loudly. Li Shiming's eyes narrowed slightly. He judged many things from the fighting style of the skinny demon cultivator. Among them, it is certain that they cannot fly off the ground. Not to mention the peak monks. Even ordinary monks will not fight on the ground. This kind of ground fighting method is rare after the golden elixir stage. Monks in the golden core stage have the ability to fly physically away from the ground. Starting from this period, the monks' fighting methods are no longer limited to the ground, and the air is a broader battlefield. This skinny demon cultivator would rather give up a better way of fighting and choose to move and fight on the ground, which shows that there is great danger in the air. The skinny demon cultivator waved his hand, and a black mist enveloped Li Shiming. It was obvious that this great demonic cultivator was so confident in his own combat power that he did not even use magic weapons, but only used the secret method of the same demonic power to attack. Li Shiming was attacked and he instantly activated 10 brains, and 10 lightning techniques were activated by him. The sky strike thunder hammer flew out of his body and floated in front of him. The Jishao thunder beads in the machine room space energized the 10 lightning strike techniques, which increased the power of the 10 lightning strike techniques to a level. The skinny demon cultivator rushed forward in a hurry and retreated even more hastily. After sensing that Li Shiming was using thunder, he immediately stepped back without any hesitation. He could sense the indescribably powerful aura of the thunder method used by Li Shiming, which should not be able to be performed by a mid-level monk. Even a peak lay cultivator could not perform such a terrifying power of thunder method. The most terrifying thing is that Li Shiming used not one thunder method, but ten. Chapter 871 Cooperation The skinny demon cultivator retreated while assessing the situation. As a demon cultivator, he had extremely rich combat experience. He found that none of the defensive magic weapons on his body could withstand the power of these 10 thunder techniques. Not to mention that the power of the thunder technique itself exceeded the attack power of a peak thunder cultivator. Even if Lei Fei's own restraint against the demonic cultivation technique, the attack of 10 lightning techniques will greatly reduce the power of his demonic cultivation defense magic weapon. That is to say, he discovered it early. Li Shiming was retreating as soon as he activated the lightning technique. Otherwise, he would not even have time to think about it after the thunder technique was released. He made a choice immediately, and a white bone flashed on his body, and a white skeleton appeared in front of him. The bone stood between him and the ten lightning techniques, allowing him to retreat. Ten bolts of lightning generated by the lightning technique suddenly fell on the bones that were actively resisting. The bones are unexpectedly strong. The thunder technique, inspired by Li Shiming. Although the thunder hammer, does not cast lightning at the level of a spiritual treasure. It has the power of the Chishao Thunder Bead in the machine room space and provides general defense. The magic weapon cannot withstand 10 lightning techniques attacking at the same time. When thunder and lightning hit the bones, a shrill soul howl came from the bones. If it were normal, this kind of soul howl would have a soul impact on the surrounding enemies. Unfortunately, the attack suffered by white bones was a lightning attack. 
most of the power of the soul howl issued by white bones was eliminated in the thunder and lightning. Many parts of this white skeleton were struck black by lightning, which was particularly obvious on the pure white bones. The body of the skinny demon cultivator who retreated was a little weird at the moment, like a boneless body made of rubber, using his spiritual power to support his body. His face is not pretty. The bones are connected to his soul, and any damage he receives will have an impact on him. Fortunately, this white skeleton is still strong enough to withstand Lee Shimming's 10 lightning techniques. It's just that the skinny demon cultivator has no idea of fighting Lee Shimming at this time. Lee Shimming, the unreasonable thunder cultivator, makes him afraid. Lee Shimming's eyes narrowed slightly, and he looked at the white bones that blocked 10 lightning bolts. The white bones were stained with unimaginable death energy, but even such a monster blocked 10 powerful lightning bolts. At this time, he could be 100% sure that the skinny demon cultivator he had fought with was not a member of any force in his world of immortality. He had never heard of this type of technique that focused on the white bones. From the identical auras of the white bones and the dry skinny demonic cultivator, as well as the boneless state of the dry skinny demonic cultivator at this time, he could tell that the white bones were the dry skinny demonic cultivator. Monk Skeleton If there was such a white bone cultivation technique in the world of immortality, it was impossible for him not to have heard of it. Fellow Taoist, now that we have entered the temple, we are companions. Did you offend the sect before? Please forgive me. Another demon cultivator stepped forward and said, The Zongjing monk who had fought with Li Shiming was now joined by two other demon cultivator monks. They were shocked by Li Shiming's fighting power, and they stood together with the intention of joining forces to fight. Although Li Shiming didn't know what happened, he knew that these six monks came to explore the place they called the temple and there is a quota for entering the temple. And he is the extra one. If he revealed that he was an accidental entrant, he would probably become the enemy of the six great monks. It would be better to maintain the balance of strength between good and evil, so that his role as an outsider would be maximized, which would be most beneficial to him. Although he was very powerful, if he used all his strength, he might be able to kill all three demon cultivators. But that would not be of any benefit to him. It would be better to cooperate with these monks to find out the secrets of the temple. It was better than exploring on his own, where he might encounter unknown dangers. I hope this won't happen again. I'm not so easy to talk to every time, Li Shiming replied calmly. When he spoke, he purposely added a slight accent to his words. This accent was unconsciously brought on by the six great monks when they spoke. In the world of immortality, it seems that due to the cultivation books and techniques, all monks use the same standard language. However, due to the monk's origin, environment, etc., this standard language still has some characteristics. Li Shiming used the magic weapon Z15 to analyze the characteristics of their speech in a short period of time and incorporated this accent into his own words. Sure enough, after hearing Li Shiming speak, the six great monks could not tell it on the surface. But he could feel that the six great monks were slightly relaxed. Chen Zhe of the Mirror Moon sect doesn't know the name of your friend. Is such a powerful Lei Xiao rare? One of the great monks of the Righteous Path bowed slightly to introduce himself and asked. Li Shiming has met fellow Daoist Shen. Li Shiming had no intention of hiding his name. He returned the greeting slightly. If his guess is correct, this is not the area he was in before. And it is not in the world of immortality where Zhongzhou Continent is located. Then it doesn't matter if his real name is known to the other party. Anyway, Nothing can be found through his name. Li Shiming! The six great monks looked at each other. It was the first time for them to hear this name. I wonder what sect Li Dao you comes from? Senior brother Shen Zhe asked next. Li Shiming didn't answer this time. Just smiled lightly. When brother Shen Zhe saw him, he didn't want to answer and didn't ask any more questions. Through the conversation, he could tell from the accent that he was from the same place as them. The other party didn't want to say anything and he didn't want to ask more questions so as not to cause the other party to feel bad. After Li Shiming showed his strong strength, Li Shiming's presence affected the strength of the good and the devil who entered the temple to confront each other this time. If Li Shiming stands on the right side, then the evil side will be suppressed. And if he stands on the evil side, the right side will be in big trouble. He did not answer the question of the great monk Shen Zhe, but instead made the three great monks of the demon cultivator feel a little at ease. Li Shiming's attitude was not on the right side which showed that they still had a chance. Fellow Daoistly, entering the temple requires the strength of everyone. Fong Imo Sect Lung Hong welcomes you to enter the temple with us. Great monk Lung Hong extended an invitation to Li Shiming. 
I only care about what I get from the temple. And there are too many other things to worry about. Li Shiming said with a calm smile. Senior Monk Lung Hong heard that Li Shiming did not intend to join the righteous side. He stopped talking and made a gesture with the other two senior monks. The three great monks from the righteous path and the three great monks from the evil path were separated on the left and right. With Li Shiming standing in the middle. Li Shiming didn't like this position very much. Although he got a chance to be neutral. Once the good and evil sides took action. He would be the first to be attacked. He suspended the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer above his head and released the Traceless Phantom Sword from his body. The Traceless Illusion Sword is invisible and shadowless, hiding in the dark like a poisonous snake. As long as there is a great monk who dares to take action first, he will immediately use the Traceless Illusion Sword to kill him. I believe that none of the six peak monks here can withstand the full force of the Markless Illusion Sword, which contains the Chaos Sword Intent. He also discovered that his sword practice seemed to be Askew. The sword cultivator was tricked into assassination by him. Probably because he refined the Traceless Phantom Sword into the sword cultivator's natal flying sword. But it would be the biggest waste if he gave up the advantage of the Traceless Fantasy Sword. He is not too worried about the way of sword cultivation going too far. With the pure sword cultivation clone Li Yuan Ba here, he can always know the standards of pure sword cultivation. Fellow Daoist Li, you first? Senior brother Shinzei asked, pointing to the door. You go first, Li Shiming replied calmly. Although he had figured out how to open the door, he also wanted to see how these great monks opened the door. Senior brother Shinzei did not insist. It didn't matter who opened the door. He was partly testing Li Shiming and partly to show his politeness. He walked to the gate, took out a jade token and placed it on the gate. The copper nails on the door shone one by one. And what Li Shiming saw in his eyes was that the formation nodes guarding the door were disconnected one by one. When the formation formed by the copper nails was completely closed, the door opened to the left and right without any sound. The door, which was more than 30 meters high, made no sound when it was opened. This quiet scene made all the monks present hold their breath tightly, for fear of breaking the silence. Although the six great monks have mastered some information about the temple, it is still their first time to enter the temple, and their mentality is no better than Li Shiming. Li Shiming's eyes fell on the jade token in the hands of the great monk Shinzei and he felt strange energy fluctuations from the jade token. He couldn't help but feel the teleportation ring on his finger. It seemed that the teleportation ring on his finger had the same strange energy fluctuations. Thinking about it, it was the teleportation ring that sent him here. I think the teleportation ring should have the same function as the jade token in the hand of the great monk Shinzei. In terms of function, the teleportation ring should even surpass the jade token. Fortunately, he didn't open the door in his own way just now. The way that the great monk Shinzei opened the door was the normal way. But the way Li Shiming thought of opening the door before was to break the formation. After the door opened, Li Shiming took a look inside the door. Only to find that there was darkness inside the door. Which was pure black. However, he felt space fluctuations above the threshold of the door. Which made his heart move slightly. Maybe there was another special space inside the temple. A great monk from the righteous path and a great monk from the demonic path both jumped over the threshold. And then the figures of the two great monks disappeared into the darkness. Li Shiming discovered that the good and the evil actually maintained a certain tacit understanding. He did not wait and jumped over the threshold without explaining it to the other great monks. He didn't want to be led by these great monks. This kind of space transmission would cause the monks to lag for a moment. Although this moment of delay is short. If caught by others, it is very likely to pose a serious threat to him. He is different from the other six great monks. They have a plan to enter the gate in pairs. This can ensure that the great monks on both sides of the good and evil are restrained and will not pose a threat to their companions who follow them in. But Li Shiming was alone. And if he really wanted to be seized by the great monks from both good and evil sides, he didn't dare to be sure whether these great monks would take action against him. Now he has a temporary peace with the six great monks, which he obtained with his powerful thunder cultivator combat power. But his realm is weak and his defense is unable to block the attacks of the peak monks without defense. Li Shiming's figure appeared. He had no time to observe the situation around him, but was on guard against the two great monks who entered. The two great monks did not expect that he would enter. The two great monks were one good and the other evil. With each other restrained, they lost the opportunity to attack Li Shiming after a slight hesitation. Friend Daoist Li, there are restrictions everywhere here, so be careful, the righteous monk warned. Thank you, 
Li Shiming thanked him. He found that the two great demon monks were standing on a piece of white masonry. Except for this piece of white masonry, which was more conspicuous, the other areas were self-contained. There is a big sun in the sky here, and a vast mountain forest on the ground. A big tree that was relatively close to him was within the range of his consciousness. His consciousness swept across the tree, and his heart skipped a beat. It was a spiritual tree whose quality reached the fourth level. Although it was only the lower level of the fourth level, the spiritual tree at this edge was the lower level of the fourth level. So how high should the quality of the spiritual trees further inward be? In addition to spiritual trees, whether there were other spiritual plants and elixirs, he finally understood why these peak monks wanted to enter the temple. Just as his consciousness was scanning the spiritual tree, he sensed a hint of danger and quickly withdrew his consciousness. The moment he regained his consciousness, a sharp wind swept by, almost cutting off his consciousness. Restriction! He thought of the previous reminder from the righteous monk and understood that his consciousness had accidentally triggered a restriction. What a keen sense of danger! The two great monks secretly thought in their hearts. The consciousness triggers the restriction, which allows the consciousness to dodge in time to avoid the restricted attack. The danger needs to be discovered in advance. Otherwise it will be too late for the consciousness to dodge after the restriction is activated. After Li Shiming took back his spiritual consciousness, he did not dare to release it easily again. He didn't realize where the restrictions were, which made him feel very insecure. He activated his, Shen eyes, to the maximum extent, mobilized the help of his natal magic weapon Z15, and began to check the location where the restriction was triggered just now. The restrictions in the temple cannot be discovered. Only by attacking with attack can we slow down the attacks of the restrictions and give ourselves time to retreat. The righteous monk obviously wanted to make friends with Li Shiming, and he explained how to deal with it for Li Shiming method of prohibition. Don't use magic weapons to attack. Unless it's a spiritual treasure. There's no way to protect the magic weapon from the forbidden attacks. Fighting against the forbidden attacks is just to gain some time to dodge. Not to be outdone. The magic monk also explained more to Li Shiming. It seems that Li Shiming's sudden entry just now disrupted the plans of both good and evil outside the gate. Li Shiming exchanged a cup of tea with the two big monks before the second pair of big monks came in. Chapter 872 Exploration the ones who came in were the great monk Shenze and the great monk Zong Jing. When they entered, the great monk Shenze was holding a precious mirror, while the great monk Zong Jing had his bones in front of him. They were worried that after Li Shiming entered, he would kill the two great monks who entered at the beginning. It wasn't that they thought too much. With Li Shiming's fighting power, if Li Shiming faced two great monks, one good and one evil, alone, Li Shiming would have a great chance of defeating the two great monks in a short time especially in the environment inside the temple. As long as Li Shiming expels the two great monks from the white floor tile area, the two great monks will face various restrictions. And Li Shiming can put the two great monks in danger. With the appearance of the last two good and evil monks, the situation returned to its original state. Fellow Daoist Li, the restrictions here change every hundred years. The map in my hand can only be used as a reference. I hope you can cooperate with us. We will separate when we get to the place you want to go. Senior brother Shinze took out a he handed the jade slip to Li Shiming and said, Perhaps when they were in front of the gate, they said that they were cooperating with Li Shiming, which was a bit false, because they were not sure whether Li Shiming could survive. But now, Li Shiming broke the plan made by both good and evil. The plan of both good and evil is that they enter the gate first, and when the six great monks are inside, it depends on Li Shiming's choice. If Li Shiming chooses to enter, the six great monks will use that moment of delay to kill Li Shiming. If Li Shiming doesn't enter, this opportunity will have nothing to do with Li Shiming. Although the internal space of the temple is huge and there are many resources, there are only so many resources that they, the great monks, have access to. If there is one more great monk to share, each of the great monks will have one less. The opportunity to enter the temple is extremely rare, and each of their great monks has to pay a huge price to enter. It is impossible for them to accept less resources. However, Li Shiming successfully entered the temple. No matter how unwilling they were, the six monks did not want to fight Li Shiming when he was prepared. During the battle in the temple, the restriction will be activated accidentally when you are not fighting. It is very dangerous to fight against the restriction. If you activate the restriction during the battle, it will be a huge trouble. Fellow Daoist Li, this place is extremely dangerous. I hope we can live in peace and explore together. Demonic Cultivator Leng Hong, the great monk, followed. I will cooperate with you all. 
Li Shiming nodded. He sneered in his heart. None of the top monks here were simple. If he hadn't reacted quickly enough, he would be in a dilemma right now, not knowing whether to advance or retreat. He just used his, Shen eyes, in conjunction with Z15 to check the restrictions. But unfortunately, he didn't find the restrictions. So to explore the interior of the temple, you still need the cooperation of all the great monks. This is a peace contract. Please mark it with your real name. Senior brother Shinzei took out a piece of contract paper and said to the senior monks present. He held the contract paper in the air so that all the great monks could see it clearly. Li Shiming discovered that the contract paper was in the form of an ancient contract. But the contract paper itself was brand new. It seemed that at least the great monk Shinzei had mastered the application of this ancient contract. He followed and read the contents on the contract paper. The contents were very simple and clear. They were not allowed to attack each other in the temple. The contract was maintained by a sole oath to maintain the establishment of the contract. When a great monk is given a spiritual mark, the name of the great monk will appear on it. Li Shiming didn't know what would happen if he gave a false name. Fortunately, he gave his real name before. So there was no need to worry about this. After discovering that nothing had been done on the contract paper, he also put his own spiritual mark on it. And the words Li Shiming appeared on the contract paper. Several great monks put their spiritual mark on the contract paper one by one. After the last great monk put his spiritual mark on it, the contract paper turned into seven rays of golden light and flew into the bodies of the seven great monks respectively. Li Shiming felt the contract mark. He did not let the contract mark enter the main brain, but was placed in an idle brain. If he really breaks the contract, there is a high probability that this idle brain will only be punished. The contract mark brought the seven great monks into contact with each other and made everyone feel at ease. Maybe they might have attacked each other before. But after having the contract mark, no one would take the risk of being devoured by their souls and attack other great monks. Fellow Daoistly, your realm is the weakest. Right in the middle. Brother Ji, Brother Liao and I are in front. And fellow Daoist Lung, you three are in the back. Senior Monk Shinze has the most status among these top monks and he took the initiative to serve as take on the responsibility of command. And the three righteous monks were also assigned to the front, which was the most dangerous position. Of course, this is just Li Shiming's imagination. Looking at the expressions of the three demon cultivators, it seems that the rear is not safe. Fellow Daoist Li, your lightning attack is the fastest and powerful enough. Please try your best to resist the attack when it is forbidden. Master Zheng Dao Ji Chuang turned around and asked Li Shiming after taking up his position. Don't worry. I will try my best to resist, Li Shiming assured. Now he knows the names of all six great monks. The real names shown on the contract are the real names of the six great monks in the contract mark. Senior brother Shinzei was in front, leaving the white floor tile area and moving along a vague path in the mountains and forests. After only five steps, a wind blade suddenly appeared and slashed at the great monk Shinzei. Li Shiming used ten brains, and each brain maintained a lightning technique which caused a thunder and lightning to emit almost as soon as his mind moved. With a boom, thunder and lightning collided with the wind blade. The thunder and lightning persisted for half a breath before being wiped out by the wind blade. But the half breath also gave the other great monks time to launch their own attacks. A series of different spell attacks fell on the wind blade. Not only did the wind blade stagnate, but the energy in it was quickly consumed. When the second lightning struck the wind blade, the wind blade was completely unable to hold up and collapsed into energy that spread out. After Li Shiming discovered that the wind blade disappeared, the six monks relaxed. It seems that each restriction can only produce one attack. Think about it. If one restriction produces multiple attacks, the power of the attack generated by the restriction will not be able to be resisted by six peak monks. Even if there are a few more, a top monk would also die. It seems that cooperating with fellow Daoistly is the most correct choice. We actually neutralized the forbidden attack. Senior brother Shinzei said with a laugh. Not only was he happy, all the great monks from Jingmo were also happy. According to previous records, the six great monks who entered here needed to use their own magic attacks to block the restricted attack. The six great monks retreated together. It is also necessary to continuously retreat, especially when facing a ban attack. There is no guarantee that retreating will not trigger a new ban. Therefore, whether you are exploring the way in front or holding the formation from behind, it is an extremely dangerous position. But the addition of Li Shiming allowed the combined attacks of all the great monks to completely offset a restricted attack. In other words, as long as they are careful, there is no need to retreat. 
In this way, the safety of the great monks is guaranteed, and they can explore more places. At this time, Li Shiming set out a spiritual consciousness and entered the map Jade Slip given by the great monk Shenzhou. This is an extremely sloppy map, covering almost two hills, with two roads, and many restricted locations marked on it. He compared this map with the restriction he just encountered and found that the location of the restriction he just encountered was not on this map at all. The main purpose of this map is to prevent the great monk from taking the wrong path. At least there are roads that have been traveled by predecessors. And the risks are relatively low. An elixir. Good luck. A good start. Senior monk Ji Chuang took out his tools and dug out an elixir from the ground. The environment here conceals the scent of the elixir very obscurely, making it impossible to detect it unless you get close. In addition, there are no great monks here who dare to scan with their spiritual consciousness, which makes the difficulty of obtaining resources increased many times. Senior monk Ji Chuang took out a jade box and put the elixir in it. Li Shiming could see clearly that it was a great monk's elixir. Fellow Daoist Li, the elixirs are distributed evenly every once in a while. Senior brother Shenzhou was worried about what Li Shiming had in mind. So he explained, this is only fair. With the three righteous monks in front, it is estimated that all the resources discovered will be collected by the righteous monks. The team stopped for a while and then moved forward again. Almost every ten or so steps, great monk resources will appear. During this period, the restrictions are sometimes densely packed one step at a time. And sometimes there is only one for dozens of steps. Li Shiming was not an ignorant monk, but he was still shocked by the resources in the temple. The great monks only charge great monk resources. In fact, fourth grade resources can be found everywhere here, from spiritual trees to spiritual grasses and flowers. The stone on the ground may be a fourth grade spiritual jade. It is unimaginable that so many fourth grade resources would be produced inside the temple. Due to constant encounters with forbidden attacks, the team's progress was very slow. The great monks would rather be slower than lose their lives due to a moment of carelessness. Li Shiming finally discovered something strange in the temple. After initiating the attack, the spiritual power in his body recovered very slowly. Even if you take the high-level spiritual elixir of a great monk to restore your spiritual power, its recovery effect will be greatly reduced compared to other medicines. And when stopping, the method of actively restoring spiritual power through exercises is also very ineffective here. It seems that the spiritual energy here is not accepted by the monks. Although it is in an environment rich in spiritual energy, it seems to be in an environment of forbidden spirits. After discovering this, Li Shiming paid more attention to his own consumption. He has five nascent souls, and the attacks he sends out are all thunder techniques. This single body lightning spell is considered to be a relatively low cost type of lightning spell. In particular, he can use the Chishao Thunder Bead to enhance the power of the thunder technique, allowing him to exert greater power with less spiritual power. It took three days to climb over a mountain. Just take a rest here, senior brother Shenzhou suggested. No major monk expressed any objection. Li Shiming saw a mark on the map here, which was where the seniors rested. There is a big stone here, and several great monks are sitting on the big stone. Senior monk Ji Chuan took out the harvest from the previous three days. The senior monks present all had excellent memories, and each of them knew exactly how much harvest there was. The great monk Ji Chuan made a good, distribution of the harvest. The great monk had the most elixirs, and the rest were a small amount of top grade fourth grade materials. Even if it is divided among the seven great monks, each great monk has gained a lot. The harvest this time is beyond expectations. A smile appeared on the skinny face of the great monk of the demonic cultivation sect. But his smile was uglier than not smiling at all. He said with a smile, Thanks to fellow Daoisley, said demon cultivator Lang Hong, waving the harvest in his hand. They were a little dissatisfied with Li Shiming's joining at first. But now, they all accept Li Shiming. With the addition of Li Shiming, their traveling speed has greatly increased. And they have reduced too many dangers. This allowed each of them to gain more than 20% more than the records of their predecessors. Don't underestimate the 20% gain. For them, the resources of the great monks are very precious. Even if they can't use them themselves, they can still exchange them with their respective sects for the resources they need. While resting, with the joy of harvest, the great monks started talking more. During the chat with them, Li Shiming learned about the sect from which these great monks came, but he did not take the initiative to ask about other questions about the geographical areas where the great monks were located. The great monks thought that Li Shiming knew about it and would not mention this matter. The six great monks came from six sects. 
all of which Li Shiming had never heard of. A sect that can cultivate peak monks. Based on his experience in Zhongzhou continent. Must be a superpower to be able to cultivate peak monks. In addition, Li Shiming has a feeling that the goal of these peak monks is not the resources of these monks. Although the peak monks also need the resources of the monks. The demand for the resources of the monks is very small. At the level of the peak monks, the resources needed are more precious treasures. The great monks didn't say it clearly. But he had a feeling that this temple was the place where the resources needed for peak monks to advance to great power were produced. Li Shiming once again took out the jade map slips. There was no display beyond the two hills. It was just blank. If there is any treasure, it is in the area beyond the two hills. Suddenly, he felt a burst of danger. And the danger came from the sky. Senior monk Shinze and other senior monks also felt it. Senior monk Shinze waved his hand. And his precious mirror emitted light. Covering all the senior monks. In the sky, a giant golden eagle circled past. And the terrifying coercion of the late fourth grade divine beast came. Under normal circumstances. Although this golden giant eagle is very powerful. There are seven powerful monks who would not worry too much. But in this environment where there are restrictions everywhere. It is really necessary to conflict with this golden giant eagle. Get up. It's the big monks who are in trouble. Chapter 873 Feeling Spiritual Why did the golden winged rock appear here? Senior monk Shinze suppressed his surprised voice. He was afraid that the golden winged rock in the sky would notice him if he made too loud a sound. Is there something wrong with the restriction in the divine beast garden? Allowing the golden winged rock to escape? Senior monk Ji Chuang followed. Li Shiming immediately noticed the place of divine beast garden. After spending a few days with these monks, he heard for the first time from the monks the deeper information in the temple. There can't be a problem in the Divine Beast Park. If there is a problem, it won't be the Golden Winged Rock here alone. Demonic monk Lun Hong shook his head and said. His eyes were fixed on the Golden Winged Rock. With both fear and greed, the fear comes from not wanting to be discovered by the Golden Winged Daypok in such a place. And the greed comes from the fact that the Golden Winged Daypok is a divine beast. And such beings are the top spiritual pets for any great monk. More importantly, the mythical beasts have other special functions. Especially the mythical beasts that match their own attributes. Which can affect the process of the great monk's promotion to great power. Therefore, the Divine Beast Garden is also one of the main goals of several great monks present. If you can enter the Divine Beast Garden once... Getting a divine beast spiritual pet is not worth entering the temple once. Why can this golden winged rock fly? But we can't! Li Shiming asked aloud at this time. He did not ask where the divine beast park was. But asked this question which was not of great significance for exploration. He also understood that if he really asked any important questions related to exploration. It would be impossible for these six peak monks to pay attention to him. The golden winged rock was conceived by the temple. It will not be affected by the temple's restrictions. The restrictions in the sky are only for us foreign monks. Senior monk Shinze did not hide it. And replied after thinking for a while. Li Shiming looked at the sky again. He activated his, Shin eyes, at full strength and still didn't see any restrictions. He knew that his level was too low. And the level of restrictions here was too high. Far beyond what he could discover. He looked at the golden winged rock again. Which was a legendary beast. Although he didn't know whether the golden winged rock was the legendary beast. Judging from the aura emanating from the golden winged rock in the sky, it was the aura can definitely be compared with the top bloodline of the dragon clan and phoenix clan. The golden winged rock has the aura of the five elements, which actually matches Li Shiming's attributes. Unfortunately, not to mention the existence of restrictions in the sky, even if he was willing to take the risk to subdue the golden winged rock, the six peak monks would not allow it. The golden winged rock hovered for a while and then flew into the distance. The great monk Shinze withdrew the mirror light. And the other great monks were exposed to the outside world. We don't need to rest anymore. Let's move on. Great monk Lung Hong suggested. His proposal was approved by other great monks. And they took advantage of the absence of the golden winged rock to advance a little further. In the forest on the second hill. There are more and more various resources. Li Shiming has been counting the number of shots he takes. And he places the maximum consumption on three-fifths of the total spiritual power of a nascent soul. This was a very reasonable consumption of spiritual power. He did not want other great monks to discover the secret of his total spiritual power due to his recklessness. In fact, all the top monks know how many lightning attacks Li Shiming can trigger. He doesn't want to have any special performance. The hidden spiritual power will make him safer 
and give him more trump cards. After walking for another day, the golden-winged rock did not appear again, which made the great monks feel relieved. Fellow Taoist Chen, fellow Taoist, can you move 10 meters to the left? Li Shiming suddenly asked Brother Shenzhe. Upon hearing this, great monk Shenzhe couldn't help but look to the left 10 meters away, where there were three spiritual tea trees. The fourth grade Taoist tea tree is actually a top-notch spiritual tea tree. It has some effect on fellow Taoist Li. I think it will be moved over there, he said to the other great monks with a smile. The rest of the great monks had no objections. The addition of Li Shiming increased their harvest and exploration speed a lot. I have never made any requests before. It is not a difficult request at this time. If I don't agree to it, it will be really unjustifiable. As for the fourth grade Taoist tea tree, it does have some effect on great monks. But it has no effect on peak great monks. It can only be regarded as an ordinary resource for great monks. Given the environment where there are great monk resources everywhere, if Li Shiming hadn't suggested it, it would have been impossible for these top monks to change their direction for the sake of three fourth grade Taoist tea trees. While moving to the left, he encountered a restriction. All the great monks took action together to offset the attack of this restriction. I want these three woman tea trees, and they will be included in my share of the great monk resources, Li Shiming said while digging out three woman tea trees. He doesn't pay much attention to the resources of the great monks. The main reason is that he has too many high-level spiritual elixirs for the great monks. Enough for him to consume for 200 years. This was the result of him giving some of the high-level monks elixirs to his clone Liu Inba. Almost all of the great monks elixirs he had accumulated in the world of immortal cultivation were refined into elixirs by his hands. The 110-point elixir. Under the influence, he is equivalent to being supplied with great monk resources by the entire world of immortality. Three fourth grade tea trees. This is an extremely rare species of spiritual tree. In the past, he had only seen low grade when when tea trees and never seen fourth grade when when tea trees. But if he wanted to upgrade a low grade when when tea tree to a fourth grade tea tree, the difficulty would be no easier than finding a fourth grade when when tea tree. Perhaps the six peak monks thought that the fourth grade when Dao tea was of no use to them. But it still depended on whose hands were making the spiritual tea. With Li Shiming's tea making ability, even the relatively common fourth grade spiritual tea can be fried in his hands to produce top notch spiritual tea that is effective for peak monks. Let alone this kind of fourth grade asking tea. After returning to the previous route and exploring for more than a day, Li Shiming felt that he was almost reaching the farthest location recorded on the jade slip on the map. He vaguely saw a stone monument standing in front of him. As he got closer, the stone monument became clearer and clearer. The six peak monks all let out a sigh of relief. And their whole bodies couldn't help but relax. When we arrived at the Sinshin Monument, it's finally safe here, senior brother Shinzei said with a smile. Each person only has three hours to comprehend the God Sensing Monument. I heard that no monk has comprehended anything in the past few hundred years. Some seniors wonder if the God Sense Monument has lost its function. Senior monk Ji Chuang shook his head and said, There's nothing wrong with the God Sensing Monument. I've read the records. There have been things that no monk has been able to understand for thousands of years. Maybe. Great monk Lang Hong couldn't help but stop here. He saw the other two great demon monks looking at him, waiting for him to continue. He is not stupid. Needless to say, the three great monks of the righteous path. Even if he said bad things about his seniors, there is nothing that the good and the devil can do to him. But if the two great demon monks spread the news that he spoke ill of his senior, he would be in big trouble. Fortunately, he stopped talking and didn't say anything. Fellow Daoist Li, you should come first. Senior monk Shenzhe turned to Li Shiming and said. Li Shiming was slightly startled, but did not refuse. Although he didn't know why the great monk Shenzhe wanted him to realize it first. He probably had a plan. But with that contract, there is no need to worry that these six peak monks will hurt him. He nodded and walked towards the God-sensing monument. When I came to the sensing monument, I looked at the sensing monument in front of me. On the surface, it looked like an ordinary stone monument. He stretched out his hand, grabbed the sensing monument, and wanted to pull the sensing monument up from the ground. You don't need to try. Fellow Taoist Li, seniors have done this before. The sensing monument and the temple are a whole. Unless you have the ability to shake the temple, it is impossible to pull out the sensing monument. Brother Leng Hong reminded with a smile. Li Shiming discovered when he got started. Even though the Sinshin Monument was a stone tablet standing on the ground. When he grabbed it with his hand, he felt that what he was holding was only the exposed corner of the Sinshin Monument. 
The Ganshan Monument was clearly right in front of him. But he felt that the Ganshan Monument was extremely huge. He did not try to collect the God Sensing Monument again, but sat cross legged in front of the God Sensing Monument. He let go of his consciousness and wrapped the Sensing Monument. At the same time, the computing power of the natal magic weapon Z15 was fully activated, and it began to scan the God Sensing Monument bit by bit. Just as his mind was immersed in the scanning of his consciousness, he suddenly sensed a strange change. And the heavenly art in his body started to operate without any warning. When the heaven art was operating, a massive amount of spiritual energy entered his body, increasing his spiritual power at an unimaginable speed. Li Shiming is different from normal great monks. The God-sensing monument brings him into strange feelings. But that is only his main brain. And he still has 190 brains available. He found that the main brain was brought into some kind of mystery by the sensing monument. His body did not change under the perception of other brains. Although the heavenly art in his body was running, there was not a large amount of spiritual energy into the body. This is inside the temple. And the spiritual energy in the temple cannot be absorbed by the great monks for their own use. Although he knew that what the main brain was experiencing was an illusion, he did not take the initiative to break away. This sense monument was so highly regarded by several top monks that it must have its role. At present, the state of the main brain is still under control. And there is no need to worry about any accidents caused by the main brain falling into hallucinations. He can use other brains to wake up the main brain at any time. In the main brain, Li Shiming is practicing the Heaven and Man Art. And the Heaven and Man Art is improving at an unimaginable speed. Although this kind of cultivation speed is a bit out of the ordinary. The feeling of improvement in the heavenly art is truly passed on. At the same time, as his realm continues to improve, his understanding of the rules of the five elements is also constantly improving. Fellow Daoistly triggered the enlightenment of the sensing monument. Senior brother Shinze looked at the faint fluorescent light emitted by the sensing monument and couldn't help but exclaimed. They were just talking about how no monk had been able to gain enlightenment from the monument for thousands of years. And Li Shiming entered the realm of enlightenment. Fellow Daoist Li's realm is too low. This insight was wasted. If he had entered the temple at the peak of the monk's realm and gained insights. I'm afraid the harvest would have been huge. Senior monk Ji Chuang shook his head and said. He was not surprised that Li Shiming entered a state of enlightenment. Li Shiming's age can be seen by the peak monks at a glance. He has reached the mid-level realm of a great monk before he was 200 years old. It is rare for someone with such strength to appear in thousands of years not to mention the powerful combat power shown by Li Shiming. A mid-level monk can rival and defeat a peak monk. It's a pity that the Sensing Monument obtains enlightenment based on cultivation level. The enlightenment gained by Li Shiming in this realm will only be the enlightenment of a middle-level monk. And if they, the peak monks, gain enlightenment at the God Sensing Monument, then it will be the insights of the peak monks. And it can even make their promotion to great power smoother. What a waste of insights! With this insight, the time for fellow Daoistly to be promoted to the peak monk will probably be shortened by more than half. Senior monk Lung Han looked at Li Shiming with some jealousy and said, thinking about it, he himself was in the realm of a great monk. He had practiced for thousands of years before he reached the peak of the realm of a great monk. And based on Li Shiming's current situation, no matter how slow it is, Li Shiming will be promoted to the peak monk realm before the age of 400. After hearing what senior monk Lung Hong said, the other senior monks looked at Li Shiming with envy in their eyes. None of the six top monks from both good and evil sides had ever thought about whether Li Shiming had the ability to advance to the top of the top monks. Although among the great monks, only a very small number of great monks had the opportunity to be promoted to the peak. They all believe that Li Shiming will definitely be promoted to the peak. In the past, Li Shiming may have encountered trouble in the realm of great monks because he took the wrong path of cultivation and was unable to be promoted to the peak great monk. However, after this enlightenment experience of the God Sensing Monument, the process of Li Shiming's promotion to the peak great monk is the road is smooth and there are no more obstacles. In Li Shiming's mind, he had been promoted to the pinnacle of monks and began to try to break through. Unfortunately, just before the breakthrough, he broke away from the state of enlightenment. He stood blankly in front of the God Sensing Monument with the thought of entering a state of enlightenment again. But no matter how his consciousness comes into contact with the Sensing Monument, it can no longer trigger the reaction of the sensing monument. Just a little bit, Li Shiming murmured to himself. According to his feelings and Z15's calculations, the illusion entered by the main brain may not be said to be an illusion. 
but a deduction made by the God Sensing Monument based on the heavenly art technique. Let Li Shiming feel all the processes from the middle stage to the late stage to the peak when he is in the middle stage of the great monk. This caused no change in his body. But in terms of perception, he had all the insights of a peak monk. These insights include his subsequent training, including the bottlenecks encountered in the late and peak stages of promotion to heavenly art, and everything before preparing to break through to great power. If the sensing monument hadn't pushed him out of the state of enlightenment, he could still feel the process of breaking through the power. Maybe he could know all the secrets of breaking through the power. And he wouldn't have to try his best to obtain the corresponding books from other places. Chapter 874 Divine Beast Although Li Shiming felt regretful, there was another thing that surprised him. That is, the scanned data of the God Sensing Monument was included in the Z15 data. Having experience in scanning the Sword Intent Monument, Although the level of the Sensing Intent Monument is much higher than that of the Sword Intent Monument, the Z15 is not the Z15 it was back then. After Li Shiming was promoted to a great monk, the computing power of the Z15 increased many times. This scan only obtained a large amount of data about the God Sensing Monument, but did not form the virtual structure of the God Sensing Monument. But as long as there is enough time, Z15 can continue to try. Based on these data, it is possible to restore the sensing monument in the virtual world. Congratulations to fellow Daoisley. It seems that it won't be long before your level can catch up with ours. Senior brother Shinze congratulated with a smile. Thank you, fellow Daoist Shen, for giving me the opportunity. Li Shiming smiled and thanked him with a smile. He had a feeling that the great monk who was the first to gain enlightenment would have a greater chance of gaining enlightenment. Because when he passively exited the sensing monument, he felt the energy consumption in the sensing monument. His own enlightenment consumed a large part of the energy in the sensing monument. Of course, it was impossible for him to explain to several top monks that his discovery was discovered during the Z15 scanning process and during subsequent data comparison. Normal monks would not be able to discover it. Fellow Daoisley, we are separated here. Each of us will act according to chance. See you in 10 days. Although great monk Shinze didn't know why Li Shiming wanted to thank himself for being the first to realize it. He said to Li Shiming according to his previous plan. Li Shiming knew in his heart that this was what these top monks intended. It is estimated that all the peak monks have their own goals. And from here on, the secrets of a sect will be involved. The six peak monks at least knew each other and could guess the general direction of each other's goals. However, if Li Shiming, a strange monk, acted after them, he might follow one of their monks. And that would be a dangerous situation. A troublesome thing. Because of the contract, they could not attack Li Shiming. Of course, even if they attacked, they would not be able to defeat Li Shiming. So they discussed that Li Shiming would be the first to comprehend the monument. By the time, the next great monk realized it. Li Shiming had been exploring alone for three hours and would not affect any of the great monks. Then I'll take my leave, Li Shiming said, clasping his fists. He was thinking about the ten days that Master Shinze unconsciously revealed. It seemed that he would leave the temple in ten days. He frowned slightly, thinking that he should at least monitor the sensing monument to see when other peak monks would return to the sensing monument. He knew very little about the situation in the temple. He didn't know how to leave the temple, whether to return on his own or be automatically teleported out by the temple. As he moved forward, he was careful about the appearance of restrictions. Only after he was some distance away from the sensational monument did he encounter the first restriction. He was well prepared and fired ten lightning techniques in unison to offset the forbidden attacks. Continuing to move forward, the direction he was heading was a vague road on the ground. In fact, there were many such roads on the ground. He didn't know which road he should take. So he chose one at random. He did not waste it. As long as there were great monk resources on the ground, he would collect them. When he was alone, he didn't have to worry about the total amount of spiritual power being leaked. But it was more convenient and faster than when the seven monks acted together. After traveling a certain distance, he took out a drone satellite. The drone satellite has the advantages of being invisible and always on standby, in order to prevent it from being discovered by the monks. He has used a lot of technological means in it, but changed the energy supply to a method that is supplied by spirit stones and spirit gathering formations. It is precisely because the main functions are all technological means that greatly reduce the spiritual reaction. In addition, the formations for energy supply by spirit stones and the formations for gathering spirits are improved by Z15, and the spiritual reactions are weakened to the extreme. Therefore, finding drone satellites is extremely difficult. 
Li Shiming sent the drone satellite out. He was a little worried at first, fearing that once he released it, he would encounter restrictions and the drone satellite would be destroyed. I don't know whether it was his good luck, the proximity to the God-sensing monument, or the fact that special objects such as drone satellites would not trigger a ban. Anyway, the drone satellite took off and flew straight to the sky above the God-sensing monument. Everywhere, no prohibited attacks were encountered. Through Z-15, he could observe the actions of six peak monks. With this backup, he felt a lot more at ease. At least, he could know when to return if necessary. Fellow Daoist Chen, this fellow Daoist Li has a lot of opportunities. Will he seize the opportunity before us? The great monk of the demonic cultivation sect reminded in a deep voice. Although he could not attack Li Shiming, letting Li Shiming explore in advance still made him a little uneasy. Fellow Daoist Zong, you seem to have forgotten how much Daoist Li's spiritual energy has been consumed. He has taken the most shots along the way. I estimate that his spiritual energy can last for three days at most, and he will have no more spiritual energy left. Without waiting for Brother Shinsei to answer, Brother Ji Chuang replied with a smile. Along the way, Li Shiming's spellcasting speed was the fastest, and the lightning method's attack speed was also the fastest. So he always used the lightning technique first. After all the great monks attacked for one round, Li Shiming's second round of attacks also followed. Usually, Li Shiming's second, lightning technique, solved the restricted attack. It was okay once or twice, and it was like this for many consecutive days along the way, in an environment where spiritual power could not be restored. Li Shiming's spiritual power stock was already extremely limited. This is why several great monks dared to let him explore first. They believed that his exploration would not be too far before it would be terminated due to lack of spiritual power. In fact, they thought wrong. After Li Shiming advanced some distance, he summoned Seal Feng and Phantom Dragon. They were in the late fourth level and could help him attack together. Due to environmental problems, Seal Feng could not fly and just stood on the ground and followed Li Shiming. Li Shiming was connected with them, and they cooperated even more tacitly when attacking. In addition, the biggest advantage of acting alone is that there is no need to limit the quality of the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, the Lingbao quality, Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, combined with the Godly Night Thunder Bead in the computer room space has increased its power. The drone satellite not only monitored the top of the Sension Monument, but also provided him with a bird's eye view of the scenery in front of the mountain forest. The golden winged rock that had not been seen for several days appeared in the sky. Li Shiming had his own method. A string of Buddhist beads fell to the ground, and the concealment formation was instantly formed. On the other side, at the God Sensing Monument, Great Monk Shenzhou also activated the treasure mirror to hide the Great Monks. From the monitoring of the drone satellite, Li Shiming discovered that the six peak monks disappeared in the area where the Monk Shenzhou was located. But it did not affect the sensing monument. And even the foot of the peak monks were standing there. Everything is revealed. The hidden effect of the treasure mirror was extremely astonishing. It only hid the six great monks and left everything else unchanged. Although the concealment formation has a similar effect, what the concealment formation does is different. It just uses the surrounding scenery to replace the cover. If the concealment formation hides the God-sensing monument, then the God-sensing monument will disappear. Golden Wing Doping did not find drone satellites. It is very likely that the way these beasts observe things is also based on aura. Things that do not respond to aura are not of special concern. According to the tracking of the drone satellite, the Golden Wing rock flew in one direction and disappeared in the distance. Li Shiming's heart moved slightly. Maybe that direction is where the Sacred Beast Garden, mentioned by several great monks before was. Using a bird's eye view, he drew a map in Z-15 and found the route to where the golden winged rock disappeared. With this road map, he doesn't have to worry about getting lost. He changed direction and headed towards his target. With the addition of Seal Fang and Phantom Dragon, his traveling speed increased again. Nine hours later, through the monitoring of the drone satellite from Z-15, he found that the three righteous monks left the God-sensing monument together, leaving the three demonic monks to continue their enlightenment. It turns out that the three great monks of the right way did not intend to act alone. They just changed from a large team of seven to a small team of three, based on the action routes of the three righteous monks obtained through drone satellite surveillance. Li Shiming analyzed that the three righteous monks and him were not the same target. In fact, he didn't worry even if it was the same goal, because not only did he set off first, but he also traveled much faster. He saw the way the three righteous monks were traveling. 
Every time they encountered a restriction, they would attack while retreating, which greatly affected their traveling speed. Each ban will delay a lot of time. There is no way for Li Shiming to directly offset the ban attack. If it weren't for the resources of the great monks on the ground, Li Shiming could proceed faster. After marching for another nine hours, the three great monks from the demonic path also left the Sinshin Monument together and formed a team as well. Li Shiming couldn't help but frown when he saw the direction of the three demon monks. This direction was most likely coming towards him. Maybe it is really possible to bump into each other. Although his speed is fast enough, he knows too little about the situation inside the temple. This is his biggest weakness, and it will also make his exploration slower than expected. Although there was pressure, it did not affect Li Shiming's collection of resources from the great monks. He would even make a small detour when discovering some extremely rare resources. Even if his family has a big business and has a large number of high-level spiritual elixirs from great monks, he still needs to supply many monks. Not to mention himself, one person can match the amount of elixirs consumed by five great monks. The Clonely Yuanba has also reached the realm of great monks. In the future, Yin Shirlan will need the resources of great monks. Yin Shirlan has now joined Wanfeng Palace and became the core monk of Wanfeng Palace with the training inheritance of Wanfeng Palace and Li Shiming's training resources. As long as Yin Shirlan's talent is not extremely poor, promotion to a great monk is inevitable. In the future, there will be Clonely Yuanba's master Jin Wuwei, as well as some other monks he cares about, who will need his support to a greater or lesser extent. Therefore, Li Shiming would not let go of the resources of the great monks when he saw them. Although he wasted some time, it was all worth it. If placed outside, a few great monk elixirs can cause multiple great monks to snatch them, leading to a battle. And here, just a few steps away, great monk resources will appear. For great monks, this is an endless treasure house. After two days of traveling, he finally reached his target location. According to his judgment, the three great monks from the demonic way were determined to have the same target as him. However, at the speed of the three great monks from the demonic way, it would take at least two days to get here. To his surprise, what lay ahead was not a chaotic forest, but a walled garden. The size of this garden cannot be estimated. He tried to fly another drone satellite, but it was shattered into pieces by a forbidden energy not long after it flew into the sky. It seems that the successful launch of drone satellites at the Sinshin Monument is due to the lack of restrictions near the Sinshin Monument. This place is too far away from the monument a sensation. And the height of the drone satellite there is limited and cannot monitor this place. How to get into this garden? He said to himself and came to the wall. Although the wall was only four meters high, he could jump over it with a single leap. But he knew very well that the garden in the world of cultivating immortals was not that simple at all especially all the arrangements in the temple, and the level of means was extremely high, far beyond his imagination. If he really dared to jump over the wall, he would either be banned from flying or cut into space. Anyway, no matter which outcome he wanted to encounter, it was not what he wanted to encounter. Just when his palm touched the wall and wanted to see the material of the wall, the teleportation ring on his finger flashed slightly. On the wall in front of him, a door appeared. Above the door was a plaque that read, the Garden of Divine Beasts. As soon as he looked at the three words, Divine Beast Garden, he felt a heavy weight on his body. He quickly looked away, secretly horrified. Just three words almost made him suppressed. His proud spirit became extremely weak in front of the three words. Sacred Beast Garden. He hesitated for a moment, then thought that at least the three demonic monks were here to explore the Garden of Divine Beasts. Those three demonic monks were strong enough to dare to explore. He thought that his combat power exceeded those three monks. Besides, there is no such thing as returning from the treasure mountain empty-handed. Thinking of this, he stepped forward and pushed towards the door. Before his hand came into contact with the door, when the teleportation ring on his hand was still a little distance from the door, the door opened automatically. Li Shiming looked at the teleportation ring on his finger. Knowing the importance of the teleportation ring, he put the teleportation ring on his finger especially after he discovered that the six peak monks all had jade medals. He paid more attention to himself. The function of the teleportation ring. Sure enough, the teleportation ring is a certificate of identity. But I don't know what the level of the teleportation ring is in the temple. Chapter 875 Contract Li Shiming walked into the Divine Beast Garden. And the moment he stepped through the gate, the world changed. And it was as if he was in another world before his eyes. There is an endless sky as far as the eye can see. 
The area he is in is a platform suspended in the air. With a wooden door on the platform. Standing on the platform. You can overlook the world below. Where there are rolling hills. Rushing rivers. A vast lake in the distance. And forests beyond. He did not leave the platform immediately. There was a golden-winged rock in the sky that was very familiar to him. If he admitted correctly, it should be the golden-winged rock that appeared outside. However, considering the existence of the Divine Beast Garden, theoretically the golden-winged Daypot cannot leave the Divine Beast Garden. I wonder how the golden-winged Daypot can leave the Divine Beast Garden. The golden-winged rock is the overlord of this area. Farther away, there is a phoenix flying in the sky. And Li Shiming also heard the faint roar of a dragon. Li Shiming was shocked. Although red gold phoenixes were cultivated in the caves of the 10,000 Beasts sect and Luanfeng Palace, those caves were all arranged by senior masters for this function. Nowhere like here. He could see many kinds of spiritual beasts at the level of mythical beasts. Now he encountered a problem. How could he contract the divine beast here? In his mind, it might be to defeat the divine beast, or through some special method. But his understanding of the temple was too lacking, making it impossible for him to start. He glanced at the golden winged Doping. To be honest, if he really wanted to contract a divine beast, this golden winged Daypok would be the most suitable. The golden winged rock has the attributes of the five elements, which is consistent with the heavenly art he cultivated. He decided to try to control the golden winged Daypok and see if he could contract with it. But before that, he needs to know how many abilities he can use in the divine beast garden. First of all, flying must be able to be used. Otherwise you will not be able to truly enter the Divine Beast Garden while standing on this platform. Li Shiming was still a little worried. He released the physical body of the Great Monk Luo Pei and flew out of the platform controlled by the ghost. Just as the Great Monk Luo Pei flew out of the platform, the Golden Winged Rock flying in the air immediately flew towards the Great Monk Luo Pei. You can fly. Come back. Li Shiming didn't ask Brother Luo Pei to die. After confirming that flight was possible here, he asked Brother Luo Pei to return to the platform. The Great Monk Luo Pei flew back to the platform. And the Golden Winged Rock let go of the Great Monk Luo Pei sadly. It seems that this small platform is a safe zone where the mythical beasts will not attack. He casually put away the Great Monk Luo Pei and took out the Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer and Ruijin Yu Peak. He had no intention of looking down on the Golden Winged Rock. His figure turned into a bolt of lightning and flew towards the Golden Winged Rock. When the Golden Winged Dopeng saw Li Shiming leaving the platform and coming towards it, it was smart enough not to attack immediately, thinking that it would wait until Li Shiming was far away from the platform before attacking. The previous monk was too close to the platform, so it thought of launching an attack, and the timid monk fled back to the platform. Just when Li Shiming flew some distance away from the platform and was about to reach the range to attack the Golden Winged Rock, he suddenly felt a feeling of heart palpitations. Without the slightest hesitation, he used the close to the end that he had prepared long ago. And the figure instantly disappeared from the place and appeared a hundred meters away. And where his figure disappeared, the figure of the golden winged rock appeared. The wings of the golden winged rock swept across the five elements of energy, passing over the illusory figure left behind after he disappeared. Li Shiming's heart beat faster. He did not expect that the golden winged rock could master the method of spatial movement. If he had been slower, he might have been hit by the sudden attack of the Golden Winged Rock. Even though he was a hundred meters away, he could sense the terrifying destructive power of the Five Elements' energy, different from Li Shiming's use of Chaos Spiritual Power, although he has deeply studied the energy of the Five Elements. After modifying the Art of Heaven and Man, the essence is still the attributes of the Five Elements. But when using his Chaos Spiritual Power, it is completely different from the Golden Winged Rock's Five Elements' energy. His Chaos Spiritual Power is a spiritual power that is a mixture of the Five Elements' spiritual power and the Five Elements' rules. The Five Elements' energy used by the Golden Winged Doping is a combination of the Five Elements' spiritual power. We can't say which method of use is better. Li Shiming's research and development of Chaos Spiritual Power is still at the initial stage. And he cannot represent the true power of Chaos Spiritual Power. The Golden Winged Doping is already an extremely mature fighting method for the five elements of spiritual power. In addition to its power, Li Shiming also sensed that the five elements of energy carried some kind of terrifying power. He couldn't tell what this terrifying power was at the moment, but he didn't want to bear it at all. The abilities of this kind of mythical beast are not that simple. Just like the Nirvana fire of the Red Gold Phoenix. Once it is contaminated, 
the consequences will not only burn the body, but also the soul. Therefore, when fighting mythical beasts, it is best not to be attacked. Their attacks often have extremely powerful special effects. The Golden Winged Rock missed in one blow, and he was very surprised. It is the most special existence in the mythical beast garden. As it grew up, it mastered spatial abilities that did not belong to the Golden Winged Doping family, which made it beyond the control of the Divine Beast Park and became the strongest divine beast in the divine beast park. It used its own strength to occupy the position closest to the entrance and exit of the divine beast garden. While other mythical beasts cannot leave the mythical beast garden, it can use its space ability to pass through the entrance and exit space of the mythical beast garden and leave the mythical beast garden to play outside. This is also the reason why Li Shiming and the others can see the golden wing dopping. But the divine beast park is the most suitable for the survival of mythical beasts. So the Golden Winged Doping will still return to the Divine Beast Park after playing for a period of time. When the Golden Winged Doping was about to pursue Li Shiming, Li Shiming's counterattack also arrived. Li Shiming threw. Ruijin you at peak. And the weight and gravity field generated by the 2 billion gravity runes caused the unprepared Golden Winged Doping to stagnate. Ruijin you at peak. Is a spiritual treasure. When used with full strength, it is not surprising that it has an effect on the late 4th grade Golden Winged Rock. Just when the Golden Winged Rock was controlled, the Lingba level, Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, enhanced the effect of the Chishou Thunder Bead in the computer room space, and 20 Thunder Strike techniques were simultaneously stimulated by Li Shiming's 20 brains. All of them hit the Golden Winged Rock. Li Shiming was still very careful when attacking. He used the Z15 to help monitor the status of the Golden Winged Doping. Once the attack is too strong for the Golden Winged Rock to bear, he will curb the power of the attack. As long as the Golden Winged Dopeng does not die on the spot. Then he has the ability to save the Golden Winged Dopeng. He didn't want to kill the Golden Winged Dopeng. But wanted to conquer the Golden Winged Dopeng. The Golden Winged Rock let out a shrill scream. And 20 lightning bolts exceeded the attack power of a Peak Thunder Cultivator. Paralyzing its whole body. And causing serious injuries both inside and outside its body. But it is a divine beast. And even after suffering such damage it still unleashes unimaginable potential. Under the attack of 20 thunder and lightning, its figure suddenly disappeared, and its figure appeared near the platform. It originally wanted to use its space ability to travel through space and leave the Divine Beast Garden, but due to the impact of 20 lightning attacks, it was unable to achieve its goal. It's just that the space has moved to the area connecting to the platform. If you want to leave the Divine Beast Garden, you still have the last bit of distance. It knows one thing very well, that is, the consequences of being defeated in the Divine Beast Park. That is not what it wants. It does not want to be restrained. It is the king of the sky. An unfettered golden-winged rock. It looked towards the platform. Thinking about erupting again. But a figure appeared on it. Followed by an attack. These attacks were not very damaging. But each attack contained the power of lightning and chaos sword intent. Making it unable to move anymore. This was Li Shiming's attack. When he discovered that the Golden Winged Dopeng had four space movement and appeared near the platform, he guessed that the Golden Winged Dopeng wanted to leave the Divine Beast Park. Although he didn't know the reason, since he figured out the idea of the Golden Winged Rock, he naturally wanted to destroy it. After being hit hard, the Golden Winged Rock was at its lowest point. It was impossible for him to use powerful spiritual treasures to attack. Doing so might directly kill the Golden Winged Rock. So he chose to use his bare hands and not use any magic weapon. His body was a 4th grade top quality magic weapon. Each of his punches was a fusion of lightning and sword intent. In order to prevent the recovery of the golden winged rock. The recovery ability of this kind of divine beast is unmatched by monks. The golden winged rock was blinded. And Li Shiming's fist attacks were in areas that were not fatal but easily stunned. The heavenly art gave Li Shiming an extremely powerful physical body. He rarely used physical attacks alone. Which made him feel a little too comfortable for a while. If it weren't for the reminder from his natal magic weapon Z-15, he would have almost killed the Golden Winged Rock. Although the Golden Winged Rock did not give in. As it fainted, Li Shiming sensed a force of regular fluctuations appearing in the space of the Divine Beast Garden. This power of regular fluctuations connected him with the Golden Winged Doping. And a roll of Ancient Contract Paper appeared in front of him. Looking at the familiar Ancient Contract Paper, there is another copy of the same Ancient Contract Paper in his soul crystal ring. It is obvious that the half-step powerful Yang Xing's thunder beast was contracted in the divine beast garden.
The content recorded on the ancient contract paper is the same as the previous ancient contract paper. The only difference is that the contract beast is a golden-winged rock. Just when he wanted to take a closer look at the divine beast garden, a repulsive force came from the space of the divine beast garden. And then, he was sent out of the divine beast garden by the spatial repulsion force. Next to him is the golden-winged rock who is still in a coma. This poor golden-winged rock still doesn't know that he has been contracted. However, the golden-winged Doping was born in the Divine Beast Park. As long as it is defeated by the monks in the Divine Beast Park, it voluntarily surrenders, or it loses the ability to move. It will be automatically contracted. The golden-winged Doping knew this. So after meeting the invincibly shimming, all it wanted to do was escape from the Divine Beast Park. Outside the Divine Beast Park, even if you die in battle, you will not become Li Shiming's contracted beast. Li Shiming felt the connection with the Golden Winged Doping. He smiled and waved his hand. An array of white light fell on the Golden Winged Doping. And then continuous white lights fell one after another. He was using the magical power of Innate Emu to treat the injuries of the Golden Winged Rock. Although the healing effect of his Innate Emu magical power is not as good as that of his clone Li Yuanba. That is only relative. As a healing magical power, as long as the life does not exceed his current realm, no matter how serious the injury is, it can be treated. The Golden Winged Rock was beaten very badly, but he soon woke up after being treated with the magical power of Innate Emu. It was still confused when it woke up. When it saw Li Shiming, it recognized that this was the human monk who attacked it. Before it could react, the power of the contract made it understand what happened. It looked like life was worse than death. Staring blankly at Li Shiming, when Li Shiming stretched out his hand, even if it was unwilling. The head was brought to Li Shiming's hand to facilitate Li Shiming's touch. Li Shiming can sense the thoughts of the Golden Winged Doping. With the ancient contract paper. There, there will be no problems with his relationship with the Golden Winged Doping. As for making Golden Winged Doping feel better, he is very experienced. He took out a late 4th grade advanced beast essence pill, which he had intercepted when he helped Wanfeng Palace refine the spirit pill. It is currently the highest level universal spirit beast spirit pill. Although the main spiritual pet in Luanthang Palace is the phoenix. There are only so many phoenixes. And a large part of the female cultivators are contracted other spiritual beasts with the blood of the phoenix clan. For this reason, Luanthang Palace has also developed corresponding spiritual elixirs. Corresponding to all spiritual beasts from low to high. The Golden Winged Doping is extremely intelligent. After Li Shiming took out the 4th grade late stage advanced beast Yuan Dan. Its eyes were fixed on the late grade 4th grade advanced beast Yuan Dan. It can sense that these late stage 4th grade beast essence pills are better than those elixirs and fruits it has eaten before. Whether he should bow his head or not. He didn't even hold on to the question for a second before he stretched out his head and asked for the late 4th grade advanced beast Yuan Dan. The golden winged Doping is indeed extremely proud. Even if the contract is successful, it still forcibly suppresses part of the power of the contract. But after it bowed its head, the effect of the ancient contract paper reached its extreme, and it completely recognized Li Shiming. Li Shiming brought the late fourth grade high level beast Yuan Dan to the mouth of Golden Winged Doping, and the Golden Winged Doping swallowed the late fourth level high level beast Yuan Dan in one gulp. Let's meet your friends! Li Shiming summoned Xiaofeng, Phantom Dragon, and Thunder Beast. He did not summon Heavenly Ghost. The existence of Heavenly Ghost was somewhat special, so he would introduce them to the Golden Winged Doping later. When Golden Winged Doping saw Xiaofeng and Phantom Dragon, he sensed the blood of Phoenix and Dragon clans in their bodies. And he had no objection to becoming Li Shiming's spiritual pet. The Dragon and Phoenix are of the same level as the Golden Winged Rock. But the strength of this Golden Winged Rock exceeds that of its kin. The owner Li Shiming has a Dragon and Phoenix spiritual pet. Which makes the Golden Winged Rock feel that he is not alone. Chapter 876 Goal The Golden Winged Rock was extremely excited when he saw the Thunder Beast. And the Thunder Beast also responded excitedly. The two mythical beasts communicated in their own way. And Li Shiming was able to understand the content of their communication through the contract. The Golden Winged Rock and the Thunder Beast were both born in the Divine Beast Garden. They have known each other for a long time and are friends with each other. Thunder Beast likes the Sea of Thunder and Lightning. But no other mythical beast likes it. Which makes Thunder Beast less likely to conflict with other mythical beasts. Okay. You can go to the cave and communicate slowly in the future. Gold Wings, can you take me to fly here? Li Shiming stopped their communication and asked. The Golden Winged Rock shook its head repeatedly. And through the connection of the contract, 
Li Shiming could sense its answer. Although the Golden Winged Rock will still not be restricted. All creatures outside the temple will trigger restrictions. Li Shiming just asked. He has already gained something. And now, he will explore in another direction. What he chose was the possible direction of the three great monks of the right path. Based on his understanding of the temple. If he really wants to explore completely independently, he doesn't know how long it will take before he can make some discoveries. And he has already used up nearly three days. And there is not much time left. The best way is to choose the direction where the three great monks of the right path are going. There must be a place like the Garden of Divine Beasts there. Having chosen his target, he immediately set off and headed into the distance. As for the Golden Winged Rock, he asked the Golden Winged Rock to fly over the three righteous monks from time to time to hinder the movement speed of the three righteous monks. You can't blame him. The Divine Beast Garden made him realize how extraordinary the opportunities in the temple were. The only pity was that because he moved too fast, he subdued the Golden Winged Daypok after encountering it, which cost him the opportunity to continue exploring the Divine Beast Park. In the Mythical Beast Garden, there were various mythical beasts. He only saw a phoenix from a distance. The strength of its natural bloodline could be judged by the appearance of that phoenix alone. Different from the Red Gold Phoenix. The real name of that phoenix is Phoenix. The Red Gold Phoenix belongs to a branch of the Phoenix Clan with a very rich bloodline. And the phoenix is the main bloodline of the Phoenix Clan. He shook his head and stopped thinking about the phoenix and other mythical beasts. Look around him. There is a phantom dragon, a red golden phoenix, a thunder beast, and a golden winged rock. With the four great beasts beside him. What else can he be dissatisfied with? In the world of immortality, only the core monks of superpowers have the opportunity to obtain one of these. Senior monk Shinze was very depressed. The golden winged rock would appear in the sky every few hours, which forced the three senior monks to stop and hide themselves many times. They were not moving very fast to begin with, so they became even slower. He was worried that if this continued, their plan would not be realized. After finally entering the temple, I finally left with only some resources for the great monks. How to explain to the sect? In order to send himself into the temple, the sect paid a high price. Damn the golden winged rock! The figure of the golden winged rock appeared again in the distant sky. He couldn't help but curse lightly, and the treasure mirror emitted light, shrouding himself and the two great monks beside him. Li Shiming shared the vision of the golden winged Doping. Master Shinzei's movements were indeed very fast, but Li Shiming could know their route. So with the help of the golden winged Doping's vision, he saw the disappearance of Master Shinzei. He did not let the golden winged rock attack the three righteous monks. Although the golden winged rock was very powerful, it was still very dangerous when facing three peak monks. If the three great monks of the righteous path ignore it, and want to kill the Golden Winged Rock first. The Golden Winged Rock will be in danger. All he needs is harassment, blocking the progress of the Great Monk Shinze, so that he can reach the unknown place of opportunity before the Great Monk Shinze. He first went to the Divine Beast Garden, and then moved towards the target from the Divine Beast Garden. The distance was further than that of the Great Monk Shinze. If he didn't use some means, even if he was moving faster, there would be no exploration left for him. Not much time either. If they really meet together, it will be difficult for him to compete with the three great monks without being able to take action against them. Two days later, three great monks from the demonic Tao appeared outside the wall of the Divine Beast Garden. They looked at the Divine Beast Garden with surprise in their eyes. It turned out to be so smooth. It seems that fate is still favoring us, Monk Lung Hong said excitedly. Along the way to the Divine Beast Park, the number of restricted areas was significantly reduced, which reduced the dangers they encountered. With their cooperation, they arrived at the Divine Beast Park in more than four days. You must know from past experience that the chance of being able to reach the Divine Beast Park is not high. The restrictions along the way will greatly limit the speed of progress. If you are unlucky, you may even be hit hard and die midway. Could it be that fellow Daoistly took this path? The great monk Zongjing thought of something and couldn't help but ask. Monk Lung Hong's expression changed, but he quickly reacted. So what if fellow Daoistly takes this path? Each great monk can only contract one divine beast in the divine beast garden. He can't stop us. Great monk Lung Hong shook his head and laughed. The fact that they were able to come to the divine beast garden so smoothly was indeed thanks to Li Shiming. The path Li Shiming took followed the faint road on the ground. And this kind of vague road is the best way to identify the temple. So the map in the hands of the three magic monks is also based on this vague road. Which makes the route between Li Shiming and the three magic monks different. Less overlap. 
with Li Shiming leading the way. Many restrictions were triggered in advance. The restrictions in the temple require time to recover their energy. If the restrictions are triggered within a short period of time, no more restrictions will appear around them. Are we coming together? Or are we going in separately? The great monk Chioji of Demon Cultivator, who had never said anything, asked in a deep voice. Let's all go together. Whoever subdues them in the end depends on their ability. Senior monk Lung Hong discussed with senior monk Zongjing and finally decided. When dealing with late stage fourth level mythical beasts, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, the combat power of both sides is about 50 to 50. However, the mythical beasts in the mythical beast garden are easier to master with powerful innate abilities, which makes them extremely powerful but also more difficult to deal with. To be sure, the best option is to first have a great monk contract a divine beast in a three-on-one manner, and then have a great monk contract a divine beast in a two-on-one manner. As for the last great monk, he is asking for more blessings. Yes, everyone depends on their ability. Great monk Chioji also nodded in agreement. The three demonic monks each have their own methods. Although they cannot cause harm, they can contain them. It just depends on whose method is stronger. This is also relatively fair. The fairness of demon cultivators. The three magic monks took out the jade tablets and placed them on the wall together. And the hidden gate appeared. They entered the divine beast garden through the gate and stood on the platform. Just when they entered the mythical beast garden and were considering how to choose a mythical beast, what they saw in front of them shocked them. I saw nine mythical beasts fighting each other near the platform. This was a rare sight. But the problem is that when the three great monks entered the gate and stood on the platform, the nine divine beasts immediately stopped fighting and looked at them. Although the platform is a safe zone, the mythical beasts will not attack them. But the wisdom of the divine beast is extremely high, and it is impossible for the three great monks to take advantage of another civil war. Being stared at by nine divine beasts, although they knew there was no problem with their safety, the three demonic monks still felt their whole bodies tense. What happened? Great monk Lung Hong couldn't help but said angrily. They worked so hard to come here just to make a contract with a divine beast. But looking at the nine divine beasts in front of them, let them make a contract. There are nine mythical beasts in front of them. So there is no need to search for and choose the mythical beasts. They can choose whatever they want. But the problem is that in order to contract with the divine beasts, they must defeat the divine beasts. Even if the three demon monks were twice as strong, they dare not say that they can face nine divine beasts at the same time. You need to be extra careful when fighting any mythical beast. The innate abilities possessed by mythical beasts are often fatal. Are we waiting here? The great monk Zongjing was also dumbfounded and asked softly to his companions. What's the use of waiting? Do you have to compete with these mythical beasts to be patient? Great monk Chioji asked helplessly. The lifespan of these mythical beasts confined in the mythical beast garden is extremely long. Perhaps this confrontation can last for a short time and years for the mythical beasts. But for the three great demon monks, it only lasts a few days. And they only have one chance to open the divine beast garden. And the chance has been used up. As long as they go out, they will no longer be able to enter the beast garden which puts them in a dilemma. What happened to them was naturally the result of Li Shiming. Of course, Li Shiming didn't know this, nor did he mean to do so. Li Shiming contracted with the Golden Winged Doping. The Golden Winged Doping is the strongest mythical beast in the Divine Beast Park and occupies the entrance and exit position. All the mythical beasts are not fools. So how could they not know that the Golden Winged Rock often sneaks out of the mythical beast garden? In addition, the Golden Winged Doping as the strongest mythical beast, has occupied the entrance and exit area for a long time, making all the mythical beasts think that the entrance and exit area has special significance. Just after the Golden Winged Doping was contracted away, some of the mythical beasts in the Mythical Beast Park began to compete for the status of the strongest mythical beast, which was reflected in actual actions by snatching ownership of the entrance and exit areas. It would be better if the three great monks from the Demonic Way came later. By then, the winner would be decided among the divine beasts. And they might even be able to encounter an injured divine beast. But they arrived at just the right time. The nine beasts had just started fighting. And their intrusion stopped the battle early. Monk Lang Hong looked at the nine divine beasts with great reluctance. Wondering if there was any way to snatch one of them. But no matter how you think about it. No matter how many methods you use. They are of no use when facing the nine divine beasts. Not to mention that the two demonic monks beside him are not of the same mind as him. Maybe if he really wants to take risks, the two demonic monks will easily stumble him. The other two great demon cultivators had the same idea. 
unwilling and helpless. I'm leaving first. There's no point in confronting me here. Senior Monk Chioji was the first to propose withdrawing. After he said this, he turned around and walked out of the door without any further hesitation. The absence of one great monk did not affect the nine divine beasts watching the remaining two great monks. The meaning of the nine divine beasts is obvious. They will not continue fighting until there are no human monks around. I'm leaving too. No matter how unwilling he was, the great monk Zongjing still turned around and said, The last one, the great monk Lung Hong, suppressed the unwillingness in his heart and walked out of the door. Outside the wall, the three demonic monks were together again, and the gate that appeared on the wall had disappeared. This situation should not happen, great monk Lung Hong said in a deep voice. The temple has not been opened once or twice, and there has never been such an abnormality. Could the previous golden winged rock be related to that? Great Monk Chioji thought of the golden winged rock that appeared in the sky many times and asked, I believe it is related to Li Shiming. Even if there is something abnormal about the golden winged rock, it should not happen that when we arrived at the mythical beast garden, nine mythical beasts gathered together. It should be that some monks did something to make the beasts gather together. There is chaos in the divine beast garden. The great monk Zongjing shook his head and expressed his judgment. Damn it! Li Shiming shouldn't have been allowed to leave first. Senior Monk Lung Hong agreed with Senior Monk Zongjing's judgment and said angrily, It's a pity that they are still in the temple. Even if they can find Li Shiming and have the existence of the contract, they can't do anything to Li Shiming. They had no choice but to move towards another backup target. But after being delayed for so long, they didn't know if they could catch up with the other target. This time, they did not choose the same route as Li Shiming. So they encountered the normal number of restrictions, which made their progress extremely slow. If Li Shiming calculated their forward speed at this time, he would find that the data he had previously obtained through drone satellite monitoring was very inaccurate. That was the speed at which the three demonic monks were following him. And their current speed is at least twice as slow as before. However, Li Shiming had no intention of paying attention to them. Li Shiming was now moving towards his set goal as quickly as possible. He released the great monk Luo Pei, as well as Xiao Feng and the Phantom Dragon. Xiao Feng and the Phantom Dragon helped him fight against the Forbidden Attack, while the Great Monk Luo Pei was responsible for collecting the resources of the Great Monks along the way. Brother Luo Pei is still in some danger, but he just wants to move forward faster and doesn't care about so much. Anyway, as long as the Great Monk Luo Pei doesn't die on the spot, he can be saved with the magical power of Innate Emu. Although the restrictions in the temple are strong, the Great Monk Luo Pei put on a set of defensive armor and turned the armor to the strongest defensive state. It has seven components, head armor, breast armor, left arm armor, right arm armor, half body armor. The left leg armor and the right leg armor are all connected to form Lingbao level armor. This armor was prepared by Li Shiming for the later Golden Corpse and is now used on the body of the Great Monk Luo Pei. Chapter 877 Secret Three days later, Li Shiming arrived at the location he guessed and found a more accurate target location through shared vision with the Golden Winged Doping. With the help of the Golden Winged Rock, it saved him a lot of trouble. The sky and the ground are full of restrictions. And the drone satellite he launched can only float above the sensational monument and cannot observe places too far away. After contracting with the Golden Winged Doping, the Golden Winged Doping can fly freely in the air without any restrictions. Allowing Li Shiming, who was relatively unfamiliar with the interior of the temple, to draw a relatively clear map, the Golden Winged Rock flies in a wide range of areas, and it does not fly to farther places. Even if there is something there, it is of no use, because Li Shiming cannot reach there within 10 days. Therefore, this map is only within the range that he can reach. In this area, there are four special places including the Divine Beast Park. What he is currently reaching is the target where the three righteous monks are preparing to go. The reason why we chose this target after having a relatively clear map was that the choice of the three righteous monks must be the most important. In addition, Li Shiming has determined that this temple has the function of automatically sending out the human monks inside when the time comes. Because the time had exceeded five days, neither the three demonic monks nor the three righteous monks made any move to return and were still moving forward. Li Shiming finally came to a wall. He had experience with this kind of wall. It was like a mythical beast park. He touched the teleportation ring on his finger to the wall, and a gate immediately appeared. Above the gate is a plaque that reads, Tianji Yuan. Tianji Garden. Tianji. Does Tianji exist here? Or what? Li Shiming looked at the words on the plaque and murmured to himself. He had communicated with the Golden Winged Duping. 
But the Golden Wing Dopeng didn't know anything about it except the Divine Beast Garden. The Golden Wing Daepok had a contractual relationship with him. And it was impossible to lie. This made it impossible for him to learn more about the information in the temple through the Golden Wing Dopeng. He used the teleportation ring to open the gate of Tianji Garden and walked in. Unlike the Divine Beast Garden, he stepped on the ground as soon as he entered. After a slight hesitation, he summoned the great monk Luo Pei, who was wearing Lingbao armor, and let him fly a certain distance. After the experiments of the great monk Luo Pei, there are no restrictions here, which makes Li Shiming feel relieved. That kind of area where there might be restrictions at every step made him feel depressed. Finally being able to fly freely made him feel better. After putting away the great monk Luo Pei, his figure left the ground and flew forward. Not far after flying out, he discovered a mountain peak that reached straight into the sky. He had not discovered this mountain peak before because it was too high. All he could see was the mountainside surrounded by clouds. For no reason, Li Shiming felt that this mountain peak was the center of this space. This feeling comes out of nowhere. But a monk's feeling never comes randomly. He flew to the top of the mountain. There were no buildings on the top of the mountain. And the only trace left by the monks was a stone futon. He fired several spells on the stone futon and then used his divine eye to check it and scanned it with his spiritual consciousness, but found nothing special about the stone futon. But the feeling in my heart is even stronger. This is the center of the entire Tianji garden. He used his shen eyes to look in all directions. He didn't know how big Tianji garden was. As he looked over, he could not see the end of any direction with his shen eyes. He thought for a moment, and then sat on the futon without sensing any danger. The moment he sat on the futon, a piece of information came into his mind, making him understand the role of Tianji Yuan. The Tianji Garden is a place that helps monks learn the secrets of heaven. The secrets here are special treasures bred in space, and they are also important materials for building the cave. Li Shiming now understood that the temple here was built to cultivate great power. Think about it. Look at what he has come into contact with now. A large number of great monk resources have been cultivated in the temple. This is to enable the great monks to improve their cultivation. The Divine Beast Garden he entered allowed the monks to contract suitable late-stage 4th grade Divine Beasts. Based on the behavior of the Thunder Beasts in the Thunder Cave, he guessed that such contracted late-stage 4th grade Divine Beasts could most likely be used. Promote the enhancement of the cave. Coupled with this Tianji Park, the whole thing is to create conditions for the great monks to be promoted to great power. Li Shiming followed the information given by the Stone Futon and began to communicate with Tianji Yuan through the Stone Futon under him. Even though Tianji Garden has no resources, the spiritual energy here is supplied to Tianji treasures. Tianji Garden was specially built to breed Tianji treasures. When he perceived the Tianji Garden through the stone futon, he discovered the existence of five Tianji treasures. According to the previous information, he needs to choose a secret treasure, and he will be sent out of the secret garden according to the rules here. However, he discovered a strange thing. When he locked on a secret treasure, the nascent soul in his body connected with the secret treasure. Once he confirmed it, the secret treasure would be obtained by him automatically. I have five nascent souls. If the nascent souls really lock down the secret treasure, then his eyes lit up when he thought of this. Although there are risks in doing so, it is very likely that he will not be able to obtain a secret treasure. But this is a fivefold return, and it's worth the risk. Not to mention that through the information obtained from the stone futon, there is no danger in Tianji Garden. Thinking of this, he asked the other four nascent souls to lock the other four secret treasures. After the five secret treasures were locked by the five nascent souls and connected with each other, he used the method obtained from the stone futon to collect the secret treasures. Then five rays of five color light flew from distant places in five directions and entered his body. Before he had time to observe, he only felt that his body was wrapped in space energy. And then he appeared outside Tianji Garden. Li Shiming stood there, feeling the situation inside his body. Next to the five nascent souls, there is an energy group each. And within the energy groups are five spiritual objects. After he perceived the five spiritual objects clearly, he found that these five spiritual objects turned out to be spiritual objects that he was very familiar with. He had obtained it before. Of course, this did not mean that the five spiritual objects were not precious. On the contrary, the five spiritual objects were no less valuable than the golden winged rock. These five secret treasures are the core objects of Dantian. Even though he has obtained them before, snatching the core objects of Dantian is equivalent to annihilating the vitality of the cave. If Dantian loses the core objects, it will enter the process of slow collapse. 
In the world of immortality, any cave is extremely precious. And even the caves owned by superpowers are very limited. As far as Li Shiming knows, many of the caves owned by great powers were not built by the great powers themselves, but were inherited from superpowers. Under normal circumstances, only when the previous great master dies can the inheritance cave be handed over to a new great monk, who can then be promoted to great power through secret methods. However, this path is not safe, although the probability of being promoted to a powerful person is many times higher than normal. For the sake of insurance, various forces will still use the normal promotion process as the main method. When the power of this force reaches the limit of lifespan, a half-step power will be selected from these normally promoted half-step power, and he will directly become a real power through inheritance and inheritance. Of course, this secret method is only in the hands of super forces. Even if other forces have caves, they cannot achieve great power through inheriting caves. Even Li Shiming suspected that the inheritance cave suitable for promotion to a great power must have some special conditions. The five heavenly secret treasures happen to have the attributes of the five elements of metal. Wood, water, fire, and earth. I don't know if the heavenly secret garden only gave birth to five elements of heavenly secret treasures. Or whether this time, it gave birth to five elements of heavenly secret treasures. In addition, he also discovered that these five heavenly treasures exist in a special way and are in a semi-energy state, so they can be preserved in his body. There was not much time left. So he chose a direction and began to focus on collecting the resources of the great monks. As for the other two targets, he could not explore them without time. He waited until the time was up and was sent out by the temple. On the last day of ten days, the three righteous monks Shinze, Ji Chuang and Liao Yi finally arrived at the target, which is Tianji Garden. The three righteous monks are now in an extremely embarrassed state, with more or less injuries on their bodies. Their robes are also somewhat torn. If you look at their soul crystal rings, you will find that most of their magic weapons are also damaged. Among them, the great monk Shinze even suffered some damage to his own magic weapon. We're finally here, senior brother Shinze said in a hoarse voice. His voice was full of excitement, and he couldn't help but be excited. He had sacrificed too much to get here within the scheduled time. Fortunately, in the next few days, the golden-winged rock no longer appeared, which allowed the three righteous monks to go on their way with all their strength. In order to make up for the wasted time, they not only accelerated their progress, but also did not even collect the resources of the great monks. Although the resources of the great monks are indeed important, compared with the opportunities they can obtain, the resources of the great monks are nothing. In order to get the chance, they consumed more spiritual power along the way and used their portable magic weapons to resist forbidden attacks. This kind of accelerated behavior brings multiple dangers. Each of their great monks has consumed several life-preserving jade talismans. These life-preserving jade talismans are all made by powerful people, and the value of each one is unimaginable in the world of immortality. Not to mention the remaining fourth-grade magic weapons. With some luck, they arrived at Tianji Garden alive within the specified time. There is no need to fight in the Tianji Garden. Let's replenish our energy and open the Tianji Garden immediately. Senior Monk Ji Chuang took out a spiritual pill and drank it before saying, Before going in, we have to decide who will receive the secret treasure first. Senior Monk Liao Yi also took a spiritual pill. And then he said in a deep voice, I don't know how many secret treasures the Tianji Garden has given birth to this year. Three secret treasures were given birth to in the last round. I think there should be more this time. At least we can ensure that we have one each. I major in water attributes and should be with you. No conflict. If there are water attribute secret treasures, I will collect them. If not, I will not collect the fire attribute secret treasures. How about you let me come first? Senior Monk Shinze looked at the other two senior monks and said slowly. If it hadn't been for Li Shiming's accident that made them sign a contract they would have already decided on the order of collecting the treasures. Senior Monk Shinze has an advantage. That is, there is no conflict between him and the other two senior monks. He is a great monk of the water element, and the other two great monks are both great monks of the fire element. He said what he meant, and it was up to the other two great monks to decide. I agree with fellow Daoist Shin to collect the secret treasures first. As for Daoist fellow G and I, we still have to resolve the contract battle before we can decide. Great Monk Liao Yi thought for a while and said in a deep voice, Although there is a contract, fighting will not break the contract as long as both parties agree. It's not easy to get both parties to agree to fight against the contract. This situation does not mean that the contract is gone. 
but it just means that the battle between the two great monks involved will not be affected by the contract. Fellow Daoist Liao, I will give you all the resources I have harvested this time. How about giving me a second chance? Great Monk Ji Chuang frowned slightly. His condition was not suitable for fighting. So he suggested, Then why don't I give you all the gains this time? And you give me the second chance. Great Monk Liao, he couldn't help shaking his head and laughing. No matter how precious the resources of the great monks are, they can still be obtained outside. And the secret treasures are extremely rare outside. Perhaps even rare in thousands of years. And the secret treasure is a necessary resource for promotion to great power. If you give up the opportunity this time, you don't know how long it will be before you can get the secret treasure next time. Or you may not even have the chance in your lifetime. It seems that we really need a battle. Great Monk Ji Chuang said with a sigh. You guys wait a minute. I'll go in first to collect the secret treasures. And then I'll come out and be a notary for you. Senior brother Shen Zai saw that these two senior monks were about to take action. And he said quickly, he didn't want them to do it now. At least not until he collected the secret treasure. The two great monks didn't know how much time it would take to do this. They already spent too much time coming to Tianji Garden. And there was not much time left for them to enter Tianji Garden. Fellow Daoist Shen, go ahead. We'll wait. Although Brother Shinzei's proposal was a bit excessive, considering that both parties wanted to win Brother Shinzei's support, the two monks pinched their noses and agreed. Senior Monk Shinzei expressed his gratitude to the two senior monks, immediately took out the jade token, opened the door and walked in. The two great monks looked at each other, fearing that the other would enter the Tianji Garden first. They had both terminated the contract at this time and could attack each other. Chapter 878 Leaving Senior Monk Shinze is sitting on the stone futon. He does not need to receive the information from the stone futon. This information has been passed down in his sect for a long time. He was familiar with the way and put his mind into the stone futon, using secret methods to guide his mind to perceive Tianji Garden. What's going on? There was no secret treasure in his perception. He couldn't believe it. Although in history, the temple had given birth to very few secret treasures, and even once only gave birth to one secret treasure. But there has never been a case where a Tianji treasure has not been conceived. Looking at the resources outside, it shows that there are no problems with the operation of the temple. So how could Tianji Garden not be able to breed after hundreds of years of rest? Secret treasure. Under the normal environment of the world of immortality, it would probably take tens of millions of years for Tianji treasures to be conceived. But Tianji Garden is a special space that has withstood the test of time. Senior brother Shinzei recovered his mind stood up from the stone futon, walked around the stone futon several times, and inspected it carefully, but found nothing wrong. In fact, he couldn't tell anything. He just compared the situation of the stone futon with the sex records. He finally sat on the stone futon again, unwilling to put his mind into the stone futon under him again, and began another round of guiding the secret method. Poof! A mouthful of blood spurted out from his mouth. This was because he was so angry that his confusion caused internal injuries. The two great monks Ji Chuang and Liao Yi were waiting anxiously. They found that the entry time of the great monk Shen Zhe was a bit long, exceeding the normal time. This made them think about it. If they hadn't known that a great monk in the Tianji Garden only had one chance to collect the Tianji treasure, they would have suspected that the great monk Shen Zhe wanted to monopolize the Tianji treasure. Just as they were thinking about it, they saw great monk Shen Zhe coming out. It's just that at this time. The great monk Shen Zhe seemed to have lost his energy and spirit, and the already somewhat torn robes on his body were stained with a lot of blood. Fellow Daoist Shen, what's going on? Senior monk Ji Chuang asked in shock. He remembered that there was no danger in Tianji Garden. How could it be like this after how long it had been since senior monk Shen Zhe had been in the garden? You two don't need to argue anymore. This time the Tianji Garden did not produce any Tianji treasure. Senior monk Shen Zhe replied bitterly. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. The two great monks stopped arguing at this time. They said in unison. They also knew that the possibility of senior monk Shen Zhe lying was extremely low. And after obtaining the secret treasure from the secret garden, there will be an aura of the secret treasure that cannot be hidden. At least it cannot be eliminated in a short period of time. There is no breath of heavenly treasure on the body of the great monk Shen Zhe, which means that the great monk Shen Zhe returned empty-handed. The two great monks no longer had any quarrel. They took out their jade tokens, opened the door, and entered the Tianji Garden. Senior Monk Shen Zhe was sitting on the ground. At this time, his state of mind was greatly impacted. In order to enter the temple this time, 
Both the sect and himself had paid too much for it. But the harvest is only the resources of the great monks. And most of these resources of the great monks have to be handed over to the sect. This is also the reward for the sect to fight for the resources to enter the temple for him. No! Someone must have gotten there first! He suddenly shouted. The Tianji Garden cannot be empty. So there must be a great monk who obtained the Tianji treasure first and took away the opportunity that belonged to him. It is very likely that the Tianji Garden only gave birth to one Tianji treasure. And this Tianji treasure was obtained by the great monk who entered first. Which made him unable to detect the existence of the Tianji treasure. As for this great monk who was the first to arrive, the biggest suspect was the mysteriously shimming. This time before entering, they had a battle with the three great monks from the demonic path. They got the opportunity to go to Tianji Garden, while the three great monks from the demonic path chose the Divine Beast Garden. It cannot be said that the Tianji Garden is more important than the Divine Beast Garden. The Tianji Garden is the foundation for establishing Dong Tian. And once the Divine Beast Garden contracts a suitable Divine Beast, it will make the growth of Dong Tian more stable. There are many half-step powers. But very few can actually grow up. The divine beast that matches oneself will increase the chance of successfully being promoted to a power. But for the peak monks, if there is no secret treasure, there is no first step foundation, then everything that follows is not important. The three great monks of the demonic path went in another direction. And their own side was the first to go. Although they were later harassed by the golden winged doping. If the three great monks of the demonic path wanted to turn around midway, they would also be harassed by the golden wing doping. Peng's influence. The only uncertainty was Li Shiming, who was three hours ahead of them all. Li Shiming, you and I are at odds with each other. Master Shinze murmured after thinking clearly about the cause and effect. Stealing an opportunity is a big enemy in the world of immortality, especially if it affects the opportunity for a great monk to advance to a great power. It is a deadly enemy. Brother Ji Chuang and Brother Liao Yi came to the stone futon while arguing. They had thought about sitting on the stone futon first. But when they actually arrived, they declined. They were afraid of having their hopes dashed. The monk who sat down on the stone futon first was the monk whose hopes were dashed first. In the end, senior monk Ji Chuang still sat on the stone futon. When his mind entered the stone futon and performed the secret guidance method, like senior monk Shen Zhe, he could not help but spurt out a mouthful of blood. Disappointment made him a little sluggish. And he slowly stood up. Seeing his appearance, Brother Liao Yi didn't even think of asking. Monk Liao Yi sat on the stone futon with an ugly expression. He did not vomit blood. But the aura on his body had obviously declined a lot. This was no less serious than vomiting blood and anger. They left the Tianji Garden in despair and saw the crazy-eyed monk Shen Zhe. It's Li Shiming! He must have robbed us of the opportunity! Senior brother Shen Zhe expressed his judgment as soon as he saw the two senior monks. After his reminder, the two great monks thought about it and figured out what happened in the temple. Indeed, the only one who could possibly seize the opportunity first was Li Shiming. And only Li Shiming had the opportunity to do so. Their unwillingness and anger all found an outlet. And they turned everything into hatred for Li Shiming. It's a pity that this is inside the temple. Even if they can find Li Shiming, they can't do anything to Li Shiming. Little did Li Shiming know that during his exploration of the temple, he would form mortal enemies with all six great monks at the peak of good and evil. He is still exploring at the moment, collecting the resources of the great monk in a happy mood. After leaving the temple, there are not so many great monk resources elsewhere. The great monk resources he has collected in these ten days have almost exceeded his decades of refining great monk elixirs for all the superpowers and great monks in the world of immortality. Great monk resources. The only troublesome thing is that he needs to keep fighting. Fortunately, he has five nascent souls. And the spiritual power consumed in fighting is still within a controllable range. Compared with other great monks. Although he is exploring alone and needs to cast multiple thunder spells at the same time every time to resist the forbidden attack. Each of his thunder spells has been blessed by the God's Night Thunderbead. Which makes the actual consumption of each of his lightning spells not high. Ten days are counting down. Just when he was about to explore further, the natal magic weapon Z15 gave a reminder. He adjusted his condition, took back the great monk Luo Pei and his two spiritual pets. And after thinking about it, he took a high-level elixir for restoring spiritual power. Standing still, waiting for the final moment to come. At the moment when the countdown of Z15 reached zero, he felt a strong repulsive force between heaven and earth. And he was forcibly squeezed out by this side of heaven and earth. Li Shiming's figure appeared in the air, 
and his five nascent souls were like dew after a long drought, greedily absorbing the spiritual energy in the void. And even his physical body was absorbing the spiritual energy. This is a situation that occurs once the external spiritual energy can be absorbed by the body, when the energy in the body can only go out for ten days in the temple. Feeling the state inside his body, he allowed his body to absorb the spiritual energy, although it has not been converted by that heavenly art. These spiritual energy does not really have much effect. But it is enough to reduce the body's sense of lack of spiritual energy that has been isolated for a long time. He felt the teleportation ring on his finger and found that the original spatial coordinates appeared again. But this space coordinate was in a dark state. Even if the space energy in the teleportation ring was sufficient, this spatial coordinate could not be activated. Li Shiming guessed that this should be the reason for the closure of the temple. He could only say that he was lucky. The temple was in the stage of recovering energy. And even with a teleportation ring, it was impossible to teleport into the temple. Just like the current situation, the temple has just been closed and is being readjusted internally. Maybe after waiting for hundreds of years, he can enter the temple in advance without the temple opening. But by that time, he will most likely not need to enter the temple anymore. Li Shiming didn't know that the teleportation ring in his hand was an extremely special token. Like the tokens of the other six peak monks, they would be automatically taken back after leaving the temple, waiting to be released in some way next time. It seems that all the fellow Taoists have come out. Li Shiming was feeling the changes in his body, but he found the auras of many peak monks coming from the distance. He didn't know what happened in the temple since he explored it. He was very happy to meet six peak monks again. The great monk Lung Hong was also sent out by the temple. After stabilizing his breath, he discovered that the two demonic monks with him were not far away from him. The three of them were originally together, and their location was not far away after they were sent out of the temple. He flew towards the two great monks, according to the experience of his predecessors. At this time, they should run away separately and not stay where they were, let alone say H, low to the other great monks. But this time, the temple trip was different. Apart from the resources of the great monk, he got nothing. They are all peak monks, and their need for the resources of the monks is not urgent. The possibility of risking one's life for the resources of the monks is extremely low. In addition, the reason why he wanted to contact the two magic monks was to join forces to find Li Shiming. In their judgment, it was Li Shiming who contracted the Divine Beast first, causing chaos in the Divine Beast Park and causing them to lose the contracted Divine Beast. Opportunity. As demonic cultivators, if they do not avenge themselves, their state of mind will be affected even if they now have all the conditions to be promoted to great power. As long as this hatred is not resolved, they will not be able to calm down and be promoted to great power. Fellow Daoist Zong, Fellow Daoist Chiu, How about joining forces to finally shimming? Monk Lung Hong asked aloud. The two demonic monks agreed to his request without any hesitation. Their purpose in this regard was the same. They also knew that with Li Shimming's mystery, if they really didn't find Li Shimming at this time, the possibility of finding Li Shiming again in the future would be very low. Hey, the aura over there is the aura of a secret treasure. It's such a strong aura of a secret treasure. What kind of secret treasure did you get to have such a strong aura? Great Monk Chioji suddenly sniffed fiercely. He has refined the secret method of perception and is far superior to the other two great monks in terms of perception. Grab a sum first, and then go to Li Shiming. No need to say more. Great Monk Lung Hong and Great Monk Zongjing said in unison. Their eyes were extremely hot, and they did not expect that any of the Great Monks of the Righteous Path would not escape immediately after obtaining the secret treasure, but instead stayed where they were. Isn't this looking for robbery? Compared with Li Shiming's hatred, this secret treasure is more important. The three demonic monks reached an agreement instantly, and they flew in the direction of Li Shiming. On the other side, Great Monk Shenzhe and two other great monks of the Righteous Path also appeared in a relatively small area, and they did not dare to join together. They were all seriously injured. Their strength was not at its peak, and they carried great monk resources that could make many great monks' hearts flutter, even though there were no other great monks in the area where they appeared. As long as they stayed here for a while, some great monks would come over. Every time the temple opens, there will be some great monks who cannot enter the temple, wandering around the outer area of the temple just to find the peak monks who have left the temple, and snatch the resources and treasures brought by the peak monks. Although the combat power of the peak monks is extremely strong, after 10 days of consumption in the temple, their combat power is no longer enough. In addition, these monks form a team of many people, 
and together they can still fight against the peak monks. Of course, if the peak monk is lucky, he may encounter a team of great monks sent by his family to greet them, and then he will be directly safe. But the best option is to escape immediately and find a safe place by yourself, or return to the sect. Just when the three righteous monks were preparing to escape, they sensed the breath of the secret treasure through their own methods, which stopped their preparations to leave. They looked towards the direction from which the breath of Tianji treasure came, and hesitation flashed in their eyes. Chapter 879 Demonic Way In the end, greed of the three righteous monks trumped caution. They reached a consensus in a short period of time and decided to go together to snatch the secret treasure. When they looked for the direction of the Tianji treasure's aura, they saw three demonic monks and Li Shiming confronting each other. They stopped in the distance, preparing to wait until the two parties clashed first, so that they could more easily obtain the Tianji treasure. They are all injured and their combat power is limited. In the current state, they cannot directly fight with the three peak monks and Li Shiming. They also know Li Shiming's strength. Even if the three peak monks are three against one, they cannot defeat Li Shiming without paying the price. When the three demon monks and Li Shiming decide the winner, even if they are injured, they will have a chance to make a profit. Three great demon cultivators suddenly appeared and sealed his surroundings in a triangular direction, which surprised Li Shiming. The great monks at the peak of demonic cultivation may not have the ability to move in space like Shinzu Tong, but they still have some special methods for short distances. Just like now, Li Shiming is waiting on the spot, preparing to get to know the top monks who are going on the adventure together. When he was outside the temple, he realized that this place was not in the world of immortality he knew. He is on an ocean. There is no difference anywhere in the ocean. But the spiritual energy here is different from the original spiritual energy in the world of immortality. After reaching the realm of Great Monk, his sensitivity to spiritual energy has increased a lot. Although spiritual energy has different degrees of richness, spiritual energy has its own characteristics. Just like the spiritual energy in one cave, whether it is rich or not, is different from the spiritual energy in another cave. Li Shiming just felt it carefully and discovered the difference in the aura here. He knew that he should have arrived in an unknown place where monks lived. Considering that he might stay in this world for 20 years, if he wanted to explore this world, he would need to get to know some local indigenous monks. The six peak monks who fought with him in the temple are the best opportunities for friendship. But he didn't consider how much trouble the Divine Beast Garden and Tianji Garden he had inadvertently explored brought to the other six peak monks. So when he wanted to make friends with other top monks, the three demonic monks used secret techniques to surround him. The combat power of the three great demon monks did not decrease much. As soon as they appeared, they exerted their strongest combat power. A precious fan appeared in the hands of the great monk Lung Hong. He fanned it towards Li Shiming. And a cold wind blew towards Li Shiming. The body of the great monk Zongjing separated from Bai Gu again. This time, there was a bone sword in his physical hand. Bai Gu also had a bone sword in his hand. Bai Gu held the bone sword and rushed towards Li Shiming, while his physical body waved the bone sword. A white mist formed to block the side. The great monk Chioji took out a jade flute, stood in the void, and blew a tune to the jade flute. The cold wind, sword-wielding bones, and sonic attacks were all attacks at the peak monk level, attacking Li Shiming from three sides. As a demon cultivator, if any of the three attacks hits Li Shiming, the consequences will be extremely serious. How could Li Shiming be hit by them? Although his defense was strong, he still had to be careful against attacks from peak monks. He chose South close to the end of the world and escaped from the siege of three great demon cultivators. For a great monk who has mastered the means of spatial movement, enveloping him is a joke. Li Shiming's body appeared with a wave of his hand. The Sky Strike Thunder Hammer combined with a Chishao Thunder Bead fired 15 lightning techniques which were controlled by 15 brains and locked onto three demon cultivators. The three demon cultivators were very surprised that Li Shiming escaped easily, and he escaped with the help of space magic. Their mistake caused them to lose the opportunity. When Li Shiming's lightning technique struck, they could only defend passively. The treasure fan flapped continuously, and a stream of cold wind blocked the body of the great monk Lung Hong. The white bones of the great monk Zongjing moved at an extremely terrifying speed. They were rushing towards Li Shiming a moment ago. After Li Shiming disappeared and reappeared, almost in an instant, the white bones returned to the body of the great monk Zongjing, blocking the lightning technique. S attack. The defensive methods of the great monk Chioji were more normal. He took out a gauze scarf, and the gauze scarf flew above his head to block the attack of lightning technique. 
Li Shiming was secretly frightened. He had already discovered that there were three righteous monks in the distance. He mobilized fifteen brains to launch an attack. But he could not gain much advantage. Little did he know that the top monks of these powerful sects had already mastered the methods of dealing with Lei Xiu or other powerful warriors. This is the experience accumulated by the sect's seniors for countless years. In addition, the monks who can elevate their realm to the peak of the great monks have extremely rich combat experience and have experience in fighting against Lei Xiu. Li Shiming didn't plan to delay any longer. Once the six peak monks joined forces, he would have no choice but to escape. There are not many methods he can use at this time. Especially the existence of Lingbao cannot be exposed. If the existence of Lingyu was exposed in such an unfamiliar place, he would have to live in hiding in the cave of heaven and earth for the next 20 years. In addition, he is a little worried that the number of powerful people in this world of immortality exceeds that of the previous world. Even if he hides in the cave of heaven and man, he may not be safe. Since these peak monks are unwilling to make friends with him, then get some information from them. He is an expert in this area. If you kill the monk, you can get everything he has. The Traceless Illusion Sword was released by him. And he used Close to the End again, changed his position, and then launched another round of Lightning Technique attacks. It's just that this time the Lightning Technique attack. The number of Lightning Techniques received by each great monk has doubled. The face of the great monk Lung Hong became extremely ugly. He had already felt the pressure. The ten lightning techniques forced him to take out the defensive magic weapon to help strengthen his defense. And he invoked the defensive secret method to strengthen the defensive power of the defensive magic weapon by doubling the consumption of spiritual power. He discovered that it was not just him. But the other two great demon cultivators were also like him. The ten lightning techniques made them miserable once or twice more. They will be unable to resist and will either escape or be seriously injured. What makes them most helpless is Li Shiming's flexibility. Shin Tong makes Li Shiming almost invincible. Without limiting Shin Tong's spatial movement ability, Li Shiming doesn't have to worry about his own threats. As long as he keeps attacking, if they had known that Li Shiming had mastered the magical power, they would never have fought Li Shiming like this. Or even approached Li Shiming. We are gathered together. We can't let him defeat us individually, he shouted loudly. His proposal did not receive much recognition. The great monk Chioji had long since given up hope of fighting, and a retreat flashed in his eyes. As for the great monk of Zongjing, he will not let other great monks of demon cultivation get close to his body when he is performing the white bone art. The demon sect he belongs to is called White Bone Sect. The strongest one is the refining of white bones. A body of white bones has been quenched with massive resources, and is almost equivalent to a top-level fourth-grade magic weapon. Plus, the connection between the white bones and him is like no other. The material magic weapon is comparable. When he performed the white bone art, he lost the bones in his body and was at the weakest point in his physical body. There is not much trust between the demon cultivators, especially since the contract in the temple has long since expired. Although they are still enemies of Li Shiming at this time, it is not surprising at all what they do to each other. Seeing that no one responded to his proposal, the great monk Lang Hong couldn't help but shook his head in disappointment. His mind moved slightly, and a powerful jade talisman appeared in his hand. He was about to activate the powerful jade talisman to escape. At the same time, the great monk Chioji also took out the powerful jade talisman, and his purpose was the same. They all know one thing very well. When fighting against a great monk like Li Shiming who has the ability to move through space, it is impossible to withdraw from the battle in the normal way without having an advantage. Only by using the powerful jade talisman can we hope to escape from Li Shiming. The great monk Zongjing did not use the powerful jade talisman. He had more confidence in his white bones, which caught his body in a flash. The three great demon cultivators all decided to retreat from the battlefield. And Li Shiming naturally knew this. Just when the great monk Lang Hong was about to activate the powerful jade talisman, a flying sword appeared in the void. This is the Traceless Illusion Sword and the Traceless Illusion Sword emerges from invisibility and only appears when it hits the target when attacking. The movement of the great monk Lang Hong activating the powerful jade talisman stalled. He looked at his body in disbelief. A penetrating wound appeared on his body, the kind that could be seen from the front to the back. In an instant, his body and nascent soul were all eroded by the chaos sword intent. With his cultivation level, he would not have been defeated so quickly. But Li Shiming's ten lightning techniques had almost broken down his defense. He planned to use the powerful jade talisman, 
so he did not add any more defensive means. This is a kind of self-confidence. Confidence that even if Li Shiming launches an attack, he will still be able to activate the powerful Jade Talisman to escape before the attack comes. The Traceless Illusion Sword is an extremely weird attack method. It flies to the side of the Great Monk Lung Hong, waiting for the moment when the Great Monk Lung Hong relaxes and kills with one sword. Although today's Li Shiming is not as good as the Peak Monks in terms of realm, in terms of the attack power of the Sword Cultivator, he is truly at the Peak Monk level. This sword attack, which was almost a sneak attack, wiped out the vitality of the Great Monk Lung Hong, and also shocked the two evil monks, as well as the three righteous monks further away. The Great Monk Chioji didn't hesitate at all. The powerful jade talisman in his hand was activated with a sudden movement of his mind, and his figure turned into a stream of light and went towards the distance. Li Shiming ignored the escape of the great monk Chioji. After the opponent activated the powerful jade talisman, he was no longer sure of killing the opponent. Instead of chasing the great monk Chioji who used the powerful jade talisman, it would be better to choose the confident great monk Zongjing. His figure disappeared in a flash, and he used South close to the end of the world extremely flexibly. He appeared next to the great monk Zongjing, with a fourth grade sword base in his hand. Bai Gu waved the bone sword in his hand and struck Li Shiming with a sword. Li Shiming couldn't help but marvel at the strong fighting consciousness of this white bone. He didn't know how it was refined. The white bone's attack speed was very fast. The bone sword arrived almost as soon as he appeared. However, facing a melee swordsman with melee abilities competing in close swordsmanship, Bai Gu's combat awareness could not fill the gap. Li Shiming's fourth grade sword base gently lifted, drawing away the bone sword in Bai Gu's hand. After the great monk Zongjing discovered that the bones were not blocking Li Shiming, a stern look flashed in his eyes, and he intended to activate a life saving secret method. But before his life saving secret technique could be activated, the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer on Li Shiming's head was activated at the right time. Ten lightning techniques were activated at the same time. At such a close distance, and with Li Shiming breaking through the defense of the bones, the ten lightning bolts hit the body of the great monk Zongjing without any obstruction. The great monk Zongjing let out a miserable howl. Even as a peak great monk, the terrible thunder and lightning not only severely damaged his physical body and nascent soul, but also put him into a state of paralysis. In the flash of lightning, Li Shiming rushed close to the great monk Zongjing. The residual power of the thunder and lightning had no impact on him. He stabbed out with his sword, and the fourth grade sword base in his hand sank into the body of the great monk Zongjing. At the same time, Chaos Sword Intent was also sent into his body. In a short period of time, two great monks at the pinnacle of the demonic path died, and great monk Shinze and the three of them only felt chills all over their bodies. They never expected that the war situation would not develop as they expected. The three powerful peak monks are in the hands of Li Shiming, as if Li Shiming is the peak monk and the three demonic monks are just entering the realm of great monks. They quickly realized, weren't they seeking death by staying here? Then they discovered to their embarrassment that the powerful jade talismans on their bodies had been used up, and now they were unable to use any other more effective way to leave except flying. You can't blame them. In order to get to Tianji Garden as soon as possible, they used all means and used all the powerful jade talismans on their bodies, which caused the injuries on their bodies. Li Shiming's consciousness swept over the two corpses, including the bones that stood still. He put away the corpses and bones and looked at the trophies when he had time. He needed to deal with the three righteous monks on the other side first. Before, he planned to use more peaceful means to deal with the relationship between them. But what awaited him was the strong hostility towards him from the great monk of Jingma. Needless to say, the three demonic monks used siege methods to prevent him from leaving. Although the three righteous monks were just spectators, Li Shiming's perception ability was so strong then he could feel the hostility of the three righteous monks towards him. Now that it has reached this point, how could he let his enemy leave? Anyway, this is a strange place. So he no longer has many scruples when it comes to killing. Chapter 880 Righteous Way We can't escape. Send out a signal and ask for support from our respective sections. Let's unite together and delay time to protect ourselves. Senior Monk Shinze saw Li Shiming collecting the spoils and looked towards his side. He asked the two righteous masters the monk preached. They all saw how the great monk Zongjing was killed before. The white bones of the great monk of the Zongjing, which is also the white bone art of the white bone sect, moved much faster than the flying speed of the peak monk. However, even with such a moving speed, 
Li Shiming easily caught up and killed him. With their injured bodies, the possibility of the three righteous monks using their flying speed to escape from Li Shiming's hands was too low. Rather than being separated and easily killed by Li Shiming one by one, it is more practical to unite together to defend against Li Shiming's attack and wait for rescue to arrive. They believed that they could not trust each other like the great monks of the magic way. After they reached an agreement, they immediately stuck together. The three righteous monks did not escape, but gathered together, which surprised Li Shiming. This made him not so anxious to launch an attack. Instead, he observed the three righteous monks at one place and decided what to do next through Z15's analysis. Great monk Shinze released his treasure realm, and a wave of water spread out from the realm, wrapping the three great monks and forming a defensive shield. Brother Liao Yi took out a chessboard, but a corner of the chessboard was broken, making the chessboard look tattered. There is no way. His experience in the temple caused damage to his natal magic weapon. Although the natal magic weapon can recover itself by absorbing energy in the body. Due to the short time, this natal magic weapon is not much repaired compared to before. In order to enhance the defense of this damaged magic weapon, he took out two more boxes of black and white chess pieces. There was a flash of light on the chessboard, and the chessboard appeared in the void as a glowing chessboard illusion. And then two boxes of black and white chess pieces flew onto the chessboard illusion. The moment the chess piece landed on the illusion of the chessboard, a solid palace was formed around the three righteous monks, protecting them within it. Another great monk, Ji Chuang, let his Yuanning fly out. The Yuanning held a small fiery red flying sword in his hand. Purple clouds were hovering around the body of the Yuanning, and an invisible force suppressed it. A fiery force acted on the fiery red flying sword. The three righteous monks prepared their defenses and waited for Li Shiming's attack. What a waste! Li Shiming looked at the black and white chess pieces on the chessboard and shook his head. Each of the black and white chess pieces is made of the top quality black and white jade of the fourth grade. And these black and white chess pieces were not made in the past few thousand years. According to his observation, they have been nurtured in a super formation for at least thousands of years. Using the formation energy in the super formation, the black and white chess pieces are transformed into the most top level formation base. And it is also the kind of formation base that can change its function at will, making it the base for most formations. Even Li Shiming did not have formation materials of such quality in his hands. And even the 108 Buddhist beads lacked the cultivation process of thousands of years. For the formation master, this gap will greatly affect the quality of the formation. If these black and white chess pieces were in Li Shiming's hands, he could arrange a formation that could withstand the peak monk for a period of time. If you have strong spiritual veins, you can even lay out a formation that is partially as powerful as a superpower formation. As for the formation methods of the great monk Liao Yi, Li Shiming was not impressed. Through the scanning of Z15, especially the formations arranged by the great monk Liao Yi during the battle, the entire formation process was presented in front of Li Shiming's eyes. Such formation methods may not be of any use to a monk who is proficient in formations. But doing this in front of Li Shiming is equivalent to sending the formation map in front of him. Z15 analyzed the formation extremely thoroughly, and there was no secret to him in this formation. Under the protection of the water curtain of the treasure mirror and the formation palace, the flying sword of the great monk Ji Chuang was ready to go. This was originally a very threatening attack. Unfortunately, with Li Shiming's spiritual eyes, senior monk Liao Yi's formation could not block his sight, and the water curtain shield was also penetrated by supernatural eyes, which allowed him to see senior monk Ji Chuang's flying sword. The flying sword of this great monk Ji Chuang was in a wonderful state, giving Li Shiming a feeling of an arrow on the string. He was almost certain that once he showed a slight flaw in his attack, the great monk Ji Chuang would launch a flying sword attack. Li Shiming smiled coldly. He had mobilized 40 brains this time, and he was not going to delay it any longer. Judging from the full defense of the three righteous monks, they were waiting for rescue. 40 brains cast. Thunder cloud technique! At the same time, this is a ranged lightning attack spell. In addition to the long preparation time, it is the first choice among thunder spells in terms of attack power and range. Great Monk Shinze mobilized the spiritual power in his body and continuously added it to the treasure mirror, strengthening the water curtain shield. When he saw the thunder clouds in the sky, he immediately recognized them as Lei Xiu's. Thunder cloud technique! Lei Xiu's normal attack methods are very single. The single attack is lightning technique, and the group attack is Thunder cloud technique. Although there are some other thunder techniques, most Lei Xiao normally only use these two types of lightning techniques. Will suffice. 
the best way to deal with thundercloud technique is to immediately use speed to get out of the attack range of thundercloud technique. But the three righteous monks had established the strongest defense. At this time, it was too late to retreat. Even if they had time, they would not dare to retreat. Once they retreated, the defense system they had painstakingly established would disappear on its own, and they would no longer be able to withstand Li Shiming's attacks. Attack! Fellow Daoist Ji, join in the defense together, senior brother Shen Zhe said to senior monk Ji Chuang. Originally, senior monk Ji Chuang was preparing a counterattack, but in order to deal with the thundercloud technique in the sky, Senior Monk Ji Chuang could only be allowed to participate in the defense together. The Great Monk Ji Chuang had no choice but to cancel the Flying Sword's ready state, and took out a fourth grade top grade shield to block the heads of the three great monks, establishing the last line of defense. Li Shiming saw his actions and smiled on his face. Then his figure disappeared. At the same time, the Thunder Cloud technique in the sky also gathered enough thunder and lightning, activating streaks of thunder and lightning downwards. 40. Thunder cloud techniques were added together to create a scene as terrifying as the end of the world. The formation palace was the first to bear the brunt. Brother Liao Yi felt that the formation could not withstand so many attacks. So he could only release part of the formation effect, allowing the lightning attacks that the formation could not resist to fall into the formation. The remaining two the great monk will take charge. At this moment, Li Shiming's figure appeared in the illusion of the chessboard. He kicked three chess pieces three times in a row causing the formation arranged by the great monk Liao Yi to change. This formation changed from inside-out defense to inward defense. It no longer had any defensive effect on the outside, allowing external attacks to fall into the formation. It was this change that greatly increased the defensive pressure of senior monk Shen Zhe and senior monk Ji Chuang. They had no time to check other matters, and did not even have the energy to detect Li Shiming's approach. So they tried their best to maintain their respective magic weapons. Only brother Liao Yi discovered Li Shiming. He wanted to use the formation to suppress Li Shiming, but he was shocked to find that the formation was somewhat out of control. Obviously the chessboard and the black and white chess pieces are his magic weapons, and the connection between the chessboard and the chess pieces is not broken. But the formation seems to be solidified, and he cannot undo it even if he wants to. This is the feeling of being inferior to others in terms of skills. In terms of formations, the level of the great monk Liao Yi is at most the level of an ordinary formation master. But the combination of Li Shiming and Z15 is almost at the top of the pyramid of formations in the world of immortality. Li Shiming stood in the formation. And he did not attack the three monks below because there was no need. The formation palace has now turned into a prison for three righteous monks. Even if they want to leave, they must first break through the formation palace before they can leave the battlefield. The formation palace also limited the living space of the three righteous great monks. Previously, in order to have a smaller defense range and maximize the defense effect. The formation palace was almost so small that it could only wrap up the three great monks. Now the three great monks can only move within such a small range, facing the continuous thunder and lightning in the sky. They have even lost the ability to dodge. Fellow Daoist Liao, what's going on? This formation trapped us in turn? Senior monk Shen Zhe felt that he could no longer withstand the power of thunder and lightning in the sky. When he was about to dodge, he found that he was blocked by the formation palace. He couldn't help but asked anxiously. The formation is not under my control. Li Shiming is in the formation, and he controls the formation. Brother Liao Yi replied dejectedly. Monk Ji Chuang gave up his defense against the fourth grade top shield. Since he could no longer use secret techniques to enhance the attack power of the flying sword, he could only force the flying sword to shoot at Li Shiming. Unfortunately, the flying sword made a ding sound when it collided with the wall of the formation palace and the flying sword did not break through the defense of the formation palace. The current situation is rather strange. It is obviously the formation of the righteous monks, but it has become Li Shiming's formation. The three righteous monks are like birds in a cage. It is not accurate to say that they are birds in a cage. It should be said that they are meat in the pot. The thunder and lightning produced by 40. Thunder cloud techniques are flames. Monk Ji Chuang's attack had no effect, but it caused great trouble. He gave up his defense. But the thunder and lightning did not let them go. The water curtain shield of senior monk Shen Zhe could not be broken at first. And then the thunder and lightning fell in the small area where the three senior monks were. Terrifying thunder and lightning suddenly filled the entire small space. And the thunder and lightning in the sky continued to fall. Causing more and more thunder and lightning in the small space. Hey! 
Li Shiming sighed. This was the fate of the three peak monks. He had no intention of killing them. They all asked for it. Li Shiming waved his hand to disperse the thunderclouds in the sky. And without waiting for the thunder and lightning inside the formation palace to subside, he penetrated into the formation palace. Not to mention that these thunder and lightning were sent by him. Even if he was not the one who sent the thunder and lightning, with the physical body of heavenly man technique, and the lightning resistance secret method blessed with sky strike thunder hammer and chishou thunder bead. He could also hold up for a period of time in such a powerful thunder and lightning. The three righteous monks had lost their vitality. The Yuanying of Xiang Jichuang was annihilated by lightning before it entered the body, causing the soul crystal ring and the natal magic weapon to appear. Li Shiming collected the bodies of the three great monks and the magic weapons. Then he waved his hand and several chess pieces in the Formation Palace moved, and the Formation Palace disappeared. Due to the death of the master of the chessboard and chess pieces, the Great Monk Liao Yi, after the Formation Palace disappeared, the chessboard and chess pieces fell from the air, and were swept away by his spiritual consciousness. He looked into the distance, and saw a flying boat approaching quickly. The spiritual eye can see 8,000 miles away. He knew that reinforcements of monks had arrived, and he did not want to fight more monks. Although now, there is a high probability that he is already in a situation where he is the enemy of everyone in this unknown world. He set his sight in another direction, and then activated, at a glance, and his figure disappeared instantly, appearing at 8,000 miles. He did not escape further, but activated water escape, which was a rarely used escape method, with a heavenly art as the basis. It is not difficult for him to practice this escape method. It is practiced just for use in the ocean. His body turned into water flow and entered the ocean. In the ocean, his speed slowed down a lot. Far less than. Arrived in one step. Not even as good as. South close to the end of the world. But the body turned into a current. And there was almost no way to find a current in the ocean. Even if he wants to escape now. Without a map. Such an escape without any direction or goal is not considered safe. If you really want to plunge into the perception range of a certain powerful person. You are really throwing yourself into a trap. Moments after Li Shiming disappeared, a medium-sized flying boat arrived at the battlefield. The fighting aura still remains here. The heavy thunder spell aura has revealed the fighting aura of Senior Brother Shin. In the medium-sized flying boat, a senior monk stared at the scanning formation of the flying boat and said to the other senior monks, What about Senior Brother Shin? Another great monk asked. The scanning array of the medium-sized flying boat has been strengthened. Not only scanning the sky, but also, the ocean has been added to the scanning range. They want to discover the aura of Senior Monk Shinze in other locations, so that they can determine the direction in which Senior Monk Shinze is leaving, making it easier to rescue. But as the scan data showed, the great monks of the medium flying boat Mirror Moon sect became more and more disappointed and frightened. The only possibility in this situation is that Senior Monk Shinze was not able to escape. However, it only took so long from the time Senior Monk Shinze sent out a distress signal to when they arrived. In addition, with the joint efforts of two top cultivators, what kind of enemy can kill them all in a short time? Report to the sect, and then contact Zian's sect and Xingxiao's sect to tell them what happened, a great monk said in a deep voice.